to play nice up front but stab me in the back the moment I turn around. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that could make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being judgmental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you Who are you to tell me how to live life? In these times it feels like nobody's right, yeah So I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed I need whatever the hell could make me happy And I don't think you have a clue what could that be They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I could be special if I get rid of the devils They think that I am a rebel I think they want me to settle There's nobody on my level They think that work is too stressful I think that work is essential The grind is all in your mental And I don't think you understand what I'll go through Just to be in control of my life soon All the negativity, man, I'm immune I don't really need a mask with all I've been through I've been making changes for the ages Five, ten year plans are contagious I attack that shit, I'm tenacious and if you ain't, get the fuck out of my way then Got one life, I won't regret it I will fight until I get it I'll look back one day from heaven And say, damn, I learned some lessons And say, damn, I have no questions I had fun in every second And the journey was a blessing, yeah They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming, I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can Oh, I almost ended the stream. Oh. <laughs> Wrong button. Uh, hi, sweetie. Um, it, it might take a while for people to get in because I think, obviously, you know, hey, chicken snake, people are going to be confused because they're going to be expecting us on stone. And yeah, and everybody reads. Uh, you've got Frankie's got the same dog. Is it Frankie? Is it a girl or a boy? So we're going to take a little bit of time before we start this subject, because I'm waiting for Stoned. Um, and then also I'm waiting for Grandmammy Annie and just going to give it a little while for people to realise that Stone's not on yet. And then, oh, a little girl like me. <laughs> oh, Frankie. Oh, I'd love to see her. Is she the same as a, a long head? Well, she said exactly the same, so I'm assuming she's the same. What's um, her name, Frankie? Hmm. What's her name? My dad the other day, he's so funny, right? He was like, Mel. And, and he loves Pandora. And he's like, Mel, Pandora is no, is no a real chihuahua. Bella, oh. Let's go, what you about? He goes, you know, she's mixed. I said, no, she's not mixed. She's like, she's got certificates and everything. She has. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he comes out with his stuff. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's like, Dad, she's like fully certified by um, the Kennel Club, which is a really big thing in England, right? Yeah. <laughs> and mm -hmm. he's like, she's so big for Chihuahua. She's not. It's just like the last Chihuahua we had, Chili. He must have been a miniature because he was like half the size of Pandora. He was still long haired, but he was black wow. with little white bits and he was stunning. Um, but and Pandora is slightly bigger than what he is because no, no, she's not. She's not real Chihuahua. I'm actually yeah. fucking is that. <laughs> hmm. So yeah. So I will switch my camera on soon. I'm just having a quick cigarette while we. We can have you been. How's your week been? How's everything doing? 
Uh, how, tell me what's going on while we wait for people to come in. Oh, not a whole lot. Just been busy with appointments and um, that's pretty much it. Nothing exciting going on. No. No. The it, eclipse it, was the biggest part of my week. Mine is 16 years old and has cancer. Oh, Frankie. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that, sweetheart. But fair yeah. play that she's 16. Oh, you should bring her up one day. Let us have a look at her. Yeah. Bless. You know what? These little babies, fur babies of ours. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> These little fur babies of us, you know, it, 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 it's it, they're like children, aren't they? So when they're not well, yeah. it's it's heartbreaking. God, Mel's hair is looking crazy today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it reflects my mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it reflects my mood. Um, oh, I would love to one day. Frankie, we'd love to see her. I'd love to be able to see how similar she is to Pandora. Um, bless her cotton. I hope how you know. I hope that with the cancer, I hope is it curable? Is it you know? I don't. How is it? How's that going? Bless. Oh, that's a. I you know. Hey Ryan, hello. Hi, Ryan. Um. So yeah, we're going to wait a little while while people realise what's going on with the lives in that stone is transfer. It's not. Oh, I'm so sorry, Frankie. That must be heartbreaking. I'm sorry, Frankie. I know it's horrible, isn't it? When our babies are not well. Yeah. I mean, I, I you know, oh my God, I, I remember when my last <clears throat> chihuahua wasn't well. It was, you know, it was awful. One of the worst weeks of my life, but it is what it is. Right. Let me see if people are on stone thinking, where's your life? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he put a notification up on his, on his community wall. Um, Hi, Nicole. Hello, Hi, my love. Nicole. Nicole, darling, I was having a look at the um, the link that you sent me for Zavgirl about the court cases. Do you have a timestamp? Because when I clicked on the link, obviously it's gone to the beginning of the live, which is like almost a seven-hour live. So I don't know whether you've got a timestamp for the actual court document. So, you know, I, like, so I don't kind of flick through almost seven hours of her life. Um, yeah, when it, Nicole sent me a link for Zavgirl. Now, where... Uh, I haven't I seen her in a while. Well, I thought she was done after the whole, you know, scandal of the photos. Yeah. Ones, but um, it, it, she's still on. She's still on. And, uh, oh. yeah, and, and I, I've never really kind of watched her, to be fair. I always find her a bit... I don't know. I don't know what the word is. He has like five cases. Hi, Lauren, my love. Hello. Lauren, Hi. Lauren, we did, we've done a character for you. Did you want to see it? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> um, I've done a character for Lauren. I, well, the one that I've got up right now was from a young man who got in touch with me earlier and he's so shy and sweet. Let me just bring it up. The... No, that's not the one. That was a bit weird, that one. We did two, but I didn't like... Hang on. I didn't like one of them because it was a bit weird. Here it is. So, Lauren, let me... Hola, Divine Spark. Hello. Um, Hello, Divine Spark. Sorry, that was just... Um, uh, yeah, that was just stone. He may not be able to make the live. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so, yeah, Lauren, I've got your character. Hang on. Okay, so let's share. Sorry, guys. Um, share the screen. So, Lauren, 
This is for you, my love. I hope you like it. If you don't, then we can work on it. Um, so this is Lauren. Is that oh, the no. <laughs> sharing is caring? <laughs> Hello, Al uh, Alan D. Hello, my lovely. So this is your character, Lauren. I don't know if you like it, if you don't like it. Um, can you let me know what you think? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool. Sorry, I'm just dealing with some stuff. Okay, um, yeah, did you like it? Yes, um, oh, I'm glad you like it because AI kind of, I don't know, I, I th this is not exactly what i'm imagining like so uh, thank you nicole you have to like thank blue scarlet because she helps me as you know everybody knows but i was like half unicorn half human <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and that this is not what i was expecting i was kind of expecting like a, a unicorn head a human body or uh, a unicorn body human head i right. anyway yeah ai um decided that this was Lauren's character. Yeah. Um, yeah. Diddy wow. has many cases. It takes hours to go through. Nicole, I just wanted like a quick timestamp of the, um, um, of the, oh, Wiccan, was your shirt delivered? Your Weirdo Wonderland shirt? I didn't get anything today. No, it says Wiccan and Daisy May's shirts were delivered the other day. Uh-oh. Um, did you not get it? No. Oh, okay. Nicole, if you're listening, darling, uh, Wiccan didn't get hers. Um, right. So Lauren, are you content with your character? Because if you are, then I'll post it on the community wall. Uh, and I don't know whether this is the, the, um, is what you meant when you said, you know, the weapon of choice, but blame AI. <laughs> Lay <laughs> Frankie's like, lay it down and step away slowly. <laughs> um, I'd also like to say hello to a young man who introduced himself earlier to me today and who has been watching me and Stoned for a long time, but it's just he's really shy. And uh, he was so sweet. And I wanted to, hang on, let me see if I can find his image. He wanted, no, that's Uncle Fatty. Yeah, that's it. Here, Silly Ken. So Silly Ken, I don't know if he's listening tonight because, um, okay, Lauren, so that will be your official character. Um, Silly Ken, he's so sweet. He's a volunteer firefighter. Oh. And I don't, yeah, I don't, Dark Unicorn Unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so nicole sent me yeah it said it was delivered on the ninth your one wiccan okay could it be somewhere like in a postal box or i don't know whether you want to go and ask like the neighbors because she sent me notification from amazon so let me know anyway yeah once you've had a little look around let me know and i'll let nicole know um so so yeah um, so silly ken is a young man who's really really shy and he asked me so sweetly uh you know can i be part of um of widow wonderland and i was like no i was uh, sorry i was like yeah, of course you can and he's very very sweet i know he's going to a baseball tournament Um, this weekend so I don't know if he's watching so if hopefully silly Ken if you're not watching now um I I you know we'll we'll, we'll show it again another time and he can see it. he's a very sweet young man so I, like I, I, I did one for Uncle Fatty as well I don't know hang on let's have a look so that that we didn't like that was another one that I didn't particularly like Lauren what do you think of this one I I, I didn't really like this one so that's why I picked the other one. Yeah, I think I like the other one better. Yeah. So 
So, um, Lauren, what do you think of this one? So there's Diddy's girlfriends, Diddy's producer suing some bodyguards. Nicole, like I said, if you can maybe find me a timestamp of the court paperwork. Yeah, I like the one, other one better. Yeah, no, I like the other one. This one's a bit like, huh? <laughs> AI fucking up. So there was this one. And then, hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, so this one's better. Uh, then there was Silly Ken. Where's, where, where, where did I do with Uncle Faye? There he is. What do you think of Uncle Faye? I like it. You like Uncle Faye? Yeah, I like this one. Because I wasn't sure, because, like, we did a butler, but because we did 1920s, it, it, I don't know, it, 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 I, this is it, what butlers look like in 1920. Um, sorry, I'm just talking to Stone. Oh, you're fine. So I think that's something. Well, who else did we do? Hmm. I was saying hi to Jane. Hi, Jay. Did you want a character, sweetie? Um, hang on, stop sharing. Right. Okay. So. Oh, it's a butter knife. <laughs> 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 What am I looking at? What am I looking at, Nicole? Sorry, we can, can you take over for a second while I just sort out whatever the fuck's going on on my phone? Yeah. Um, I still think razor brim hat. Razor brim hat? Oh, yeah. I mean, we can try it. Hmm. So, Jade, are you? Do you think you want a character? Yeah, Jade, did you want a, a character? Hang on, what did Nicole send it? Look at the crowd. Everything you need to know about new PDD court docs. Let's have a look. One second. Um. Oh. So I'm just having a look to see if we can find some court documents um, if, like, to support I don't, about oh, the Diddy. I was say, I don't know much about P. Diddy. Oh, my God. I watched so many documentaries the other night, and it's not looking good. So anybody want to come up on panel? Because uh, I, I watch so much stuff. And you know what? It doesn't really uh, surprise me, everything that's going on. I can't stand Hollywood. I'll never, you know, I've always said it. I, all this shit. Does it surprise me? Fuck no. Right, it, it, it's, yeah. it, none of it surprises me. All, all the, all, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to see if we can get these court documents. Because uh, I know that it's quite a lot. Oh. Oh. I still haven't paid my bill. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, right. So I know, and, and another thing that actually I want to be talking about afterwards is the, which obviously we've got all the very serious charges. Yes, Jade. I mean, I'm just like, it, uh, one a few of the documentaries that I saw because I saw quite a lot. Um, I did the other night. I just like went crazy with all the. Another interesting thing, which I thought was really really interesting, um, which would solve the, which would solve, uh, what is it? Thirty year mystery is that apparently, allegedly, that he was the one involved in both the murders for. Um, Tupac and uh, Biggie Smalls. Oh my! Mm -hmm. And you know, there there's bodyguards that sort of you know take give accounts 
of this, what happened in both situations and how, uh, was it Tupac? It was Tupac that, no, it was Biggie, right? Biggie was, was unwell and he wasn't going to go to the location where he finally lost his life. But P. Diddy did everything in his power to make sure he was there at that moment. And, um, it, well, I, yeah, J-Lo's going to... Uh, J-Lo, uh, what, what do you think about the whole J-Lo thing, Wiccan? Um, J-Lo? Because she's supposed to be involved. Um, wow. Yeah, well... And um, what's her name? Beyonce. Uh, really? Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. So uh, if they, if this can either go one or two ways, the money is going to sweep it under the carpet. Right. Or it's going to be a huge takedown of some major key players in Hollywood. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. And you know what? I fucking had enough of this bullshit. It goes on and on and on. Yeah, yeah, Lauren. She she covered up for him and she snapped the, the pew-pew into the club. Sorry. Wow. Hang on. Sorry. Um, hi, Aaron. Good morning. Well, good evening. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Sipping on Fire. Hello, Sipping on Fire. Um, so if anybody wants to come up and uh, 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 we can, would you post a link yes. and it wants to discuss this because there's a few things that I want to watch. But first, before we start watching stuff and I get black screen and all the rest of it. <laughs> um you know, anybody's welcome to come up. We'll talk about what we've seen. Like I said, I've seen so many documentary. Decent news. Time. 50, yes, 50. 50 knew a lot. And, you know, there's this big kind of war between 50 and P. Diddy. And, um, <clears throat> and you know, there was so much. I, I watched so much. You know when you do an overload? Yeah. You know, I did an overload. <clears throat> anyway, can I get a couple of more people? I just need to deal with something quickly. That's cool, Aaron. What was that Aaron said? Aaron said he he wants to come up and some. Oh, come up, sweetheart! Him. Come up, my love. Um, just because. Um, I'm just kind of trying to find timestamps and stuff. Um. To get off. Trying to get off another place at the moment. One minute, no worries. Uh, what burger? What burger? Hang on, while we see. It. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, do you want me to show again? Hang on. The I had that burger, Miss Anne. Um, Miss oh, Anne, yeah. I don't know. I had to wait <laughs> it. It, it activated Your this. Like, never aside. <laughs> my carnivorous side, right? I, hang on, let me try and find it again. And I don't know what the fuck came over me because I don't really eat a lot of um, meat. So yesterday, I while I was on Resto's Live, I ate 10 sausages. <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and I was like, huh? Ah! Like, it, 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 I felt like shit afterwards. Trust me, I did. I, did. I felt like shit afterwards. And the burger. Right, okay. So he, I, I'll share them. Oh, Grandma me Annie's oh, on. Oh, hi, Grandma Oh, Grandma me Annie, you've got me on in the background, sweetheart. Do you want to put me off? Hi, darlings. Hi, love. Can you hear me? Yes, but you've got me in the background. Can you turn me off? How do I do that? Have you got YouTube play? No, it's gone. It's gone. Um, hey, um, Dodie. Hi, darling. So this is Lauren's. 
Hey, mindful exposures. Mindful. Okay, so Grandmummy Annie. Um, hi, Dodie. Hi, I know Dodie. I love Dodie. I love all the girls hi, from Stoneland. I mean, not from Stoneland. Hi, Wickham. Hi, Mel. Hi. Hello. Hello, Curiosity. Hello, darling. So, so we are, before we go into the hardcore subject, which is P, P. Diddy. Um, Hi, Nicole. That's who? I don't know what's going on. Hi, Capricorni. Okay, so this is Lauren's character. Grandmummy Annie, or should I say Queen Latrine. Um what do you have for us let me put, let, let me stop sharing this um so okay, this is the little, the so little what do you yeah so you've got the washing machine that's going to yeah. go into stone's crown yes and we're going to unbox it right, right now, now. I'm, I'm queen latrine i'm taking a little break from sorry nicole's uh, super yacht I apologize, We're, Queen Latrine. It's as magnificent as any oligarch's super yacht yacht should be. Okay, okay. But the, well, the I apologize. Finally came. I don't know why I had to go to two post offices to pick up the little washing machine. Looks like we have a lag. I hope I hope this is all right. Because it would have would have fit in my mailbox. But my mailbox is like a mile and a half away, and they don't like to leave packages there. Okay, so well, I, I'm keen to see the uh, what's inside the package. Okay, so <laughs> Queen I'll, do, I'll do the little un, un, unboxing. Uh huh. Well, first of all, uh huh. The crown has been put together. It fitted up for Stone's head. Awesome. Let me put you on big, Grandma Mia. Uh, sorry, Queen Latrine. Let me put you on big. Okay. Stage wow. is yours. And Mel, I sent you a couple uh, of, of things in Messenger about the crown. About you the did? feathers. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, you did. You did. You did. You did, my love. Sorry. I've just had the worst couple of weeks, uh, you know, and I, 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 I'm trying to... I'm trying to <laughs> be normal. <laughs> Good luck. Yes, I'm trying to be normal. Wonder Wonderland. <laughs> so about the feathers. Okay, so this is Stone's crown. Um, the the Grandma Miani has look look at look at that crown. Can we have a a, a I, sent like, some, I, I sent you some things about the feathers. Let me see. Let me go and have a look. One second. If you want to post that. Uh, yeah. Um, let me just find it. So you're going to unbox for us the yes. the yes. washing and, machine. And demonstrate the little washing machine. <laughs> you're so great. I love it. <laughs> it's crazy. It's <clears throat> okay. So here's you. Let me, you carry on doing unboxing while I find out uh, where where the feather stuff okay. is. Yeah, that that and and, and the re reflective tape and the reflective tape. Oh yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, oh wow, okay. So the you, so, hey, man, so share screen. Okay, so. Okay, the feathers are from the European magpie, uh, also known as the pika pika. And the iridescent feathers, even though they're black. And what the, the, the little legend is, when, when you find a black feather, that means you're not alone. And so these are three tail feathers of the uh, Eurasian magpie. And there's a picture of the magpie and you can see how iridescent the feathers are when, when, when the light hits it in a certain way. Yeah. So the feathers that are on there are from this magpie, right? Yes. Yes. From, from the Europe. Europe uh, they were found in Norway. So they're, they're Viking birds. 
and uh, and they have an iridescence when when the light hits them in a certain way. That's a beautiful bird, isn't right. that? Mm -hmm. Isn't that just a gorgeous bird? Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and they're big when, when when you see them in in real life. Where apparently they're magpies in America, but I've never seen a, a magpie here. I've seen these in England. Okay. Yeah. Which is you you probably see the the, the European magpie. Which is which is what's in the picture here. Yeah, yeah. Now I've definitely seen these in England. Yeah. yeah so they have, they have a, a broad territory, but I can't say I've seen them in the United States. Though apparently they're here. Well, I don't, I, I I don't know. I mean, you see these everywhere in England. Um, they're stunning birds. Yes, aren't oh, they? Aren't they gorgeous? Mm, they are. Well, Nicole says they're in Canada too. Okay. Okay. They're beautiful, really, really beautiful. And these feathers, I, I mean, it's amazing the effort that you've made to make this hat, uh, Queen of <laughs> Trine. I, I really am so impressed with you right now. So let's have a look. So the next bit was is the bit. The, the, the extreme reflective tape, yes. This is this is Solus, Safety of Life at Sea, extreme re reflectivity tape, where you can be spotted like six miles away, where you can... When the light hits it a certain way, it's like blinding. We can see in the the, 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 the shot, there's there's a, a like a Mack truck in, in, in the distance. And Stone um, does not want to wear this crown on the battlefield in war because it will be spotted. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he wants to take on Turtle Island. He's going to be spotted like six miles away. <laughs> He's be a target. But yeah, when in, in regular light, you don't see it, but uh, at, in the dark, it is like a blinding reflectivity. And that's around the crown. Yes, it is. Right. Yeah, it's, okay. a very, it's a very, it's a very special type of extreme reflective tape. With extreme re reflectivity. For, so you can be spotted at, at sea where you have, where you're, you're searching for bodies and sinking ships and stuff from long distances. And, you know, it's imperative that that you you be able to be visible. It, okay, it, it's just amazing. I I am so amazed at the effort that you've put into this crown because, <laughs> apart from the incredible bird feathers in this high hardcore top notch reflective tape, <laughs> there's something even more special inside the crown, right? Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. So I'm going to put you well, on big so you can show everybody. It's been a lot of fun. And then, so I made the, 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 the little egg for the, the, the top of the crown. This will fit in the top of the, the washing machine. And this, <laughs> this crown is magical and interactive. Right. And so, like, say, like, you, you open the egg. Oh. And what's inside? What's inside? <laughs> it's it's full of ideas, ideas, ideas. <laughs> sheet. <laughs> Head full of sheet. <laughs> sheet. <laughs> hey, ATW. Hi, my love. Um, oh, my goodness. Sheet. <laughs> Is there shit in there? <laughs> <laughs> and it's got little spiders on the brain. And bats, bats in the belfry. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, look, there's there's Dory looking for Nemo. <laughs> oh, that's me, Dory. She's oh, forgotten no. where she is. <laughs> now, of course, Stone Stone can 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 make his crown as interactive as he wants to in any way he wants to. But those are are just some. Ideas or sheet. <laughs> sheet. Um, yeah, I might make my dad part of Widow Wonderland season two. I think I must. I'll make him a crown. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna take. Uh, I've got to take um, my dad and put him in in, in this game somehow. <laughs> Where's the, the little? So the little washing machine arrived. It's fantastic. 
Let them learn more housework. Boy, what you want to teach any kid? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good way to market a, a, a toy. Teach them <laughs> to do more housework. but Because you said it was a fully functioning washing machine, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Just oh. love it. There's a little washing machine. That is too cute. Isn't right. it? You know, it's got a, a, the little lid that goes up and down where the egg, the egg goes, fits on top of the lid to open the lid. <laughs> it's just insane. <laughs> and you, can't, you can't see it, but there's, yeah, there it is. There's a little agitator. Inside. And is there like water? Wow. Does water go in there at all? Yes. It does. <laughs> wow. So it takes about half a cup of water. Mm-hmm. You can add your fairy dust or fairy eyelashes. Close the lid. And I don't know if you can hear it. it, it it's agitating. Wow. Isn't that cool? So Stone can have a fully operational washing machine on his head. <laughs> cool. <laughs> CNA Productions, my love. I love the fact that you always put a disclaimer up. You're, you're, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, we, we, this is, before we go into the subject, this is the unveiling of Stone's new crown. Well, the real, real, real unveiling, I imagine, would be the coronation. Oh, yeah, and the coronation. Guys, yeah, and you guys are the crazy creators. I don't know how you want to do the content, but I'll wave my little crown or uh, wand when... Stone is officially coronated. Okay. <laughs> so to drain it, you remove the little hose. I love it. I don't know if he'd want to do this with it on his head or not, but that's up to him. Oh, it's up to him, isn't it? <laughs> I, I can't say. Um, everyone should have put a disclaimer. What's yours, Mel? Mine, what's my disclaimer? Uh, I'm taking no more shit from no one anymore. That's my disclaimer. <laughs> so you drain the water. So does it have like programs in it where it, it does a spin and all that? Well, there's the water. Well, then after you, you've drained the water, you turn it on again and put it on the spin cycle. <laughs> I love it. Wow. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Right. And it, it, it's really silent. Uh, so it's just a push button. As, as far as like doing a gentle cycle or, or anything like that, Mel, this is just a toy. Well, no, Divine Spark said it washes panties only. <laughs> well, the eBay thing says that, you know, little cosmetic pads and, and false eyelashes. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. I, I wouldn't instantly think of washing the, the, the okay. So the, the, the washing but machine. It fits, it fits right in the middle of the crown. I love it. <laughs> and then the crown has a little, ela a clear elastic underneath to help hold it on, but it's custom fitted to, to the size of a stone's head. Did he give you his measurements of his head finally? Yes. Yes. And so with that. Or men's G-strings. Yep, yeah, we could do men's G-strings, yes, Nicole. Yes. Yep. And so then the egg goes on top. It's like a Salvador Dali egg. I love it. Mm -hmm. So what Dali. I need now is a shipping address to whoever uh, Stone wants it sent to. Uh, I can I can let him know to let you. To, well, I'll ask him and then I can pass it on to you. Um, Queen Latrine. But, uh, but, but yeah, yes. I think the little washing machine is like the cutest thing ever. It is. I mean, the, and the, it's the a, a trippy crown with all kinds of significance, the, the you know, stone, but not alone. So I'm looking forward to season two of Winter. Oh, Orient. I am. I'm Winter doing Winterland. 
I was actually discussing with Resto this morning on his live, uh, you know, how we're going about doing Widow Wonderland season two is going to be very, very different to Widow Wonderland season one. Um, and uh, I'm, oh, I'm going to compute going crazy. Um, and uh, it, I'm really fucking looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to all the new characters as well. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm making plans. It's not ready yet. So we did say approximately about a month. So I'm working really hard on it, as is Blue Scarlet with the artwork. And Wiccan's done some incredible artwork with it too, you know. And uh, I'm so looking forward to it. I really, yeah. really am. I'm so looking forward to it because it's going to be a, a completely different flavor. And it's still going to be challenges and all the crea creativity that we did from season one. But there's going to be a twist because there's not going to be so much power in our hands as the contestants anymore because we were too soft last season. So it's going to be a bit more cutthroat. <laughs> yeah, no. it's going to be a bit more cutthroat. No, it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're still going to have the ability to. The chat's still going to have a huge part in the game because obviously the game. It's not just about the contestants who participate, but it's very much about the chat. Um, so we all love each other too much. Yeah, I know. You know what it was? Is last season we were so loving, and it says a lot about the community. We were so loving and sweet, and we tried to save each other all the time, and that's why yeah, it took yeah. four months. Yeah, that's why Amazing it took four community. months. <laughs> <laughs> it took four months for us to get anywhere. This time I <laughs> thought, yeah, at this time I thought, okay, let's um, let's like jazz it up a little bit. So. I think everybody's guessed a theme, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think everybody's get. I'm not sure. Just fucking blur it out. Uh, it's no point going. I'm not going to tell you because everybody's guessed a theme. So the theme is Clue, or in England it's called Cluedo, and um, it's a murder mystery. And yeah, and the setting, how the game begins. Hey, Leopardprint. Hello, my love. I hope you're all right. I've not seen you around for ages, Leopardprint. Hi, so, Zero Fox. Yeah, Zero Fox. I hope you're feeling a little bit better, my love. Yeah. So, so the setting of the game will start. It's Mel's wedding to finally, she's found. This is the setting. This is how it starts, okay? Mm. So we will do a video to promote the setting. So it's Mel's wedding, and she's finally getting married to her cow, American cowboy. And then oh, within yeah. within seconds of being officially married to her cowboy, there's a murder, and he's murdered. Oh. I know. Mel doesn't get, gets married for like 2.5 hey. seconds, <laughs> you know. And um, that will be the opening of the game. Wow. I'm saying good morning to me. I'm gonna die. Excitement. Yeah. I love you. Capricorni, that's the I clue or cluedo as we'd call it in England, is one of my favorite board games. It really is. It's just so much fun. Yeah. Um and uh we're gonna do an interactive one. We're gonna do an interactive one so it will be on our screen so that we can visually see but we haven't worked out the finer details. I'm relying on Resto because Resto is just so good at stuff like that, you know. And um, I'm heavily relying on Resto. So please, Resto, <laughs> for blessing, I put so much on him. Oh, Capricorn, I'm so looking forward to that because anybody can join at any point, you know. Uh, obviously, we've got our OGs, which were season one's people. But as everybody's seen on the... Um, Hang on, let me pull up my page. We've got some new characters. Um, I've I, I got you with the ideas, Lauren. If you can, please. Uh, or, you know, the thing I like about Widow Wonderland is that it's it's become the community's game, and yeah. you know, it, it, it's about everybody that joins in, takes part. And I understand that not everybody's going to be able to do every single Monday because we you know we have a life and what have you but it, it's about everybody that joins in that 
part. It's about you lot. It's about everybody that joins in, takes part. And it's for me, it's just. It, it, it melts my heart to see that we all come together like we did for season one we all came together we all had fun we all got creative and it was just yeah. right because my subjects can sometimes get on here you know quite serious right and it was just really stupid fun that we all enjoyed didn't we yeah uh, I mean we've got the winner of season one right here Wiccan yeah. and we've got Queen Latrine <laughs> She was the keeper of the bar. She, she, she's the keeper of the bathrooms. I love it. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah. Right. And make sure those toilet seats are being put down. Exactly. So, the ladies. So, right. So, I am just really looking forward to season two. I'm really looking forward to introducing new players. Um, you know, I'm trying to put a bit of a dark. Uh, hang on, let me find my um, my YouTube just to get the other characters. Uh, I'm trying to put a bit of a dark spin on the new characters, um, just because how it will it should work in theory is that the game. So this is going to be super like fair. The game will choose who is to be murdered every single week. So. That kind of puts a new, yeah, that puts a new spin on everything. So let me just get the new character. Um, I'm so looking for some new character. Um, right, okay. So, so I'm trying to make the new characters a little bit dark um, and, and mysterious. And we won't know. We have to then work out on every Monday who done it and with what weapon. Come yeah. on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the chat will decide, uh, you know, will eliminate who they think done it. So in theory, two people, that's why I'm trying to get as many people on as possible, because in theory, in theory, two people, people will be gone every single week. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So How many and, players? Well, I'm trying to get as many players on board as possible. So, obviously, because then we can, it can last, you know, a couple of months I, or however long it will take, you know. But hang on, Mel Pandora. So, I love our new characters. So, this is, um, this is Aaron, she says, taking off his head. What do you think about that? Cool. I know. Those are some brass knuckles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody put in the comments, can I have one of those gloves? Like, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, just, we, we, we were, me and Blue Scarlet were like running out of ideas for, for weapons. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so, because obviously we've got to have a different one with each player and each player's got their colour, uh, just like the board game. So, I, like I said, we haven't quite worked out all the finer details, but this is the concept. The concept is we're playing Clue and every week somebody gets murdered and we have to work out who it is. I, I think it's funny how you gave me a plunger as a weapon. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. You can put it over their mouth and suffocate them. Yeah. I'll have to come up with something with that. I like that I have a candlestick. I like that. I've got a feather pen. Mm -hmm. I've got a feather pen. I love the poison feather pen. I've got a poison feather pen. And let's have a look. Who, what else is there? So we've got. Uh, so we've got that one. This is Arctic Wolf. Look, Love does it. he look? I know. <laughs> he he. I don't know. Like that thing that he has in his hand. It was supposed to be like one of those police men sticks, and oh. it look. It looks like a broomstick, like a witch's broomstick. Yeah. It does. yeah. <laughs> But, but yes, I think his weapon is his teeth. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Look at those fangs. Look at those fangs. Yeah. Um, Nicole has a meat cleaver. She does. Nicole's got a meat. Cleaver. <laughs> I thought the plunger was to do a potty mouse. Ha <laughs> ha, Lauren. <laughs> no, it's it's her weapon of choice. <laughs> uh, uh, croquet mallet. We've had the mallet. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am so looking forward to it. I'm so excited about all of this. And what else have we got? We've got yeah, this is going to it too. Crispy Treats got an iron because she wanted an iron. Yeah. So this is Crispy Treat. We, obviously, we've got Mr. Rainbow. Um, the, the, like all the characters are just like, if you go to my community page, guys, I will post the most recent ones that I've done, which is Lauren's um, Uncle Fatty and our young man who introduced himself to me today. Um, and, you know, like I said, between me, Blue Scarlet, Wiccan, we're trying to get all the imagery done, you know, so we can... Um, I'm just looking forward to it, guys. Anyone's got any ideas, please, you know, contact me. Uh, I'm, it's your game. So if anybody has any ideas of what they want to do with it, how they want to do with it, any imagery that they want to contribute, just let me know and, and, and we'll, we'll, work, we'll work with it. So, uh, girls, any thoughts? Thoughts? Um, Boy. Not off the top of my head, but but again, I've got no, no. I mean about the new season, the concept, all of that. Before we start into the subject, hey, tattoos and unicorns. Hello, sweetheart. Is it one when I am there? Um, hi, tattoos. Hey, tattoos. I love. I'm the excited tattoo. for it. I am super, super excited. Me too. Well, I'm going to step down. I wanted to show you all the little washing machine and the progress. I love the washing machine. I'm sure Stone is going to love it. And it's going to love it. The next stage is, yeah, getting, getting, uh, crowning the, the king of Weirdo Wonderland. Yeah. I mean, like I said, once we're ready to um, start the game, obviously I'll let everybody know. Um, I'm just trying to get everything set up in the meantime. Yeah. We're trying to get the players established. I'm still looking for new players, guys. So anybody that wants to be wants to be in the game, comment under the community page with all the the players, and just say, "Yeah, I want to be one of the players," and and then we'll create a character for you. Melissa giving me pinup vibes tonight. Lauren, I know. <laughs> I don't know what possessed me to wear this, but I felt like really kind of frilly and fancy tonight. Hmm. Uh, so are you going to be wearing more costumes in, in season two? I will be wearing more costumes Absolutely. in season two. Stoned is late to the party, but here he is. Hey, Stoned. Hi, hey, Stoned. Hey, Stoned. Stoned. Your, your crown of the little washing machine. Can't hear you, Stoned. Oh, what happened? Where's he gone? So, yeah, we'll, get, we'll get Stone's address and when, whenever, whenever he's ready or whatever, you know, with season two or whatever. Then you know. Do, Does it have a, an elastic band so it can stay yes, on the it head? Does. Yes, it <laughs> Yes. I love it. Uh, not only it is it, it, it fit fit to his head, but there's a, a, a clear elastic band. So whether it goes over his skin or his beard or whatever, it, it should it should be appear, appear invisible. It or his beard, whatever. Nice. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, sipping on fire. I just really look at it. It's so cute. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, I, I just. Oh. What is that noise? Is that stoned? I think he's on his voice thing. I don't know what's going on, darling. I can hear you in like the very distant. All right. Can you hear me now? Oh, thank God. Hi. <laughs> um, you there? This is your crown stoned. Okay. He's having a, a, a malfunction. It's okay. Take time. Difficulty. I'm going to put Grandmummy Annie, oh, wrong one. Grandmummy Annie, it's okay, Stone, take your time. I'm going to put Grandmummy Annie on big so she can show you, present her with her crown that she's made for you. I love it. I fucking love it, Grandmummy Annie. Oh, yeah. oh sorry, Queen Latrine. I love it. Well, Stone said he wanted something weird and he wanted a washing machine on his head. But, hey, we can do that. 
Yeah, and, and uh, how, did we, how did we come up with the washing machine again? I can't even remember. That's what Storm said. He'd, he said he'd like a, a crown, like with a, with a washing machine on his head. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so it's done. She said, I got you. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> Okay, sip it on fire. I know that in some and of the places. This is just a coronation crown. I don't know that. Oh, now. The kings have crowns for different occasions. Yeah, I can hear you sound. Yes, and this is his coronation crown. <laughs> Take right. it for a spin. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Um, you, are you sorted now, Stone? You there? I think so. I, 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 I don't know. This thing fucking might blow up in like five seconds. Like what I'm having right now. Okay, so Stone, did you? We just spoke about Widow. I, I thought I'd start with Widow Wonderland because obviously, you know, some people, you know, we've got some new characters. Uh, did you want to do before we, we we pop into the whole PDD stuff? Because some stuff I I want to show. Did you want to do a quick subject? Because I because you didn't get back to me earlier. I uh, yeah, I know, and I attempted to look up some stuff. And I did look up a couple of little interesting things, but we could talk about those. They're like really short. So yeah, one of them was something to do with London, actually, or England. Um, so the fuck now I can't remember the name of the project. The Pegasus project. I think it was the Pegasus project. <laughs> so it consisted of Joseph Kennedy was the older Kennedy, uh, and he was a pilot for the military. This is actually how he died. Really sad. So they took an airplane, and they outfitted it to look like a bomber airplane, but they emptied it out and filled it with explosives and then had him flying it with no roof on it. And he was in a squadron of six other airplanes, and when he got over a certain point, he was going to jump out and it was going to be remotely controlled by another pilot in one of the other airplanes, and he was going to jump out to safety, and they were going to fly this airplane filled with uh, one ton of explosives into their point of where they thought they were hiding weaponry. Um, the really sad thing is, though, the day before all of this happened, all of their weaponry that was in those woods was already dropped. But there was no need for this to happen. They didn't know so they went along with the plan. But in outfitting the airplane with the one ton of explosives, they ended up accidentally crossing the wire. And as soon as they attempted to put the controls with the remote control, the airplane detonated. So one minute after Joseph Kennedy got to go onto the Quadron radio and announce success, you know. He was getting ready to jump. The airplane exploded in midair. Run alive himself, but it was unnecessary because all of the ammunition that he was going to bomb initially was blown up the day before, and they just not found out. So it's really crazy. And that was one of the Kennedys. It's almost strange, like it might have been a setup. Wow. Uh, in England. Um. Yeah. Something about England. I watched it really quick to have a subject. Wasn't he in England when the when when the, the plane crashed and he died? Oh, maybe that's that's why. I don't think it happened in America. I think he was in England when he died. Maybe that we're talking about. But what I don't understand, Stone Sweet, is why was there like um a plane full of explosives? Was it like a this mission? During the war. This was during the war. Yeah. They were going to bomb where they were. Uh, they were storing ammunition, right? But unfortunately, they never got to because their plane exploded midair. Oh, wow! And which one of the who was this again? Which one of the Kennedys? Joseph, Joseph, the first, the first, the first son. Yeah. He was supposed to take over the Kennedy Empire. Yeah, he was on oh. the. So do you think that there was something suspicious going on? Did this plane go down in England? The next was JFK, and then Robert, and then Teddy. 
Right. Oh, there it goes, yeah. The explosive ignited prematurely, killing Willie and Kennedy. The wreckage landed near the village of Lightburg in Suffolk, England. Yep, Suffolk, England. Two minutes later, before both men were able to object eject from the airplane, the explosives ignited prematurely, killing Willie and Kennedy. The wreckage landed near the village in Blagsburg in Suffolk, England. The cause of the explosion was never discovered. Wow. Wow. Almost sounds like a hint, though. Almost. Can, quickly, can one of my mods just drop Mr. Rainbow's link? Um, I, I really support Mr. Rainbow. Is Mr. Rainbow started his channel, yeah. and he's got some really incredible subjects going on in his sub in his um in his channel. And uh, I love his subjects, and and I I love his concept. So can somebody please drop Mr. Rainbow's it. link, and uh, you know, guys, sub up. Um, he he he's doing really really well, and I fully support him. So okay, well, I'm gonna drop down. The Queen Latrine will see you all in season two. Queen Latrine, time but bye bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> she was like getting ready for like Queen Latrine got ready for the panel stone, and she showed the hat that she's made, and it's got these incredible bird feathers on it. <clears throat> oh, nice. And then she's got an egg, uh, as well as a washing machine in it, and in the egg. W was Dory <laughs> and what else was in the egg? And an egg, a miniature washing machine, uh -huh. and a pawn crown with feathers. Yes, and it's also got high vis. Hey, Steve, love the hair. Thank you, Steve. It's looking a bit nuts today, but that's because I woke up late. So I was like, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, and it's got uh, Wiccan. Anything else has it got in it? It's got eyelashes <laughs> um, Wiccan Voodoo's not blocked she's not? no oh okay I don't think so not that I'm aware of okay I tell her to type in chat I, I, I'm not aware that she's blocked I keep getting some really weird notifications from my emails and they're popping up literally every second saying credentials needed for an email has anyone ever had like that kind i don't know it, it's like literally it is every 10 seconds i'm getting this um like these notifications like credentials needed for one of my emails i'm like hmm. anyway shall we start the subject stone or did you want to take talk more about you know your subject because um do you think that that was um a fascination rather than just an accident I kind of do, just because it was the Kennedy, and all of the other Kennedys were pretty much assassinated as well, including the other brother in a very similar way, where they were in an airplane, but it wasn't a military airplane, and another brother died in a very similar fashion, but he was a pilot, and he ended up crashing his plane because he had a broken foot. I think we, we had a whole episode on it. On Stone But Not Alone, where we went in depth, how we thought it was very suspicious that he was such a skilled pilot on such a very relative flight in his own, own Cessna that he had flown before, and for him to wreck in such a weird, strange way without announcing or calling out the FFA with uh, flight plans. And then he died in a very similar fashion. Then his other brother gets assassinated while being a president. It was just all of them died under very, very suspicious circumstances. And the whole scenario with the government being behind the implement of destroying the weapons the day before and then also being the ones behind putting him on a mission to put him in an airplane strapped with one ton of explosives the next day for the same shit that they blew up the day before. It just sounds, it doesn't sound right to me. And, 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 well, no, it doesn't sound right to me. Why do you think they, they assassinated the entire family? Money and power. Kennedy's held incredible sway with the people. At that time, Kennedy's could walk on water in most of the people's eyes. And on top of that, they had a lot of money. 
which means they were a huge threat to all of the other powers that the that were all competing for that same power and weapon. So they saw the easy way out is eliminate the strongest player, kind of is what I think they were doing. Yeah, but to get rid of all of them, like I, I can understand. Well, no, I can't understand. You know, I, I, they got the president right, mm -hmm. but to get all of them. Well, so when they took out the president, right, the brother was already in politics. He was a given to go straight in towards taking his brother's role, and with the sympathy factor of his brother just being assassinated and being a left president. He was a guarantor. It was like no question of whether or not he was going to win the election. It was just when he was going to win the election. So, yeah, if that same person thought it was important enough to assassinate the brother because they didn't want him to have power, I would think they would do the same things to the other person that were guarantor to take that same seat. I mean, how many brothers are, were there? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I find out because I don't know. I know three at least. How many Kennedy brothers were there? The Kennedy family, including the parents, Joseph P. Kennedy, the Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy, and the eight brothers and sisters and their spouses. So eight of them. Were they all got assassinated? I don't know about all of them. I only know a couple of the stories. Who are the nine Kennedy siblings? Joseph P. Kennedy, Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy, Joseph P. Kennedy Jr., Rosemary Kennedy, Kathleen Kennedy, Uranus Kennedy Shriver, R. Sergeant Shriver Kennedy, Patricia Kennedy Lawford. So it looks like they assassinated all the men. Wow, that's just insane. I bet the, the women were terrified, thinking that they were going to be next. I'm sure. So they assassinated all, all, all the sons? All the boys. <laughs> Actually, I think I don't think any of the males made it. Let me see. Did any of the Kennedy male siblings survive? Last Kennedy sibling, death ends. Jean Kennedy knows the girl. Did all of the male Kennedys get assassinated? According to history today, the two Kennedy brothers were assassinated within five years of each other. Robert Francis Kennedy was 42 when he was shot down in Los Angeles. The seventh child of his family and the great grandson of Irish immigrants in the previous century he would succeed his brother John F. as leader of the dynasty. John F. was assassinated too. So they talk about the other two brothers being shot down. Then the other two brothers died in very mysterious plane crashes. <laughs> they, all, they got all of them. That's insane. I mean, I, I, were any of the... They got the Robert, they got John, they got Joseph, and Joseph Jr., I think. Wow. I think and Joseph any... Sr. was the one in the Cessna. Joseph Sr. was the one that died in the war. Were any of the assassinations um, resolved, or was it still like... Well, two of them, like, they, oh, I don't know if they ever caught the people, but they, they considered two of them assassinations. The other ones they consider plane crashes, and one was an accident, military accident. Yeah, right. Okay. Hey, Trish. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, look, the, 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 actually, this kind of blends well with the subject at hand tonight as well, with the whole P. Diddy thing. I mean, the corruption that, that's going on, you know, it, like with the, you know, like you just said, with all the Kennedy brothers, why weren't people saying, well, hang on a minute, this doesn't sound right. Aaron, are you all right there, darling? Yeah, sorry about that. Like I, I hit stream to my audience too, and like uh, it made it took me way out of here, made me log into Streamyard and all this other craziness. And I, I, I didn't know I was going to do all that. <laughs> and today you are an elf. Um, could be. I, I'm not really sure what I am. I, I was just testing this out, really, honestly. I was thinking of a 
going back to normal soon. Estra, I can see yeah. you in the back. Did you want to turn your camera off before you come up? Or do you, are you all right? You're all right. Okay, no worries. Hello. Hi, thanks for asking. I wasn't trying to take over. I'm Aaron's friend. He brought me over. No, no, you're Sorry, good. Guys. You're good. Hello, <laughs> welcome. Hi. What do you think, what do you think about the Kennedy assassination, guys, all of you? You know, all the brothers before, you know, we go. Yeah, did it. CIA. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's too much evidence to, that that proves it. I, there's no hands, ifs, or buts about it. They did it. Earth constructed. It feels like it. To me, George though, like Bush, it just uh, feels like a part of a distraction. This is all. Pretty sure Bush right? signed off on it. Like his father uh, or grandfather. I don't remember which one was it at the time. I think it was, was head of the CIA. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if it was Prescott Bush or. Hang on, guys. I, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just, I've just got to deal with some stuff with family. I don't even know why I'm being messaged now at half, like twenty to five in the morning. Stone, I can you might hear it. Yeah. Drop kick him in yeah. the tooth. Yeah, when well, it's complex. <laughs> <laughs> um, just be like, it's too late for that. I'm sleeping. So, Aaron, have, have are you familiar with all of the? Tales of the the brothers, so the two assassinations that were considered assassinations, and the two very suspicious plane crashes. Somewhat, yes, and uh, I I'm also aware that uh, the the living one was warned not to uh, go on one of the trips, wasn't he? Like I'm RFK Jr. Sure. Or oh yeah. Like that. I, I thought he said something about being warned not to go on some kind of flight at some other point in. I, I don't know. Wait, is that the one that had the broken foot in his own Cessna plane that crashed? Like, um, no, oh. I'm talking about the one that uh, was running for president or something. Like he, oh. he was supposed to be on one of those planes, I think, too, and didn't. Oh, I didn't know that. He was talking about it. He, like he is fully aware that that the CIA did it. Like he's stated yeah. pretty much that anyway. Oh yeah, well the CIA kind of told him That's so. There's but not a how lot do we not know? Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. There's just not a lot of organizations that could pull that off. You're talking about fucking with the FDA, you know, flight plans, military operations, um, local ground forces being at your, your local police departments and other judicial systems that you would have to have somewhat control of to manipulate and facilitate these two plane crashes. Not so much on the two assassination attempts, but on the two plane crashes, absolutely. It's just there's not a lot of organizations out there that can facilitate that other than the CIA. And and no doubt, but do you think that like it's not all a show to begin with? Like it was all staged. Even even our sweet JFK that we would want to have this idea that like right he wouldn't be capable of leading people in that falsehood. But is it not potentially like he he was a paid actor in every sense of the way? And we talk about that with all these characters, right? Like, that's the only reason I bring it up. Like, and um, like this for me coincides with Operation North Woods, right? It's this CIA operation that directly coincides with something that actually went down. And it's sort of like, you, you want to be like, oh my God, you know, this is all the answers. Like, this is my proof. But really, it's, are we not just being, right, thrown into the shovel and being, yeah, manipulated? I think it's all a show. I agree. Me I really too. Me too. Two, the two political parties are very simple. You have one person, and nobody's going to listen to that person because that person is a dictator. So what do you have to do? Boss, same you, as the old boss. The people. you take two of those people, you rise them up into power, and you give them everything they want. You tell them, okay, now you do whatever the fuck I tell you to do. Now these two heroes that have risen from the ashes of both of these two normal conglomerates of people and risen into the status of who they are are now going to do whatever this man tells you. And then you have a whole bunch of people that say, well, I think he's the better one. No, I think he's the better one. Then you tell these two people to say, I want you to have opposing arguments. And I want you to take arguments from the people. We're not going to fulfill any of that shit. But we're going to convince all the people to vote for one of you guys. And when they have the manipulation or the thought that they actually have control over what the fuck is going off, because they have a person that has a voice for their people that's actually just manipulated and controlled by a Congress that's manipulated and controlled by one organization, which is 
the one percent of the nation that actually hold yeah. all the fucking wealth, the Rothschilds, the Kennedys, the fucking Clintons. So these people come yeah, in. Who was Trump's who was Trump's number one uh guy, Wilbur Ross, right? Who was who was he before that? The executive assistant to it was either the Rothschilds or the, I think it was the Rockefellers. Right. Yeah. Okay, and then and and the um the Clinton Foundation. So one of my favorite topics is the Malheur Refuge takeover in Oregon, because that's where I live. And I love Central Oregon's like one of my favorite places. This is a very remote area. No, most people don't realize that there's a uranium source here. And the Clintons were actually trying to procure land. And this became a competition between the BLM and um and you know the the people who had owned the land for a long time, um, mm -hmm. trying to figure out ways to like hold them accountable and take over their own land. So there's like, I could get into this. If you know the story, it has to do with like them uh, accidentally starting a fire and it, they have grazing rights. This gets into the Bundy's. Do you know the Bundy story out of Texas with the BLM land? Okay. Mm -hmm. See, sorry. Cause like this is, could get a little, <laughs> regardless what I'm trying to get at is the, <laughs> the uranium in this situation connects to Trump. Trump was held accountable because he wouldn't acknowledge these troops that died in Niger, Africa during his reign. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make it sound like that. And <laughs> more or less, uh, what's if you understand where Niger, Africa is, it's actually one of the number one resources for uranium in the world. So Uranium One with Russia is connected to the Clinton Foundation and Trump. And Wilbur Ross kind of, you know, helps us see that because obviously that, yeah, it's all dirty. And it's all yeah, it's no coincidence Sorry, every U.S. president, but one was related by a common ancestor either. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It all stems back to the original money. So the Rothschilds and the fucking Rockefellers made all of their money in cattle and railroad profiteering once they opened up a bank market because they already had all the money from that avenue oh dude it stems back all the way to about. the anunnaki man well oh yeah well, i believe the anunnaki talking too, but we're talking about with just the direct reset yeah. and how they've taken over and taken control of the manipulation of the masses by media money and the imitation they've of been doing it for money well over two thousand years point. Well, well, no, see, that goes back to the Anunnaki making us think that they were our gods and they artificially created us. No, no, hold on. We're here. The, and um, and I'm going to butcher. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher this name. I always do, but uh, Quetzalcoatl, please. I know. Quetzalcoatl. Qu ah, Quetzalcoatl. If you listen to the lore on this guy, it's like he's an Iranian guy. He comes with like fair skinned and red hair. And uh, is it blue eyes, right? Or is it blue green eyes? Something like that. And so this is like that whole Nephilim, which connects to the Bible and all the stories that can, right? So that's the only thing. And I was just showing pictures because this is like a very like near and dear topic. I moved to the West Coast and have really been heavily into that, like, they talk about the Chinese migrants coming over, right? And practically building this starting from like the mid to 1850s when actuality, there was a Russian settlement off the coast of California by 1812. And the Russian American company had this huge infiltration way early into the 1700s. They kind of played off like it happened later, but there was just like a mass takeover on the tribes. And that was a huge part of the takeover with the tribes way before a lot of the Americas actually started to, you know, was it like and, Genghis and Khan like the involved Civil War. And then yes, this connects to Genghis Khan. This connects to the Mongolians having migrated and stories of them in the 1700s and 1600s. I maybe it was before that. See, this is Elkman, my friend Elkman and um and hmm. Shem research. See, Coming well, over to the West Coast evidence. of evidence. Sorry, oh. anyway, I'm so I love this topic. Yeah, she <laughs> can trace it all through like history and i can trace it all the way back to the ajiji being left in charge of us as the elites and how they bred with the hebrews and all the way to the ashkenazis and jesuit takeover now like it, it all connects it's crazy so i i happen to believe in the anunnaki creation text and i heavily researched it how we were artificially created with a very similar scientific as what we modernly created in 2020 i think the splicer gene where we were able to artificially splice together dna strands at that point and that's why we have the weird off half chromosome and we're the only creature that hasn't we have an obsession for gold even when we had no use for gold and our gods came from space and they disappeared back into space but what really got me in convincing to the argument was about when we 
created or when we discovered the planet that they were talking about and that it was a factual fucking planet. But then also there's science behind it. Their fucking science in the creation text, which was thousands of years old, was sound. The fucking the science said it was sound as fuck. It was rock solid using artificial gold to make a artificial uh, fucking atmosphere for the planet to reflect 90% of the UV. All that shit is fucking sound. And I'm like, oh yeah, there's something here. And you know, do, yeah, you, know about, wait, wait, do, do you know about the somatics and churches and the shapes of the, of the stained glass windows representing the vibrational formations when you take like Hertz, you take like a certain sound frequency. You, if you took sand on a flat platform and you vibrated it, it would create a shape, right? And they've done mm -hmm. this with water as well. And, and it, it represents, thank you, yeah. yeah. And it represents these window shapes in the in these churches. Yeah. So they're understanding this healing frequency, right? Beautiful. We Beautiful. talk about the golden ratio and sacred geometry on here. We've had a couple episodes on that. I love that shit. It's replicated yeah, throughout nature in almost everything. Yes. Yes, so okay. obviously, like the Fibonacci sequence. Yep. yep. Right. right. Have you heard of the Atrahasis? That that was the name of the uh, leader of the the Ajiji. That that were the know. original workers. Well, uh, Atrahasis was the name of their leader, and uh, um, there was a big book written by him that combined with the Epic of Gilgamesh, or like the mm -hmm. two compendiums uh, that start the story. But all of it's related back to then, and, and the Stockholm syndrome that. Uh, everyone has for Yahweh today. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Ooh, it, it all relates back to that. See, I've, I've heard about the, or I've read the Epic of Gilgamesh, but I haven't heard of the Gigi one. The Gigi, yeah, they were the original workers that the uh, Anunnaki supposedly brought here, right? And they were the long scald, uh, the long scald beings. They're half uh, Anunnaki or Elohim, whatever you want to call them. And uh, they were half um, whatever they had already on the planet that the Anunnaki come from. So they brought them here. They were like the chosen oh. people, the workers for the Anunnaki, but they led a revolt with their leader, Atrahasis. All right. And Atrahasis wrote this big book t chronicling the war between them and the Anunnaki and us who helped to all this other stuff. It's pretty neat. But uh, like, see, I know. Well, basically, they have no shit. I've never heard this part of the story. I have only ever heard the other part where they came here. I thought they were mining the gold, got bored of that shit. Like, hey, let's make the monkeys do it. Well, no, it it's turns cold. out um, well, Aaron knows they, Aaron they knows can't. So they can't do starch. Yeah, this is my this is my jam right here. I I started off uh, studying the Elohim and like I ended up getting a doctorate in religious science because of it because um which encompasses uh like basically the abilities that humans have beyond what you know we are aware of and mm -hmm. it led me down a rabbit hole of like all the world religions ancient history ancient religion like all of it and, and it yeah. all goes back to that point and um the my biggest What's uh, your favorite ancient religion because i do the same thing i like i'm covered in ancient well, religious texts i have tibetan i have egyptian i have Aztec, I have Celtic. I've, I've studied oh, see, a lot of it. Religion. Apparently, didn't nice. start off as religion. It all branches from the symbol of the cross, which was actually the symbol that was used to um, show the seeds of knowledge being passed down from Enki to Zia Sudra, which is the figure for Noah, which they're figuring is about forty thousand years old, and it, his is name wasn't Noah. Was Zia Sudra. At this point, pardon. Are you talking about the hooked cross at this point? The older no, just just, just um, it cross? started off um basically with uh, what the about iron the cross. Onk, that was like the, the original. Versus the cross, just because of oh, the onk is supposed to be the symboling of the sun. The onk right? was actually way later that's too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that's, hey, that's after everything moon, turned into a religion. Re yeah. So, so the sun versus moon is our, like our original representations, is it not? So this one. Well. Um, yeah. just recent discoveries in, in what people have been putting together, like Matthew LaCroix, Billy Carson, um, uh, other people, they're actually doing a documentary later this year to prove these, uh, um, these possibilities, um, which they, they get really in depth with, but supposedly they, they found links to, um, the original cross, which was like, uh, in the form of like what the Templars used and what was used everywhere, what the uh, the Catholic Church still uses, but they're trying to push this whole like uh, you know your That's average you know Christian cross. cross the they don't cross. use that for a reason. You see the the mm -hmm. pyramids are to represent the cross. Um, the uh, in South America you got the step pyramids representing it, and mm -hmm. uh, also um, you'll see like these things that look like um, kind of like a diamond, but it's stepped 
on the top and bottom representing the above and below, but it all yeah. is different versions of the symbolizing of the cross, which was Enki passing the seeds of knowledge to Zia Sudra and Zia Sudra landing in Mount Ararat in Armenia, which is, um, they basically build a city around right. Lake Van in Turkey. Uh, that's where and, they and, blew uh, the Ozark is. Oh, it, it actually existed. They um they don't talk about it in the mainstream, but in I think it was a uh, nineteen seventy something or thirty something. You, I don't remember. Which, about but they cross, actually found but... the city that no, uh, just the the equilateral cross. Like so you're talking about the, the normal crucifixion. What what the swastika was made from? Like all of it. It's all well, different. The swastika. Okay, the, swastika. The, <laughs> um, the swastika is a much ancient and much more ancient Tibetan symbol. And it's actually very sacred to Tibetan monks. And it's it, it all comes from the same source. Though. I was going to say, do you know that it's symbolizing this ease of knowledge cross. being passed to man yes. after extinction level events? That, but, that's but what that cross originally symbolized. The Christianity cross. And there was a separation. I, I know. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say that. There was a separation in from the cook cross. There was a movement yeah, in yes, India. And that had like the temples that are built in India are newer than a lot of the other ancient structures. However, if you, I could pull an image up right now and I, Mel's up preoccupied, so I'll do that later. I can show <laughs> you that this symbology exists, has existed in every single Colombia, Peru, China, oh, yeah. India, Greek, right? Like the, especially with the two handed, this is snake, the snake aspect. And so this is mm -hmm. going to connect to the double helix DNA, which ultimately yeah. does connect to the cross. Correct. So this mm -hmm. is our person. This is our creation. And this is that whole, I mean, you have to acknowledge the aspect of the chakras and that ex I'm not, I'm not right, a big, about like the Kundalini not, and stuff like, right? Uh, well, of course, I do. I'm a big, mm -hmm. uh, actually advocate. <laughs> Shut up. Aaron. Yeah. I, I'm a Reiki I'm master. Like and I've done energy work forever too. Bringing this up uh -huh. on somebody else's show. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually flow show. Anyway, I made this, we made that like a whole thing about it, but regardless, um, I am, I am. And I have done that. I've done the 30 days. Like it's not that difficult guys. Um, but also, I, have a I do realize that makes that easy to say. <laughs> Flo put me in backstage when I was trying to explain like a Kundalini like exercise where you uh, clench your anus and you hold your breath and you visualize the purple energy hey, going up your spine. You know the difference? Do you? Sorry, females. Huh? And, oh God, we're gonna. Uh, you were talking. Aaron and I so conversation last night. I'm gonna get hey, real personal. It, it's, it's how you uh like store up <laughs> um, like sexual energy, and, and and that's the main thing. Like the whole yeah. uh, the yeah. whole um like basically one of those those seeds of knowledge is to um basically like you know how they're always saying uh uh the Kabbalah, Kabbalah the tree of life uh that yeah. basically um represents the 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 different uh, energy centers in your body, and the whole thing about finding God that that portion in the middle that's whenever you basically save your seed that that's the whole like uh that that's the whole like um meaning of uh i forget what it is but it all ties back to the whole meaning of jesus and his story and all that stuff i watched like, that same documentary they even showed it's the symbol of santa claus coming up and down the chimney they went through all the different symbols no, um, <laughs> i actually i actually learned that specific example on um what's his name uh the guy that the guy that's got the really weird Robert Sepper. Yeah, I think he's, oh, I he's got a good Robert one. Oh, yeah, it's one of his awesome. recent ones. And at the intros of all of his, I watch almost all of them. So at the intros of all his videos, it's always classical music of fucking awesome ass rock songs. Robert Sepper is a fucking badass. Yeah. He, he's a little weird, but I like wait, wait. him. He's okay, got sorry, Corbett, Corbett, I got to put a plug here. Okay. My friend, Shem Jacobs, he's known as Tartarian Truth. And he likes Sepper, but he <laughs> he does parodies, and he did a parody of Sepper, and like his intro videos are classic. Some of them are a little douchey, okay, right? Like, come on, he's like, "Yo, look at me in a go car, like right across this park lawn, like it's so cool." And then they're awkward, like where they say, "You're eating with like the camera, and he's like doing these like little. And my friend, he does a beautiful job of doing this like really weird slow mo, like kind of robotic, <laughs> and like a close up where he's like, <laughs> "It's so funny." It's so funny. <laughs> I'll share it sometime. I'll come back over and share it sometime. 
I, w- I would like Mal to come back though, because I, I I was all excited to meet her. That's all I'm saying. That's the only reason I want her back. <laughs> Mal. And I no I guys, actually, I'm having a good time with you. I'm having a good time with you. But yeah, anyway. Like, <laughs> I actually forgot the chat was there. I'm sorry, guys. I, I had it. Yeah, I'm having such a chat. good time. I forgot as well. Like I really am. I mean, I wasn't trying to. I realized I threw that in there, and I wasn't trying to deter. Oh, she's in <laughs> yeah. the chat. Nice. I actually had to shave earlier because uh, I was doing uh, in hell. I'll be in good company. Uh, um, I did a, a cover and I was doing a music video for it. So I was all dressed all like half cowboy, half Amish earlier. And like, yeah, he sent me a screen. photo. It's pretty. <laughs> wasn't working I, too well well urban cowboy. I was like, look at that urban cowboy. <laughs> oh, I'm still wearing the pants. They're they're black with uh, red rhinestones down the side. Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, are we getting? I don't know what happened. I, I mean, I have at least not on my alien thing. this time, and I have a sombrero somewhere, so I can we can make that happen. But I'll other than that, I'm gonna go. I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go hippie cowboy. That's what I got. No, okay. I'll raise your hippie cowboy. I'll go custom. <laughs> uh uh-uh. Gangster cowboy. I got some copper coil. I, could, I, I got Mexican go. day laborer downstairs, but I'm not going that route this time because it's downstairs. So I will it, take I got that, and I'll raise you a Timothy the, the Enchanter. Timothy the Enchanter. <laughs> oh, oh, I shit. raise you. <laughs> he is bringing out the big guns. Oh, fuck. Yes, I am. Nice, guys. Okay. Nice, guys. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Hold up, what do I got? Uh, okay, I, got I got strings some. and stuff. Old man mm-hmm. Fentora. I forgot Dude, I, I don't have any. Steel. I just have yeah. these. Yeah. I, I can't beat the horns. Like that's the right? that's the ender. You fucking you KO'd me at the end, bro. I can't beat horns. <laughs> that sounded so funny. <laughs> I, don't uh, I can't go goat horns. horns. <laughs> Dude, he's killing with goat horns on and shit. Now I got no. Can't beat like Timothy that. the Enchanter. I'm actually I'm actually triple horns as far as like a. I'll sit there and like. Uh, Aries, Taurus, uh, Ox year. So I'm a triple horns. I'm a I'm Taurus. I'm a bull, so I got two horns, but they're nice. invisible. Taurus. <laughs> oh, so my birthday, this is kind of interesting. My birthday is actually coming up 424. But um, I found out I'm an Aries sun and I'm a moon Taurus. So and actually people, I do I do embody Taurus. Like I'm told I'm a bit on the cusp, but I thought it was interesting because you never, you, I, like, my whole life was like, oh, yeah, you're a Taurus, right? But when you do your Vedic, it's pretty, yeah, it's cool. So, uh, what, were two people just talking at the same time there? Sorry, I think Wigan was talking. I wasn't. Oh, I was just saying I was a Leo. I'm supposedly a Leo rising. Have you done your Vedic before? No. Oh, I could actually do it live, but it takes personal information. So that's the only reason why I probably wouldn't do it live. <laughs> I just said that because you need to know your uh, your location and your time of birth. And then, yeah, I need to know like your full name. And anyway, um, but it, it's really interesting. So it gives you your sun, your moon and your rising sign. And I think it's a little bit better encompassing. I can I'll be put right it back. in the back. Right, I'm really confused. I'm hearing Stone talking, but his mouth isn't moving. I'm hearing Sarah talking at the same time. Oh, I, you yeah. must be muted, Stone. Um, and you can email me. I'm going to put my I'm email. I'm muted. Back. I haven't said a word. Yeah, what the fuck, Aaron? I'm just. Oh, yeah, I, I got like muted? another audio track going in the background. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Am I in your head, Aaron? <laughs> no, I'm hearing like. Ooh. What was said earlier going on in the background, and I don't know what the hell is going on. Oh, okay. I, 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 sorry. <laughs> I, I had the other browser playing where I hit pause earlier, and and I must have hit a button on the on something whenever I was putting this hat on. I was so. I have that effect on people. It's I was so hearing weird. the beginning of the stream and like simultaneously. Wow. And I was like, "Don't make me whip out the voice changer." Uh oh, <laughs> no, please don't, Aaron. Sometimes I can sound like voice- Trump or something. Yeah, some of those voices make me sick to my stomach. <laughs> 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 like this weird no, bowel movement today. happens, right? <laughs> Back away from the car. <laughs> yeah. Like my Sasquatch, like my Sasquatch experience. It's kind of like that. Like it hit at this weird level, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Is that? Sorry. Yeah, I don't mean to get into it, but I did have an. I did. I'm actually glad have you say Sasquatch. 
I'm a, I was trying to talk about it tonight, and everyone's like, what the hell are you trying to talk about? But I, I did have a real experience. Like, was it was say, very yeah. weird. <laughs> and it was, uh, sorry, just to end it. It was vocalizations. Uh, there was like gibberish communication. There was a scream roar, and the roar actually hit me in my gut and, and at the base of my pelvis. Like, it was weird. It was like in the ground. It was the, I can't even... And it lasted like 45 seconds, about 10 yards from us. It was at night, so I couldn't see it, but we were sleeping. And then a herd of coyotes. Uh, and we were by ourselves completely, but flew right past our tent. But it was gibberish speak, and it was uh, Sierra Nevada sounds. Everyone's like super quiet. Anyway, um, it's it's crazy. Like, And I'm not, I'm not making this up. I know you can call me like woo-woo, hocus-pocus, but there's a lot of reputable people who like are finally comfortable telling their stories uh, you know, who would never subscribe to that kind of stuff. So anyway, it's interesting. I'll be so, right back. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Aaron, I got a couple questions for you, bro. Just because you seem uh, like incredibly knowledgeable about, you know, religion, especially since I you got you have a question in the chat too oh, shit, about the season two. Question. Oh, season two. Are people being voted on or how does it work for season two's character? Very, very valid question. Me and Mel are still working out the specific details on gameplay. So as soon as we have that that information figured out, we'll release a post on that because we're really not sure. We're actively figuring out the gameplay as we speak. Um, so what is your favorite religion at all? I, I... I don't really subscribe to any. I, I believe that we're all oh, fractals yeah. of source and uh, that that um, basically we're all God. That's why the Elohim were, uh, were afraid that we would realize our true potential and because we they made us more powerful than them, essentially. That's why they try to dumb us down, I believe. Also, why they say when many of us gather, we can make anything happen, change basically all the rules except for the immutable ones, which would be... Um, all things must seek balance and all things flow like water, basically impermanence of all things. And those are the only two immutable rules, in my opinion, of the, this paradigm. Or that is this, uh, literally my exact same opinion on it that I've said on stream a million times. We were created in God's image. We are creators of our own universe. We have the power of manifestation and unwritten thought of our brain, and we can create and alter the universe in itself. That's what upset the angels. That's why the angels wanted to get overthrown in heaven, because we were given powers that the angels weren't even given, because we were actually created in God's image. Dude. Well, in the interlinear Bible. Huh? I, I was going to say, in the interlinear Bible, it says that, uh, like, starting with Adam or Adamu, um, the head of all the families up until... Um, Noah's son, actually, uh, were all basically test tube babies, you know, of the Elohim and the humans already here. And uh, I, I, so uh, in, in this, that aspect, I, I believe that all again. of us were, every living thing is basically a, a little piece of God, basically, if you want to see it that way. So I, I we just happen to be the ones with uh, um, the most in, in imagination and willpower and determination and, and, emotion the 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 good stuff the willpower to make things happen and well and what is reason. emotion right like we've talked about like this is a big thing for me in resonance frequency so like emotional warfare and that connection so um i think there's a huge play at what we're even observing is actually connected to our emotions i i think it's a big will for or a big battle for our attention so that they can terraform yeah. this realm, whatever this place we're in is, um, to their no, I'll being be right able back. to exist. What's the thing? What's here? Sorry. Go ahead. Hi, Mel. Hi. Sorry, stuff. I'm just yeah. dealing with a lot in the background. I know it's really early in the morning for me. It's five o'clock, but there's oh, just wow. a lot going on. Um, so I, 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 I'm just going to listen because I don't know what you lot were talking about. I was away from my screen. It's all right. You can steer us back to the Diddy thing if you like. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play. Yeah. A couple of, I'm gonna play a couple of clips. Um, just because there's so much with the P Diddy stuff that I overdosed not last night, the night before, on watching documentaries on P Diddy, and there's just so much shit. 
I just find it strange that the the mace, the guy that was in Mo Money Mo Problems video with him, you know, all waving the watches and stuff, he magically disappeared shortly after that video. I've never heard or seen anything of him since. Never been able to find anything about him since. I well, found that strange. Well, there's isn't there like five or eight murders to a link uh, being linked to him? I, I know nothing about him. That's, that's why I was joining the stream. I was wanting to learn. Yeah. Well, I, I, I overdosed on documentaries. There's so much that, you know, when you just, there's too much that it just kind of goes and blurs into this big blob. So obviously yep. there's, yeah, there's some serious accusations with the trafficking um, that have been made of him. Um, and then the charges, I was going to look at some charges. She, Nicole, did you give me... Did you send me a, a um, timestamp with the with the charges? But there's also these links to people disappearing, as in being unalived, right? Including um, Tupac and um, um, Biggie Smalls. That he he was the one involved in their murders too. And I'm like this because it. There was, How right? Yeah, that's a good point. There was that I weird, found, right when all the murders happened and P. Diddy's influence in that, there was like a, and that kind of went under the wayside. It wasn't really addressed. Mm -hmm. Sort of I like found, played off, like, ah, we've resolved. Yeah, so it's a very, very, I forgot about that. I found Diddy very uh, disturbing ever since uh, Get Him to the Greek, where he was petting the fuzzy walls and chasing people down like a madman. Like, I found him disturbing ever since. I don't know. Well, there's other videos coming out of him on like children's shows, I guess. Oh goodness. Um, yeah, showing this really odd, unusual behavior, especially in the beginning of his career. I don't know if it was Disney, but um well, I, P. You Diddy's could probably look it up. Yeah, you could probably like yeah, P. Diddy's early career. You could yeah, because what yeah. happened was is from the and this is all allegedly, guys. So, you know, this is an allegedly story. So he got into uh, a music uh, uh, production really really young and they say it's because he was taken advantage of by his superior and his superior was taken advantage of the person who owns the record label right so it was kind of like um, it kind of started as in he was being abused initially mm -hmm. which is how he got the position that he did in the company so because it's like it's Michael Jackson all over again right I, well, I I, I I don't know. Did Michael Jackson go through? Um, we've got to be really careful with the words. With um, oh, I'm sorry. I no, it was really good with, with the kiddie fiddling kind of stuff. Did Michael Jackson go through that when he was a kiddie? I thought he was just being abused I mean, by. His... I don't know. I think he okay, was. So I, I actually. Well, I dated somebody who's had that experience, and I think we're not actually fully aware. Uh, like with especially with men at actually how common it is and some people are starting to come out with this a little bit more especially men um, yeah especially in the entertainment interest industry so i just want to like point out his i mean is this not potentially connected to uh and i want to be careful by saying this too because i'm very respectful of people's decisions uh but this sort of uh obsession with uh, transmuting yourself to the ultimate extreme like you do you know what, you know what i mean by that you know like no. fully i don't like, know what you mean for women it means like you know a lot of they're doing no yeah <laughs> i'm trying to be i'm trying to be kosher I go for a minute because i got an emergency call but it's only a hot water heater hopefully it won't take that long all right I'll darling i'm here um when you're ready to come back i right, hopefully it shouldn't take that long. i'll be back okay Uh, yeah, what, what, hey, Bay Watcher, hi, sweetheart. It, because the, some of the documentaries I've seen kind of want to, went back right from the beginning of his career, like how it was strange that he was doing a degree at the time. Uh, he was in university because he apparently is a very, very clever person, right? And then he got offered this job. I can't remember which record label it was. Does anybody remember? Def Jam? Was it, that's, that's was it Def Records? Was it Def Jam or, um, like, not who, his who, one, the company that initially who, who started. Was, uh, sorry, name. who was uh who was um Death Row? Said, Death Row. It was it yeah, was that's the one with like, label, yeah. weren't they connect? Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. 
Yes, so he was initially, he went there for work experience while he was at university and then his superior offered him like a vice presidency after an internship, which was unheard of. And that's when the rumour started about him being taken advantage of. Um, and, uh, it, and then he got given his own record label really, really young. Again, yes apparently it was in exchange yes. for favors which if you think about it it's really i mean any all this stuff it doesn't surprise me because this is hollywood this is a hundred percent hollywood this is what happens in hollywood so if people are you know people are shocked i'm like well why are you shocked this has been going on for decades we know it's been going on for decades yeah, right aftermath. Hmm? aftermath yeah i forgot about that label oh is that what it was aftermath I, but yes, he was leopard friend, but Diddy was moved up the ladder really, really unusually quick. And, and it was uh, all related. Yes, yes. Oh man, and there wasn't there like um like with his manager, it was like P. Diddy's manager mm -hmm. was accused of the murder. Wonder if he got pissed off at Tom Green for taking the number one spot on TRL for so long away from uh I, I forget which song he had that was like hairs. floating around <laughs> number one. Yeah, 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 definitely. What Shout up? Out to Max. So, so yeah, so that's how it all kind of started. Um, then, obviously, the latest accusations that, that have been put forward, that doesn't surprise me. You know, we've seen this before. We, we, we've seen all this before. It's like, it's awful, yeah. you know, how Hollywood works but with the accusations of trafficking and all that. And and uh, but it, what I found most interesting, I mean, obviously the accusations of the trafficking are awful. But what I found the most interesting was the connection between these like five or eight. I can't remember if it was five or eight murders that have been committed that he he was supposed to be heavily involved in. And I'm like, that's quite a lot of people to bump off and not have the police question you. But again, the documentaries that I've seen also imply that he's got policemen in his pocket mm. like there's a surprise you know let's watch let me see which one i could show yeah. because i've got to be really really careful because you know i'm i don't want to go black screen <laughs> oh by the way guys if you want to see popcorn i quite like this channel i don't know if you've heard of it popcorn planet i like um, it too yeah and they do quite good coverage oh, as well oh, oh. They do good coverage. I don't know whether I'm not going to show his stuff because he may be copyright. I don't know. He's got almost a million subs. So, Ooh. yeah, he's uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, Andy Signor, he 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 does cover all this kind of stuff. So if you want to check out some of his video, um, please do. I think it's a great channel, and I you know I, I watched them during the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial, and they did really really well. So. If you want to watch some more stuff to do with P. Diddy, they, they've got quite a lot of good stuff on. So let's have a look and watch some of the stuff that I've got here because there's lots of links. Nicole, is it possible if we can get maybe a screenshot of the if, of the court documents with the charges, if that's possible, or if anybody else has got the screenshot of the court documents, that'd be great. Rather than go try and go through other people's lives and finding it, if anybody can send me... Yes, Leopard Print. Popcorn Planet was great during the trial. I watched them, and I also watched Emily D. Baker, who's a lawyer, and she's got a great channel too. So definitely go and check those two people out. Actually, if any of the mods can link, can put Popcorn Planet's link in, and Emily D. Baker, they yeah. do great coverage. Yeah, they do really good coverage. So let's have a look. Um so I've got this one. It says Beyonce, Beyonce runs after she and JLo are nominated and named in, in Diddy's Rico case. So before we do that, does anybody know much about, I mean, I know JLo apparently was supposed to have snuck in the pew pew for P. Diddy. Hmm. I know, Nicole, there's so many charges. I, I, I've tried to find, like, if anybody can get me a screenshot of the charges rather than me going through all the lies, that'd be great. Um, so let's have a quick look at this one. Hang on. Does anybody know, like, or have any opinions of J Lo and um, Beyonce? <laughs> Anyone? I don't know. I, I just figure there's a lot better thing or ways to get away for with uh, something involving unaliving than having to sneak a gun in somewhere. 
that's ridiculous if they want to get away with it anyway. I I just think that this is like hopefully it's investigated correctly and not swept under the carpet. I really hope that it's investigated because I think this is like a minefield ready to explode. I, I do. I think this is a minefield of what he's involved in. And he should. I actually, I actually always thought um, he was the cowardly douche of all the, the guys he hung out with. I, I didn't expect any of this for real. Really? There's, there was a yeah. documentary that started to expose this and it was right around the time or I, probably with, like Feldman was like the nineties when he was trying to expose <laughs> Uh, but in the 80s, and it was the late 80s, there was a documentary out. It was called Boys for Sale. And you can look it up on YouTube, but it was taken off uh, mainstream uh, TV. Obviously, this is the 80s. There were police officers involved with uh, politicians of all kinds, at a local level and a bigger level. And they took it to their hierarchs, and they were told to just hold on. It'll be taken care of, and nothing was done. And then that that's what I'm saying. So this has been going on for so long, and it's and it's creepier, I think, than now. What I'm wondering too, to be honest, um, I'll be right back because I have to do so. I have to actually go to the bathroom really quick. But I want to talk about a little bit about uh, if you're open to it. I have a bit of a, a medical. I I have a medical background, but I was associated with somebody who had this very interesting field associated with what this is so it makes me wonder if this isn't programming um also my career background could indicate that because it's like connected to eeg like brain activity and the manipulation on that end i apologize yeah. i have to go uh use the toilet super quick and i will be right back snoop also in interviews snoop also like i know that there's been a beef with 50 cents because 50 cents has been trying to point out some of the shit that P Diddy has been up to, but um, like Sarah, is it Sarah? Is that is it pronounced Sarah? Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah, Esra yeah. or Sarah? It doesn't matter. Yes, yeah, so, you know, I don't understand. The, the one thing that I don't understand is that you know, having watched these millions of documentaries, this is stuff like she said that's been going on for decades. This has been going on for decades. People have been trying to expose him, and yet it's all brushed under the carpet. And I'm like, what the actual fuck? Is he that powerful and influential that he's above the law? You see, I, I hadn't really uh, focused on this. I'm usually into a lot of the conspiracy sort of things, like just not so much the mainstream stuff. Like, I don't know. Um, I, I was probably looking more into Chester and Bennington's death, uh, something like that at the time when this was uh, bigger in the past, I guess. I don't know. Depending on what no. time when it was, I don't know. This would have been the nineties, right? The deaths were in the nineties. Hmm. I, I I I was unaware. I don't know. Let's watch some stuff because there's so much stuff out there at the moment. You know, I I I, I, I and there's so much of it that I, I I inundated my brain with it the other night. To the point where my brain just went in enough's enough because there's just so much there and we i i want to try if we can and, and and sift through any bullshit and try and get to the facts but it's hard because i don't have the court documents right now it's in a six and a half hour live which i don't really want to skim through um so i'm kind of hoping somebody will send me a, 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 a screenshot of the court documents but let's see what this one says because i've got so many tabs open hang on as part of these Diddy lawsuits, right? Actress singer Jennifer Lopez, who was in The Navigator when it was stopped by police. Do you guys know that this Versace dress was born as a distraction from the shooting that J-Lo and Diddy had just previously been involved in right before the 2000 Grammys? It's all Jay-Z. It's all Jay-Z. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all those records together. They both deleted. They shared so much in common. Puffy made her carry his guns into nightclubs and wherever they went. And he threatened her to make her feel like she had to do so. 
Beyonce and J Lo just got dragged into this whole Diddy mess. Yeah, Queen Bey herself and Jenny from the block. You know Diddy's been under a serious spotlight, accused of some heavy stuff. Now apparently Beyonce got roped into this scene by Jay Z, and she's been deep in it ever since. And J Lo, oh, she knew what was up when she was dating Diddy. Now they were just named in Diddy's Rico case, and it's not looking good for any of them. Diddy's. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> It's okay, these dang commercials. Oh, fuck. It's because I keep forgetting to pay my bill. <laughs> been You're feeling good. the heat for months now ever since those accusations came out feds raided his mansions digging up all sorts of dirt but diddy's not going down without a fight no he's striking deals left and right giving up dirt on folks in the industry to save his own skin and beyonce and j-lo they're sweating bullets they're pulling out all the stops to keep their names out of this mess like there's this blind item floating around. guys just quickly i mean how how far do you think that this stretches because Obviously, he Diddy hasn't come out and given any names or anything yet. Do you think this stretch stretches as far as politicians and all that shit? I mean, yeah, with I the because uh, real quick, Panama probably. Papers, Pan and that's all I have to say. Panama Papers. Yeah, it sounds that's like, like a new rabbit the, hole. You, yeah, that's. The, I think that's the money connection to a lot of this. That's my opinion. What the politicians? Uh, yeah, and actors like uh, um, why can't I think of his name all of a sudden? That uh, uh, Ch uh Chang, god damn it, the Channing Tatum. Oh, it's gonna sound racist when I say that. No, no. um, no. <laughs> um, you might think so. Sorry, uh, no, he's um, oriental, he's a kung fu, he's short, he's been like around for a long time. Why can't I think of his name? Jackie <laughs> so Chan. Sorry. Yes, thank you. <laughs> what? Jackie Chan's involved or something? Yeah, he's in the, and there's a bunch of politicians, and uh, this is uh, money that was uh, held overseas. Getting just into Jackie the Chan's whole like one of my heroes. I think these right. guys all connect to Epstein, you guys. Like, if you looked at Epstein's list, these people are all connected. If Hollywood doesn't have some, and who was calling it out? I just said it, Feldman. Sorry, thank you. I'm, I'm uh, doing my. Spire. No, I'm good. Sorry. No, you're good. I'm. I'm just gonna play a bit more because leopard print. I think. Thank you. This is the court document. Thank you, my love. Uh, we'll open that in a bit. I've got so many tabs open. I'm like, huh? <laughs> nice. Until I reinstalled Windows, I had like 230. I don't know if my laptop can handle 230 because my laptop is 130 years old. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's that like it, that's why it's so slow. Um, and actually, even though I've been saying for ages that I'm going to invest in one, which I am, I, I've been meaning to buy one. Um, I haven't got round to it just because my head's always up my ass, but I will, I will get a new one because I've had donations towards it. Thank you, everyone that's donated. So I will buy one very soon. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Oh, fuck, which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> right, that one. Around hinting that J Lo's already freaking out and lawyering up. The A list celebrity, everything in her mind, has hired a lawyer to deal with statements she made to police two decades ago. Apparently, she's spooked about something she spilled to the cops like two decades ago. Remember that club brawl with Diddy back in 99? Yeah, that one. It was like a scene out of a movie drinks flying, money tossed around like confetti, and shots fired, literally. And now she is now smack dab in the middle of Diddy's drama. Seems like J Lo's past is coming back to haunt her cause the feds just announced they're reopening the investigation into that wild incident with Diddy back in 99. Recent documents suggest she helped Diddy tote a gun in her purse and even allegedly pinned the shooting on rapper Shine. So picture this, J-Lo, Diddy, and the whole bad boy crew are living it up at this club in New York. And back in the late 90s, Diddy and J-Lo were the power couple everyone was talking about. Everything's cool until Diddy and Matthew Allen, who everyone called Scar, start beefing over a spilled drink. Next thing you know, shots ring out, people get hurt, it's a whole mess. And now, all these years later, it's all coming 
coming back to haunt them. So after that whole club chaos, J-Lo and Diddy try to make a clean getaway in a 99 Lincoln Navigator. But guess what? They ran a red light and got busted by the cops. And here's where it gets even more insane. They had some shady stuff in the trunk, and yeah, it was stolen goods. So they spent the next 14 hours in a cell, and apparently J-Lo was a mess, crying her eyes out. But here's the kicker. The charges mysteriously disappear after they bail out, and you won't believe who takes the fall for Diddy. Shine. Yeah, he takes the heat, claiming he pulled the trigger that night. Rumor has it, Diddy greased his palms with a cool million to take the fall, promising to take care of his family while he's locked up. February... Ah. Sometimes, the only thing again. more difficult than running a business is... February 2010. That's when the headlines were buzzing about Shine's... Oh. Again, guys, you know, like mysteriously that you did this disappeared and that disappeared and this person took the blame. I mean, um, thank you, Leopard Print. Um, I'm trying to send you more recent ones. Yeah, she sent it. She sent me. The, we'll have a look for the for the for the charges. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I think we're going to be here like this. Me and Stone, we, we thought we'd do one together, so I would be online less but i think there's so much to unravel here but i'm going to be here most of the day <laughs> <laughs> hey resto hi resto um, hello my lovely i hope you had a good sleep um okay so we'll watch a little bit more of this and because like i said there's so much to this that like you lot can make up your own mind and this is how my brain is at the moment like as in there's so much stuff it's busted my my head's all over the place signing a mega deal with Def Jam. Like, we're talking seven figures here. And get this, the whole thing went down through L.A. Reid, the big shot CEO and president of Def Jam back then. Word on the street is, Shine got a cool $1 million as a thank you from Diddy for doing time behind bars. Even a former bad boy entertainment artist spilled the tea on this. In an interview, Mike Curry said Diddy bribed Shine, and that's why he took the fall. All right, so L.A. Reid gave him a $1 million to put out an album, and the album never came out. I knew that when L.A. Reid went to give him that million dollars, that that was Puff giving him the money, but he had to give it to L.A. Reid. They never intended, they never intended on giving him an album. If they would have gave him a million dollars for an album, would we have heard an album? Okay, so what you're saying is this is Puffy's way of paying Shine Off for taking the rap for him. You're very smart. Yeah. But hold up, here's where it gets even juicier. Turns out J-Lo's been sneaking guns into clubs for Diddy for ages. Yeah, you heard that right. And this time, it goes south real quick because somebody catches a bullet in the face. Fast forward to today, and the case is back in the... See, I don't, that's the bit that I don't understand. Why would she... Why would she do that? Good question. I mean, she's huge. She's like a mega star. And I know even back then, when they were a power couple, she was still huge. Why would she do that? It doesn't make no sense. It doesn't well, make no sense. Just is there any chance to cover her ass just in case? Is there any chance this is uh, security based on, you know, some like deeper connection where they can be like, well, we paid you to be this specific actress, this entire portion, whatever, like of her life, even like, hey, like you paid for 20 years to play this character. Oh, Aaron, do the voice, please. Just tell me about the fucking golf shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. We were right in the middle of a fucking My night's complete. We we're right in the middle of a fucking reptile zoo, and someone's giving up all of these damn things. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, my phone's going crazy. Um, it's okay. I could hear it earlier. It's yeah, no, my phone, like, no, oh, listen, yeah, yeah, when I, Sarah, 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 when I'm live, my phone, no one of a lie, will literally ping every 10 seconds, yeah. it's just one of the, and it's not, because I don't mind, because what it is, and that's why I love this community, is a lot of the time, it's the people from this community sending me stuff for yeah. the live, you can so, just take the fucking leeches on hey. it. I actually, I, I can I say something too? Like Aaron, uh, Aaron actually told me about you, and it, it actually had to do with flow because I've been in flow, and I had Aaron come on flows, but he's like, oh yeah, he it redirected me with the the new feature, and so um, he brought me over, and immediately I'm listening to your voice, and I was like, oh, 
like I felt like I felt like soothed <laughs> and I was like oh, there's like you, this Sarah. really good energy coming off of you and it's like yeah, yeah. I really yeah yeah so, I try yeah. I try even like it's I love this community so much like you know the people and my friends like Flo like easy yeah obviously stoned and the and the friendships that we are making within these communities and I, I just love, I love these communities for me. And so, it, 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 and on YouTube, you know, you get a lot of Karens and a lot of dickheads and a lot of um, idiots. Oh my God, I'm yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm so lucky. I really am that I'm making such incredible friendships with their communities and the good people that they have in their communities that I'm just extremely grateful. It sounds yeah. like it. Cool. I am. I'm extremely grateful. I'm extremely grateful for that with the people that surround me that help me with the channel. I, you know, I was accused. It was so funny. Um, a very stupid creator because that this person is very stupid was like, "You're so interested in the people that come to your channel that you have to put it in the intro." And it's like, "Nah, bitch. You're not understanding the concept of my channel. My channel is not about me. My channel is about the people that come." to it right and immediately felt that from you it's not right. you know i don't want to make it about me i'm just the host that pre presents and it's about everybody else and the intro includes people that come to the channel because that's what makes the fucking channel yep yeah, and, it, and this stupid, Beautiful. very stupid person was like, "Oh, all she cares about is who goes to her channel." It's like, no, <laughs> it's about the community. Um, yeah, I'm so not getting that at all. I'm not getting. They're that not part. understanding how I am and how grateful yes. I am to the people that come on my panels that come this to is, my channel. This is resonating with me like a lot right now because I'm actually going through some of my first real hard resistances on the uh, in the panel. Um, I actually was like kind of segregated to one channel for a while, so I didn't know there was like this whole other aspect to it. And I came out and I'm getting like, oh, you know, the accusations and like not understanding who you like uh, guilty by association. That's part of my. Oh, I get that. I get it. Trust me. <laughs> My history, Sarah. You, I, I, I am the queen of knowing what that means. But and I was very, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was very. I was, I was in one community, never went to any other communities, never went and checked anything out. And I, you know, because I was told not to. And now that I've opened my eyes, I've heard and that. I've moved, yeah, yeah. And now that I've opened my eyes and moved on and realized that there really is very nice people on YouTube. And I think we concentrate a lot on right. the bad people. But I, I, I've decided that I don't want to concentrate on the bad people. I want to concentrate on the great people that do come here or to Flows or to Easies or to Stones, you know, whichever one, that, and, and concentrate on them. Nice. So, I just time traveled to the 70s. Huh? I just time traveled to the 70s. Does that mean oh, that you're dressed up again? I could be. Oh, you could be. I like having costumes too. Let's have a look at you, Aaron. Uh, hold on. I, I can't see with this mask on to button my shirt up properly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I'm on like the third <laughs> attempt at buttoning it up. I mean, fully clothed would be preferable preferable oh, because oh, I always oh, tell oh, everybody, oh, if, oh, if you're going to get naked, do it in my backstage. Don't do it on panel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I think we went to that conversation. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> private viewing. I prefer Mel, doing you're private so viewing. You're so classy. You're you are classy. Thank you. Are you. Very... <laughs> uh, I Thank just you. buttoned it wrong again. Maybe I should button from the top down. It's wrong. It feels wrong, but it feels wrong. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, okay, er, me and Aaron are uh, very good friends. But Aaron, please show off your. He shouldn't be afraid to show off his body. He's not in bad shape. And I'm just covered in tattoos. Be I only take backstage viewing, uh, Sarah. I only take backstage. Hey. Nothing for the panel. A everyone not, everyone not that's seen my avatar on YouTube has seen me without a shirt anyway. Oh, okay. Because it's, it's for my, my eyes only. I take that very seriously. Yeah, go ahead and show. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Like my avatar on YouTube regularly is me without a shirt on. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I was going to say, if he's going to do any stripping, it has to be in my backstage. I appreciate I, 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 I hear backstage. I, I yep. 
Yeah. It all go. It all happens backstage. Put him backstage and let him take your shirt off. I'll put you backstage, Aaron. Right. No, it's all right. I just got that. I'm going to put you backstage. It's all good. Okay, do it, Aaron. Like... No, Aaron, do it. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. It's from the 70s. No, no, I'm, I'm This is kidding. actually from the 70s. Hunter though. S. Thompson. Hunter. Yes, Lauren. Boo, lame. <laughs> <laughs> nice. As got... your attorney, I advise you to ruin a very fast car. Well, it's not because I don't want to share. It's because YouTube kind of prevents me <laughs> from sharing. Otherwise, I'd share all my yeah. memories, all you lovely things. <laughs> Sharing is caring and all that, right? <laughs> I, we'll, we'll talk about it in the future. Oh, of course, we can talk about it. Free the nips. <laughs> Free the nips. No, no, that's me. something I haven't got pierced yet. That's one thing I haven't got pierced. People tell me I should. Oh, I don't know about I don't that. Know. I don't know about infection. Yeah, I don't think I would. But, mm. like, I, I mean, I've got other things pierced. But uh, I, I, I probably won't be showing that to you in the back chat. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna play. I mean, I did show my mom like after I got it done, but I was on drugs then, like a lot. I How showed you everybody you that showed I came in contact with for the first like three Wait. days. Oh, I was on some a lot of drugs. <laughs> Aaron, we'll just leave Aaron, you with that. I, so this is kind of my joke because I I'm a I'm a little bit of a tom girl. I'm a little bit of a hiking, like out in the woods kind of lady. So how about we all go get naked, dance under the moonlight, foraging for mushrooms? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 some right here. I don't need a forge. I, I've had mushrooms just sitting here, like telling, going, eat me. About every time <laughs> I sit here, but like they're still sitting there. I don't know how. I used to. Mm -hmm. like, I, no, I have. I had some too. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, um, I, I did it a bit in my college years, like not a lot, but uh, I did bring it back probably 20, you know, 2022. And uh, tested with microdosing, and mostly have only done that. Um, plus, I'm in a state where that's legal, and have actually looked into becoming a facilitator myself, especially with my health care background. I'm just qualified um, to get. But it's really questions. like just sorry, really quick. There's a whole science, especially on the natural aspect of it, re, uh, rewiring your brain activity in your neurons. Um, <laughs> so. There's not, you know, that's why I kind of joke, but I'm like, if you, like, there's some guys lately who have been, there's some, I'm six foot one, Mel. You're so, six foot one? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm a bit You're of a Viking, cool. like, right? Like, I'm a bit of a, you know, so I don't hide that. And again, like, I, I'm really into being outside. And if you look, I'm not trying to, you know, say, hey, look at my channel. I most like there's a good amount of content where it shows my height. Oh, no, no, if you, if you, if because we share. Well, it. actually, I just want to, I want you to know, like, um, I actually am my, I'm planning on putting my, uh, outdoor footage because I live, I live in Oregon in the United States. It's Ooh. the Pacific Northwest. It's like a rainforest. There's, a, I have the coast, I have like a rainforest atmosphere, and I have a high oh. desert. Anyway, what I want to say is that I'm putting my footage up for free, like, you know, for stock footage. And it's it's directly targeted to the community. Aaron knows what I'm talking about. Like, I want to share that yeah. for free for you to use as your own background footage. That's well, what I'm getting at. For free. In, on, in chat, and then we can post your link, and people can sub. And, I can and don't worry. And let me put my email. Oh, I did in the back. I put my email in the back chat. Oh, you so if, yeah, no, I just like I'm I'm real like I actually could tell you all. Me and Aaron are working on a pretty cool project and and it, at some point we could come on and kind of tell you about it not take over and just you know of course lay it out you know i just all i'm saying i think you might be even interested in it yourself but i'm um regardless please reach out to me and i, I again i want to share this is my kind of my thing like i'm i just like i really liked your message right off the bat what you were taught getting into and so I appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, thank well, you. Well, Aaron's like, doing it. <laughs> thank you. Why don't you comment in chat and then we can sub up to your channel and I can have a little look. Yeah. Yourself. yeah? Well, I, I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you. And um, so my background is in healthcare, but I, I heavily moved to, uh, uh, sorry, alternative healthcare. And you'll notice some of my videos uh, reciprocate that. I'm all into alternative healthcare. 
I, I kind of figured. <laughs> I yeah. had a feeling. Yeah, and I'm not really yeah, into yeah. traditional uh, methods. Oh, Wolf, where are you, darling? My little Wolf, there he is. Oh. Hi, oh, my hi. Wolf. Hi, Wolf. Hi, Wolf, have you seen your character that we did for you? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. Um. I, I, once we see this bit, I'll show you because we're kind of going back and forth tonight. Like it's as organized as like I normally am, you know, like which is a mess. But I'll show you, and I, I hope you like it. Uh, <laughs> Did that link go through? I forgot. I'm not a mod. <laughs> no, the link. I, I, I just need Sarah to. Um, are you mindful exposure, Sarah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes, so I got it. All right, <laughs> one of my mods just uh, pop the link in and ask about. Okay, oh, so we're going to watch a little bit more of this. Then I'm going to show Wolf his very scary character for the game. Then we're going to do some more. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if we flip flop. Who cares? I'm a flip flopper. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm literally I'm AUDHD because I have hypermobility, but I, that's my game <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I've have I even life. told you, Mel, that what I do, like, like for a living in my spare time, I'm not taking care of mom. Have I even mentioned that? Like, I didn't know. No, darling, I thought you took care of mama. Well, I, I'm also a Reiki master and teacher, and a third level shaman in the Andean tradition, and I'm actually yeah. qualified for people in Vision Quest stuff like that. And I've helped uh, a shaman and about eight other Reiki masters cure someone's brain cancer. It was my good friends. Yeah. Oh wow! Like he, he was passing out. It was about the size of a grapefruit and inoperable. And like he was a realist and believed in that sort of thing. And um, I got some together with a buddy of mine that actually lived in the Andes and did my training. And um, after two um, head washing ceremonies and on two full moons in one month, um, he uh, it shrank to about the size of a pea and was operable. And he's still alive to this day. Wow. I mean, I'm all into the Reiki. I mean, I don't know if you've heard my stories about what's happened to me while I, I've been, I, I don't even know how you would call it. If you're doing the procedure, on how's, how would you refer to some of that? Like, I had two masters uh, work on me when I had uh, an, ele you know, I elevated out of my body and uh, because they were said that my chakras were too, um, overactive so i needed two to work on me and that's when weird shit happened oh well, wow I, i've mm. never heard of the need for more than one person to work on anyone um like except for i'm extraordinary though like, <laughs> <laughs> i'm an exception um like, so i actually um it's oh i can feel it from your energy already obviously you i can feel you must have transmuted some amazing things and and um do you feel so this really this goes with my education background with the healthcare. Do you feel like for you it had, a, it had a lot to do with your own um understanding potentially with traumas and the storage in your own body? Uh it's, that's an interesting question because at the time I didn't go there for to heal any particular trauma. Um it, it I don't even remember why I first started. It, it, I knew one of the masters because I used to work with him. And he was like, come and check out, you know, our, our shop. And and I can't even remember why I initially decided, yeah, I really want to do that. And um, this guy found my chakras too. They, they were overactive. And he found them too hard. He found it too hard. So he called his master in. And, um, and, and we've had quite a few sessions and this particular time, what happened was when he called his master in, is that, you know, they were doing their thing. And um, I had this out-of-body experience where I, I was looking down on my body. <laughs> it's bizarre. Uh, obviously, I'm face down on the table. No, that, no, I know. No, sorry. This is my jam. Sorry, go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, I, it, it wasn't, when I went to do it, it wasn't to to heal anything i just i don't even know where i went i just thought yeah i'll try it because i'm into all that yeah. kind of stuff you know and um and i had this experience where I, I i could see me looking down on my body which was on the table and uh i was looking down on myself and i was like huh and i just thought just go with it and my nana turned up there because she was unhappy about something and uh 
I don't know. And, and, and there was this energy that I cannot explain. Now, I eventually... Was it like a really good buzz almost? like Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whenever you fly during yep. like lucid dreaming and stuff, it, it's it's about the same yeah, feeling chase, usually. It's it's why you uh you chase uh, that that feeling, right? Um, but I was awake. Um, I wasn't sleeping. I was no no awake. no. I know yeah. no. Um, it, it, so uh, with my experience, so I, I monitored uh, EEG brain activity, and through that experience, I'm watching um, and understanding when you're awake, you can actually manipulate your, it's uh, mostly through meditation. There's other, other forms. Things. There's so many different forms of quote unquote meditation. So when I say that, I want to keep that in mind. Uh, you can actually put yourself in a theta position, which is stage two sleep. Uh, Delta is something I, I can't even explain, but when you're on certain drugs like uh, meth, your brain activity will look like that, but it will have these uh, very sharp spikes. Uh, people with high anxiety will show those sharp spikes. It's all, uh, they call it alpha. They call it alpha intrusion, but there's alpha spikes. And um, it's becoming more and more common. So it was something like when I was doing studies, we had to remove the phones from, from the situation. So what I'm trying to get at too with this is that, um, Oh shit! It just passed me. Yeah. I had a brain fart. Sorry. It's okay. We'll have brain fart. <laughs> no, I found it extremely, um, and and it was it was really weird because I'll give you an example of something which is going to be a bit funny, but it, it's just to show you, like the 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 power of Reiki because it it worked for me, and I remember- Sorry, thank you, yes, yeah, go yes, ahead. That's yes. what so I wanted to come time, back to, yep. Yeah, another time I went in there, and this is gonna sound like a little bit off, but I remember before going to my session, I had a few sessions with my rabbit. So I, I was extremely satisfied, let's say, before I got there. And while this master, and, it, it, and, and don't look at it as inappropriate because it really wasn't inappropriate because I had a relationship with this guy. You know, we were, we were work colleagues and friends. And um, he was like doing... like acupuncturist. Sorry. Yeah. 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 And he was like, Mel, I feel this very high arousal energy and it's, a, it's, 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 I, it's affecting me without it making it sound pervy because it wasn't like that. And uh, he's going, it's affecting me <laughs> physically. And um, I might have to step out and get someone else to do it. But it was just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's honestly, right? It's beautiful, actually. He's like, shit, I can't be your client. Like, I can't, your uh, yeah. Or... <laughs> and it, it made me laugh because I would literally you know just what? finished off mm. my own sesh before I went there. And you know what I wanted to tell you, Mel? This isn't crazy. Uh, I, so I worked for a hospital, and this isn't uh, uncommon, especially on the West Coast. But uh, they hired Reiki practitioners to work in their oncology department. So I, I started my orientation with that person in my class. And it actually influenced me to push on with my own. Um, I was also not aware, but uh, ended up prior to that job connecting with an actual Reiki master. She came in, she was my um, like trainer for, I was a manager for a durable medical equipment company. She comes in and she's supposed to train me on the, on the software and she starts setting up crystals <laughs> around her desk and obsidian and obsidian. If you guys don't know, it absorbs negative energy. It was like one of her number one ones. And, and then, um, and I was a big rock hound at this time. I'd already been all over collecting agates. I'm like, I told you I'm an outdoor girl. So, and so that connection was really interesting because, uh, it just opened up this beautiful part of me that realized I was already doing it. And actually how many of us probably don't realize how we do it on a, on a regular basis. I guarantee like a lot of the people here and having this conversation right now and why I'm feeling the connection with Mel and, and my connection with Aaron for that reason. Right. Like there's, she, do you, I know people can already feel this. It's very strong. Right. Aaron, <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> he knows. I, I was zoned out. I'm, I'm playing this. Uh, oh, was that you? I was oh, like, that was you. Thank you. 
<laughs> I got idle hands. I can't Aaron, help it. Aaron, I was talking about Mel's energy. Like this total oh, yeah. Reiki healing, like it's very strong. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, I was I was told that my my aura was in, but I'm going back because I think my aura has been diminished somewhat over the last couple of few years. But I was told at the time that my aura was enormous, and that's why I was having the Reiki done to try oh, and, to try and get everything back <laughs> and working in the correct working order. <laughs> No, you should tell her about your past life experience. Oh, okay. So I had some color therapy. Initially, the color therapy was supposed to be for my son, but you know, we, we did it for my son, and then uh, we uh, we did it for me. And uh, I can't remember how we got to this point, but I had to this image that just popped up in my brain of and it was a i knew it was a witch and she had really long white hair to her ass and i used to have hair to my ass in my 20s um and she had these piercing blue eyes and she was running she was terrified because and it was going back to old english you know when they used to hunt the witches back and i can't remember the 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 the, the soldiers that were doing it but i could i could see in my head yeah. all this old imagery of this girl being chased and she was terrified she was hiding in the woods i knew she was a witch and anyway this story this entire fucking story just came out of nowhere this is during the color therapy and um she was like that was you in a previous life and actually my hair's standing on end right now she said so, that's a minute mm -hmm. um in the last two years i've had these marks show up on my neck I have to explain this. Uh, I had a friend who committed suicide uh, when I was 16. And I went to the um, parents. I wish I could show this. It's not going to show in the light. Um, I have these very, very distinct marks. So um, he, and this is kind of what is <laughs> making me go, there's the sink. So when he was open casket, they showed, you know, we're walking in and they showed that little section on his neck. I could see it. I could see it in his skin. I could see the rope burn because they, you know, they were insisting open casket because he hung himself. Okay. So that really stuck with me for a very long time. I was 16, right? Uh, I also did experience a lot of other deaths and some suicides, but nothing like that. It's so, weird that you should say that, sorry, quickly, because I had to say ago, when I was 16. Okay. So is this connected to the witch thing? Because for me, it's like, it was like, no. I saw these burns. Okay. Because like, I think for, I, and have you read into the palm and the markings and, and birthmarks? Like, um, yeah, I've got one in my ear. I've, I've got one in my ear, a black one. Mel, look at your birthmarks on your on your arms, even. Like no, I don't have birthmarks on my arms. I've got one in my ear, but not on my arms. Mine's not, on the back not, sorry, arms. not birthmarks. Like, um, like little, almost like freckles, but they're more, you know, yeah, like I've got spots. Freckles in the arms. Spots. Yeah, yeah. And do they make triangles? And do you have it on your arm, on your hand? Do you have multiple no. spots where you have crosses and triangles on your palms? On your palms. Have you read your palms before? Yeah, I've had my my, my palms read several times. Oh, cool. Hmm. And what did they say? That I've got a long life. That there's gonna mm. there was gonna be a break, a health issue at some point. But I've got a long life, and I, oh, I that's really... all they said. Did, did they get into like your inner markings, like where you? Have yeah, yeah. I mean, it was. It's been a while now. Um, thank you. I am. <laughs> no, it's okay. Like I can feel this from you. And I was saying the witch thing. I'm not trying to like. It's not a play on. You know, sorcery, it's a play on witches can be right. Like there's a whole, there's a whole, uh, I think you get what I'm, I'm going at. There's a, there's the a teen very witch long book by Silver Raven yeah. Wolf was yeah. how I got my start on yeah. this whole path. So what I was telling you is I'm pretty sure I was hung. And what I was trying to in, insinuate was it was related to, um, my some sort of witchery and it, it connects with symbolism on my hands symbolism in my freckles like i have perfect shaped triangles it's um and then these markings were what i saw my friend i will not forget it and it's wow. coming two years i'm doing all this work i'm like i'm doing all this lymph 
like I'm like open up your lip like don't let these lines that it's like the cellulite you know if you actually you know manipulate it you can actually help it's like the the facial massage work so you don't need Botox right like you can you I'm gonna look ridiculous guys but if you do certain movements and this goes down to um what I talk about with facial expressions when it comes to expressing your emotions and getting that out, you know, in a, in an appropriate way. But I think this is something, this thing on my neck too, like, like this lack of confidence because of what's kind of showing has something to do maybe with potentially that. When I say past life, by the way, I'm a little bit on a timeline spectrum. So I wonder sometimes if it's like, is it fully past life or is it, Maybe some of this stuff is in the future and we're sort of doing this like, you know, we go back a few years, we come forward, we go back a few years. We, okay. I pre thank you. For, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to express my, uh, my woo woo uh, Thursday. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, I'm all into woo woo. I love all that stuff. I mean, oh, another one of my hate is accused me recently of having plastic surgery. <laughs> Yeah. Because uh, bizarre, fuck off. sorry, no, bizarrely, <laughs> bizarrely, I I do look extremely young for my age, and when I take my makeup off, I look even younger. Um, That's good. That's beautiful. Well, no, he's got blessed, but. You know, yes, I I, I, I don't know whether that's anything to do with but with witchery, but um, I believe witches were healers. Not you know, I know people seem yeah, to like, yes, yeah. So, am I a healer? No, I'm not a healer. But I, I've always thought well of witches. I've always had a good opinion of witches. But it was just insane that you know I'd spilled all this story out during this color therapy and. Um, I am okay. I'm going to be. I say that's not polite. No, it's fine. I don't mind admitting it. I'm actually going to be 49 in um, in June. I'm going to be. I'm going to be 39 in uh, two weeks. Or no, yeah, sorry, I'm like ten oh, years on you. <laughs> and and, and, and look, Mel, look at her. Look at her healer. compared to me. Mel, do you mind me asking June what? Eighth. Oh, my son is June sixth. Yeah, oh look at that, he's a Gemini like me. But no, I am I'm I'm very lucky because even my forehead, I don't have any lines in my forehead. I, I am super lucky and, and I and um I I, I don't know why, because I'm not the healthiest of first people. Um I'm just I consider myself very lucky. I, I, I don't always necessarily do the uh the best things for my myself. I drink, I smoke. Um I smoke and, and, marijuana. Yeah, and so <laughs> <laughs> um, I love you know Gemini's. Know, like there's this uh you can you can just take your finger and you can actually just take your other hand and sort of manipulate the entire and I'm I haven't been consistent so I'm trying to there's this whole and I try to do this with a little bit of cold therapy where I just immerse myself in that if you you can actually stick your face 30 seconds in an ice bowl uh but yep you you can do um, the gui shua, so you're using that quartz stone, or you can do the, where you're like, I did the duck face a little. It's not that. You want to, <laughs> you want you wanna, like, do this, or you're sort of opening your mouth a little bit, but you're, like, extending your cheekbones. It's really, and, and that's why I was doing this, too. If you hold your eyebrow bone, and uh, you don't need to necessarily manipulate your eye, but you're going to take your other hand and manipulate your um, skin on your forehead. And then push it up and manipulate and you will actually get a, uh, an immediate brow lift. So I'm, I'm uh, learning a, a massage. Time? There's so much. What was Sorry, that? Go ahead. Do you do YouTube videos on this stuff? I'm going to be, and I'm going, uh, this is, so I've been in this other career for a long time and I'm going actually into fascia release and massage and Reiki. I've been doing that for a bit, um, but I'm all about uh, energy healing and uh, teaching others how to do like, even just like, mo like Ki Jong does these beautiful motions where you're just actually taking your whole body and sort of doing these big swinging motions. 
going all the way down to the ground. So I, I obviously can't quite show this in the camera, but you can see my hands. So I want you to imagine all the way down to the ground. I'm taking my whole body and then I'm going to come all the way back up and bring my whole body all the way back up. And uh, when you do fascia release and you're doing these momentums and you're doing massage, you're going to take that muscle and that tissue and you're going to separate it a little bit. So you'll see some people even like grab the shoulder and grab those joints and like really move that energy. So this is trauma release. This is like vagus, uh, vagus. <laughs> well, close enough to your pelvic floor and your pelvic junk drawer. Oh and yeah. I do I have some videos. I do have some videos. Yeah. And breathing. You can do this with breathing. Thank you. Can so you much. fix the damage from not doing pelvic floor exercises while you were pregnant? Yes. Oh, good. Truly, and you want to know why? My friend, she's five foot five. Her husband, my be like these are my best friends, six foot seven. Her uterus flipped with their first child because he he came out with linebacker linebacker shoulders. Oh, she shoot. through through massage, they manipulated her uterus back into place. She had they two children. Did that with mom. That. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, it's like. We yeah, no, we're, we're gonna give it the right? like what happened to Diddy? We will go back to Diddy, but today tonight <laughs> I'm allowing no, I'm allowing every like no look, I like a bit of variety, don't worry. I love I love variety because people are like I came here for Diddy and now I'm staying for the healing. <laughs> Maybe I'll do <laughs> some Irish step dancing later. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I, I used to claw <laughs> uh, with the next girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> So we will go back Thank to the you. healing and the weirdness and all that because I'm all about the weirdos. Uh, uh, you know, I love it. Um, what was that, CNA? I'm not bragging. Mel, Mel to... I'll be back. Like, I don't mean to. I sometimes. No, I don't go like, anywhere. Like, Please don't go anywhere. I'm loving the energy. Tonight. No, and I won't. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll come back and we can have uh, other, you know, designated conversations. I, I don't know what this game is, but I like. I, I want to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, and just. I'll tell you. Hold on. Let me show you. Like. So, you know, I'm six foot one. I kind of yeah. like a lumberjack like lady. I'm kind of like a, I'm kind of like a, uh, I don't have super red hair. It's like brown red hair, but I'm just saying like, I'm already like, fuck man, I could be that lumberjack Viking lady. Like I'm six foot one. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you did. Yes, that. you did. You're obviously like, I, I don't think I, I've ever met a That's six foot one cool. lady, but you're like obviously catwalk material because um she's much yeah. taller than me it's craziness i don't mind because I'm, so short, I'm so sure it's like everyone's taller than me anyway um you're too tall enough to get a straight like jaw punch knock me out <laughs> yeah. I, 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 apart from children children aren't smaller than me but i'm I, I, adults are all bigger than me um but yeah let's go Honestly, back to the like I just want yeah, to give you yeah a let's go back right. to Diddy. yeah uh, what well, hang on what are you what have you hey, is you that you Hang on, let me put you. Is that yeah, you? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me as a as your uh, lumberjack lady. That's what I was joking about. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yes, there's like some children, Mel. Uh, most children under the age of eleven are smaller than me. Okay, resto. <laughs> And so a most. lot of my good friends are shorter than me. So I, the, I'm a gentle. I'm a big. Aaron knows this. I'm a gentle giant. It's okay. In 15 more years, you'll be my height. Who? <laughs> me? No, Sarah. And I'm a tree hugger, so you don't have oh, to worry. Tree I, I, I love tree huggers. I love tree Absolutely. huggers. I just want to go out west. Um, you know, I'm all that. about some children. The rest is like some children. Okay, anyway, we'll go back to PDD and then we'll come back to the weirdness and the tree hugging and the witches and the, and I'm sure. <laughs> I love it. And yes, all yes, that yes. stuff, you know? Please, yes, yes. Yes, let's go back to PDD because I've got some court cases too. Um, the court, I mean, the court case files as well. So that's good. Thanks to our lovely um, leopard print. 
spotlight. Authorities are reopening it, and it might have something to do with a lawsuit from Lil Rod, who spilled the beans on Diddy's alleged criminal past. Lil Rod's dropping bombshells left and right in his lawsuit. Violence, threats, even talk of bribing witnesses and jurors in that infamous 99 nightclub shooting with Shine. Jones says he was forced to watch as Diddy displayed his guns and boasted about getting away with shooting people, including in the infamous 1999 New York City nightclub shooting case, for which Diddy was declared innocent of gun possession and bribery charges. Um, and it says Jones claims in the lawsuit, Mr. Combs shared that he was responsible for the shooting in the nightclub in New York City with rapper Shine. He shared that artist, that artist and Mr. Combs' girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Lopez, a.k.a. J-Lo, carried the gun into the club for him and passed him the gun after he got into an altercation with another individual. But wait, there's a twist in the tale. Despite all the heat on Diddy, the mystery surrounding the Club New York shooting is still hanging in the air. Now let's rewind to that crazy night. Imagine Diddy, a.k.a. Puff, living it up, making it rain like there's no tomorrow. But trouble's brewing when Scar, feeling some type of way, starts throwing shade. Words turn into bullets, chaos ensues, and before you know it, Diddy and J-Lo are making a daring escape, with cops hot on their tail. But here's where it gets even messier. One of the victims from that night has spoken out, claiming that Diddy was the one who brought the heat to the club. Because I am the woman who he shot in the face in that 1999, December 27, 1999, Club New York shooting. I have told everyone ad nauseum since then even the surgeon who did the surgery to take the bullet, I got shot in my face with a nine millimeter, excuse me, nine millimeter hollow point bullet called a cop killer. I literally have told everyone and never changed what I said. I watched him. I got pow pow in the face. I watched him fire the gun. I've said it all this time. Even the surgeon who did my surgery to take out part of the bullet fragments that was aspirating into my lungs and try to remove as many bullet fragments as possible testified in the criminal trial that while they were putting me I think you're you muted, Mel. Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf. <laughs> I <me> talking away. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to say, Aaron, I don't know what you mean. And Lulu, hello, my love. Um, oh, and, I um, have a big gong. What? Like, yeah, you oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> um, okay, well, we know that whenever... It's you know, there's no, Yeah, there's no smoking on camera because YouTube doesn't like it, not even... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, um, we can... I'm good. Yeah, that's why I turn my camera off, whether, uh, you know, sometimes I, I like to have a cigarette or sometimes I just wander off away from my computer. <laughs> I yeah, I was in, wondering. I live in Oregon. I like my weed. It's legal here, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm It's so legal here, too. Yeah, not all states are legal, though. So YouTube's yeah. really weird about all that stuff. Yeah, um, and I yeah I don't I don't like to show I don't like I would like to uh, I don't even like to vape on camera. Often. Um, and this would go for nicotine in in a uh, seance, not a seance. That's weird. In a ceremony aspect, because like in native cultures they do that. So um, what I'm getting at is like in right in uh, for especially with weed in moderation, and you can do it with tinctures, so you don't have to. Inhale and Malian, by the way, herb will clear your lungs very nicely. You can uh, consume it, it or smoke it. Oh, Malian, M U, sorry, M U L L, I believe, right? E I N, yes, I'm pretty sure. Yes, thank you. What yeah. is that exactly? Um, it's a. Uh, it's actually like common. I I believe throughout the world, it's uh, like a uh, considered a weed, and it's a uh, you plant. can. You can take the leaves, yes. You can take the leaves of it and turn it into a joint. Or you can eat it in a cookie. <laughs> really? It's yeah. like an expellent? Yes. It, it's like a, to remove excessive mucus. Sure. And pineapple, by the way, folks, bromelain is one of your best friends. And mm. Oh, uh, sorry. 
clinging nettle. <laughs> like Did you say scopolamine, on. like the zombie thing? No, no, stinging nettle. <laughs> stinging nettle. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't talk to me about stinging nettles. Yeah, Anybody knows my bad, story. No, 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 <laughs> me too. I've actually, no, because I'm a big outdoors person girl right i've been in I, we had this spot where we uh would go for agates they're called carnelians and it's this beautiful deep red anyway we would go through this field oh my god and get nailed if you actually uh collect it and cultivate the weeds and the uh or sorry the leaves and you know properly procure, procure them then you don't deal with it and you can turn it into an herb, a dry herb and consume it. And it's a, a very beautiful, natural antihistamine. I have a, a post nasal drift and I was uh, smashed in the nose when I was a kid. So I ended up having a deviated septum and my, it helps so much. It's, it's very nice. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, everybody knows my, uh, stinging nettle story and it's not a good story so I, 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 I now stay away from stinging nettles because my body's highly allergic to them and I apologize because I don't know if you consumed it or walked into it and I, no, I did have a funny. I fell into oh. it when I was oh, I was <laughs> oh. <laughs> naked, naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make it all. Be careful what leaves you wipe with when you're yeah. in there. Yeah. Oh. I, I was extremely high and I was bored. <laughs> And I, it was in a campsite, and obviously it was pitch black, and the toilets were really far away. So yeah. Mel decided yeah. to squat, uh, as us girls do, over the stinging nettles. Yeah. But because I was so high, when I came up from the squatting, I lost my balance and fell backwards into stinging nettles that were taller than oh, high. And, yeah, and started looking like the elephant man within seconds of falling into the stinging nettles. Yeah. Were you so? Oh, oh, did you have to go to the, and get like an anus? Uh, what did they call it? An, uh, the shot? No, because my ex was very resourceful and he Googled uh, what to do in a situation like that and he and went off to get some some leaves or some sort and i can't remember what uh, uh, plantains, uh, uh, that's plantain it. Leaves. Yep. That's, that's oh, it. Really? yeah that's the, that's the cool part yeah the anthony the, the plantain you? weed yeah where where, i was in it was the first time and only fucking time that i went camping never again <laughs> is mel <laughs> and the reason why i was so high was because mel i was so bored oh that I thought, what can I do? And the only thing there was to do was certain party favours, I won't go into details, and alcohol. So I was trashed. So when I fell in, butt naked, and I mean butt naked, um, yeah, it wasn't a pleasant song. So I, I would I would like to differ. I bet it, like, you might not have thought it was a pleasant sight. I have a feeling like other people are like, holy, dude, that's a well, luckily, there was only one ex there uh, and nobody else. <laughs> so he'd seen me naked. It was no big deal. But I looked like the elephant man because I had bubbles on my... Oh, yep, yeah. So I got that, too, because I have I had uh, oak poisoning. and Poison um, mm -hmm. And then yeah. uh, with we were we had this spot for carnelian agates, and we would walk through this field of stinging nettles. But it didn't actually want my situation, I think, because we were we were a little particular, it didn't blister. But what I found out was when you ground it up, uh, I have a lot of uh sinus complications, and it actually works. Well, me too. Really nice. I've got sinus complications too. Oh, yes, see, and, I'm constantly always mm, sniffing. Do you um do you have a deviated septum? I have no idea what that means, but let's just say yes. Like, um <laughs> <laughs> the cartilage that's right in the center that separates your two nostrils, that's your yeah. septum, is that cartilage. Uh, if it's uh, shifted yeah. to one side or the other so that it's not even, that would be considered a deviated septum. Oh, uh, well, that probably be right because when I was younger, Mel used to do a certain substance that probably affected that. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. No, 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 that's actually a uh, proven thing. Um it does cause it because there's a bit of a collapse in the cartilage, so it will. But it's not impossible for that to grow back. Um, and this is connected, like even to the cartilage in your knee. 
So if you well, lose yeah, that or there's like wear, you can actually grow it back. And this doctor I had, it was awesome. I had knee surgery when I was 16 and 17. He's like, uh, I think in your situation, I'm going to have to take your spine cells and cultivate it in a lab and regrow it and recreate your cartilage. And then he uh, came back, you know, I had a year later in my, uh, this one pen I had an issue with, he had to mess with it, but he was like, your cartilage completely grew back on its own. This is like part of my realization, right? Mm -hmm. Like how, how is that possible when he was like, there's, there's probably no way this is going to happen. You're like a, you're like a 0.0.5% chance that this will happen. I was going to say, because before I got pregnant, I went to, I was going to go and get my nose done. And, um, yeah. And when obviously the doctor had a look at it, because you know we, I had I'd had quite a few consultations, and he said that there was major cartilage <laughs> uh, cartilage damage in my nose, and that it was going to be taken from my ear. I never ended up going through getting my nose done because I found out I was pregnant. And when the doctor said to me, "Oh yeah, your nose is going to be extremely delicate for the first year," I thought, "Well, that's going to work out well having a, a baby in a new nose." So I never got it done, which I regret. I really wish I'd had it done, but I was worried that you know, with a new baby, he might. You know what it's like. They would have knocked my nose. Now, clearly, you don't need it. Sorry, I don't mean to be offensive, but you're beautiful. <laughs> oh no, I, I did. Yeah. I wanted to get my nose done into a little nose. I know. Like I've got a Roman honey, nose, so honey, every... no, like me too. I have a Jewish. I have like this Jewish. <coughs> what, and, what, and no, deviated, I, deviated. Like I, it makes me laugh because no, every gorgeous. Roman statue has got my nose. <laughs> yeah, like it's like there's my nose on every Roman statue. Um, uh, no, so... no, 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 no. Well, not from no. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, then it's like, then you're then you're like the epitome of like it's like uh, <laughs> I don't know about that but uh, no, I, 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 <laughs> and so I, like I said I do regret not getting it done because I at the time I was in a financial position to hey you know can I can I say one thing okay so in my career I had to work with masks and I don't, uh, I'm not super like fond of that part, but it had a lot to do with the face shape and the nose. And so a lot of discussions happen with my patients and their noses. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to hide myself. And so what I'm saying is that um, I found out that like when you do like that, like people are truly unique mostly by their nose and now right. and mel and i wear glasses so i think that does have a lot oh of mine are only reading I, glasses i, I, I even can tell like when time. you took yours off you're kind of like me right like with that oh oh what happened oh what happened i better post a link she's gone uh while she's coming back up and we'll talk about noses again <laughs> we're all over the fucking shop tonight i love it um <laughs> Aaron says your nose looks broken. I, I I I sometimes wish that I could break my own nose and then have a reason to go and get it done. But um, no, you know what? Everybody has a hang up on something, right? Yeah. It, 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 I don't think there's any person in the world. Well, there might be. No, there will be that says I'm perfect or thinks that they're perfect. Right. Um, so, right, let's play a bit more. <laughs> Guys, we're doing PDD, we're doing natural healing, we're doing witches, we're yeah. doing everything tonight. Where's my wolf gone? Oh, there he is. Right there. Yeah, so I couldn't see you because I'm, hi I'm hiding behind the comments. I missed you the other night. <laughs> oh, you, weren't, yeah. you weren't there. Yeah, I love having some, next to I've been me. You know, some problems with my teeth. My teeth are giving me a hard time. Oh, no, we've been to the dentist the couple days. Yeah. You know, dental what things. Where did everyone go? <laughs> oh, huh? we just lost another one. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's Sarah. <coughs> Hi, Sarah. Uh, there we go. And hey, I don't know. Why. <laughs> it's so good. I know it was weird. Like I swear it. It was weird. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know where Aaron's gone. It says device is not connected. Yes, please. We all need <laughs> healing. What was that, Sarah? Uh, what? Sorry, the last comment about uh, the healing. What? What did you say? You were no. I said you... yeah. That was Katie. 
she said, we all need healing. I think after oh. this, we all need healing. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, and just by the way, again, like with my videos, you can play this at any point, but I have a whole video on, uh, I'm a very open-minded person. So even when I talk about this, like I, I, I want to convey that I see a bigger perspective but I have a video on epigenetic mutation and generational uh, trauma. And I call it cosmic genes. But um, the idea is that, you know, you can look at this whole situation in, in a more um, energy and magnetic value. So I was kind of getting into that in the beginning on um, I, a lot about emotional warfare and frequent sorry frequency wars i'm uh i'll be right back <laughs> That's like oh, my right, no worries. it's no like, i'm sorry it's my dog to. she's like i'm trying to focus do what you need to do let's get a bit more of the pdd we're doing a little bit of everything today guys you're getting like you're getting a little bit of everything for the price of one under i was screaming puffy pew pew me in the face she vividly described the chaos, saying she felt like she got hit by a flaming sledgehammer when she saw the gun. This brave woman, Natanya. Just a few years oh. ago, I was a single oh. mom living in a little rented house with oh. £24,000. Ruben didn't hold back, hinting at a cover-up and even expressing fear for her life. She's got nine bullet fragments in her face as a reminder of that terrifying night. And with her life potentially on the line, she's not taking any chances. They all knew he did it. Everybody knew he did it. But he paid off the club bouncer named Sharice and all these other people and the club owners with their video to hide the video. That's his M.O. I told everybody that. This man almost took my life has traumatized my life, has caused undue harm, irreparable damage to my life, lied his behind off. I've had all these youngins on the internet harassing me, swearing that I'm making it up that he did it. And look what he did to little Rod. Now, fast forward to today, and we've got Lil Rod dropping bombshell allegations left and right. So get this. Jones says Diddy was all handsy, touching him where he shouldn't, even his back door. But that's not all. Jones says Diddy tried to push him into doing stuff with other dudes like producer Stevie J and actor Cuba Gooding Jr. But hold up. It gets crazier. Jones claims Diddy was part of this big illegal operation, like something out of a movie. They were into drugs, guns, and even underage workers. Jones says they kept him in line by threatening to cut him off from the music scene and not paying him for his work on Diddy's album, even though he made nine tracks for the guy. And get this, Diddy's threats were all over the place. Jones recalled when Diddy threatened to eat his face and even claimed he would kill his own mother without hesitation. That's pretty messed up. Now he's pointing fingers at Diddy, claiming he not only bragged about the shooting, but also boasted about using J-Lo to sneak the gun into the club. But of course, Diddy's firing back, denying all of Lil Rod's claims through his attorneys. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. And they're calling the federal raids a witch hunt, slamming the Excessive. What is it? Uh, you know, I know we haven't seen a lot of this video, but can I get chat and panel just to, um, like, give me a quick? When I'm did upset that Cuba Gooding Jr. was up in there. Mm. I like him. Look, look Hollywood, <laughs> all of Hollywood, Wiccan. <laughs> They're all fucking, I'd imagine 95% yeah. of Hollywood are all corrupt and dirty and disgusting. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, there's just been too many people coming forward with that, uh, you know, that haven't wanted a payday to, to, to testify against Diddy and to give them, to give their, ex I mean, the lady that got shot in the face, I mean, She's the one that got shot in the face. She would know who done it. You would think. 
you'd think, right? I mean, I, I don't know. I've never been shot in the face, but you would also think that she would um, most likely be accusing and want to accuse the person that actually did it, as opposed to some other person. Right. I mean, guys, there's so much out there on YouTube at the moment that you can watch. You know, because everybody's on this like 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 hot potato, right? It, there is so much stuff that it's mind blowing. I think that's why this this live it, at the moment it's all over the place because his case is so insane. I don't. I personally don't think I could put it in in a manner which makes cohesive sense. <laughs> it's fun. And, and do you feel it with the eclipse or right with the energy that's uh, moving? And I I do feel that. There's been this uh, transition to and where we're going. I think we're, we're like the people who have already seen it. We can feel that we're moving towards a potential. Oh, Aaron's back. Hey, <laughs> Tony. Hey, Tony. Hi, Tony. <laughs> I had to reset my browser. Oh, shit. Here we go. <sighs> <laughs> um, I'll tell you what I feel. I feel that, I, 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 well, yeah, that too. My last, I'd say, two weeks, and I don't know if it's got anything to do with the eclipse, but me personally and my life seems to have spun completely out of fucking control where I have no control over what's happening to me at the moment. <laughs> into my emotions, into my body, into my, just things around me. And I don't, I'm not saying this to do with the eclipse because I don't fucking know. All I know is that my energy shifted in the last two weeks to an out of control. <laughs> I can take you through some guided breathing sometime if you would like. When you have your normal <laughs> voice back, absolutely. Because I can't take you seriously right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you can wait. Hold on, Aaron. I can't do it. I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, leopard print. I'll see you in a bit. What was odd, Aaron? What you just losing connection? <laughs> I don't even know what voice I have right now. Aaron, he's yes, using yeah. a voiceover app. He's. <laughs> I don't know what voice I had. I meant to turn oh. to Darth Vader's, but it didn't happen. I forgot. But um, yeah, is that better? Yes. That's better. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so I'm going to... What voice did I have? By... You had... I don't know. What voice was that? Let me look. Oh, it's uh, apparently... Bar... Is it Barbarian? No, no, it was Hamsters. <laughs> 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 um, which, usually the Hamsters kind of sound like the, the Minions. Um on that one movie yeah show. and uh it's low i can't hear, hear you i can barely hear you well, there's something wrong yeah with my mouse now too but yeah i got completely disconnected it, it was really on. weird Carol. this is the voice i meant to have okay uh right let's but, go back yeah, let me turn this off yeah okay tony i'll come back to you in just a second i just want to get through a couple more minutes of this uh of this of this video okay is that better? No, you're still quite low, Aaron. All right. Let's get out of voice mod entirely. ...force used in the operation. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs's residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. And in the middle of all the chaos, Diddy finds an unlikely ally in Glenn Beck, who was there that night working security. He's calling out Lil Rod's claims as BS, standing by Diddy's side in the midst of the storm. We knew Scar, we knew Shine. He was a wild kid from Brooklyn, he said. 
said. So get this, Beck testified at the 2001 trial, but he spilled the tea to the post, saying it seemed like the prosecution was laser focused on nailing Diddy and didn't even bother asking him about Barrow, AKA Shine. All right, let's break it down. Glenn Beck, the guy who was there on the scene that night, paints a picture of chaos. As tensions escalate between Diddy and Scar, Shine makes a sudden exit from the club, only to return moments later. And that's when the shots ring out. According to Beck, Shine bolts out the side door, only to be nabbed by cops who heard the gunfire. Now, Shine himself admitted to pulling the trigger during the trial, but so far, he hasn't pointed fingers at Diddy for making him take the fall. And as for J-Lo being a gun mule, Beck's calling BS. I remember how well she was dressed that night, and she's very slim. She's not going to be hiding a gun in that outfit. But Lil Rod's lawsuit isn't just about the 99 shooting. Nope, he's also throwing shade at Diddy for allegedly lying about his involvement in a 2022 shooting at a recording studio in LA. According to Lil Rod, Diddy tried to cover it up, coercing him into lying to the cops about what really went down. According to his lawsuit, a shooting incident occurred at Chalice Recording Studio in Hollywood in 2022, while Diddy was hosting a writers and producers camp. Jones alleges that during a heated conversation between Diddy, his son Justin, and Justin's friend G in the studio's bathroom, shots were fired. Following the incident, G was found lying on the floor, bleeding from his leg hip area. Jones claims he rushed to help G, but when authorities arrived, Diddy allegedly instructed him to lie about the shooting, suggesting it was a drive-by assailant outside the studio. And it gets even murkier. Lil Rod's pointing fingers at Diddy's head of security, Fahim Muhammad, claiming he's a master fixer with connections to make problems vanish. So LAPD says the guy got shot during a robbery outside the studio, but Jones says that's not what really happened. He saw LAPD chilling in the studio for hours, even in the bathroom, without doing anything. Jones thinks they let it slide because Diddy's security guy, Fahim, is tight with the cops. And get this, Jones says he's got loads of proof, like tons of videos and recordings showing some shady stuff going down with Diddy and his crew. He lived with Diddy for ages and had to film everything, apparently. He's got pics of Diddy with young girls sipping on drug drinks and being pushed into stuff they shouldn't be doing. There's even a pic of Jones waking up next to two workers and a groggy Diddy feeling like he got dosed too. If these accusations turn out to be true, Diddy's in big trouble, both legally and in terms of his rep. Now J-Lo is gearing up for a legal battle to clear her name because if this blows up, it could mean losing sponsors, a tarnished reputation, everything. And let's not forget about her beauty line, allegedly fading out of sephora you can even find j-lo beauty in discount stores like Mar yeah funny that isn't it all of a sudden they've got the lawyers involved they want you know it, it, it makes me six the six it makes me sick i'm not six <laughs> uh you know that all these celebrities that you know they don't give a fuck about all the bad that they've done they're more worried about securing their contracts yeah I mean, if J-Lo was involved and Beyonce was involved, they, where are you going, Mindful Exposures? Are you going, Sarah? Where's Sarah? Is she gone? Oh, she's gone. Oh, hang on. Maybe there's a message in back chat. Yeah, she wants a message in back chat. Okay, Sarah. I we would come back to the witches and the Reiki and the healing. We'll come back to all that. Um oh yes yes we need to carry on with our conversation my love because there's lots and lots more we need to talk about um okay yes 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 actually i'll, I'll do one dedicated to you sarah and i'll let aaron know which one it is and we'll talk about all the mysteries of all the stuff that we we, we talk about so i'll, I'll dedicate I'll dedicate one for you next week and then you can come up and you can talk to us about all your healing powers. Um, back to P. Diddy. <laughs> Tonight's been really weird. <laughs> like always. Um, okay, so let's see what this is saying now. Marshalls and Ross. But wait, there's more. J Lo just dropped a documentary reportedly costing a cool 20 million, but it's not exactly flying off the shelves. If you catch my drift, add in canceled tours and a lukewarm album, and you've got a recipe for a PR disaster. Now let's talk about Diddy and the latest drama. He's got two sons, Dior and Christian, but it seems like trouble is brewing in paradise. Christian, Diddy's son, was caught on tape allegedly harassing a woman on a yacht. Yeah, not a good look, bro. This woman ain't playing games either. She's suing Christian, and people are connected the dots back to Diddy himself. Like father, like son, am I right? Now back to Diddy and Shine. If you are currently employed by Tesco or have been within the last six years, you may be eligible to join.
Shine, here's the scoop. Diddy did Shine dirty, plain, and simple. He snitched on him to security, throwing his own homie under the bus to save his own skin. That's cold, man. So yeah, when it comes to loyalty, Diddy's playbook ain't exactly what you'd call Hunter Apple. So the rumors that he might be throwing Jay-Z under the bus soon might not be that far from the truth. There's been whispers floating around about Beyonce and Jay-Z being knee-deep in Diddy's shady business for a while now. Apparently, Jay and Diddy have been in cahoots for ages. But Beyonce? She got pulled into this mess when they tied the knot. People People used to think Queen Bey was clueless, but nah, she's been in the loop. Sources say she's already plotting a low-key divorce because she knows Jay's next in line for a takedown. And speaking of messes, let's talk Beyonce and Jay-Z. Rumors are flying left and right about their relationship hitting rocky waters. Diddy's out here spilling the tea on Jay-Z, exposing alleged cheating scandals left and right. Diddy's got receipts, y'all, and it looks like he's gunning for revenge. Allegedly, Jay-Z's been playing dirty, trying to cover his tracks with his mistresses. But Diddy ain't having none of it. He's ready to take Jay-Z down let's talk about how diddy's out here proving that saying i'm sorry right i i don't understand this is what i don't understand you've got because he's not particularly attractive and you've got a wife like beyonce who fucking is right <laughs> don't make no sense <laughs> tony right <laughs> tony like he's quite ugly i'm sorry but he is and um Good morning, Michelle, my love. And, and he's got, like, Beyonce to go to bed to with men. They're never happy. They're pigs. Hey, speak for some men, but not all. Uh, I don't – well, I know I'm generalizing. I know, I know, I know and I'm, like – I've been faithful to people I wasn't even dating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not my cup of tea. He's not my cup of tea. I'm sorry. And you've got like this beautiful woman that you can go to bed with every single night. Just saying like, um, men will never be happy. Men always want more. Men always want what they can't have and all that. So anyway, let's go back. Misery loves company ain't just a saying, it's a lifestyle. Rumor has it, Diddy's on a mission to take down his former bestie, Jay-Z. Seems like their bromance went sour, and it's all tied up with the mess Diddy's got himself into. Now, I won't bore you with the nitty-gritty details of Diddy's legal troubles, because we've all heard it before. Sued left and right, allegations flying around like confetti. But apparently, this goes deeper than we thought. People are whispering that Jay-Z and Beyonce might be on the rocks, too. Rumors, you say? Nah, there might be some truth to it. Check this out. Beyonce's been hustling hard hard lately, dropping albums, doing world tours, hitting up award shows, you name it. And get this, word on the street is Beyonce's pumping out projects like there's no tomorrow because she's trying to stack that paper before the fallout hits. I mean, she's dropping albums, hitting the road, and even launching a hair care line. Like she's on a mission to secure that bag no matter what. Let's keep it real. If there's one thing Beyonce ain't about, it's drama. And with all the heat on Jay-Z and Diddy, who could blame her for wanting to dip out? So here's the deal. Beyonce and Jay-Z, they're still together technically. But here's the kicker. They're living separate lives. And the reason? Well, it's got everything to do with the fact that Jay-Z's next in line to get exposed. Yeah, you heard that right. His past is catching up to him, and there's only so much he can sweep under the rug this time around. Beyonce knows Jay can't buy his way out of this one, no matter how deep his pockets are. And guess what? Jay knows it too. And speaking of Jay-Z, let's talk prenups. Rumor has it there's some serious cash on the line if Bay stays in the game for a certain number of years. But hey, maybe it's time for Queen Bay to cash out and move on. I mean, they've been together for ages, but even the strongest ships got a sail sometime, right? Now, when the truth finally comes out, and trust me, it will, Beyonce's gonna have to do some serious damage control. Picture this, she might drop a statement, maybe even do an interview, spin it like they've been living separate lives for ages, built this whole facade of a perfect life. But we all know it's just smoke and mirrors. Now, does Beyonce still love Jay-Z? It's hard to say. Sure, he's all she's known for a while, but she was ready to bounce years ago. But Beyonce won't be holding back. She's gonna spill whatever she knows to the feds and throw Jay-Z under the bus if she has to, because when the dust settles, she's got to come out looking squeaky clean. Now, J-Lo and Beyonce are trying to get out of this pretending they're innocent, but the fans aren't having it. No, they think they were a part of this all along. Someone said, J-Lo is no innocent victim. She knew before she started to go with him, she would do anything to protect herself and stay relevant at the same time. Anybody who has this greed will go and do anything. Beyonce is no babe in the woods. She keeps worrying about herself. They all need to go down for this sick lifestyle another one commented on beyonce saying i've been saying fuck the comments um i don't care about people's comments so i'm going to stop sharing that screen and then i'm going to bring actually before i bring up the court documents let's show you
Wolfong, are you ready to see your character, my love? Sure, I guess. I mean, we, we, we did we did a few, and mm -hmm. the first one, which I absolutely loved, it was terrifying, but I realised he was a brown wolf, and I thought, well, that's not an Arctic wolf. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, not an Arctic wolf, <laughs> but we did eventually find, and, and I want to thank Blue Scarlet for this, because Blue Scarlet, you know, she does, she does a lot of this stuff. Um, I just tell her what I want, and she does it for me. She's amazing. And uh, hang on, where are you, Wolf? Where are you? Let's find. <laughs> there's so many. No, there's so many characters so far in this game. That there you go. I found you. So hang on. She says, the "Fuck, I've lost you again." Hang on. Oh fuck, I've lost you. I've got Aaron. Oh, there you are. Okay, so this is your character. Are you ready? Tell me I if you love I'm it. Holding, I hope I'm holding like a jawbone or something. Well, I I thought this this was a perfect like example of what you may look like should you actually okay. be a wolf, right? Okay. <laughs> oh wow, that's do awesome. Like, do you like it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> You're pretty what fucking terrifying. <laughs> what am I holding? A broom? I, I know it's funny because initially, what we typed into AI was, um, you know, those things that the uh, I call it a baton. I don't know what it's called in 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 US. You know, the sticks that the policemen have to beat you with. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> okay, like well, that was that's uh, what. Um, <laughs> supposed to be but it ended up ai decided to give you what looks like a broom and uh, oh, wow. I said, yeah and i thought well it doesn't matter because look at those teeth if yeah, you're gonna look at them teeth and things are huge <laughs> right if you're gonna kill someone it'll be with your teeth right i like it yes a nightstick aaron's got it a nightstick it's that's supposed to be a nightstick right and it turned out like a broom <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay it's okay um hang on uncle fatty i've got your character too did i upload it no i don't think i've uploaded it yet but when uncle fatty gets home i'll show him his one um but yeah this is you my love did i do well yeah i like it yeah definitely <laughs> i was like oh fuck that's terrifying <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Uncle Fatty, it's here. Hang on, Uncle Fatty. Let me find your one because it's not, I've not uploaded it yet. We did it earlier. Um, one second, Wiccan. One second, one second, one second. Okay. Um, let me just find Uncle Fatty's character. Actually, his character is not as petrifying as um, Wolf's. And uh, it was Chicken Snakes just messaged me earlier going, Mel, can I be a terrifying character, not a nice one? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to change we've got to change him i've got yours uncle Faye. so um so this one's yours tell me if you like it because anyone doesn't like their character they can always tell me and i'll change it so this one's yours uncle Faye. <laughs> that'd be cooler if he had a giant spork or a pair of I, yeah but i have used uh, that is supposed to be a spork the one because well, I did write down sport. Sport. I did write down spork, but for some reason I got a, a, a spoon in a and a fork. So I guess it's kind of a spork. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> are like fully clothed. Sporks. Yeah. Uncle Fat is like, am I fully clothed? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, so yeah, that's yours. Okay, so Wiccan. Oh, I I, I Oh, this is for mindful expressions. Okay, I love it. Yeah. Okay, so Sarah Wiccan has sent me um, um what could potentially be if you're still around, be your character. Um, so every can time I hear mindful exposures, I think of a flasher, you know, in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the one that I wanted. Why is that showing that again? Sorry, guys. Why is that showing that again? Hang on. 
Um, because well, I know why, because I'm such a dick. I looked at it on my phone, not on my screen. <laughs> oh, no, my <laughs> You dress up for Renaissance Fair with a detective hat on. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Hey, MD. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I, now I've transferred it onto my to my actual laptop. So this could be you, Sarah. What do you reckon, Aaron? Ooh, that, that'll be <laughs> the wolf is like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh Yay! <laughs> Yay! Uh, so <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> so if she likes that, that can be her character. So, so we I have an axe already. Better. We might already have an axe. We might have to change her weapon of choice. She has bear spray that she carries on the occasion. You need it out there, though. Okay, we could do that, maybe. I, I can't I'm remember if somebody I hear. I'm not kidding about the bear spray, but I'm kidding about <laughs> giving, equipping her with it in this. <laughs> but, yeah, so it, I, I have to check. I can't remember okay. because we've done so many characters, but maybe somebody's already got an axe. Remember, we're trying to do different weapons for different people, aren't we? Somebody does. I remember somebody did. Maybe Someone you can does just have an change, axe, I think. Uh, yeah. Change the style of the axe, though. There's lots of different. Yeah, we can. you can maybe play about with that and just give a, okay. a machete. I don't think we've got a machete. Machete. That, yeah. That's like more a uh, wrong turn i think maybe like west virginia yeah. style <laughs> <laughs> okay so i've got here i'm gonna share the i'm gonna go through the court documents quickly before we see uh, uh, no katie i tell you who has got a samurai sword who just fell off um. tony fell off uh the it, resto's got a samurai sword so we've already got that one Right, okay, so where is it? This is the case. So we'll just quickly go through it. Like, I'm not going to read it in huge detail because I just want to try. So this is the Cassandra Ventura. Cassandra Ventura. Was that the lady that got shot in the face? I think so. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. There's a lot in here. Oh, okay. I mean, I, without, like, can you not read it? I can, well, I can see it. Yeah, it, it, it as a, yeah, I can see why this is extremely sensitive. Um, I don't know. Okay. This, is that the same lady, though, that got shot in the face? I, I don't, don't think it is. is, because if you have a look at Section 3 here, um, it says, the truth, however, is that Cassie... Um, was held down by Mr. Coombs, and in, that's obviously PDD, and, and endured over a decade of his violent behaviour. And, yeah, but why over a decade and not speak before? I, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, but, but then if you're in that kind of circle, then I guess it, it, it can, if you they have that kind of power over you, then it would, yeah. So, okay, so the R word, Miss Ventura, Look at that, though. Blew up a man's car after he learned he was romantically interested, interested in Miss Ventura. He, he, she's saying that he, like, blew up somebody's car because he was, like, in a jealous rage. Uh, romantically. Yeah. It's, it's kind of extreme. Yeah, but from uh, the stuff that I've, that I did, I, I when I was doing my research the other night, uh, Wolf, PDD is involved in a lot of shady shit. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot, lot. So I don't know. I ha there's a lot of court cases. This is just one of them. Um, I can't stop changing my avatar. Yes, I noticed, but you crack on. <laughs> so, um, so this is gone. I was going to say, it feels like that current avatar is more fitting for my character. Let's have a quick that, look at you. Hold on. It, it's like, uh, it's a Bluetooth, like a uh, radio communication, like uh, air filter sort of uh, mask. Wow. Uh, oh, okay. Right whenever I'm like on my e-bike or some equivalent. 
Yeah, it's a little bit like your uh, your the character we've created for you, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So, okay, guys. It works. So just, huh? Oh no, I just started. I said it works, but I accidentally said it in an accent because. Okay. Of, <laughs> okay okay so um so this is one of the court cases guys against him i if anybody wants this for their own records just let me know and i can pass it on to you but so okay so factual allegations okay so she wasn't underage she was 19. not that it makes it makes it better. I'm just saying she was 19 when it happened. Um, That's already number 24 on the list, though. No, I know. There's lo I, I just got set in this, so I'm literally, this is new to me. This I know there's there's a lot of court cases against her. <coughs> um, so I, I, I've not read this one. Okay. So that's that anyway. So if any, that's that's one of the court cases, and it sounds quite hideous. Let's have a look at another little short video. <clears throat> okay, no, no, this was tab. I didn't want to do that one actually because, sorry guys, I'm, I'm a little bit disorganized as always. Um, Everything you need to know. Here, we go. let's do this one. Hey, everything you guys need to know about the shocking court documents from this new case involving PDD in just under 15 minutes. I've written cliff notes for all the main things that you guys need to know. I know that these court documents are long, nearly 80 pages, but ain't nobody got time. Let me give you guys the real deal. Quick notes and let's get it moving. Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back in again at his daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get into this. Trigger warning in place. We are discussing so many levels and forms of abuse. It looks like everybody is being mentioned in this lawsuit and not in a good way in any capacity at all. All claims raised in this complaint have been corroborated through witness statements, video, audio recordings, and images that Mr. Jones has in his possession. I want you guys to remember that. It's basically st stated in this court document that he has possession of all of this. Mr. Combs, PDD, required Mr. Jones, Rodney, to record him constantly. On several occasions, Mr. Combs took Mr. Jones' cell phone and began recording himself. As a result, Mr. Jones now has secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Mr. Combs, his staff, and his guests engaging in serious illegal activity. Do you realize how insane that is? This man is done. Mr. Jones has secured irrefutable evidence of the acquisition of several different forms of illegal drugs, the displaying and distribution of unregistered illegal firearms, and Mr. Didi providing laced alcohol beverages to minors and sex workers at his home. PDD Chief of Staff Christina Coram KK instructing her staff to retrieve drugs so she can provide it to Mr. Combs. Here we go. Christian Combs is in this for drugging and essaying a woman. PDD detailed, get this guys, how he planned to leverage his relationship with Bishop TD Jakes to soften the impact on his public image of Cassie Ventura's lawsuit. This is so recent. This is after the lawsuit where this was his plan. He wanted to get back with TD Jakes. So it's insane. Rapper 3, who's been redacted on Mr. Combs yacht, consorting with underage girls, sex workers. Rapper 3, it's stated, is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj, which is basically Meek Mill. So that in itself is insane that his name is being dragged into this mr combs yacht consorting with underage girls and s workers is what he was doing rmb singer and um, redacted in mr combs home la home consorting with underage girls and sex workers now if we look at who that particular person is that is redacted a grammy award-winning rmb singer who had a um, trouble with law enforcement after assaulting a bajan billionaire so that's basically chris Brown. this message Ugh. is for parents who don't have life insurance for as little as two pound fifty a Brown at this point because who else could it be allegedly from what we're seeing here so it just already now it's been confirmed in this court document that it's being alleged that a meat mill was with mr combs on that yacht we saw him saying daddy this daddy that and the fact that chris brown was also in these freak offs you know consorting with underage girls and sex workers this is absolutely insane states uh do you guys, do you think that it, it, there's just too much now that he's fucked? 
Probably. I think so. Delaying the inevitable. I, I really don't know. I mean, I haven't really been following anything. You know, I, I, Wolf, I don't normally... I don't normally follow celebrities either, but this story was massive. And I feel like Uncle Fatty said that um, Easy done a, a full line by line breakdown, which is great, guys. Go and watch it on Easy's because um, I, I just think that with everything that's coming out, like all the stuff that I, I, I looked at the other night, it, there's just too much. There's just too much for him. But then he's a Hollywood celebrity. Will he get away with it? Probably. Panel? Yeah, I, I don't know if just being a celebrity is enough that he'll get away with anything, you know. Well, it's I been brushed under the it. carpet before, Wolf. This has been going on for decades and it's been brushed under the carpet because obviously there's allegations that Diddy's got powerful people in his pocket. I say, give him the chair. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I just don't know enough about what's going on to to say one way or the other. There's just there's a lot. It, this wasn't like the other night with the Nickelodeon with right. the Nick, with the Nickelodeon stuff. There wasn't any like hardcore evidence of what's his name, um, the dude's name that that he other than having a, a allegedly a foot fish. And he's been inappropriate around minors. It wasn't like hardcore evidence. This, on the other hand, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Um, I don't know how many court cases he's facing right now, but apparently it's quite a lot. I don't know. We Anyone can have knows? him for the rest of his life. Uh, have a midget cattle prod him every time he stops petting a furry wall. Right. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even I'm know really... what state he resides in, like, normally, because... Uh, they, they probably got their own laws like maximum and all that stuff. So I, I, I don't know what he even could get. So if he got anything, I don't know. He'll probably ha fake his death or something and go off to uh, the Caribbean. I don't know. He'll fake his death. Or he, I'd imagine what he'll try and do is pay off these court cases, let them go, you know, allow them to go away with massive, okay. with massive payouts but the, the public would outrage over it wouldn't they like I, I mean usually when the public goes crazy about something they gotta cover it up with a, a fake death or actually clinton them or something like that you know to calm the what, public what what like can you summarize for me like what are all the charges like the well, accusation uh, aaron do you want to do it because pandora's just woken up and she wants oh. a treat like I, 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 I know, no obviously, the, the one girl that yeah. like uh, claimed she shot him in the face. Yeah, then there was the court case that I've just brought up about all that bad stuff that that girl faced, the court documents that I just brought up. Right. Uh, I, I was totally, like, changing avatars and clothes and everything else. I, I wasn't quite mentally present for all that. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, I guess I would think from a um, from a state point of view that they would probably focus on the most serious offenses first. You know, yeah. I mean, like I would look at just, you know, I don't know, like. Because I really seriously don't know hardly anything at all what's going on with this stuff. But like that girl that she's accusing him of shooting her in a, shooting her in the face. Right. And I'm assuming that happened at a nightclub from yeah. what, I, what I heard there. So there would have been like a lot of witnesses to it and stuff like that. And... I would think after all this time that maybe those people will talk now. Unless they've been paid off. I'm wondering well, what uh, all this controversy is off. distracting us from. Sorry. Well, accepting a bribe in an, uh, in an attempted deletion case is a 
very serious offense in and of itself. You know what I mean? So it wouldn't be advantageous for any witnesses to accept any sort of bribes like that for their own, you know, well That would give the police leverage, I would think, to get them to talk. Who knows? I mean, he's been linked to, like I said before, at the beginning of life, I can't remember if it was five or seven um, unalivings, including um, Tupac and Biggie Smalls. I would be interested to know what all they find in his house. Mm. I mean, <coughs> will he ever be pinned down for their, oh, hey, Bear, you're in the back. Sorry, darling. For their, because it's such, these are such cold cases. I mean, how, how when was it? 20 odd years ago that they. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Mm. So who knows? Who knows whether he, if, I mean, there's, a lot of people, that I, the documentaries that I saw, there was a lot of people close to Diddy at the time that, you know, are, are speaking up now. But whether it can be proven in a court of law is a completely different, you know. They always say what's done in the dark always comes to light. Who knows? It's my estimation as a professional conspiracy scientist that uh, um, they, we probably wouldn't even be hearing about this if they weren't trying to cover up the fact that, uh, that that whole barge thing at the, on the Maryland bridge in Baltimore, like, uh, I, it was like, everyone's talking about on other channels, like on rumble and stuff about how it was, uh, actually, uh, directed into that because it's, there's all sorts of, uh, obvious things that show that it was controlled and de deliberately drove into that pylon of the bridge. So I, I feel like we wouldn't even be hearing about this if, if that hadn't come to surface because it what? was, Ch supposedly Chinese uh, hackers uh, drove it into that bridge or possibly the CIA blaming it on China. But yeah, the, that's been all the rage on the channels I'm usually linked into. Can you elaborate a little bit more about that one? Yeah, I don't know, what, I don't... what is that? Yeah, like, um, video, I don't get it. it. It doesn't. They, they always put distractions out in the media to keep you from uh, distracted so you don't notice the things that the deep state or other countries or whatever the big news is that they don't want you to see is getting away with like like uh a lot of the stuff uh for example like back with the jab and everything like they were hiding a bunch of truth in the beginning by uh having the whole political thing and there's probably something else political going on that i haven't even caught on to yet going that they're uh discussing sort of uh and, and trying to keep us distracted from with things like this but like I, I just feel like if that wasn't uh, going on, that we might not even be hearing about this. It might not have even come to public or come to light because it, it started at about the same time. The the talk of uh, government officials coming out and saying that it was a, a hack that, that took down that entire bridge in Baltimore about the same time. And then they start getting all big about the eclipse and all the eclipse uh, nonsense was coming out. All like this was all coming out at the same time like that all that came to surface so oh do you think that all of that was 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 trying to distract us from this from what's going on here no i think what's going on here is one of the distractions i don't think this would have even came to public or even like got prosecuted or any of this because it all came out literally the same day as the news that it was a hack and they're still trying to cover it up like every single time something that the government doesn't want you to know is going on, they put out something like this in the news every single time. So you don't yeah. think these allegations, because it's quite oh, a lot of allegations. Oh, I'm know? sure it happened. I'm sure it happened. I'm just saying like uh, we, it, it probably wouldn't be like public news or even being prosecuted if something like that hadn't happened. They usually just throw their own under the bus as a distraction uh, whenever they're trying to pull something that they don't want us to pay attention to. Interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm totally on your, on your side, man. Like it's so weird. Yeah. <clears> looking, that is provable first. Looking into the truth for like a, a few years, man, it's so weird. The progressions, I, I don't know everybody's progression here, but like at this point, I'm so weary and it's so weird. Like at this point, it's, almost like I, I wish I would have just stayed an army because like everything's so messed up. Like 
you don't even know what's real or fake. And, and yeah, like with all this, like P Diddy, like yeah, I almost I can see it totally being released on purpose to to you know just make make you know a show and but yeah, it's it, it's it's weird. Like and then the, the eclipse and like I almost feel like the truth community is controlled at the same time, but we just don't think we just it can't it's just harder for us to realize but well I, I got into the whole conspiracy thing when i was eight because when my father passed like i had my first out of body experience and and i watched it happen real time like floating above his body while i was technically physically sleeping and uh ever since then that's when i started noticing stuff like that a lot of people so i've been on this path my pretty much my whole life like i it I can't really say that I wish I could go get put back in the matrix or whatever, you know, cause I've always been in it. I don't know anything else. <laughs> yeah, no. And truthfully, I, I, I would, would never say that. Like I would, it's so, oh, I feel that like... way sometimes. I, I, I kind of wish that I, I, they say ignorance is bliss and so, yeah. sometimes yeah. knowing too much, uh, uh, makes life lonely. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. And I've seen too many, and I'm in the same position too, man. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, uh, yeah, it's we, yeah, life is is weird, and yeah, being like thinking these ideas is sure. is pretty crazy to like ninety nine point nine percent of the world, and like, uh, and like why I don't understand. Like once you go down, and and like you put all the blocks together, and you're like, yeah, that makes sense, and it's like, yeah, it's just. Well, you got to remember. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go go ahead. I was going to say, you got to remember the CIA director, and I think it was 1975, said that his job will only be complete when no one on the entire planet knows anything patently true anymore. And since then, he has said that he achieved his goal. So maybe none of this is real. Maybe everyone in DC is actors. Maybe everything we see on the news is just a distraction from what's really going on in the world. Who knows? Well, all the world is a stage. Exactly. Yeah. William Shakespeare, the globe, the, glo the globe stage, man, it's so crazy, man. Like, and but everything seems connected. That's the the effed up thing. Like, everything seems like when you go down the this these conspiracy theories, and the, like once you add them all up, like they really all seem like connected. Like they're all. Well, it, like, it goes, it goes back to what Stone and I was talking about earlier about how uh, um, there's a good possibility that we co-create reality and that we're all part of source because I mean, everything's connected. I mean, yeah, we could be in the matrix. You never know, but I, I'm, I'm feeling like, like whatever the majority of the planet believes ends up becoming true because there's no, everything goes back to that fact for me. Man, I thought about that so much too, Ben. That's funny. You're saying that because in the last year, man, I've thought about that quite a few times because it feels like you know this shit just comes out of the blue that we you, you weren't even thinking about and then yeah man like the powers that be are always vying for our attention for a reason exactly exactly because we're creating yeah reality or this is a possibility it's just whatever thrown throwing shit out of your head but but also it's it, yeah this flat earth thing comes up and then like oh god let's not go into okay. flat earth because then okay. <laughs> We're gonna get the flat earthers in here, <laughs> chatting at the round earthers, and and it's all gonna, yeah, it's all gonna kick off. But no, 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 the whole the whole creating earth uh, or creating reality with your mind, man, I totally oh. think there's there's all there's some there's something there there's something there. Because when I was from, young, oh, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, you go ahead, man. Okay. When I was young, I used to walk around with my friends because we'd be like walking around neighborhoods all day and after school and stuff. And I'd just be like, wouldn't it be funny if, and I'd say something, usually within five minutes, something almost identical to what I said would happen. And that used to happen all the time when I was little. And, and like, as I experienced different traumas throughout my life, it would happen less and less. And then like the first major girlfriend I had when we broke up, that's when a lot of the things like where I was dreaming the future, stuff like that just pretty much stopped. So I, I feel like uh, trauma is what keeps us or takes away our ability to manifest uh, directly, like seeing the world through the eyes of a child and stuff. Like, you know, they say that that's an important thing to do. And that, that's I think that's where the uh, the the magic comes from. Once you uh, start seeing things through the eyes of a realist then those that magic goes away. 
to some degree it's and it's harder to hold on to with each um with each trauma that one experiences throughout their lives that's beautiful man that's beautiful yeah so that's, go ahead no no go ahead darling go ahead Alan. Oh, i was just gonna say that that's pretty much what my studies have revolved around my my like forever as far as i can remember like things like that started off with like esp after trying to figure out like why i was able to see like out of body i was eight i didn't know what out of body experiences and stuff like that astro travel was but like you know it was just an, an one experience after the other so that's kind of what led me on my route what got me to this uh doctorate of religious science i don't know <laughs> it, it, it seems like every single path we've been led down by mainstream the mainstream has has led us the wrong way like, oh avoided hornet avoided hornet i've got a character for you and it's fucking terrifying hi sweetheart oh. if you want to come up on panel we will go back to this because i do want to go back to this but i wanted to show hornet i want to see that yeah, hornet is terrifying. yeah 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 it's, it's terrifying <laughs> I, I couldn't quite make up my mind if who was more terrifying you or hornet um because i made aaron scary but nowhere near as you two uh let's have a look let's have a look Hornets um, are scary enough to begin with because they like, like inject you with like poison and stuff you know it, it, oh, i yeah. was formed with a bunch of them last summer it was crazy <laughs> yeah, <laughs> i had dreams about mantids after seeing this picture there there you are makes me shudder <laughs> now is that scary shit or what no just me it's it's terrifying it's probably gonna be <laughs> it's mantis terrifying. <laughs> i'm gonna have dreams about these giant praying mantis beings again <laughs> it, it, it yeah it, it, it's it's uh <laughs> can't hop on right now but that's awesome i'm glad you liked your character darling um it's awesome yeah, Katie's like, it's scary. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, imagine being faced with him on a duck alley. I don't know who would be no, worse. Oh, yeah. What's his weapon, though? His uh, let me have Venom. a quick look. Um, he hit you oh. with his butt. Hang on, there must be something. Maybe it's just his venom. Maybe it's like reptile. He pulls off a mask and, and like... It's like a, a, a real hornet under there, and it's like it's oh, it was, it was a stinger. It was a stinger because when I said when we did it in the AI, I said I wanted a stinger as his weapon, but that it hasn't. AI hasn't shown it. Oh. Um. So he's got those teeth. I know. <laughs> Uh, I know. I, I I do need more dark characters, guys. So if anybody wants to join in the game, I need some dark characters. I've already got. Consider. Oh, I was going to say, considering I'm from West Virginia and you're looking for dark characters, I, I'm surprised you didn't like get the Mothman as me or something. Ooh. The, well, no, I thought. I, I don't know. I just kind of. This was my image of you in my brain. So I, that. I'm I, and, and I wear all black and a lot of leather. <laughs> I was like, this is what I imagine your character to be like. And it, to be fair, that mask that you were wearing earlier is not much different from this. I, I know. I, I need to get it again. Someone stole it from me, actually. Um, I, uh, I, I actually that, can't stop that. thinking of myself talking like Bane from Batman whenever I see this character. Like, I, I may end up having to practice that voice for a while. Yeah. That guy looks scarier than than the the B guy. But hey, Pandora, how how did you did you do like the AI? You're coming to take me away. <laughs> yeah, what I do is Blue Scarlet. She helps me out a lot with this with this work, right? So I'll say to her, um, and, and, and Wiccan up here above me. So I said to Blue Scarlet, "This is what I imagine this character to be." So I'll write a description, and then she'll put it in a her incredible AI thing, and these come out. Um, I mean, I, 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 these obviously we've got Aaron here, we've got Arctic Wolf. <laughs> Love do you it. Mind if I try a crazy laugh real fast? I'm yeah, no, of course not. I can do it. That's scary as hell. 
<laughs> I don't know. I, I, was, I was just trying it out. It's been a long time since I tried. I, I can stretch my vocal cords by singing and do it way creepier. Well, we need, well, Wolf doesn't need to do creepy because it's his natural voice. So you. I, I do a good Joker la or like face too sometimes. Like in the dark, I, I look a lot like Joker whenever I'm smiling. So I'm told. <laughs> Well, you bad characters need to get your game on. I mean, like I said, Wolf comes naturally anyway, but you're going to have to do a, a scary voice or a scary laugh, like a ha, 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 ha. I can't do it. I can't be scary. <laughs> you face your ass. What's the difference? I don't know. <laughs> Hornet, you better think of something scary because it's got to match your character. Uh, like I said, Wolf doesn't need to do anything. He just needs to talk. So How about we play a game of face off? <laughs> I'll work on it. I love it. Um, oh, I would make the, the buzzing sounds. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Voice. You know, the buzzing voice sounds. Seven digits in a cardboard dollar pin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you you bad guys need to be bad. Okay. Excellent. Everything is falling into place. Right. So let's go back to the other thing. Um, uh, da -da. Was it this one? Yeah. That, you know, Diddy allegedly shot someone and got away with it. He still owns clothing that may have the stains, Mr. Rodney. Now, when it comes to gay sex, in addition to the uns unsolicited and un unauthorized touching, Mr. Jones was forced by a PDD to work in Mr. Combs' bathroom as PDD walked around naked and showered in a clear glass enclosure. Sh um, he sh showed videos of gay sex to um, Rodney and says it's normal in the industry that he's done it with other rappers and that, you know, he's Mark basically Kelly. grooming him, grooming Rodney Jones, who worked on the Love album. He admits that he did have sex with rappers who have been redacted and these rappers are um, rappers and musicians are meat mill and usher from what is basically being described as this is insane not usher this this is i mean are, are we really usher hold the f on hold on now lord have mercy this is usher. yeah go on so he's like having sex with dudes is that what i'm yeah but that's because the story started uh, that he was groomed by his superiors at the record labor uh, label who that's why had that's why he got his own record label so quickly because that's how it started so it seems to be like a you know a vicious circle that these huge record producers do these things and then they do the same things and it, it, it who knows because these are allegedly right Mm -hmm. What did he say about Usher? I, I missed it. That that Diddy there was there was videotapes of him and Diddy getting it on. My yeah, and there's way. something about Justin Justin Bieber too. I don't know if you've, you've mm. seen that with, with him. Yeah, but where is Will not... Smith in all this? I heard yeah, he'll be in there somewhere. Will Smith will be somebody's little. Yeah, I I hundred percent think that at some point Will Smith Watch will little come in there. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yes. Um, Ro Roseanne Barr and uh, and uh, the other comedian uh, is eluding my uh, thoughts right now. Um, the guy from Half Baked. Um, Jim Brewer. Fuck, uh, yeah, Jim Brewer did it. Uh, they just put up a podcast this morning that I listened to, I and they talked that. about this too. And and Jim Brewer said that he had heard like back in the day, back in the nineties, that that J Lo was gay and that uh the, the other guy was was gay and that, that it was all a facade and they were just like running a, a fucking big thing and and he had heard this when he first got and so this was on the uh, roseanne Barr's interview like today this morning and he was talking I about this it, it's just so interesting man it's so crazy man. i don't it's know crazy. if it's about to be fair bear i don't know if it's about being gay it sounds to me more about power yeah, you're totally right. Uh, you're totally no, right. I, I think it, 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 it's the whole uh, like guys don't just do that just to be like power over them. I mean, there's something. It's, it, it's, it's so they can't tell. The 
it's so they can't tell on each other. Like they, they got something on them so that, you know, they'll tell if they fucking get out of line, you know, it, it's, it's a thing all the elites do. Yeah. No, something yeah, that we don't, don't understand. Just like the Masons. What was that? Jim Brewer, Jim Brewer had said that today that like he, when he heard this, he just wrote it off and he said, that sounds freaking crazy. And that the, the person that he he had heard from he, that they said like oh and J Lo's gonna J Lo and Jay Z are gonna explode uh, because they're gonna be a part of this thing and and they're not even together they're just doing this for a show and yeah they had like a five minute conversation about this exact thing and he just wrote it off and he said like I thought it was fucking crazy but now all this is going on and he's like it's fucking crazy. And uh, yeah, I don't know what it, and even yet. Yeah, the Brewer was like, I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's. Fucking- when Stefani comes up in this, I got to take a walk. I anyway. thought Gwen Stefani did come into the audience at one point. Oh, no, I I don't know. I I I've idolized her like most of my life until she completely lost her ability to sing about ten years ago, and uh, it would just really upset me. I might have to take a walk. <laughs> hey, I had the biggest crush on Nelly Furtado. She came out when I was like, like, right at like grade seven or something. And uh, when she did the song, I'm like a bird. And I always had the, and then she turned into like the biggest demon creature. And I don't know where she's at now, but uh, I don't know. Sorry, yeah. Bear, was this in your sleep, in your dream? Well, no, Nelly Furtado. Yeah, Remember? what was a demon Nelly? creature? Well, no, I, oh, she's, she's just, she turned into the same thing as like Jay Z and all of those. Oh, people. okay. Sorry, you confused was me. She and um, was she Black Eyed Peas? Was that Nelly? Same. I don't name. even know who she is. I just no, remember. No, no, no. I remember a song coming out when I was probably like grade seven, and it was like a really uplifting song. It was like I'm like a bird, gotta fly away, and like okay. I just always had the biggest crush on her when I was like in like when it came out, grade six, seven. And I liked so Aaliyah, especially in Queen of the Damned. Like, Aaliyah was so tragic. I'm pretty sure the elites killed her off for some reason or another. It made me so sad. I'm just curious about chat. Like, is, like are we boring you? Because if we're boring you, I can stop. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out, like, what happened to my connection earlier. Like, it, it just all died right after Sarah's did. Like, I got straight booted off and my camera wasn't working or nothing i couldn't say maybe it was my weird energy switching everything you have off where where's <laughs> if i'm boring everybody i need to know because normally the chat goes crazy throughout and i i apart from ke they did say they're enjoying the the chat we we're having about energy and stuff like that they were it, it, Aaron, oh, that was you. Don't make me hunt them down. You might look, you lot. If it not bored, if you lot are bored of this stuff, I will change it up for you. But you need to be honest with me. Chat needs to be honest with me. So I'll play a little bit more of this while I read your your comments. Yeah, Maybe I, we're I just agree. too entertaining. I I find that that this the whole like uh, stuff with the stars and stuff kind of redundant and and kind of. I don't know, boring, uh, or not boring, but it's just like, you know, we know what it is. We've had it in front of our eyes our whole lives. Right. And it's like, you know, yeah, I don't know, but there's so I know nothing about it because I extricated myself from all things popular culture once I seen how fake and orchestrated most of it was. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I don't normally do this kind of stuff, but I wanted to touch upon it because it was a hot subject. Um, I thought Flo is going to be here tonight. <laughs> is he not live? I thought he was live. He he is live. I just saw that he was in your like little uh, your your panel advertisement for the show. I, I I was confused whenever I saw that he was doing a live at the same time. I was like, I thought he was going to be on that panel. No, 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 no. I had um, I had um, stoned on the head on on the not not Flo. Oh. Uh, it's my bad. I, I... Yeah, no, Flo does his own thing. I know he was live. He came on just before I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was. Mm. I, I I just thought he was on, like, the advertisement for the show or something like that originally. 
I, I could be wrong. Fools and tools. Do you know how your hidden gifts are in your natural chart? Hidden gifts. Oh, that's lovely. It, I'm assuming fools and tools is someone you know is from your chat, right? Fools and tools is everywhere. <laughs> um, do you know your hidden, your hidden gifts, your hidden gifts are in your natal chart? No, I didn't know that. Um, oh, is it? Is it? <laughs> is it, Katie? <laughs> oh, tell me more, fools. While I play a bit more of this video, I'm interested. Usher. So I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. Sure. Are you a resident oh. of England or Wales and struggling with debts <laughs> over £6,000? This is Usher. So it's also being admitted that he had sex with Meek Mill and Usher, guys. Do you realize how wild this is being alleged? And when it comes to young Miami's cousin, her cousin burst into the bathroom and began groping Rodney Jones. PDD sent her to do this, straddling him and would not let go. When it comes to trafficking, Mr. Jones was transported from California to New York to Florida to the U.S. Virgin Islands and was forced to solicit sex workers performing acts of pleasure to Diddy, accusing Diddy of drugging him and waking up with sex workers. They would solicit them from a place in Miami. Five sex workers were under the age of 18, under the age of 16. Wow. And he pleaded he forced them all to drink liquor. And also it states in these court documents that Chris Brown was present at these freak offs as well. And that there are pics with Diddy hugging these underage minors. Lord have mercy. This is very triggering for me. So I wanted to get through this quickly, but I'm kind of triggered right now because I've been, a, I understand these freak offs. I understand what these men do and they drug the hell out of you and they absolutely do madness to you. It is so scary how you can be groomed and told to do things that you should not be doing for these grown men and essayed and trafficked much like I was. So I didn't expect it to be to this level. Although I've written the cliff notes, re reading it out is just a whole different game for me. On another occasion, while standing in um, PDD's bedroom, Mr. Jones was forced to watch as PDD displayed his guns and bragged about getting away with shooting people. PDD shared that he was responsible for the shooting in the nightclub in New York City with rapper Shine. Wow. Now, Jennifer Lopez gets dragged into this. The fact that she, um, he admitted, was carrying the gun illegally into the club for him and passed him the gun after he got into an altercation with another individual. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So JLo is being dragged into this. TD Jakes is being dragged into this. P. Diddy, Justin Combs, Young Miami's cousin, the fact that Meek Mill was consorting and doing things with underage people and minors, Chris Brown as well, and with the fact that he admitted to having sex with Meek Mill and Usher as well. Mind blown. Those are the main points of this court document, guys. Now, he is coming at P. Diddy with 15 causes of action, and I'm going to list a few of them. Some of them, this is, this is the, the first one is absolutely bad. It's Rico. It's Rico. He's done. Conduct and participation in a Rico enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity, violation of racketeer influence and corrupt organization, essay and essay harassment, California bystander negligence, infliction of emotional distress, um, assault, premise liability for the sexual assault committed by Jane Doe, young Miami's cousin, premise liability for the essay committed by Cuba, trafficking and victims protections act, California premise liability, aiding, abetting and inducing a trafficking venture, and the list goes on to make it 15 overall actions. Okay, so I got through this cliff notes quicker than um, I, I expected. Apologies if I'm speaking too fast. You can slow. Yeah, he's really speaking fast. Like yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna slow him down. It's like he's on speed or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I, you know, I'm sitting there going, okay, you, you talk very fast. I wonder if it's too slow. Let's have a look. Slow down the video, right? Too slow. Yes, bit too slow. Okay, fours and tools. Um, I the thing is, if I put response <coughs> to you in my chat, you won't be able to see it because you're from Aaron's chat, and you've put. Um, hang on, what, what did you put down? Oh, I didn't realize. And tools yeah, no, mind. yeah, yeah, because you can see by the, can you see that little thing on top of his um thumbnail? It is like a little oval circle. Oh, I thought that was like a link thing. Oh, I, I understand now. Yeah, yeah that's from because uh, I think you're the one that's restreaming. Yeah? yeah, yeah, so he's from your chat, which means that if I reference him, he won't be able to see it in my chat. Okay. So, 
when are we going to find Mella husband? Katie. <laughs> I, we, we did find Mella uh, um, a husband and he's going to get shot after about a minute of being married to him in Widow Wonderland. That's the setting. So the setting is before we, as we start the game, Mel's finally found her cowboy. She <coughs> at the altar with her cowboy and then everything goes dark and all of a sudden, her cowboy husband of one minute has died, and somebody did it. <laughs> so I was married for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Katie, that's going to be the the intro. That's going to be the setting to Widow Wonderland Two. We're going to be in this huge mansion where Mel is getting married, and we're going to be in there. And then you know, like the film Clue. Has anyone seen the film? Or no, even I, the game, I played Thirteen Dead and Drive a lot. It's kind of like that. Okay, well, Katie says, "Mel, congratulations." <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So that's the setting as we enter Weirdo Wonderland, the game two. We're in a gigantic huge manor house and Wiccan's done me some great work, you know, with the with the characters that she's done as well and for just for the background of the game. So put her channel in the chat. Is there a way to do that? Yeah, what you do is you go to you, you go to my channel you, you in to description and in there there'll be the link. You just copy it and then you can put it in in um in your chat. So yeah, um, so, like like the link to your uh, channel. Yeah, Did this thing on your channel. Okay. Yeah, and then he can, if he wants to come into this chat, then he can, if he wants to, then he can. I can talk to him directly, or he can, you know, whatever. He can be in both chats. Um, so let's have a look. Go back to this one. By the YouTube settings. But I wanted to give you guys the quick, urgent cliff notes of this very long 80-page court document. There are also the selection of specific people who were in charge and, you know, helped create these freak-offs and, you know, where they would get those people from. I want to create a separate video for that because I think that requires specific detail because we are discussing people in that video that we don't know. So we really have to pay attention to that. So I want to break that down separately. But I wanted to get into this particular moment because this lawsuit is insane. The fact that he's accusing Meek Mill and Chris Brown being present with underage and consorting minors and sex workers is so frustrating and angry to me because we look up to these people, TD Jakes and all of these waste men and here they are grooming people and minors and nobody helps these young boys and girls. But the fact that PDD was forcing numerous those who were under the age of 16 to drink liquor is insane to me. Like, come on, guys. It is insane. When I was forced to do loads of things with these grown men, the other people that I knew that were forced to do things, they're not around no more. They're either on the streets or they ended up dead. It's that insane and crazy how these grown men can manipulate, force you to do things against your own will, groom you, traffic you, and then get they get away with this. Diddy's gone away with this his entire life. The fact that Usher's being dragged into this and that he had sex with Usher is what he's admitting. He's admitting that he's had sex with CBJ. Now, the particular sex worker in this video clip uh, the screenshots, you know, several screenshots that are being present in this, which I'm on the list, is not Stevie J. So I don't know why they would mention Stevie J's name and then the person is not Stevie J. That in itself is insane to me. I feel like the lawyer needs to come correct because these are major allegations that are coming on here. So I don't understand what's going on. It damages the credibility a little bit. But j is being dragged into this for illegally carrying gun arm and firearms towards Diddy. Diddy's saying that he was responsible for what was going on, you know, with Shine and the shooting, which is what Gene Dill has been saying. So a lot of this does corroborate what other people have been saying. Rodney is coming for 30 million, as initially discussed. Meat Mill, 
Chris Brown, TD Jakes, Young Miami's cousin. The fact that Young Miami's cousin burst into that room, straddled him, pulled his trousers down, and forced to give him oral is disgusting. And the fact that Young Miami didn't know that was going on, that she's some innocent angel. She's a fool. She's an idiot. And I just think it's disgusting. All of these people are being exposed, like Sloan Bella said, and really this is not even the Easter March time that she expressed. I mean, we're gearing into people. March. So maybe this is what she's referring to. Um, Say that again. So maybe Crispy knows more about what's going on with all this. Yeah, she said she's been so studying like this for a while, for years. Her on this, yeah. yeah. I want to know, like, this T.D. Jakes thing, like, what does T.D. Jakes got to do with any of those? That's kind of weird. Uh, well, somehow he's involved with, I think, the, the from what the, the, from what I'm hearing, the, all of it, the trafficking, the mm -hmm. salaciousness, the, I think PDD was supposed to have had relations with him from what this guy said, right? That's kind of what I was getting out of it, but I'm not sure. I mean, it's weird because, like, I know TD Jakes is, like, a um, one of those mega church like Christian pastors. But that doesn't mean anything, though, does it, though, to be fair? Uh, no, you know, it's just kind of weird that he's, like, wrapped up in this somehow, though. Well, um, if I offend anybody, I'm really sorry, but it wouldn't be the first time that people in the faith and high position would be in a situation like this. Look at yeah, the Vatican. You know, look at all the weird shit that's happened in and around the Vatican with with girls going missing and boys going missing all of a sudden where there's connections to shit happening inside the Vatican. I, I and, and do I believe that that's possible? I've seen some documentaries, you know, where students go and study in the Vatican and then they disappear mysteriously. Uh, you know, and these are supposed to be people of God. <laughs> Right. right exactly um I, I i think there's a lot a lot of stuff here but like i think it's been so polluted like over the last few years like with the whole q q thing and like like there's a lot of stuff there with the big i don't know hillary, hillary clinton and like uh i've been down all all of the rabbit hole there's that other um actor guy too um i don't know if if you got went down that rabbit hole, he had like a big fro, but like he actually, they said, ended up like committed committing suicide off off a bridge. Oh, somebody in the back. It's Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. What's up, Kurt? Marsh, what's up? Hi, darling. How are you doing, my love? I'm good. I got about an hour drive home, so I figured I'd come in here and hang out with you guys. What do you think about the situation? You're in the music yeah. industry. Oh, about whole P. Diddy? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it goes on a lot more than we know. Like, I think this has been going on for a long time, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a lot more people involved. Right. And what do you think about the connection to he was possibly allegedly involved with the murders of um tupac and biggie smalls i think a lot of us have always believed that that I he was dead involved yeah i believed it for the longest time like suge knight pretty much like said hey he was involved it was just like never really it was just kind of pushed under the rug and do you think that those two, because obviously we're talking about decades-old cases, do you think that all, all this shit that's coming out about Diddy now, do you think he'll ever go ever go back to him? Like, you think he'll ever go back to normal? No, no, no. To it will it will it will be linked to Diddy, because the stuff that I've seen in documentaries is pretty incriminating. Okay. Did we lose Kurt? He's driving, he said, so he might. We'll see see him. Am I back? Oh, you're back. back. Yeah. yeah, no, I think they, uh, 
I think what the crazy part is, is there's a, I have to find the video, I'll send it to you, but there's a theory that the reason this was never solved and the reason that they never closed the case was because it was too good for hip hop to be an unsolved case. Like if they would have put a, if they would have closed it a long time ago, it would have killed off Tupac's legacy. That's an interesting concept. Um, but do you believe that Diddy has got all these like policemen and like people in power in the pocket? Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I do. Um, it'd be interesting to see how far this whether this is going to be brushed under the carpet or whether it's going to be fully exposed like the extent of it because we're talking about i mean we, we hear we're talking about like hollywood the hollywood masses right yeah so i hope it all gets exposed all of it what do you reckon so far with the, uh, the cases that are against him all these lawsuits do you think money grab or just the truth or both i think cat williams has a big part of this i think when Cat Williams came out and said people need to start speaking on this, I think it opened up a lot of people to, I don't know if it's a money grab. I, I can't say it's a money grab because, I mean, maybe some of them, but I'm sure there's definitely some truth behind all that. I, who knows? I mean, like, we all know this shit's been going on for decades anyway. It's not just something new. So... What was that flow is true oh okay uh, <laughs> crispy i'm not going to get involved in any of that <laughs> um so so what's your take um kurt do you reckon under the carpet or do you reckon something's going to come out no i don't think i think 100 percent they're gonna he'll be the next r kelly like they'll make an example out of him they definitely they'll definitely push it off i've never seen uh homeland security do a raid ever i i've i've looked and i for homeland security to do it they definitely have like their conviction rate is is better than the feds like they're a part of the like they're they're the same entity i guess but if they're coming and kicking in your door and raiding your house then you definitely uh you got some problems <laughs> well i was gonna ask about that because i saw that it was homeland security i thought homeland security dealt with um uh, national threats like the home homeland well, that is. is not the united states like no one's really sure what homeland is a designator of they've basically taken over all the um federal police forces and and yes. consolidated portions of it and they have no they're they are above the law like the cia basically they're a fed they're a part of the feds but like you said they're a little bit higher than the fed but like all of their laws will fall under federal law so like Diddy, that's when why. I, it. Yeah, when yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's crazy though because if they're involved in it, they're like they're like domestic foreign and domestic terrorists. Which it falls in line for that because if it's trafficking, then you're selling kids though or whatever people, whatever it is, it's overseas. Yeah, it's definitely it makes sense why they got involved. But to see them get involved, that's crazy. It, well, it, I found it. I mean, I not that I know very much about your different departments, but I, like I said, I was like, "Oh, why is Homeland Security doing this?" Normally, it's the FBI. No, FBI is too busy investigating citizens for no reason right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't true. know, guys. I need you lot to tell me more about it because I don't know what which agencies are assigned to what. Our our entire government's a joke, really, right now, in my opinion. It's all a bunch of actors doing things they ain't supposed to be doing. And they're open about it, for once, at least. You got the ATF know. knocking on people's doors, trying to get you to show them your guns for God knows what reason. Uh, you got um, the FBI investigating innocent people on a regular basis, basically being spies for uh, the talking heads. Uh, so basically, they're spying on people, at, hoping that they screw up or trying to find anything they can to just get people that are, you know, people that they don't like in trouble and illegal wiretaps, FISA nonsense. I don't know. I don't know how much of it's actually just a, a play 
that's going on to just fuck with their heads or not, but it is what it is. I mean, well, I the learned- CIA is doing intercountry like operations now, and sorry, go ahead. CIA oh, has good. always worked like uh, in state and out of state. So. Oh yeah, they they own yeah. Google and all of Alphabet Corp under shell like companies. The F- and- FBI um, typically won't get involved in like an international thing unless another nation specifically requests help from them. But the yeah, our CAA with the exception of Mexico and, and Haiti and stuff. Dude, I, I learned. I don't know how. All the time. I don't know how true this is, but I learned that the CIA isn't even the CIA isn't even stationed in the United States. Like their 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 offices are in a foreign country, and the CIA I also learned, is the military industrial complex, basically. Yeah, they run it. yeah well, the, the CIA. Yeah, we. Yeah, they operate out of all sorts of different nations at that point. Yeah, and they, they definitely everywhere. operate in, inside this one whenever they want to screw someone over that's uh, in a high position of power. They, they're they not allowed to, but they do. And the NSA is just the, the same people with a different face. Well, I learned that the CIA is actually – so, like, our presidents are just faces. The CIA still controls oh, – yeah. Any movement in the United States whatsoever, whether it's like foreign goods or trading or whatever, like the president really has no say. You can have whatever you want. You can have a Republican. You can have a Democrat. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's all what those black kind of individuals say. It, it really boils yeah. down to you know. What sucks is CIA was started, started as a bunch of Wall Street bastards, too. So it's all about the money. It's exactly what it's about. And that's what... The, and that's why when I learned that about it makes a lot of sense now that like when you see the CIA Secret Service and all that, they only protect the active presidents now. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they don't, Trump don't even get no backing from the CIA anymore. Um yeah, it, it's it's absolutely insane. Like uh they, they are the ones uh, basically calling the shots, whoever the compartmentalized people at the top of that. I'm sure there's a People in other countries that have nothing to do with our government whatsoever running things as well. I mean, I can't even guarantee you they're human, but I know all of our presidents are just uh, actors and that our election has never mattered, not since uh, especially Kennedy. I don't know about that, but I know that uh, our country uh, didn't start off being allowed to have a certain peoples in it. And that's why we got out of Europe in the first place. And George Washington took a loan from those people in Europe that we were getting away from in the first place to start this country before the Revolutionary War was even won. So he's the biggest traitor we ever had. And it's the reason that the United States is has never been uh, what they say it is. We've never had freedom. We're all slaves worldwide. Yeah, ain't that crazy? It, it's, Ooh, it is what I, it is. Well, sorry, Chicken Snake. Hi, darling. Hey, I, I'm a little bit behind in the video. I don't know if you got the answer to this. It was back when you're talking about a P. Diddy and the record label, his internship. Wasn't that LaFace Records, L.A. Reed? Yeah. Uh, it sounds familiar. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was just I was just coming up to give that that answer. So I, I don't mean to interrupt. You guys continue. I'm all, I feel like Diddy. I feel like Diddy just got pushed out of the loop, and maybe it was, oh, you didn't pay this person or that person, and they just exposed him for what he was. I think a lot of people need that to happen. Hell, it's possible. You guys off track. Oh, you're good. Hey, I, I just feel like uh, I, I feel like. Diddy probably got forced, or someone got forced to put come forward with this stuff. I don't know. It, it, I I didn't see it coming. What? Well, I don't know, Aaron. There's been speculation for for decades, right? Oh, I know, but what pushed it out of just being speculation, though? Like, I, I feel like someone at the top said, "Hey, it's time. Go pull this file. <laughs> Go pull his card." What, what maybe do you he went down. Uh, maybe he went down to the crossroads and sold his soul. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Kurt, why do you think it's just coming out now? 
I'll jump down and get back to it. I'm sorry. No, 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 you can stay. You can stay, darling, because like, you know, like every all opinions are welcome because at the moment these are just all allegations. Yeah, no, I, I understand, but I'm driving and I and I need to use my map, but I I, I had a little bit of time to come up and give you okay. that answer just in case it hasn't been brought to the attention of the record label that he started off in. Um, but I want to I want to go back and continue watching from where I left off because this is a great subject and I want to hear. Okay, okay, Chicken Sale. Thank you for popping up, and I will talk to Blue Scarlet about making your character evil. Um, I know, I, I like evil characters. <laughs> Did you right, see? Guys, the enjoy the rest of your guys' conversation. I'll be listening in uh, uh, on my other phone. You guys have a great one. All right, darling. Bye, Wigan. Bye, Wigan. Mm. See ya. So, Kurt, I know that you know, uh, you know, you have your connection to the music industry and stuff. You know, this stuff happens, right? This stuff happens a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of them get away with this kind of shit. I I don't understand how Hollywood tends to think it's above the law. And why? Oh, I, mean, I, I can kind of explain that. Um, yeah, go ahead. There was a, there was an arm of the uh, Holly, basically an arm of the CIA that was started to uh, control what Hollywood is allowed to put out called um, the CAA. And um, they, you can find videos of like Bill Murray, like begging to not be canceled by the CAA and all this other stuff. Um, it, it's actually uh, kind of interesting. There's a, a documentary done by um, the same person that helped Millie, Millennial Millie with the Shadowgate documentary. I, I forget her name off the top of my head, but uh, um, she used to work for one of the intelligence agencies and did something called uh, Thank You for Watching or something like that. I, I can't remember if that's the name of the, the documentary or not, but it's all about exposing the CAA and their existence and how they control everything that's on our news. Um, um, I don't know if it's just here or elsewhere too, but they control everything on the news, the the television, the, the movies. They, they screen it all. That's wild. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it talks about, it shows the CIA involvement and in all the like wartime uh, things and, and how the CIA usually is just making stuff up that isn't even true. Like the whole Ukrainian thing, it basically explains how that worked, but it wasn't specific about Ukraine. It was like talking about a previous war. But um, uh, yeah, we get a lot of smoke blowing up our asses in the world stage. Guys, I'm gonna pop to the shop quickly to get some more coffee pod. Uh, can you take? Can you not just take over? We can. I put, put message in there for you. Can you not just take over for ten minutes while I when what I. I'll come back in five ten. Yeah, I'm gonna Thank find you. the name of that movie, that video real fast, in case anyone's interested in the history of the CAA. I think you're right. I think it's thank you for watching. I think I've seen that. Yeah, but all that stuff kind of goes that goes way back. I mean, way back to like Walt Disney and all that shit. All like. Oh, yeah. cover, I mean, the well, well, they they officially did it with the yeah they officially did it a certain year. I forget what year the CIA was uh, organized. I think it was sometime after, shortly after Kennedy was off by the CIA. Yeah, I mean the the name. I guarantee you the reason they haven't put that info out yet and why they haven't released it. The big controversy about all the presidents pushing it back is because. Uh, George Bush Sr.'s name when he was director of CIA is going to be on that death warrant. I guarantee it 100%. Oh, that's why it won't come out then. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. uh, 100%. September 18th, 1947. Isn't that when the CIA was started? Yeah, under Harry S. Truman. Yeah. Uh, under the no, National Security about... Act of 1947. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I thought uh, we were talking about the CAA when it started or something. Oh, yeah. The, no, the, the CIA the started Army, in 1930. Yeah. yeah, CAA. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Um, but all that Hollywood stuff um, relating to national security and things like that, propaganda, the invisible sword, um, psychological operation, all that stuff goes way back, you know, all the way back to like the 1920s and 1930s. Um, 
let me find the name of that and I'll, I'll i'll put a link in the private chat to uh the the video that gives you the entire rundown because most people don't even believe that the caa is even a real thing like they they say i'm full of shit all the time but i mean this gives like video shows people that were actually in intelligence talking about what they did for the caa what, is it, what does it stand for caa I don't recall. I've only seen the thing a couple of times. Uh, let me find it real quick. I have it. I downloaded Central it off of uh, YouTube. Advertising Agency. Agency. That's I, CIA. I yeah, yeah CIA. CAA, though. Could be something different. I don't know. It might be called For Your Enjoyment. I don't remember what it's called. I got it downloaded in my folder here. Let me just show it fast. You guys might lose me here in a minute because I'm about to get on a pretty desolate road. Okay. I'm all the way. I just left the concert and I'm in like the middle of nowhere. What concert? <laughs> There's a local. Uh, There's a Upchurch show. Oh, Ryan what? Upchurch. Ryan oh, Upchurch. I that is. <laughs> and no on, what type of music? What type of music you listen to? I listen to metal I, usually. <laughs> well, he's got some rock. He ain't got no metal, but he's got some rock music. Weird. I think the hackers got that file too. Like they, they I had some hackers trash my server because I had interviews from military personnel. Uh, about the whole opioid epidemic saying how they were like people that were actually flying the c-130s back here from afghanistan uh with heroin to you know put out and shit like and i before i released the actual interviews proving that like the fentanyl comes in the u.s mail not over the mexican border and all this other stuff like yeah, my entire server got wrecked and so i haven't even made part two that was supposed to include those yet i have part one on my channel but like I just gave up on the series after they took all my evidence. That's crazy. Uh, it's it's definitely crazy considering I've only I only told one person for the twenty minutes or so it was actually on my computer before I was getting ready to upload it to everywhere. Like it was only on my computer twenty minutes. I whispered to one person way away from any electronic devices and within five minutes my entire server in my house was trash my custom homemade router was like uh, it was the firewall was deleted out of it it was absolutely insane like i've never seen a hack like that in my entire life and I, i've been in the hack for a very long time yeah that's all foreign language to me uh, i'll just put it this way someone had some skills that I didn't expect and, and they fucking trashed it. I had two uh, 12 terabyte hard drives, like my server of every file I've had since 1995. I, I don't delete anything. And they trashed it. They took trash half the pictures I had of my kid, everything. Like they just trashed it. And I've been trying to uh, pick up the pieces ever since. Like I, my files are all scattered. They got changed names, deleted like hundreds of thousands of files. Holy also, shit. Like, get four yeah. videos. Yeah. Someone's got to go. Try me. Yeah. I'm about, I'm losing service anyway, so I'll be back up here in a little bit. All right. All right see, you see you later, Kurt. All right. See you week. later, dude. Peace. I'm having trouble finding this video. I think they must have trashed it just for shits and giggles. Most of my videos are gone, it looks like. That's not fair. Especially since I was backing up someone's channel that keeps getting taken down on my server, too. Wow. So, uh... Anyone else want to uh, bring up something? I don't know what, what you to guys, talk about. I, what I do you? <laughs> what do you guys feel about twenty twenty four? 
Like, do you guys feel like a climax is coming? Like, I just can't help but feel like just weird this year. Like, I don't know. I I watch too too much fucking internet conspiracy shit, but like, <laughs> it feels like a weird right. year. Like, yeah, I've had to take a bit from that stuff this year, for the most yeah. part. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I gotta just turn sh that shit off because, it, yeah, it is stupid, and it's negative and it's retarded. But I don't know. Sometimes you feel like you're like you're like smarter than people because you're like paying attention to the real shit and you're smarter than the sheeple. So you know you, you're you're well, you're you're gonna know what's happening ahead of them. But that shit it, never happens. It's happened. hard though. It's hard though because now the government's involved in making a counter narrative, like like you never know what's real anymore. Like, that's why I just thank said. You, zero screw it. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes CAA I think it's like is a, regarded uh, as an influential company in the talent agency business and manages numerous clients. You can find the top stars begging to not get canceled. Oh, like, like begging the CIA. I, I lost all respect for Bill Murray. He was one of my favorite actors. And then I saw him begging like a little bitch uh, to not be canceled by them for whatever reason. And, and I lost all respect for him. I thought he was like someone that would go against the grain to some degree, even though, you know, he's been in the biz for a long time, but you know, I just, I don't know. It just triggered something to me. I, I don't, I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, let me yeah. find that that video. I, I'll find it on YouTube. I'm sure there's. Oh, a you, there. you, did you uh, say Bill Murray, like the yeah. guy from Ghostbusters? Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of top stars begging to not be canceled in the last couple of years. Canceled? But, what do you mean? Yeah, for for saying something that they don't like that that the CIA doesn't approve of, basically, or CAA by means of the CIA, but like. Uh, I really got to find this documentary. You understand? I don't know whether maybe uh, um, Wicca would like to play bits of it or something, but it, it's absolutely insane. Like it kind of blew my mind. It wasn't as crazy as the uh the Shadowgate documentary that her and Millennial Millie did, but like it, it's pretty crazy. I just got to find, I think I'm sub to this person's channel. I, I don't know why I can't remember her name. It's escaping me. Oh, but they've, they've been, that's what all go governments do. They cancel anybody who doesn't, you know, support their line. So, you know, it's obvious that's going to happen, you know? So it's, yeah. it's not like that crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I, it's, it's not that crazy. I just, I don't, I don't know the way he was in that video. Just, it made me sick. As far as Bill Murray goes, I, I don't know. I, seeing him in oh, Zombie Land, you know, being all badass and then like being funny and stuff, and then seeing that is just night and day. I'm trying to think of the name of that other actor. Um, Tom Tom Woods. I can't even think of. Uh, Tom Woods has been tweeting like all this, you know, there. like base stuff for years. Anyways, there was an actor recently. He um, basically went to Canada and was like in hiding in Canada over some shit. I can't remember exactly what the whole thing was about. The person who found uh, Poseidia, the the name? capital city of Atlantis uh, in the Yucatan off the coast of Cuba, um, while on a submarine funded journey, uh, is hiding in Canada right now because of a um, because we keep trying to arrest her and put her in prison for life so she doesn't talk. According to Dark Journalist, anyway. Huh? Oh, I just said, wow. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you said who. I was about to say Polina Zaliski. Why I can remember that name that I've only heard a handful of times and not someone that I'm subscribed to is beyond me. Wolf, well, you were talking good. about Ghostbusters. Have you seen that new movie? I have not. The new one I haven't. I just saw the one from the 80s. 
I, I oh, saw the okay. one with all the females. Is there a new one beyond that? Yeah, the one uh, Ghostbusters Frozen. Uh, I, I haven't even heard of it. I, I miss commercials and previews, kind of. <laughs> oh. It's, it's been probably 15 years since I saw a commercial or preview. Has anybody in <laughs> chat seen that one? That's funny. Once you start like looking into life, you like totally stop paying attention to all the shit that comes out. Other than uh, the one few man Dune, I haven't seen the new Dune, but like you know, oh, some things it. you can pull pull you know stuff out of that, to analyze. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, I used to do that a lot. Like uh, like find things that would coincide with something going on in the real world and figure out something that way, but. It's been a while. There's not many good movies since the first writer's strike. I feel like they killed all the good writers off or fired them or something. I don't right. know. Like, very little has come out. Like, all the best series that were on the show that were actually, like, groundbreaking disappeared. And now everything's nonsense, I feel yeah. like. But, I mean, occasionally there's a good, you know, series that's short-lived or a good movie here and there. But I like I get tired of I haven't seen it. My sister uh, Supernatural. Yeah. I might have seen one or two episodes of that. I love that show. Let's check it out. I I remember. Uh, oh, what's this show? Uh, the One Hundred. I I think that was the last really really good show that I liked, and that I feel like uh, things show. might. And, yeah, I, I liked it a lot. And then uh, oh, I can't remember. My mom and I usually try to find shows that we haven't seen that look good and sit down and just binge watch. Them. Oh, yeah. There's one uh, that's on like Apple TV normally. Um, I pirate everything through an app called Stremio. But uh, um, anyway, uh, um, it, it's called The Silo. And it is mind-blowing. It, it, it makes you think. It's very deep. And you. I still don't know whether these people... Uh, why these people were in this silo like it, it takes place uh supposedly in the future and these people have been in this massive silo like a whole city where the people like it goes way underground and it starts you off uh at a point where no one knows the history of the silo um someone destroyed all these servers in some kind of revolution that had all their history and all this stuff and it's like hundreds of years after that no one remembers no one knows why they're in there they just know if they go out the silo they die from the air being poisonous because the world was like post-apocalyptic and not safe to breathe or something like that. But it, it's just mind bending. I couldn't stop watching it. Like I sat there like a zombie forever. Just finish the fucking story, man. <laughs> That's how I felt. I don't know. Man, those are it's, my it's favorite movies. Weird. Every, every movie, the road, the fucking, uh, Fucking like all all of, I don't know what it is. Post apocalyptic movies are like my favorite genre. Like oh, me too. Ever since I watched Escape from L.A. on mushrooms, and after <laughs> Warped Tour one year, it was great. I love Zombie zombies. Guys, I'm back. Hello. Hello. Carry on. Carry on. Where's, where's Kurt gone? He's gonna come back later. Okay. Carry He's on as you are. Body area. I love zombie oh, just... movies. I, I I like Land. Uh, and, and uh um what's the one where the warm bodies or something like that? Like oh, it yeah. was like a love story about zombies and stuff. Yeah, that was good. That's pretty good. There's also one that came out like I don't know two years ago that was like uh love I fell in love or whatever and this guy had to mm -hmm. travel but like the world's taken over by like like weird like everything was crazy and but it was like a love show he was trapped and it had a uh, woody woody what's his is it harrison or ellen are you talking about zombie land no i don't know that's all i could think of but i hear woody harrelson <laughs> but yeah same 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 yeah woody harrelson is just like zombie land if you google it it'll come up but uh, it, uh end of the world uh it's something about love but like yeah i fucking love shit. I like, I like a that tragic love story. Zombie movie. I like that zombie movie with uh, Brad Pitt in it. Um, I liked their take on oh, Z how to. Or uh, like that. yeah, that's World War Z. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah I liked it. their take on how to fight the virus. 
I don't recall it. I only watched it once, I think. Oh, right. Right when it came out. Man, that I wonder I've never heard that question asked among among truthers. But like I know I love apocalyptic movies. And it sounds like oh, you yeah. guys all I, I wonder if most most truthers all love apoc apocalyptic movies. I think most of us probably do because we wonder yeah, like wonder and it's like it's probably reality at some point, whether it's in a hundred years or ten years, who the fuck knows, but I like him because I know I'd be able to survive in a world like that. Screw civilization. Oh, not me. <laughs> I would, I, I would thrive in a post-apocalyptic wasteland because I, I believe, I'm just resourceful, I guess. I believe I, I would too, man. I've always believed that. Like I, I'm like, yeah, wheeler and dealer, just freaking like, yeah, make it happen. Work with. Your I, hands. I've always, yeah. As long as there's not like, uh, like The Walking Dead. Like I, I don't think I could right. deal with all the zombies all the time. Like <laughs> right. And they never seem to end. Like it's like how many people have are you there? guys ever seen the movie The Night of the Comet? No, I, I feel like I, like I have, have, but I can't remember. That's a really good post apocalyptic movie from like the nineteen eighties era. I I may oh, have movies. saw it in that case because my sister was obsessed with like movies back then. And th that are like that. I was more of a, a, I don't know, fantasy like person when I was younger. Superhero stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. I have to check it out. What about you, Mel? What kind of movies are you into? Sorry, I'm just scoffing some breakfast, and I've oh, accidentally yeah. dropped some, um, some crumbs <laughs> down my down my cleavage. Are you eating on camera? <laughs> I like no, I'm dealing with the crumbs within my cleavage right now. That's what our uh -huh. cleavages are good for. Keep holding going. Crumbs. <laughs> that's um, what belly buttons are good for. Oh, those. that's so gross. That's really fucking disgusting. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, no, I, 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 I was at the shop and I thought, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to, I don't know. Remember I said I've really got into my meat over the last two days. I don't know why. Email me but, some food. I'm well, starving. I just got a sausage and hash brown baguette. For my breakfast oh man that sounds Yummy. fantastical i haven't been to the store because it's been raining like post deluge style for like four days here oh it's always uh, rains in england it's no big deal yeah oh so, I'm, I'm talking it's like like bad bad rain like to the point where i don't even want to go outside i got a slow leak in my tire i don't feel like standing out there and pumping it up to go okay <laughs> so as bad. i'm listening to you as i'm scoffing food down my face and no, I'm not going to do it on camera because obviously it doesn't look nice when somebody's scoffing food within their mouth on camera, right? Uh, I don't know. I know people that do it, and I just sit there and watch them. It's like it's therapeutic for me. And then oh, I is just it? End up going and getting food. <laughs> it, I don't get to see commercials anymore, so I don't get to see like the the food commercials that make me go craving stuff. Like I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah I, I, I just don't think it's very nice for me to shove things down in my mouth while i'm trying oh, to talk i i understand i i don't usually eat unless uh everyone else has food and eating too that's the way i was raised so i'm the same way you don't eat much wolf no i just i, I wouldn't eat on camera and, no. you know i would, I would yeah. feel bad you know like if i go to mcdonald's and i know Not there's going to be people at my house i buy mcdonald's for everybody I, yeah but mcdonald's I has children i don't eat if Huh? <laughs> McDonald's has missing children in it. Okay. No, I'm so saying that because I, I did, I did, I did a deep dive. <laughs> in, I did a deep dive for Stone's panel once, and obviously it's just speculation. But this huge rabbi. What person, about White Castle? White Castle. Yeah. What's that? I would shoot myself in the foot for one Some of those. Uh, they're joint. like the little burgers with the with the um, onions and like. They're they're they have the little tiny burgers and you could like I don't know I would literally shoot myself in the foot for some right now I forgot that existed so just now too. Is that got children in it too? <laughs> Maybe I don't mind. It tastes good though. Just okay. like talking about. It. I will eat fast food until the day I die. I don't care what's in it. it. Tastes good. I I don't normally do fast food just because it does tend to upset my stomach because you know you. Just I don't, don't do rabbit that. food. I do, I don't rabbit do any food. vegetables. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a rabbit food person, but I don't know what's come over me. Missan on Monday's panel mentioned some 
and this is why I think the eclipse has affected me. Whereas mainly I eat 90% vegetarian. After Miss Anne was talking about her burgers on panel, I actually mm. ordered a burger at quarter to six in the morning. I didn't think I could get one, but I did. And since Tuesday morning's live, I can't stop eating meat and I don't understand. Um, your body craves what, <laughs> you, what it needs. Meat now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, but it's not me. It's not normally like me i don't know what's going i mean i've never i used maybe to maybe you've vegetables. been eating too many vegetables maybe have you been running to the bathroom a lot from all the vegetables no maybe you're turning into a werewolf normal. what was that wolf <laughs> maybe you're turning into a werewolf it's your bad influence i'm turning into a carnivore right uh -huh. it's it's the first for flesh maybe i've been around too much uh -huh, maybe <laughs> Your, bo your body telling you what you need, but I freaking love that 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 comment. Ten or Mel, like ninety nine percent of people, like I would make that comment. Like if I made them comment in real life about like eating babies at McDonald's, ninety nine percent of people <laughs> would would look at you and like with and be like, holy fuck, that guy's fucking crazy. But like, no, I, I mean, it's, obviously, it's, Bear, it's speculation because this apparently this rabbi came out and said this high importance rabbi in, in, in the US, yeah. And he was saying that all the missing children of uh, actually, coincidentally speaking about Hollywood, all the missing children that are taken by Hollywood, uh, they're they and this is awful, so I apologize, trigger warning, that their, their bodies are then given to huge distributors like McDonald's. Um, which then goes into their pays. It's wild and out there, but I haven't eaten. They're doing food. something with the Mexicans coming over the border. That's awful. <laughs> no, I've, I've gone down the rabbit hole. I couldn't hole, help it. So I just think, yeah, I think it's all awesome. So I've gone and I like totally understood it. I was like, holy shit, I've been down that rabbit hole. It's just funny that, mm -hmm. like, yeah, you've you've been down that rabbit hole too. It's, it's I've cool. seen I that have. video that you're talking about as well, years and years I ago. I, I just crave blood sometimes, and that's when I'm iron deficient. That's the only reason I said the thing about craving in the first place. I don't know. Um, Bear, what did you find when you went down that rabbit hole? What did you find? That was probably one of the first rabbit holes I went went down that like woke me up and disturbed me the most to make me like like realize all this crazy shit. Yeah, it was like the whole, you know, children. And it was right mm -hmm. when I had my first kid, when I went down oh. these rabbit holes. Um, and yeah, just like disturbed me to the core and it like shook me to the core. Like, I, like I was, and yeah, that's what like started me on this whole journey. And I, and I didn't realize it till about every town that you shake a tree and politicians from that city fall out in, regarding trafficking rings, especially little towns like mine. It's messed up. That's what opened my eyes to it. My friend's uh, kid almost got taken in broad daylight in a Walmart, and the Walmart employees wouldn't do nothing about it. And I, 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 I figured out who it was. No one believes me. Like it, it's the dang locally anyway. It's the Pakistani like people that open like the cricket wireless and uh, boost and all that stuff. It's all the same Pakistani family. And I saw the picture of who tried to take my friend's kid. And it, it's one that owns one of those places, and no one, no one believes me. I try to have it like, like it keeps getting swept under the rug by politicians in this town. Oh wow, it's, it's crazy. Once I, you, I shouldn't once even be talking you, about it here. Once you go down down it, because then you hear it. Like I, I've heard it on my like on CBC on normal radio. They did two reports in like the same year. I was waking up, where they actually like uncovered like. Uh, like satanic pe pedophile rings in towns near me, like Rebel Soak and like like uh, that's like two towns, like three hours. If away we weren't from me live outside. and it wouldn't get your channel taken down, I would tell you guys a story that would make your stomach curl of what I saw when I was younger. Oh, I'm eating. Best not right now. But like yeah, it's pretty messed news, up. We're reporting this this shit, and it's like like while I'm waking up, it's like crazy. Yeah, and then yeah, and then oh man, it's so crazy. I, I like and then not wanting to put your kids in in daycare. Wow, it's just fucking crazy. I don't you even know where my like, kids in public schooling. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's life is fucked up. But. 
I, I, if I if I saw my son, I would homeschool him. Like I, I would have probably got arrested for not giving him vaccines too. You're gonna sign a waiver for all that, though. Um, they got their ways, man. Like it, unless you know people that have actually accomplished it, because I don't. I have. I know people that that they tried to they arrested. They took their kids away. Um, I know. I have a lot of friends whose kids were taken away because they didn't. They wanted to homeschool them and didn't want to give them vaccines, and they didn't give oh, them. No way. Yeah. Wow. You get your children taken off you if you don't. I got my children taken away for no reason. Like they didn't charge me with anything. Like I and my lawyer, I found out was in on it, and and they had his name changed and in foster care, like adopted out by some rich doctor and the arresting officer from one of my uh my things from way back when I was younger, like it is messed up is conflict of interest and all this other stuff. Like they pulled so many illegal bullshit and I didn't find out till 10 years later that I didn't even have to let them in the, <laughs> in the first place when CPS came knocking for no damn reason. Just cause I, cause I supposedly, cause I didn't divorce my ex-wife the first time we had an argument. That was their reasoning. Literally. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, they said that's why they were CPS was forcing their way into my life when I think it was just because I was a felon and they thought I was some fucking junkie. And and once they seen that I wasn't, they they kept pushing me. They they made me lose my job for making me come in seven days a week, like four and five times a day. I had a full time job, like I had an Audi, everything. They they made me lose everything, including my kid. Oh shit! Uh, uh, yeah, and before uh, the investigation got to my county about them basically legally. Uh, selling kids to uh the highest bidder in the state um no the, way really the for cps retired before they got to my county so there was no justice done and i didn't find out my lawyer was in on it and that um somehow along the way i was basically uh just everyone was fooled into this shit i don't even think that the the parents that adopted them knew that they were involved in something like below the board you know it's it's messed up and, and like when and I just it was like probably three or four months ago that I found um, pictures just because I'm always looking for pictures of them on the Internet because um, the, the people that adopted them, they own all the GNC stores in the area. And uh, um, I, I, I just kind of try and keep track of them, get pictures whenever I can, because they they threaten to call the cops if I even come near one of their stores, even if he's not there. It doesn't make any sense. I they won't even explain why. But uh, and that's after they said they they would still let me be a part of his life after the the case was over and stuff. And it didn't make any sense. I couldn't even talk and defend myself because my lawyer mysteriously didn't show up every single time that I had an opportunity to talk. So therefore, I couldn't speak without an attorney. Couldn't fire her either. Doesn't make sense. That's but terrible. Do you not I mean, know where your child is? I know who he's with and that they're, they're decent people, but they're also the, the sister-in-law of uh, my arresting officer at one point in time. And uh, like when I was younger and like my first charge ever, and uh, the judge that was presiding over it was um, also um, a judge that had presided over me before when there was plenty of other options and they wouldn't let me switch none of it. And I found out that he got adopted. His name was changed to something else before I even lost my case. So, and I had picture evidence. My lawyer was in there when his name was getting changed instead of being at my MDT meeting with CPS and stuff. So, uh, yeah. And I just found that that picture a couple months ago, proving that I wasn't like just conspiracy theory crazy. So like, even though it's a known thing that the investigation is going on around here, you know, but yeah, it's messed up. Well, fuck yes. I mean, that's insane. Yeah, I, um, I don't even, I mean, I'm sure he'll find out about me. That's pretty much why I still live in the same area and haven't moved far the fuck away. Like, I'm sure he'll find out about me, get pissed at them, or depending on what they say about about me or whatever, because I don't even know what they think. Because obviously they think something if they're telling me to stay away, but I, I wasn't even accused of anything. Nothing illegal anyway. <laughs> like, even though it had to, it was all like, in like the 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 circuit kind of courts like as if it were a felony or something i mean and they can't they have no files of it if i go down to dhhr and try and get my files like about the the trial and any of that they have no files well i mean like do you know what sometimes i hear about the us and i i'm just like completely oh, 
It's a racket. They, they, it's known that the CPS worker, the guardian ad litem, and the attorney, they all get paid like I think it was three or four thousand dollars for every kid they get taken out of their home, put on medication, and put into foster care. That's so fucked up because in England, <laughs> children's <laughs> services tries to keep families together. They do their hardest to try and keep families together. <sighs> So, I think in this state is part of that whole destruction of a generation series I was doing. Cause they, I mean, I feel like all of it's linked with them wiping out everyone, my age, like almost everyone in my area is either dead or not with their children. And, and what, whether they do drugs or not, like, like they wiped out. And pardon. What age, what I graduated in 03. If that says anything. Okay. All right. But but like the grade below me was actually the largest voting age uh, generation um, since the boomers, though. So I, I if that might have something to do with it, they destroyed like an entire like every, two grades below me, and two grades above me in this entire area. Like my town was the had the highest overdose rate in the entire world until uh, all these Democrat big cities like Philly and stuff took over. No joke. They they destroyed us like every everyone i know like pretty much all my friends are all dead because of heroin and that's because they took away they made the doctors too afraid to prescribe painkillers and that's after they got everyone my age prescribed to painkillers in this area and and it's messed up it's like it was all planned and then i got buddies coming back from iraq saying that you know we were teaching them how to grow better heroin there and shipping it back here it's fucked up it's really fucked up uh, it, well, it sounds fucked up, like really fucked up. I mean, I, I listen. You know, sometimes I talk to my my American friends, and I'm just like appalled. I mean, the other day, without going into too much, because I know YouTube doesn't particularly like this um, subject about the pharmaceuticals and you know the prescriptions that they give you a lot, which is so highly addictive, which doesn't happen here in England. Um, my mom's 74 and they won't even prescribe <coughs> like it in here anymore. And she's got, she broke, she had a hip replacement. They wouldn't give it to her. That's how, how scared they doctors are to even prescribe it anymore. She's 74 years old and, and she's got like the, that, uh, that problem with the tail end of your back. Uh, the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She's got that too. And like all sorts of other problems. She can barely move. That's, that's why I have to be here with her. And they, they took her off her, her Vicodin and everything. Like, and, and she only took like a half a pill once a week and, and, and cause she already braved it out as much as she could. And now she's just falling more and more often. And I, I, Oh, falls and, and tall says uh, it's happening in Australia as well. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it's, it's terrible. It, it's no, like they're I said, wiping in England, out voting age people like nothing. I mean, I, I can't believe half the stuff that goes on in your country because, like, here, unless you're literally, you've broken something or you're, like, on your deathbed, you will not get the prescriptions for the hardcore pain, let's put, say, pain relief. Um, you know, you I just don't get it. To be hardcore. Now, Oxycontin, I could see, but because that destroyed a lot of lives. But Vicodin and Percocet, I, I think they should go back to giving it out normally, but give people proper warning about the side effects and stuff. Maybe even evaluate each each uh, patient on an individual basis and whether they have an addictive personality or whatever. But like they should not take someone that actually they're quality of life depends on it you know they shouldn't keep people like that from getting it no i mean i understand that absolutely but what i mean is that i remember a free dot when he he told us a story about his uncle and he said that he'd broken something like in at work broken his leg or something and it prescribed something hardcore and it ended up when he couldn't get it anymore you know his uncle died with a needle stuck in his arm because he was going to the streets and getting like substitutes and oh, yeah. that's a real that's a real sad state of affairs. And I believe it happens a lot in the US, right? It, it, well they used to well the used thing to about the thing about that like, sort of stuff is ask and they'll give it to you. Is, that's is how you it, right, yeah. And, and the thing about that sort of thing is um they are addictive for some people, but not everybody. Yeah. Yeah. The doctors were going overboard with just giving it to anyone that asks, and and then. Well, you know, I'll give you an example just, just from my my personal experience. All right, like um, I could go in and 
get my wisdom teeth pulled out when I'm 18 years old. It'll prescribe me oxycotton for a week, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think we're allowed to say the names of the medication. I don't think we're allowed to say the names of the medication. Um, because I know a creator that lost monetization because we, they named the, the, the actual medications. Well, I mean, it is my personal experience, mm. you know. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, right, to understand what, what I'm talking about. You could say you oxycodone know? to get by that, actually. It's a right. generic name. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyways, you know, over a week, and, uh, you know, I didn't get addicted to it. It was no big deal after that, but... Uh, you know, I've gone through a lot more serious shit than just getting a couple of teeth pulled out where they should have prescribed me some heavy painkillers and they refused to because of all the bullshit like you're talking about. And, and I resent people, these doctors yeah. because of it. I mean, I fucking hate them because of it. Yeah, they're telling it's wrong to treatment now too. And, and like putting getting them put on something worse than than heroin like and the these people are running around saying that they're sober now and this and that and like they're on something more addictive and 10 times more dangerous that's synthetic rather than a regular you know grown from the ground opiate opiate like it, it's messed up they're putting right. ma they're ma destroying lives still even with the recovery Right, and you know what I see is they really don't give a shit how much pain you're in, how much physical pain you're in. They really they don't care. Money, it's the just all about use. hospital politics and crap, and yeah, fuck uh, them. I, I just think we should me off. <laughs> really go as a as a world thing to take out all pharmaceutical uh, companies um, that that you know make them. Uh, under control by the states individually or something, you know, not corporate owned or not allowed to be corporate owned. Cause since there are things that are beneficial, but in my experience, absolutely everything on this planet is either manufactured by man is in regard to sickness or, uh, um, you know, taking the medicine, they, they give you the medicine and next thing you know, your kidneys are failing. And then they're giving you something for the kidneys failing. So it's all, I don't know. I hate Western medicine. I think all the doctors in the United States are quacks and don't are taught wrong. So they don't know better personally, because there's been nothing right. that I they haven't been able to, yeah, I haven't been to a doctor know better, a decade, and I, I am just fine. <laughs> I stopped getting sick when I stopped going to the doctor. No joke. Yeah, they should know better, but it's, it's a money making racket. Is what it is. What just happened? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we of course, I mean, you know, it, I've heard about your how your insurances work, and and it, it's awful, and I feel really bad for you, lot, because don't get me wrong, it, this the, the the doctors here still will prescribe, prescribe, prescribe. Um, that's what they're there, <laughs> that's what they're paid for, but um, it's not anywhere near as bad as the situation over there. It, you know, the situation over in your country is heartbreaking, to be fair. I mean, surgeons, I, I'm, I'm fine with surgeons. I mean, like, but any of these, these general practitioners are all a joke and they, they're mm -hmm. just there to push pills on and drugs on people for the pharmaceutical companies and tell people what uh, basic schooling, if they taught the right stuff in school should already. <coughs> that's what it, it, all is. Comes, it all comes down to the truth, man. Like everything's a lie. And it all, like, that's what I believe is that us learning the truth. So, like, us truthers, man, will save the the world because, man, we're going to find out the actual truths about everything. And I can see it happening right now, man. Like, I'm on every rabbit hole, like, about the financial system, about the healthcare system, about, like, like the healthcare, like, it was taken over by the Flex, Flex New Report in, like, that 1837. Taken down. Um, yeah, Sorry. like it was, it was, it was totally, man, it, it's way deeper than what, like most doctors don't know a thing. They don't know a thing. They, they, they went to school like for eight years and they did A, B, C, or D, A, B, C, or D, A, B, C, or D. Like they, they didn't critically think about anything, man. And that, that's what it comes down to is critical thinking. And like, actually, like, what are we being taught? Is it true or false? Does that make sense? Like, there's so much shit that's like everything 
men like and i'll like, have even, to find that that video on bit shoot later at some other point and i'll let mel recommend it because i i just looked through all my channels they got rid of that person's channel on that video i was recommending that's what i've been doing oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's not go there um what does one michael hood hood mean paranormal techniques quantum parapsychology quantum astral operators remote viewers spec ox what does that mean uh, this is like the sky is blue water is wet i don't know you i know, know the quantum user orange. experience is oh, okay. the internet 2.0 like, <laughs> have, like have, have you guys have, have you guys heard of terrain theory or or um dr hammer's theory from germany uh no i don't it really sounds familiar know. but I don't know. It's so interesting, like that, like that. Everything with our bodies, our bodies are perfect. We we can do what, like our body is perfect, and like this whole thing with germs and shit, it's bullshit. Where like our bodies and and but all of our sickness is coming from number one, emotional traumas and emotional bullshit, like that. Yeah, manifests. I believe it's mind over matter, a hundred percent. Yeah, but also like traumas manifest in our bodies in different ways. Oh yeah. Most and people's cancers because they're not dealing with emotions properly. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Exactly. Not dealing exactly. with traumas. Yeah, yeah. And, but I think it's 50 50 between. And then also there's the toxins that we're absorbing. Oh, yeah. The, with the all, um, total everything. dissolved solids. <laughs> like everything is poisoning us. Everything, everything. You look up, the sky is being sprayed. Our, everything we eat is poison. Everything we fucking do is poison. Poison, poison, poison. The paint, everything we do. Is we're being like slowly poisoned and they have this these little regulations where it's like everyone in the world's got c8 poisoning that that's manufactured right here in my town it's on yeah. all receipt paper all uh um any thermal paper anything waterproof has c8 in it and if you come in contact with it, you get poisoned just like anything with teflon like uh like bulletproof coatings uh um your skillets if you uh if you yeah, get a big exactly. deep scratch in your skillet and you keep eating off of it you got c8 poisoning like yeah, i, I eat all it's absolutely cast, insane that it's legal iron. yeah man everything's everything's poisonous the the 5g all like are are and, and like i'm not per perfect either like i i i have a smart am, house so i understand <laughs> i yeah, i, I like, wish i was more cautious but yeah you got the 5g and all these fucking radiation coming from everything your phone in your pocket and luckily my your... my ha my town doesn't have actual 5g it's only the big cities like there's only like five or six big cities that i know of that even have 5g in the u.s the rest they just say it's 5g and it's not it's like four and a half g but i mean it's close to the five gigahertz frequency but you'd have to have a uh an antenna like every like 10 five or 10 yards because it can't penetrate through the human body like you'd well, have to have kinda, a ridiculous it, amount of antennas though. It's kind of weird how the old towers went up. Like in my town, man, I'm in Canada and like these towers all went up like right at the start of 2020, 20, 2019. Yeah. I hear they got like, a lot what, of that. What happens is um, it's not that it can't penetrate. Well, it can't penetrate through the human body, but it does, it can penetrate into the human body. And then what it does is it vibrates and keeps up your cells. It's yeah, going to have like, some like, effect. Radiation, and they tell us it's yeah. old for driving cars, driverless cars. And we're just like, every, like everybody I know is like, oh, yeah, that checks out. That uh, checks out. Elon Musk is already developing the hydrogen uh, cells. So, like, the, he, he's abandoning that stuff. He's got his head out of the clouds, from what I understand. But he's also uh, trying to make his parents love him again because they own all the blood diamond mines in Africa. And he's the black sheep of the family. He wants back in the will. That's the only reason he's doing this whole flip to Republican thing now. He's not the yeah. good guy, is like people think. He's just playing a role like everyone else. Yeah, it's scary, but, man. Uh, I I don't know the answer, man. There, it, I just feel like man, we're like we're every, yeah, like they're they're trying to kill us all, and it, it's kind of depressing being a, a truther. They're I, trying to force the whole Yahweh cult nonsense. They think uh, Yahweh's coming back and and saving them and. Uh, instead and that he's going to eat all the um i forget what they call us uh amalek we're all amalek anyone that's not part of their little cult is known as amalek and uh they they think yahweh's going to come back and eat us all that's why they're building the temple that's why they're forcing all the the stuff in the bible that's already happened uh trying to make everyone think that it has yet to happen and all this other stuff like revelation is just the fall of rome 
it, it was backdated and, and written by Nero Caesar, or he had it commissioned anyway. Like it's all it's all already happened. If you look at the fall of Rome and, and measure it side by side with that, you'll see that that's all it is. But yeah, they're trying to force that and make everyone think that it's the end times for a reason. They they want us to go chaotic and go crazy on each other and kill each other when we should be uniting and refusing to deal with their paradigm. Everyone should quit their jobs, stop watching television, and march to their capital in their state and and just take it over. And well, I can't say take it over in mass because that would be illegal. But um, they yeah, no, we got to do something. Thing. And we'll no say no and just just well, say fuck it. We're done with this because check it, 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 check it. it, it, it Ezra it, it, and I. We're starting a new paradigm. That's probably what she wants to talk about at some point. Like I'm doing a, uh, um, a holistic healing therapy place. It's completely free. And like, basically you would, uh, just get a membership, which would cost nothing. And, uh, that way I can't be, uh, attacked by the, the FDA or anything like that. The American medical medical association, cause they're voluntarily getting a membership, which costs nothing. And then I can do Reiki healing without even having to get donations and we're going to operate as a non-governmental organization and like we're going to live off like not exactly off grid i can't really the the way we're i'll put it this way uh what is going to power the entire uh homesteading community because we're building multiple homesteading communities and having other people that are interested in starting start them in other places where they've got land and stuff like that but we've got someone that is an engineer and uh rather famous um physicist who has uh, confided in us about a way that we can power things and also heal everyone in the community at the same time using pyramid tech, basically. I can't divulge anything else than that. But, using uh, what? Using uh, basically the same technology that the pyramids were powered on back when they had tech actually still in them. Solomon, uh, basically Solomon dismantled the all the actual technology that was in the pyramids after overloading the world power grid. That, that, that power where everyone had wireless... Either. No man, I, I I totally see it. I just wouldn't totally buy into anything right off the bat. And you need to make money. Don't do, don't do, don't do everything for free, man. Everybody needs to be comp, comp, compensated. No, every everyone is everyone's valued based on what they bring to the table. Everyone ha plays their part in these communities, and that that's um what I have a meeting for tomorrow. Actually, <laughs> we yeah. we just got the board the board together, and uh, we're going from there. that's cool as long as you can try something man like that's more than i'm doing but like man that's i see it too man i see like the world changing and i think the truth is bringing it out man like i see it in the medical community the, the law community there's all these truths coming out on yeah everyone's every tired of the paradigm capitalism has to go we have well, to all, all of these truths are paradigm that's not based on money yeah, well, well but that's also like well, no, money, the, the real money, man, God's money is gold and silver, man. Like, that's the, the only real thing that is. That's see, I, I would see it mind. maybe Yahweh's, but but I, I feel like the only currency is humans, us. It's all of us. We're, we are the only thing important in this realm, wherever the hell it is we are. Like, people, animals, everything that's alive, every living being, well, that's the well, only money, thing that matters. Money. Well, money in itself is just a medium of exchange. The world will find the barter system at one point in time. A barter system so that people can trade commodities. Exactly. That's what I meant by what people bring to the table. Like I would be operating my little pet project, the, the free holistic healing clinic using uh, Tesla technology that doesn't use disruptive electricity and um, is conducive to the uh, natural electric system going through the body like uh, i use these coils that are based on um alexander mission he's a russian uh he was a russian scientist that studied under tesla and um got some um different ideas from him on frequencies kind of like a uh what's his play, face like uh, rife. 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 Yeah. yeah yeah it was he's like the russian counterpart of rife except they had different frequencies and like uh but um, I, I have seen uh, before this whole Ukraine thing started, um, I was in contact with some Russians that um, they're, they're excellent scientists. And they were showing me their uh, new device that kept paint from uh, fading. It, it kept uh, it did all sorts of stuff. It was like a wireless version of the coil tech that I'd already purchased off of them. And um, like it, it did so many other things that were off label, like it, it was mind blowing. They are so far ahead of us in in like uh, 
like Tesla tech and natural healing and being harmonious with nature and Man, stuff that's like why that. I and that's think, probably I, that's, why we're. That's why I think the they're, they're going to bring the system. But I still think to, they work for the same people as our government. So. Yeah, man, that's why I think they're going to bring the system down because we're, we're, we're learning too much too quick and they don't want us to learn this shit. Like we're learning about natural law, man. Like, today I watched like fucking 20 hours of natural law, man, and there's like 10 guys that are like – they figured it out. They, they figured out wh- how the system works and like everything is a fucking shroud. I have to see that because I, I, I've been like – well, I know how the system works. I just don't know how to get around the system since I was born into something that I didn't give permission for. Like it's, the it's, Exactly. Security. But I can it's, tell you one thing that I found out in 2017. This guy named Harvey Dent figured out how to uh, use the letters on your Social Security card to see exactly which national bank that um, – w- when you get a Social Security number, um, an account is open with your – name your full name on caps and your social security number is the bank account number he figured out which of these federal banks you could use the letter and the number on the card to figure out which of the banks they were i actually purchased stuff back in 2016 using that account i i could you could m- verify any amount of money in there because basically it's an account that started um and it's based on what you should be able to produce in lifetime like and it's it's got an unlimited amount if you ask like have some service verify how much is in the account it you can verify any number you want but it's basically uh just it's like a trust and uh i bought small things with it but everyone that tried to buy big things they had to manually verify them and now every single transaction has to be manually verified but i mean i got the amazon receipts to prove it i got proof showing that i paid off all my debts and my mom's debts before the charges were reversed three months later but those accounts that the the specific type of account transfers like the transactions that were done they had to be verified in seven days and could not be returned after seven days but they got returned three months later and i almost got arrested for fraud like my bank told me that um i was performing fraudulent activity by using my name and social security number and they didn't call the cops because they couldn't (laughs) they knew they they look look into look into brandon video on it brandon joe williams and he's like a funny guy, but like he's like going hardcore into the paint. Also, Alpha Elf, Vedic, uh, fucking who yeah, else? Yeah, Alpha Vedic a- is someone that um, we're kind of loosely, me and Esther are loosely working with, with uh, helping us plan the structure for our community. Bear Lando and, and Mike Winters. Yeah, man, that's fucking awesome, man. That you're actually into that. I don't, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm like, just Dude, get drunk I used in my to, bed. Uh, have- I used to just not pay my electric bill. Uh, well, it was kind of because I was mining Bitcoin, but uh, it was one summer to actually two summers in a row. I didn't pay my electric bill, let the electric get shut off and just, you know, brushed up on my uh, skills of, you know, my prepper well, skills. Is what I was and like the referring to reality. Time. Yeah, man, that's so cool. You're in, into that. Like, it's, yeah, man, like, like, we don't even understand a fucking thing, and like, and that's just a a, a a system that's built around our natural structure. Like the whole law system is just like a bunch of jargon bullshit that we have to navigate. They they've made for that we have to navigate to live in their system, and that's their whole goal is to make the whole system into a fake system because they can't create nature they can't do anything in nature so they've created this whole oh yeah and and they they also they create the earthquakes of. they can they can literally control the weather like i don't know if you saw the uh the congressional briefings where uh this guy eric hecker uh was a witness to the uh system that did the uh i think it was christchurch new zealand that big earthquake they had like he was actually physically at south pole station whenever that system was turned on and made that earthquake and now you got uh that one dude, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, predicting all these earthquakes and where they're starting at, like on a regular basis on here. Like, uh, and yeah. uh, tools and tools, and you said, Orgon Energy. I got my Karelian Shungite right here. Oh, my man, Royal I want to get into this shit from Russia. so much, man. Like, I, I, I totally believe in all this shit, but like, I don't even know where to buy it. And then there's like the whole natural, but Shungite. Oh, it's and hard to stuff. get real Shungite anymore because you can only find it in Karelia, Russia, yeah. and all trade with them has been shut down. So you got to get it through like a third party and hope that it's real now. Yeah. yeah. Well, but no, it's crazy. We're all, we're all ter- toroidal fields, and that gets into everything, like, like even medically and, and like everything. If we're old toroidal fields that interact energetically, 
like is does germ theory actually exist or are we actually just energetically fucking communicating just like a woman has their period at the same time I, if I they're don't... you know I don't know if you're familiar with Crypto Alchemist or the Faraday Research Project or any of the people associated with uh, Bernie, but uh, oh, Bernie, um, yeah, he's from he's from Calgary. He's I'm I, yeah. I live fucking five hours away from him. Yeah, and Faraday Research is from up there too. Um, uh, um, his name said in my mind. It's been a little while since I talked to him, but yeah, and electroculture, <laughs> like growing growing plants, like electroculture, like trying to bring ether into plants because the plants are electrical also. Like it's it's insane. Like the cusp that we're on right now is fucking insane. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't get rid of the cowboy, Scotty. The reason why I had the cowboy up um, was because this is going to be my pretend husband in the setting of the beginning of Weirdo Wonderland. That's why so I'm not big enough for you. Yeah. Yes. Well. Yeah. That's the kind of yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I, I will remove him. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it was like, I can't have this conversation while staring at a half naked emo cowboy. Good night. <laughs> Would it help if I sounded like Macho Man Randy Savage for the rest of the stream? No, I mean, I'll remove it. I just, I didn't want to interrupt the boys because they were going at it hard. And, but I wanted to say, this is my husband of one minute. Um, um, you know, it, it, and, and I'll remove him now. There. It's all gravy. <laughs> but right, yeah, carry uh, on, boys. The, the 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 cowboy's gone. Now I can think of is like cowboy songs or something. I don't know. Yes, yeah, Scotty. Like, uh, like I know you've <laughs> congrat congratulations. It's only for a minute before he gets murdered, and then we start the game. So actually, I could put my papa in the wedding scene right at the beginning what? of the video. Oh, oh! So there, there's like something going on after uh, we're rambling for a purpose or towards. No, 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 no. The, the the beginning of Weirdo Wonderland. You know, obviously, I've made your characters for the game, but I, I, how it's going to start the game is the setting. So we worked it out with Resto earlier. The setting's going to okay. be that we're going to be in a big mansion, a huge mansion, right? Um. Sever horse, ride a kaibo, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> when so when we, is it going to start officially? Uh, we haven't got a date yet, just because we're sorting out the. Um, we're sorting out. Have you the, guys used the picture to video like AI features? Which, like you can make a little intro video for it from AI. Well, well hey Brian, good, hey sweetheart, um, YouTube blocked my other account. I, I don't. I, I, <laughs> Okay. Um, no, how I'm going to create a video to set the setting before we start the game. Um, and the game, the reason why it's taken is going to take some time. It's get, the game hopefully will be interactive. So on on the screen, there'll be it is happening, but it'll have your individual faces stuck, hopefully, on the characters yeah. of the like a Cluedo, but a uh, clue you call it clue in the US, but on our screens. And so the beginning, because this was the setting that, because the rest of us said to me, what's the setting? And we couldn't think of someone, something. And, and it kind of just happened where Mel's getting married. It wasn't me that made this up. It was, I think it was Resto. Uh, Mel's getting married to her cowboy finally. And then a minute after she gets married, the lights go out, cowboy's dead. And so that's how the game will begin. That's why he was up there. Just so I could show everybody. <laughs> I understand. I just didn't know if you guys knew that there was like uh, AI things where you could just send, put the pictures that you've already had made me I, in AI. You put those pictures in, it'll make like a video for you out of those things. Like, is it? Yeah, 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 I've got, I've got a, a I program. Figured you could do an intro, like maybe like that or something. I don't know. I could try because my program on my laptop is an old one, but it does say make a quick video with AI. So I'll, I'll see if I can. Um, cool. Oh, I was meaning like it's a large thing, like, something that, that, that my computer probably can't even handle to do. Like, uh, it's one of those things I didn't know how you guys were making having the pictures made, but like, it's probably more accessible than the thing that turns. Well, Blue Scarlet does the pictures for me. Kurt, you are in this season. If you scroll down on my community wall, you're on there, and um, your weapon of choice, I think, was a spanner. So you are it's in a fence, right? 
Yeah, sorry, I forget right. that your words are different. Oh, uh, no, I only know it from Star Wars, like it's terminology there. It is? Yeah. So, yes, Kurt, you're in there. <laughs> okay, <coughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I just, I'm just, I'm learning how to edit and stuff like that. With I'm just learning. Um, I love video editing. It's my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that good at it, but like I said, I'm just learning. I, I'm not a big you know what do you I'm, use to do it uh my laptop is called it, it's just a very simple it's called microsoft clip clip art or something like that it's just very basic that's why you do mine but the pictures are created by blue scarlet and, and wickens done some too uh, i was just thinking um there's something called cap cut and it um has all the features that um, oh yeah i use that that's paid version does I but used yeah, that for my shorts, it. that one. But that's the one that got my monos my I, I still I've got to speak to you to YouTube customer support because I use that for my shorts, right? Um and occasionally it's got TikTok written on it, which I didn't realise was gonna be an issue. But yeah, they got was, a crossover between the two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, the, yeah. But it was something about was, international yeah. copyright laws. I I'm not too sure, huh. but but I've seen lots of um Lots of creators using like TikTok videos, so I don't know why I got penalized, but I need to talk to them and I need to find out. Do you out. use the one on TikTok or um go to get the program from CapCut.com or whatever? Yeah, I've got I've got a, an app on my phone which is the CapCut. Oh, on your phone. Mm. If you get it um from their website on your laptop, it won't have the the TikTok stuff on it because I I'm I'm pretty sure the the mobile one is um, supposed to be used for TikTok. Maybe that's why it has it on there. But yeah, yeah. The one I, the one I had, it, it, it's completely independent from them. It doesn't have any of their logos. It, it's it's for just general video editing anywhere and stuff. It, and it doesn't use your computer's ac computer's actual resources. It does all the stuff online, mm -hmm. and, and so it's it's a program. But all the hard work's done online, so you can use it on any computer, no matter how slow. It's really nice. And it has uh -oh. all the features my paid uh, video editing suite has on it. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it I'll give it a go. No, because I just stopped using the 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 um things that says TikTok after I found out that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I just stopped using anything that says TikTok on it. But I did I, I don't understand why I've seen it so many times that people have used TikTok videos and they're still up and I lost my monetization because of it. So I don't know. I'll have to just talk to them. I'm not sure. I, I, I only recently started using TikTok like at all. And that's only because uh, um, the person I was claiming as a daughter uh, was on it. I was being supportive. Yeah. I don't, Brian, I don't know too much about that, darling, because I'm not that way. I don't know anything about it. But you wouldn't, you know. Um, you're not a software engineer, then you'll know more and much more about it than I will. I have a uncensored uh, offline, like uh, basically AI, a local language uh, thing on here that I can do like the pictures. It's completely uncensored. No, I can ask it how to hack a, a, a server um, for, for government, something like that, and it doesn't get online to look. It, it, it just tells me. It, it doesn't have any of the nonsense. It'll, it'll tell me... Uh, whatever i want it to make pictures of whatever i want it to <coughs> well brian just says it's nice. um it's just a a good program with giant databases it's not AI. Basically, it basically is it's just slightly more advanced than old school programs but it's mainly just a way for these programmers to get laid i think that's why they call it AI. yeah because <laughs> so they can sound cool saying hey i program for ai you know i don't know <laughs> that's just my opinion but, uh, but yeah uh, I don't know if some guy. What program is... was that? I'm sorry, Mel. What oh. program was that? What do you mean? <laughs> I just spaced out right. here for a second. <laughs> you were uh, talking about. I was AI. talking about large language what? models in my offline uh, uncensored uh, large language models. I have uh, that you know, like that use like ChatGPT for you know stuff like that that I don't have to pay oh. for. It's on my computer things like that oh basically and how oh, okay. ai isn't isn't actually real ai it's just advanced programming for programmers to get laid by sounding cool because they they say they program for ai when i 
I can program it. It's not. I just, don't see the coolness I'm not in a that. Programmer. If some man said that to me, I'd be like, "And some people are like talk nerdy well, it to me." Can be. I mean, it's basically advanced programming for machine language, machine learning. Yeah, so we've got one in the chat right now. He's a, he's a software engineer. Uh, but if Brian turned around and tried to chat me up and said, "I program for AI," I'd just probably walk away. Oh, there's there's some people you could be like, <laughs> "Hey, baby, talk nerdy to me," or nice. or I could just go up and start talking about large language models, and they'd be no! all like, no, 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 I don't know what kind of women you've been meeting, but no, I haven't been meeting them. I'm <laughs> I'm still single. I mean, because you're shit. talking about I, AI. I have a shirt that says "talk nerdy to me." Yeah, because you're talking nerdy. That's why. Maybe you, you, I don't know. Uh, Wiccan, does that do it for you? Does it rock your boat? Does it make you, you shiver? You ladies like uh, nerds. I have a shirt. That, I mean, I think it's kind of cool. I love wizard. the, I love the smart talk. Let me. Let so me some like dude came up to you again. Yeah, <laughs> talk dirty <laughs> to me in AI. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I don't know about that. But... The meaning of this nerdy and dirty. <laughs> nerdy, dirty. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I like Oops, that. Hold on, wrong way. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm bad at. I mean, let me put your big because I can't see that. But put it up. Oh, put it up. Sorry. I am root. Piss me <laughs> off at your own risk. And I have a uh, include uh, dot me. Uh, I forget what the other one says. I got it from like uh, um, my hacker tees or something like that. Dot com. Something like that. Long I, I don't believe this comment that Brian's made right here. I don't. I don't believe it. There's no way. Software engineer groupies. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's real. Oh yeah, there there are, yeah there are. Sorry, I'm just trying to get some toys that I never show yeah, anyone. It's just like a movie, Cherry Two Thousand. That know. sounds bad. Eight, eight well, I'm trying to fix my camera. Uh, there we go. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, well, like I, I got like my my flipper, uh, my flipper zero. My little fun little hacker toy and uh, my custom that I put together myself, the uh, Wi-Fi pineapple, things like that. Yeah, like uh, just fun. I guess there's toys. some girls that find that attractive out there. I, you know, uh, do you have a link? Yeah, of course I can, sweetheart. What do you mean? What do you mean? No, like? somebody in chat asked me for the link. Oh. There you go, my love. Um, yeah, no, I don't. I. I, I I'd walk away. Go. That's lovely. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually, people are all like this paranoid, like you, thinking, bye. like I'm trying to hack them just because I can, and like they're afraid whenever I have that just sitting on my desk, and they, I don't know. But then again, people are like covering cameras whenever they like. If someone walks in my bedroom to hang out or something, they'll like immediately walk over and put something over my webcam, like, like. Are you not aware that every single speaker on every device hooked to the internet in your house is has the ability to listen to you? Because you could it only takes yeah, your phone the clarity to turn a speaker into a microphone. And and like all there's firmware, there's backdoors written in every piece of firmware on every piece of hardware that is able to connect to the internet. And that's how, how the CIA and like all those people have absolute free reign of anything. Michael, hang on. Sorry. One second. Um, Michael, I need to see, I, I, I need to see you. Only I can see you. Then you can turn your camera off in the back. Yeah. The others won't be able to see you. I just need to make sure you're a human being and not a penis. <laughs> A, a the, thing about, the whole thing about like the speakers being capable of being used as a microphone as well and stuff. Well, that's true and it's possible. Thank you, Michael. Just, you can switch your. Well, I don't know why you want to hide your lovely face. I'll bring you up. It's still hey, see what I have here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kind. I'm a private person. Hey, no, that's, uh, that's fine. That's fine. I actually <laughs> just learned today that you can use a wireless doorbell receiver and um. An, a tuned antenna and a couple LEDs and a solar panel to listen to radio. Just using the light that's hooked up to the, uh, or the LED that's hooked up to the antenna and showing the light to the uh, solar panel that's hooked to the wireless doorbell receiver. You can, and the wireless doorbell receiver will play the radio thing just by flashing the light into the, the solar panel. It's crazy. 
I had no idea that was possible until today. Yeah, light light transmission of information, yeah, for sure. I, I just didn't know it like worked like that. Like I didn't know like a, a light could just pick up the the tuned antennas. Uh, um, you know the waves it can it's tuned to and stuff like just like that. I didn't wasn't aware. It was just neat. <laughs> Mark well, an old uh, like incandescent light bulb, it can yes, add, add yeah. an antenna. Sorry, Wolf, sorry, ball day. No, no. So let Wolf finish, and then I'll I'll ask a question. Go, on, Wolf. Oh, I'm done. Oh, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> darling. Obviously, we've had a very uh, welcome. This is the first time we've had on panel. We've had a very um, um, uh, huge topics on the panel tonight mm -hmm. did, you, did you have any opinions on any of them no, i kind of just um I'm, I'm jumping in now because i'm kind of i didn't really hear too much for right right now i can just jump in um when i'm up here I, okay and, and I've, been, you, I've been kind of drinking all day and i've been on youtube <laughs> doing shows uh, uh yeah that's that that was me yesterday yesterday last not last night the night before yeah. i'd i'd had some upsetting news and you know what it's like. You just think, fuck it, I'm just going to throw mm -hmm. a caution to the wind and I'm going to get fucked. And, and that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Not literally as in physically, as in with party favours and alcohol, right? And this morning, I was so hungover that I didn't even know my own name. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. After this show, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, are you in that state? Yeah, because they banned my other account earlier. I, mean, I do psychic readings and stuff like that. Um, you I do? Like, oh, yeah, I do tarot readings and all that. Yeah. Oh, that's mm, lovely. Yeah. I, that's yeah, I got talent. Cool. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, is yeah, it, that's pretty cool. Go so ahead, man. Say, say that again, my love. No, say go ahead. I was gonna say, do you do it as a a hobby or is it professionally? No, it was kind of serious. Yeah, kind of professionally. You do? Yeah, I've, I've been doing it for like over like. About twelve years. Um, oh, wow. I'm, I'm I'm only thirty nine years old. So <coughs> yeah, I, I, I met up with some shamans back in the days. That was blog talk radio days and stuff like that. I already I kind of already knew that I had the gift of feeling certain I, things and stuff. I could fill people out and stuff. Go ahead. No, that's amazing because I I, I used to use tarot readers a lot, and I could honestly say out of a hundred tarot readers you'll probably just find one genuine one out of the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so a lot of them they do a lot of cold cold reading don't they cold readings yeah that's what mm -hmm. they had to yeah, learn about yeah cold readings no my, mine's pretty good um a lot of people that I do readings uh, i'm kind of skillful of doing what i was doing earlier people in the chat room and stuff i kind of mostly go off people's voice imprints it's kind of better doing it that way but I was kind of training myself in different channels and chat rooms of reading people without hearing their voice and stuff, just going just going off their emotions in the chat room. Can you do a reading okay. for Mel? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> kind of I mean, I'm all over the place, but I've been focused as hell tonight. I'm I'm actually maybe I'm still running off solar energy or the eclipse mm -hmm. energy. I, don't know. I, I once met, and this is the only time it's happened, out of all the tarot readers that I've seen in my lifetime, it only found the one. And I, I, I developed a friendship with her afterwards because, she, uh, you know, she it was incredible. Like, mm -hmm. she, I went to see her, and she'd come up with the most random shit. Like with, and I know about cold reading, so I, I'm very uh, yeah, clear yeah. how much I, I, I reveal, right? And uh, mm -hmm. so she, like, I would write, she'd go, she'd be like, she was kooky. She was very uh, uh, quirky looking, very interesting lady. And she'd say, write this shit down, right? So I'd write this stuff down and just the most random, like, shit that she predicted and, uh, like, really specific, not generalized, specific shit. Every time I went mm -hmm. to see her, I knew something was going to happen to me that she said. And, in fact... The whole time, every time she would say, I went there, she would reveal part of my life that was about to happen. And it was insane. I mean, in it, like I said, I've seen many a tarot readers. I know when people are horseshitting generally. Yeah. This woman was just gifted, so gifted. Um, it is cute. You don't find too many men that do readings either. 
No, you don't. Because, you don't. because we're circumcised and our vagus nerve system is the antenna for those uh, those energies that are in the air. And circumcision, the covenant with Yahweh or whatever, that, that's how they, they handicapped our psychic abilities in males so that we couldn't operate the mind to machine interface on the Vimanas, the ships. Pardon? The elite had took that away from us and stuff like special abilities and stuff. Uh, sorry, can we back up? I, I kind of missed that. Well, what? well, the largest bundle of nerves um, in the vagus nerve system, which is the human body's antenna for all the, the energies that are around us and how we get our gut feeling and stuff like that. Um, the males, the biggest bundle of nerves in on the vagus nerve system is at the tip of the penis, which they cut the foreskin off and that handicaps all males. It's no joke. Like it's, it's scientifically provable it, to any, uh, any doctor basically that will admit that the vagus nerve system, um, you know, it's connected to the hypothalamus, which includes the pineal gland and all that stuff. So basically like the hypothalamus is the part that's in both halves of your brain. And it's like the crystal radio basically of your body. And um, it is connected to the the vagus nerve system, which goes all the way from the center of your brain, down your spine, to your gut, and down to your genitals. And, and it's the largest nerve system in our entire body. Like that's well, how that's you get your gut feeling, so the, the feeling of falling, scared, roller coaster, all that stuff comes from that nerve system. That's insane. I mean, that's why I say I feel quite sorry for you Americans in England. Unless you're that's Jewish, you don't get circumcised, not, not on generally. Um, also, why females shouldn't get pierced down there either, because uh, where they typically get pierced is right through the <laughs> largest bundle of nerves they have. Sorry, Brian's <laughs> making me laugh in the chat. <laughs> I don't know, Brian. I'm yeah, because yeah, they, they, keep, they keep us down in a low vibration state with fear and everything we watch on TV, what we eat. See, I'm not like so that. sure uh, that, that low yeah. vibration is a bad thing, because uh, if we're vibrating at a higher frequency, then um, we're not going to be able to exist so much in around here because uh, it, it's like uh, if we were to meet beings that were vibrating at a higher frequency, they would literally catch us on fire. Like, I, I think it's the opposite of what they're telling us. I think they want us to vibrate a higher frequency so we can no longer exist in the realm that they want to take over. Once, uh, I, I think that's that's just my opinion. I'm still researching that, but I, I can't be sure about it. But all of a sudden, like this high frequency, low frequency shit just start popping up on the esoteric like universe, like of studies, like all of a sudden, all at once, about the same time, all this other hippie nonsense from out in California started popping up. So, I, I don't fully uh, trust it. Just saying. Well, like me, I'm, I'm vibrating. I, I, I deal with a lot of paranormal phenomena and stuff like that, like stuff like this. that, unidentified objects and stuff like. Yeah. I see them mostly every other day. You do? And, um, mm -hmm, um, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I can tell you one story, a little. No, go ahead. Because I'm British, I don't buy the whole UFO thing. So go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it was it was one night. I had on um, my gun and I had a laser on it. So this object popped up. It's it's kind of. It, 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 it's glowing and stuff, so I shined at it, and, and it flashed back at me. And, and so I already had this is my sixth sense in my third eye. So I was like, I, I already know when, once I go into the astral world tonight, when I go to sleep, they're gonna visit me. So they visited me, and I was in my old house I used to grow up in, and I had I had a sheet over me. I was like laying there with a the sheet, and they all came into the room. I was kind of kind of nervous and paranoid. I didn't want to pull the sheet back, but they came in there. I knew they were there. And and so they 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 scanned me. They scanned my from my toes all the way to my head. They scanned me. Was it like one of those uh, like glowing balls sort of? Uh, <laughs> kind of like yeah yeah kind of like that, and, and it would dissipate after a while. Well, well, like uh, but it flashed back I, at I'm me. I'm only asking because uh um, like there is another type of beings that are made purely of plasma. They're spoken about in um in I think it was the uh, Zoroastrian text about um. Mm -hmm. How they used to have what they thought of as a demon then, but it was a being made purely of plasma trapped inside the Great Pyramid. And that's yeah, what fourth, powered their fourth dimension yeah. that when Solomon was running and stuff. But um, no, it, it's, it's just plasma, like what the sun's made of, out of, like, um, or a plasma welding torch, like it's, or the, the electricity between a taser, like, I, you know, like it, it's all plasma, like it's made of the same stuff. However, like, uh, 
Well, uh, all yeah. of, uh, the only reason I asked is because there are like these things that act like sea creatures, like plankton, uh, up out in the upper atmosphere and stuff like that. You can see them in some of the NASA, like the STS videos. Mm -hmm. Um, the little white things floating around and stuff that they, they just float about like as if they're sea animals or something. There, there's definitely entire like types of species of things and nasa even recently admitted it i know they're full of shit but like they haven't they put it out on the mainstream but they actually admitted in some kind of article somewhere that uh recently that uh the plasmatic uh beings do exist because they can't hide it anymore and I, I think that's what ball lightning is actually why it seems yeah. intelligent will follow people around the blue meanies usually follow small animals and blow them up turn them into big puddles in the ground stuff like that I had one incident in the astral realm while I was dealing with reptilians and I was on a freighter with some reptilians and, and there was like hundreds of humans. And uh, I was nervous on that when I was on that freighter and, and they, they had them all gathered in. And, and so I had to go to the, it was like, this, it was a nurse, like, like, like a room you go to the doctor and stuff. So it was, it was a reptilian nurse. <laughs> I do gotta gotta thank her because she she did save me. She 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 got me off of that freighter. Was it a space freighter or a seafaring freighter? No, it was it was out 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 of space. It, it was kind of past the um, astro belt. It's a lot of there's a lot of freighters that are cloaked as asteroids in the freighter belt. So she hit me with a shot and gave me it was something. Then I know when I looked in her eyes, I, I saw. It was golden like a like a, like a snake. A, a lot. It's hard to explain. A lot, a lot of people think all reptilians are bad, and not they're not all bad. Well, yeah, my friend Alexander seems to think that the they take mean. advantage of women, reptilians, that they do nasty shit to them. Yeah, they they also eat kids. It's the same being Yahweh is, from my understanding. Like uh, Yahweh and the rest of the Elohim, uh, Enki, Enlo, all the Anunnaki, they're all supposedly like mm -hmm. what we consider reptilians in this day and age because they have a high copper content in their blood and they can walk among us. And because of the high, higher conductivity in their, their blood, we have iron in our blood, and which is why we're less psychic than they are. And the high copper content makes them able to basically uh, make us see whatever they want us to see and why some people that have higher... Uh, higher abilities or like higher um maybe stronger um like energy field about their body they they can see through that shit sometimes or they see the glitches in in their in their disguises you know or they can just sense that something's not right with certain people you know like these i, I think the beings that we run into that don't have that inner monologue i think they're they're uh, have a little more of the elohim blood than we do honestly and, and i think that's mm -hmm. the way the elohim naturally are personally they don't have yeah, a new monologue. Most saying? of that's uh, supported by, huh? Did, did you say that they don't have an inner monologue? I'm saying maybe. I I, I don't know. That's maybe. just my estimation there. But <laughs> everything else is said about the higher <laughs> copper content and them being able to be killed by yeast, uh, as far as the, the Elohim goes. Yeast? That's all in Zoriast, Zoroastrian text. Yeah. We were, uh, according to the uh, the text, uh, we were able to kill two of them before they took out hundreds of thousands of people. And the first time was an accident. There, there was a cup that we were serving them beer because they were terrible alcoholics. And um, they were uh, apparently tearing apart some child like in, in like ferociously. And we were serving them beer and they just dropped dead. We couldn't figure out why. It was supposedly yeast. And... Uh, um, then another, the other situation is there were a bunch of boulders cause that showed us that, that they were actually mortal flesh and blood beings. And, uh, they, apparently we orchestrated some situation where we shoved some giant boulder off of the side of a mountain and crushed another one. And that's when El Elyon, their leader came back and wreaked havoc, killed hundreds of El thousands. Of and yeah. He's the, he's the, the leader, like their general. It, that's not what it translates to. El Elyon was a name, not a title. Just like El Shaddai is a title or a name, not a title. El, El, El Shaddai is one of the higher ranking ones. Uh, Yahweh is just a, a lesser one. That's why he didn't get, he got slaves that didn't have any land. That's why he was battling and doing all the infighting, fighting all the other ones because he was pissed because he was the only one that got people that didn't have their own place. That's why the Jews were known as a king without a country at one point in time or the, the Hebrews, I should say. 
anyway. Yeah, because yeah, because yeah, because um, the Orion constellation um, because there's it, it's, it's two different species of um rep, rep, reptiles because there's one that there was already here inside the Earth that they call a Gartha. Um, yeah, I, I've heard of that. I, I'm still wondering who exactly the ant people are, but the divas of uh, Vedic texts, the the gods there. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know much, much about the ant people like that, that took like the, the Southwest Native Americans, their, their progenitors underground. But I do know that the Zuni elder, um, he pointed to the, the red and the blue Kachina in a picture Rex Bear had on Leak Project. And he said, look, it's Enki mm -hmm. and Enlil. And, he, and Rex looked back and he, he looks back at the Zuni elder. He's like, what'd you say? He said, Enki and Enlil, they're, they're the, who the Kachinas represent. They told the ant people to take our people underground. Yeah, that's why our governments have um, underground bases in that four corners region. Oh, there, there's um, underground the bases that stretch across the entire world, like all over the place. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and they use maglev. Yeah, the maglev. It's hard to tell what they use. Um, I, I try not to. I got to be kind of cautious. I, I, I got in trouble people. earlier talking about this. So I gotta watch. Yeah, don't get me in trouble. Well, because talk about, oh, you can't talk about you can't talk extensively about uh the jews and on rumble you can't talk about ashkenazi or mention elohim at all like they will totally just boot you they're not free speech like everyone thinks they are they're they're ran by the enemy as well you can talk about it on bit shoot Bit shoot. I, I don't even know who owns that, honestly. I do. But that, that's the only place that uh that um that video that I was gonna suggest to everyone about the CAA still exists. I keep forgetting to look it up. Probably should do it before this is over since people Yeah, boys, don't get me banned. By then. Oh I'm I'm not no Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna give it yeah. yeah. I, I say way worse and may, way more racist stuff on my channel and I haven't got nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, well uh, yeah, that I, I yeah, no. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> um, where, Aaron, I was going to ask you, where are you getting all your information about Elyon and Reptilium and um, stuff like that? Well, you can get it from Zoroastrian text. It's in the, the Atrahasis, which is the name of the uh, the GG leader. Um, in the, the book, still you can still get it to this day. And then um, the Epic of Gilgamesh, um, the Bible um, in its proper interlinear translations, uh, which I have translated some of it myself just to verify the, the sources that I had heard some of the information on, like regarding uh, God's glory being radiation from uh, Yahweh's ship. And that's why Moses' face glowed red and, and he wore a mask for the next like couple of months or some shit like that. But uh, anyway, uh, like uh, also um, Cliff High is another source. Um, let's see. Um, Billy Carson's another source, Matthew LaCroix, uh, a ton of people, basically every scholar that's ever studied the, the, um, texts like Vedic texts. Um, they, they speak about well, William it. Hopkins is one of them. It, it, there's a lot of people that like, you know, back in the day, like in the, like Intel officers and stuff that, that were whistleblowers, but they're passed away now. Does he also kind of hard like, to find like, it? Bud Hopkins? Does he also go by Bud Hopkins? I don't know. Because I, I know I've heard of a Bud Hopkins. He was in that field. And, and you know yeah. Phil Schneider and all that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I've been into stuff like this since I was little. But like, I, I actually have a doctorate in religious science as well, and uh, I was an ordained minister. I still am technically, uh, but I, I actually practiced for about five years doing that, and I've had the ordination for a little over 15 and a half years. Um, I, I've been raised in biblical stuff. It didn't make sense when I was little to me. Like it, like the Genesis having uh, humankind created twice and the world was started twice. You know, it, you, you got to question stuff like that. Like, Let me ask you, do you know about Majestic? And then they justify it. Yeah, you, yeah. You know about Majestic? The majestic program I don't want we, we, yeah, we can't kind of talk to about was, Majestic. Well, that's like common knowledge. You can find a thousand videos on YouTube about that stuff, like. Well, it, but yeah, they, they, but the, the videos don't, don't doesn't get so deep into uh, it. So you yeah. know about Alice Floors and all that. No, I I I drifted away from aliens uh, and all that stuff because 
I'm not a hundred percent sold that uh, most of the alien contact we've had is in our government because I mean, the recent whistleblower uh, briefings and, and with Congress and stuff has talked about these biologics. So, like I'm under firm belief that the grays are a creation by the CIA because uh, during world war two, um, which I'm positive, like the, the it, nothing happened how they said it was. It, um, but uh I'm pretty sure that um, since all the top Nazi scientists did not come here, we got the second string. They went down to uh, Argentina and ran the power company down there. And uh, like you can watch the series Hunting Hitler and see that even Hitler lived out his oh, life. Oh, we can't say that word on there. YouTube. Oh, it's sorry. I didn't know that. That, that would explain why uh, people usually call him the chancellor whenever I hear about yeah, that. Yeah, we don't like that word. Sorry. Uh, I'm really I'm like... Okay, Crispy, I'll, I'll post the link, sweetheart. Yeah, it, it's very compartmentalized. I mean, it's a lot of disinformation. But, you but ever yeah, heard of the I, I was just meaning that they had the advanced UFO technology, and that, that's why the, everyone went along with the narrative. That, that's where I was going with that. Are you um, familiar I'm pretty sure with they Otis, met up with the Otis CIA later. The what? Are you familiar with Otis T. Carr and the Utron? Mm -hmm. Doesn't even sound familiar, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised if it's something like usually I oh, all the something. usually all the big things like I, I've heard of. I'm very surprised. What's it in regard to? Flying saucers. And what what did you say? Like what name? Otis T. Carr. Spell the last name. Ah. I'm a it's visual, like, yeah, I, I'm not sure if there's one hour. I don't know or if two. it was a C or a K. Um, um, I mean that that last name does sound familiar, but I I'm not a hundred percent. Like I I know of the uh, I know of the whole zero point thing and deglocking and and all that stuff, and I know of uh of uh us you know getting some things like uh oh, what's the name of it. Mm. I'm terrible with names and it's like almost five in the morning and I haven't ate anything all day or night because I've been on here. <laughs> well, except for some cookies that I started the stream off with, but yeah, I'm blanking on most nouns right now. I actually probably need to get off here soon. I was looking for that bit shoot, uh, that video on there to show you all um, for those that were interested in the CAA organization and, how they uh, have been running Hollywood, our news and everything we see in mass media or mainstream media. Um, basically, our, probably everyone that's in here's entire lives. And then some. Hey man, I, I'm going to get off too. And, um, okay, man. Good night, my love. Hi. I, Hi. I love you guys. No. Hey, I did, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, uh, yeah, man. I'm. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I don't even know where to go. But uh, you guys are awesome. And, uh, but it's so interesting like the differences um you you alien guys are truthers you're to total truthers and i've gone down to like a total i'm not path. even sold on aliens anymore honestly i think it's mostly our government and things that were already here maybe under the i i'm not even sold that this is a planet anymore i was total i'm, I'm not i'm not an fe person i'm not i'm not a glober anymore there we go. I, I was, no, no i'm just saying walk into I'm just it's saying, I, I think this is like Yggdrasil, like a realm, like, like, like the realms. holodeck on the Starship just Enterprise. Like the, the Lord of the Rings, man, no, like it's the, a realm. Man, there yeah, could like be the hobbits, the Rings, there, could, the there could be I fairies, it man, into, like, uh, giants, Pond. giants probably existed, it's fucking crazy. But they made these lies, like, dinosaurs <laughs> are probably a fucking lie, like, it's so crazy. Oh, no, I think we created dinosaurs and had to destroy them because uh, they got out of hand. It's just I, like, or maybe not us, maybe the Elohim, not sure. But um, there are stories that are ancient. That being all those places have pictures of well, people riding them. So, well, mostly yeah. it's dragons. It's dragons. Wait, like, you mean like uh, Flintstones? Um, I wish like I could ride a dragon. Flintstones, yeah, but have a few time. You want to ride a dragon? No one tonight. There, there's more interesting things that aren't dragons, like uh, um, like what? Ionis. Ionis Tepe, it's a, it's a city that was uh, located that supposedly, uh, it's at the bottom of Lake Van in Turkey, and uh, 
the really? Ionis, uh, well, it's been termed by the Ionis civilization lately. I think 1938 or 78, I, I keep forgetting. Um, yeah. It was discovered. And Zia Sudra, the figure that Noah, was, his story was modeled after, was um, the city that he started after Lake Ar Ararat or Mount Ararat coming down from there. Him and his sons, uh, Ham, Japheth, and Shem or whatever, um, nope. they actually started um, the Ionis civilization, which could have been – they're – Estimating like was about 40,000 years back. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure Noah's Ark was an actual ship. But, um, yeah. Uh, that's what they say. Uh, but you never know. Vimana. But yeah, you never know. But they have found the actual city that they started after go coming down off Ararat and this entire worldwide civilization with the megalithic blocks. They're pretty mm -hmm. sure that either they started that civilization 40,000 years ago or were the inspiration for it or they were the last ones to have that um technology and then the uh basically the temple that's at the bottom of lake van that some people are going to go uh make a movie about later this wow. year um i think they're gonna like that unlock a lot of stuff really just like i think the oak island guys are gonna blow some shit out of the water and rewrite history Ooh. soon they but, better be careful because that last remember that sub that sub um that went down underwater and then they never came back up that went down to see the titanic Mm -hmm. yeah I don't, this isn't nearly that far down like it's a, it's a big lake but it's like the exact opposite side of a uh, lake titicaca on the other side of the planet where not where lake, there's a not lake titicaca lake titicaca <laughs> yeah like lake van is like almost as deep and it's a huge lake like on the mirror so that, image that side of the right. planet is it it's uh, called it's lake like titicaca that. Yeah, Hi, the yeah, little red in the background. Have you ever seen the South American, uh, like giant uh, city that's on top of these hills? It seems impossible to be built up there by like the, yeah. the uh, yeah, it's, it's basically like, like a mirror um, of that lake. I've seen, um, yeah, you just don't, there's so many things that you wonder how they were built, you know, for sure. Revila Red, you're on panel. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Yeah, hi. I was, hi. I was I was drinking at odd hours and I found your conversation interesting, so I'm just going to listen in if you don't mind. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, well welcome. welcome. I, I, I have no idea what the fuck anybody's talking about for the last hour, but I'm glad you understood. That's so. <laughs> yeah. All I heard was Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca. Lake Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca. A lake Titty Caca. Lake Titty Caca sounds like a great <laughs> thing. I could leave this out for a while. Um, I'm still trying to find that CAA video, by the way. That's why it seems like I'm not paying attention, but I promise I am. That's Nico, okay. good morning again, darling. No, but you know, you're good. Uh, carry on talking about what you were talking about because I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. But it seems to intrigue people because they're coming up on panel. Oh, I yeah. If you build it, they will come. Something like that. That's right. That is true. If you oh wait, I, I guess I guess that that wasn't exactly what was said. Now, according to people that say it was a Mandela affected or something. Oh yeah, you know what a Mandela uh, effect man is? Bad memory and advertising. It uh, just means like you think you saw it, but you really didn't. There's like yeah. a, a lot of different examples of like uh, Tommy Boy is where the whole Luke, I'm your father, instead of no, but I am your father came from. Right. Yeah, everyone remembers it differently because everyone watched Tommy Boy and seen all the commercials. You know, people. I think the Mandela the effect is coming from. It CERN. doesn't even come from Tommy Boy, Boy when, when we were kids back CERN in the eighties. We used to grab. We can do a fan and say that. It's just like um, it's just like where you think you've seen it or you think you've heard it, and it really didn't happen that way. The only one I that way. There's a lot of products that you think. Um, I, I, I think actually had a Berenstein and Berenstein Bears book, like the Golden Books oh, were yeah, Berenstein, yeah, yeah. and the Berenstein were all the, the other brands. Bears. Of those yeah, books. They had, they I had, had, had them the side by side, took a picture, and blew people's minds with it. Oh my yeah. God! Did they have the little? Oh, that was Paddington Bears. Okay, you might, you might boots. dispel, just totally dispel me then, because that's the only one, the biggest one of mine that, yeah, was the Berenstein. <laughs> I remember I'll have to it. find the picture. It's lost somewhere on Google Photos. <laughs> yeah. It, it might take okay. me a while because that shit's been full since I've had an account since like 04 or 05 or something. Yeah. That was the well, only one that gave me some, yeah, a little bit of. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I about shit my pants when I found it myself. 
yeah. then again, I remember the guy that played uh, Doc on Back to the Future. I remembered him uh, dying like before that movie where the Family Guy creator had that Wild West movie. And yeah. he was on there. Like, I thought he died like two months before that. And I was totally, I, I thought it was a I just really good. I thought he was telling everyone that Michael J. Fox died and he didn't die. He did he not? Oh, no. no I saw him not didn't. long ago and thought the same thing. Yep. I yeah, I forgot. The same thing. And, and, and I thought to be an alien. OJ died oh, today. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was. I hadn't heard about so, that. I'd like to know. Yeah, more. I wasn't. Um, I went to that OJ trial. You did? I did. I did. But, oh wow! Um, I used to. I used to have um a boyfriend so that was an anchor for the news, and back then he was doing. He did sports, and so they sent us. We were real young at that time, and they sent us, or they sent him to cover it. But I went with them, and it was. Uh, it was crazy. But that was when um, um, I remember Harvey Levin was there, and that was the beginning of TMZ. You know, he would just like interview, or, like talk to people as they <laughs> walked in every morning, and it was just crazy. It was a crazy time. And then the LA riots were happened at the same time, so we, I mean, we got we were stuck there for a while. It was it was wild, wild. But so, um, Christy, I, you said you know quite a lot about. Uh, I, I know we, we went we ran the block a few times, but. You said you knew quite a lot about the whole P. Diddy stuff. Will you give us a, a summary of just quickly of what you think? Um, what I think is like, well, they've been watching him for years and years, you know. And I think like the FBI has been watching him for a long time. There's a good documentary. It's called um, Surviving Diddy. And it's on I YouTube. watched it, darling. The one that you recommended. I yeah, watched it. Yeah, did you watch it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like, um, I mean, I didn't, there's, it really puts a lot of the, um, people like there's a bunch of diff I mean there's a lot of dead people that have surrounding his him and right. I think right now is what's happening is I think right now they're going to go around and they're going going to arrest people around him and then they're going to try and um, have them uh, you know a snitch on him turn state's witness and um, and that be but the feds never they never do anything like this unless they've got a really strong case and they've got like a 95% tie or uh, success rate on anything that they can, that they try. So they're going to get him for sure. But I think, um, I don't know if he was tipped off or what, but I, um, I think that they, that, that lawsuit that has come, um, that Jones guy that, that has, um, the paperwork on that lawsuit there's a lot of photos there's a lot of crazy things like all the liquor that he serves is um he's got some liquor for the ladies and some for uh the men um and i think he's got sort of an epstein thing going on where he has <clears throat> videotaped people um, they call it a freak off, right? And so I think like what he's done is he's you know gotten people intoxicated and high, and I think that he has filmed them. And as uh, and then I think after he films them, he probably owns them after that. Sort of very similar to how Epstein is, because I know there's a lot of people that are worried. Um, and I think like Jay Z has now been called on it and jennifer lopez is um been called out on on stuff right now they're talking about how jennifer lopez carried the gun at that at that uh nightclub shooting that happened back in the 90s um that she was uh is a person that carried the gun but the mother of yeah we covered all that at the beginning yeah. and do you think crispy that did he was directly associated with the the murders of um and i'm saying this because i'm really like i want these murders solved with big um biggie smalls and tupac yeah i think um well actually after that documentary aired on um, just that youtube documentary where they were talking about um tupac um and how the, that situation happened well then there was the arrest for the um for, um, of that uncle that uh, that arranged the that arranged the shooting of Tupac. Now the kid that shot Tupac, he's already passed away, but the uncle that arranged it, they have arrested him. Now I think Diddy's responsible for Biggie. 
I think he is completely responsible. If you listen to them talk about it, they said that like um, Biggie wasn't supposed to be there. He had just had surgery on his leg. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he was supposed to, that was when the music producer was going to inter introduce him um, internationally, like um, uh, to an international audience. And, and P. Diddy just, just um, bugged the crap out of him until he went to this party, this after hours yeah. party. And so then after, you know, it just was crazy that he canceled that, uh, that whole situation with this international audience, which would have been a big deal. And he went to this party and then then he was shot. So I believe that he he orchestrated that. I believe he orchestrated his wife or his um, first wife, Kim Porter, when she passed away, because when she passed away, it was um, under suspicious um, circumstances. There were two autopsies done and the one autopsy um, is lost and the coroner died. And the other autopsy, they said she died of pneumonia. But somebody that she dated actually died too, and he was real paranoid. And he and Diddy was um uh had her phones bugged and the whole bit all all the same same story all, with all of the women that he dated. Um, and and I think that he also has been involved in some some um homosexual stuff that has yeah. made him very fearful. And you know nobody would care if he if that was his, you know if that was his you know thing if he if he's gay i don't think anybody cares about that anymore but like i think that's a big um that's a that's something that's kind of um hidden and done uh, on the down low in the black community especially i think that's a um still kind of a stigma and that uh, with a lot of um people in in that hollywood uh, black elite community, I think, in my opinion, of course. But um, yeah, and I think that I think he absolutely is responsible for Biggie, and I think he also helped arrange Tupac as well. And then there's just other people too that yeah. you know. And then the guy that um, he shot a woman in the face at that at that nightclub, and she. She said she told the ambulance drivers, she told the surgeon when she was going into surgery, she told everybody that Diddy was the person that shot her in the face, but nobody really believed her because he um, he got that other kid to take the fall for it. And so he did 10 years. Of <coughs> and she said she's been harassed for 25 years. She said she goes out to her car and her, and her tires are flat, the same tire, like, six or seven t different times her tire's been flat. She said she's just been harassed forever and ever. But she has come out on TikTok and everywhere and saying, like, yeah, she's she's been waiting for the day when he got, you know, when all of this shit, you know, finally uh, caved in on him. So, and even his son was just, um, as being sued, he's, like, 28 years old for That's, an essay. day. Yeah. Yeah, an essay on a on a woman on a on a cruise or whatever on their boat. So I don't know. And his mule has been picked up. Now, mind you, like he also had um, a situation like where his all of the help in his um, mansion, all of the staff had to have hit the drugs of his choice uh, ready to go. They had to carry it around with them. Um, they had there is only certain. Um, bottles of alcohol that are just for females. So I think those all have something in them. You know, the alcohol. I wonder when they did that search, I would love to get my hands on the search warrant and what they took. Because I know they were, the search warrant had, um, they were looking for like, uh, you know, anything electronic or whatever. But I'm wondering if they, if they would have taken any of those um, bottles of alcohol and tested those. I mean, I don't know. I, I doubt it though. But but they found under they found like tunnels and stuff in his house. Um, you know, all kinds of um, escape plans in that house. So uh, yeah, like um, like uh, in his house, there's like um, there were these back rooms that had like a slide, and then like some kind of like a secret 
um, thing where then you end up on the roof. <laughs> so, what? yeah, wow. yeah. So, I mean, he obviously had some escape plans, you know. So, and uh, it's just crazy. But they've been watching him for years and years and years. So, I, I think that they they were watching him before Kim Porter died, but I think there's just been a lot of deaths surrounding him and a lot of rumor. And there's, you know, like a Melon, you've said it best. Like when there's smoke, there's fire. Mm. And I happen to think that too. I just think that there's no possibility that there'd be this much stuff. And let me just tell you when the feds have, when the feds, um, break down your door in two locations you better believe they've got a bunch of intel that make them do that they don't just do that you know willy nilly they absolutely have got some you know they've got some surveillance and some intel that makes them believe that there are um, things going on there that are not appropriate and especially for um, underage uh people i think justin bieber came out with a song today with like a diss track. yeah <laughs> yeah diss track um yeah. but but also because we, we discussed this like it, it, did you think it was odd that it was homeland security that raided the properties no um um you know i have a brother that um is um my i have a brother that um um works for the white house and is a secret service and so, um, no, I did not think that was odd only because like, um, he's, um, traveling and he's, um, going to other countries. I think he might be flying some of these girls in and out. Um, and I think that, and anytime that you're, um, messing around with, uh, planes and stuff like that, that's going to be Homeland Security. Anytime that there's human trafficking or, sex trafficking that's going to be homeland security okay so. yeah i mean i guess that makes sense if he, if he's if he's transferring girls country to country then yeah 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 so i think that they you know um i think that because he's got so much access to so much money and um also like um you know he's got a you know, planes and stuff. That's where they arrested his mule was at the airport when he was on his way to um, at Sink Antigua, you know. So I think that's why Homeland Security was involved in that too. And also with the drugs and stuff too. I think that's, uh, you know, but he's smart. Like for instance, um, you know, he's, he's never going to be the one that's carrying any kind of drugs on him. He's going to have somebody that's the mule that carries it for him. You know, right. on the plane, and you know that kind of thing. So, well, yeah, he would, yeah. He's slippery. He's very slippery. But I'm telling you, for Homeland Security and for the Feds to bust um in that in his home and tear it to part, tear it to pieces like that, that means they have they have proof of they have a lot of proof you know yeah i think i might have um, a video of the homeland security that'd be interesting yeah. to watch yeah yeah i mean yeah, his house is a wreck <coughs> oh yeah, shit yeah, they ain't the messing tank. around are they no they are not messing around they yeah because it's really that's a very dangerous situation when you bust in an American home like that. Um, well, there was something it, they they said about him maybe having some uh, illegal weapons. Yeah, in there he's too, got an arsenal. So he has an like, arsenal yeah, of weapons. Probably automatic. Yep, yep, and that's why there's tanks there. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. They seized a bunch of weapons in there. Now, mind you, I'm sure some of them um, are probably legal, but I bet you a bunch of them are not. And then I guarantee you that there are um, those weapons are going through um, uh, forensics and um, they're probably trying to compare um, 
you know, bullets and stuff that are, you know, some of those guns to see if there's any bodies on any of them, you know? Oh, I bet they are. For sure they are. Right? I mean, I don't, I don't know if to play it because it's law and crime sidebar. So I don't know whether their stuff will be copyrighted. I don't can I play you can, it? Anymore? You can play a little mm. bit of it and just in, as long as you commentate, as long as you pause and commentate and while you're playing or, you know, every, um, you know, so often here. So yeah, it, maybe change the speed too of it. Okay. You can do that as well. But it's I don't, for, yeah, I do want to go black screen again. Yeah, it's a transformative pause, that's all. But yeah. Oh, I don't know what I've done. Yeah, <laughs> Postal 1976, um, uh, you know, education, um, yeah, the, thing, you know. You know how I go you. over that. I go over that. TV. I know you do, Chris B. That's <laughs> why I'm asking you. <laughs> I know Flo, Flo, was just, Flo was like, can I, can I hire you? My yeah. uh, he was like, how much do you charge? I'm like, well, I haven't even, de I haven't even decided, but he's like, oh, I never knew anybody that went over TOS like that. I do go over it all the time now because I always think that you hear all these different rumors and chats, you know? So I like to kind of keep it and they change it so often and don't, you don't even know, you know, they just change stuff in March. So, Ooh. okay. Well, we'll play what a minute of it, and then yeah, just yeah, and we as long as we have a conversation about it, and just play right. a little bit of it, and you know. Okay, mm -hmm. let me just post this link. Aaron's put in the back chat. Okay. the raids the two homes of rapper sean diddy combs are drawing more and more attention to the civil lawsuits that combs is facing and speculation that any potential charges could be connected to the horrendous allegations they contain we're taking a closer look at how people who are named in those lawsuits have responded so far welcome to sidebar presented by law and crime i'm jesse weber it's oh yeah stevie j stevie j he's another one that's been named he's on love and hip-hop he is all over this lawsuit. Yeah, because uh, there was one lawsuit which I looked at, which was the one against Miss, what was her name? Here we are. Miss Cassandra Ventura. Yeah. yeah. That's, that looked quite hideous. That was, I couldn't even like keep that up for very long because the stuff that was in there was like, it was a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. There's also a lady named, um, um, she's named after a country. Um, uh, she's named after an African country. I can't think, but she's, um, they had, um, they were suing her and they let her go. Now they've excused her with prejudice, meaning that they cannot bring her back. Um, Ethiopia, that's her name, Ethiopia. And she, um, because, um, everything that she did, she paid him through the record company, but she had to get permission from her boss to cut the check. So they've let her go and they will not be able to um, um, bring her back um, because they've let her go with prejudice. So they cannot um, bring her back. So she's gone, but now it's going to be the record label and stuff because the record label has been funding a lot of this shit, you know? So... Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's play a little bit more. Um... Since Homeland Security agents raided Sean Diddy Combs' two properties in Los Angeles and Miami, reportedly pursuant to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation from the Southern District of New York, and there are these existing civil lawsuits that have been filed against Combs and people in his inner circle. There's amended complaints of existing lawsuits that add new defendants, and that's what we want to talk about. We have Rodney Jones, music producer known as Little Rod Jones, filed a sworn declaration with the court just this week, going into more detail about what he saw and heard Combs allegedly do during the year or so they were working together on the Love Album. We actually went more in depth on that new document in another episode of Sidebar. But what we want to talk about right now is that some of the people mentioned in these filings, they have responded with statements of their own or representatives of them have released statements on their behalf, while there's others who have been silent. Can I ask, Crispy, because you, you know you were saying, because um, I don't think with PDD it is a 
a gay thing. I think it's more of a power thing. But what you were saying about um, homosexuality in the black community, do, mm -hmm. do you think that the if all these artists that have been mentioned and that there's been all this, you know, stuff happen, do you right. think that they're not going to be, they're definitely not going to be saying anything because of the attitude towards homosexuality? I think that is why they are, that's why they have covered for him for so long. And I think that's why they are all running scared. I definitely think that there was some inappropriate stuff with Usher that has gone on. Yeah, we've heard that um, today. Yeah, all that stuff. But I think um, that they are going to want to keep that quiet. However, it's on video. So that's what this Jones guy has been saying, that all these freak-offs is what he called them. And yeah, you're right. It's a power thing. But it also, I think, in um, a lot of, I think with him, I think it was a blackmail thing as well. But um, I think that um, he liked to watch. And so, um, and I think that he probably joined in as well. But I think that that's why there's so many, that's why they're all silent and they've kept all of this stuff quiet. Uh, Cat Williams is the one that has, you know, he's been saying this for years about Diddy and he just called it out recently, but um, he called out all of this and it, and it just happened. So I don't know if he had heads up or just good intuition, but I mean, a lot of people have been saying all this stuff, but no, but nobody ever thought he was going to go down for it, but every dog has its day. So. Right, you know, and, and yeah, there's been rumors for decades, and I, I one yeah, and one of the things that I saw in one of the documentaries, and I've mentioned, I've already said this on panel, was that that was how he rose so quickly to get his own record label by the inappropriate. He was relations. 23 years old. 23. Yeah, done by his boss. Yeah, on him. by his boss, and mm. apparently had given or had had some kind of a sexual. Uh, exchange for yeah, yeah, yeah. And because because it, where, when do you, when does a twenty-three-year-old boy without any experience whatsoever get his own record label? I mean, you, you know, there's well, he's gone in under an inter, uh, in what's it called, an internship? Inter, what's that called? Uh, yeah, it's an internship. Uh -huh. Internship, yeah, because yeah. he was in uni, right. and then. From what some witnesses have said, is that he somebody walked in on him performing acts yes. on his boss, and it was like he quit uni and then all of a sudden he got his own music label. Yes, at 23. And inter like interns do not, that's not how it happens. I mean, when you intern somewhere, you are a basically you are an unpaid slave you know and you have to do anything and everything that they ask and be just at their beck and call and you do not get paid but it's for experience and then that's it and then you have to work your ass off and that's how you get your foot you know in the door for hopefully a paying job at some point you they don't just turn over a record label to you at 23 years old with barely i mean he was barely interning for them he had it was only there for less than a year that's right, because he was supposed to go back to uni. Yes, yes. Mm. And I guess when you do special favours, it gets you far in Hollywood, right? I mean, yeah, that's what, I mean, that was kind of how the Me Too movement, um, you know, uh, right. that's how that Harvey Weinstein went down, was because of, you know, he would just call these actresses into his hotel or his office or whatever, and then, you know, they would think they were being there for an audition and he would assault them. And if they try, if they didn't play along or if they wanted to tell somebody, they were blackballed and never worked again. There's several actresses that never got another part again. And they were up and coming actresses or, or they worked regularly like Rose McGowan was one. And there, you know, some of these girls that were, you know, you, you just wondered whatever happened to them because it's like all of a sudden, you know, they were out there and they were little starlets and then they just disappeared and you didn't know what happened to them until that Me Too movement came and they, you know, said enough, Ooh. enough. 
and realize that that Harvey Weinstein is a just a uh, I mean the worst person alive. You need to read that book Brave by Rose McGowan. It's really good. Really good. Uh, no, I, I will. I, you know, once I get a chance, I, I can just sure. Amazon it. But Fools and Tools was saying that Justin. There was a video of Justin Bieber been acting very uncomfortably around PDD. Yeah, that was a um that was when his parents had had given, you know, a Bieber is from Canada. So um he was staying with um with Diddy for 48 hours and his parents gave Diddy guardianship for over him for 48 hours and Diddy is saying uh, is like saying all this stuff, you know, to the camera saying like Oh, we're gonna get into some top secret stuff. But he was, you know, offering um, Bieber a car, and you know, and poor little Justin Bieber. He is, looks like he's about twelve at the time, and he just looks like he wants to cry. He looks so uncomfortable. I mean, it just breaks your heart when you look when you know what's going on now, when you know the backstory. But you can see how he's grooming him and saying like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna have." You know, this is going to be top secret, uh, but I have him for the next 48 hours. We're going to, you know, do this or that or whatever. But um, I can't tell you it's top secret. And and Justin Bieber just looks scared to death. I mean, it's fucking tragic what happens it to is. these kids. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. And, you know, I just, it's just a, another thing where, you know, I'm sure that his mother um, just was trying to do what she thought was, you know, was going to be good for his career. And I'm sure she didn't think um, a man like, like Diddy, who had five children of his own, um, would, would do anything to harm her child. But it certainly appears that way. I don't know that. But, you know, now he's come out with a diss track. And he was messed up there for a while. He got into some religion, I think, with um, Baldwin. He married that Billy Baldwin's daughter. and or, Alex, or whatever, one of the Baldwin's daughters. But Billy, or her dad, was um, is real big into that religion. One of the uh, big religions out there um, in L.A., I guess. And that's what kind of saved him from drugs. But I think Bieber was struggling with um, a pretty bad addiction himself. And so I wonder if that, because he was, uh, he was a pretty, you know, a uh, decent kid. And then it does seem like after he had that time with Diddy, it did seem like that was when he started getting into some of his opiate uh, addictions, addiction. I don't, you know, this is all just my opinion. Yeah, it's all speculation. Yeah. Um, uh, is there been anything about Justin Bieber in, in any of the charges or court cases or law no, cases? Just that no, just that he's been brought up. Um, I think with that, Joan, um, I got the paperwork, the documentation um, of that um, Jones lawsuit. Um, and there's a lot of photos and stuff in that, um, in that uh, lawsuit. But I guess, you know, he's got a lot of digital evidence and stuff, but he brought up a lot of p different people's names. He's brought up Jennifer Lopez. He's brought up Justin Bieber. He's brought up um, uh, the guy from Love and Hip Hop. Um, you know, I, I mean, just uh, there's a, an usher. There's been a lot of them. And did he seem to, like, get off on making these, um, making these big public announcements in front of the camera where he would just insinuate that there was going to be something that happened? But, of course, since you didn't know any of that was going on, you didn't really read into it. But now looking at the footage, you're like, oh, you can't believe he's just said all that stuff. You know, he just makes these very uncomfortable, um, th these comfortable speeches in front of the camera where everybody around him is really uncomfortable because they don't know what the hell he's going to say. And he just kind of skirts around it all, you know, but he definitely makes these, you know, um, makes these uh, just insinuations, you know, that's all they are is insinuations, but you know, like, Oh, this is top secret stuff. You know, we're going to, I can't tell you, but I've got him for 48 hours, that kind of stuff, you know, that are just, uh, you just think what, what's going on, you know, but it's or, in the that, most or he said, I wrestle, I used to wrestle Usher for the frosted. Yeah, no, I heard that when I was doing yeah. 
but yeah. but wasn't that lawsuit with all the pictures a bit weird because i was told that it's not custom to put all these pictures within a lawsuit I mean, it, I guess like it's not the norm, but then again, this isn't the, this lawsuit isn't the norm. This is not a normal, you know, everyday case that they see. This is a big case. And, um, this guy had happened to have a lot of footage that is, you know, helpful to his case. And yes, usually that doesn't, they don't have photos, but also, this isn't going to be a criminal trial for this guy. This guy is su suing him civilly. So it mm -hmm. means that he's not. And, and basically, if he gets if he sues him civilly and they find him and they can they find him guilty of this stuff and they and he gets a payout. Well, it'll be easier to convict him in a criminal court. After that, in my opinion. So what, do you think they're going to wait till the civil cases are over? I mean, there's there seems like there, there's like a new one every day. Um, there's, hey, I don't what know. what did 50 Cent call Diddy? P pardon? So what did 50 Cent call Diddy? Fruit pop? Yeah, yeah, 50 Cent. Yeah, 50 Cent is having like the best week of his life with, you know, this because they don't get along at all and, you know, 50 Cent has just been, like, you know, just making fun of him the whole time. But, yeah, he's been saying all along that he's, you know, a, a, a yeah. Did you a, see when he was on um, Drink Champs with Noriega, um, Jada Kiss, and um, Fabulous? No, I didn't. But I, I'll check it out, yeah, Fabulous, Jada Kiss was over there laughing. Cause Fabulous really? was like, yeah, Diddy, Diddy said, Fabulous, man, you're supposed to come party with me, man. You, you ain't party with me yet. That yeah. was like, mm -hmm. Right. I mean, I oh, saw a lot of the, yeah, I saw a lot of the stuff with Kevin Hart. But see, I remember years ago, a guy that I um, dated was telling me about this. And he was like, I mean, he he knew all about it. And I never heard anything about it before. Right. And so he pulls up this. Um, and I was on YouTube at the time. He pulls up this. It was like an, um, the, a boys' night out thing. I forget what the name of it is. One of you guys probably remember know what I'm talking about, but it was Diddy and his friends all drinking. And they would just sit and talk and, you know, tell stories about, you know, different uh, stories. But as the drinks went down and Diddy would get, like, just, just shit-faced. He would get so drunk and he would start, like, making very, like, uh, very inappropriate <laughs> um, moves and stuff on these, on his friends or whatever. And they would get uncomfortable. And, like, they've, they, a couple of them have called him out at, um, at, at these things. I doubt those things, that uh, YouTube um, stuff is still up. But, um I mean, unless somebody else has it, but that was very telling. I, I, we watched, I don't know, two or three of them and they're just him and his friends sitting there drinking and telling stories, but the more drunk they got, the more out of control. And it seemed like he lost, he lost his inhibitions in front of the camera where he just was doing stuff that just was not something that a bunch of straight guys do when they're drinking, you know, and his friends were just like, uh, you know, back up. <laughs> you could tell that that was crazy. I would love to see if I could find those somewhere, maybe in the Wayback Machine or something. Yeah, well, it would have been great for the panel tonight. I mean, I, do you yeah. think? It's, do you think it's because? I mean, not that it really matters, but, but do you think it, 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 it's it's him being he's bisexual or he's gay and he's trying to yeah, hide it? I do it, think or, that. Mm -hmm. do, I think okay. that's why he's really mean to his um the women that he dates as well. I think oftentimes when there's a man that's hiding his sexuality, he'll be abusive to um the woman that he's with because he's not he doesn't he's not attracted to her, he doesn't want her, but he uh um you know, he has to have her um and and it they they start to be resentful of the woman and will oftentimes be abusive, in my opinion. <laughs> well, his first wife did mysteriously pass and the autopsy disappeared and all that stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. 
So and that was everything it. that she was and see she was she wrote was writing a book, and he had her he had her um, phones bugged, so he was listening to all of her conversations every day. And when she was writing a tell-all, and I know that um, he beat her up pretty badly and broke her nose and all this stuff. But they were, they, I mean, they were divorced. And what that was another thing that was crazy is even though he was divorced and he had moved on, he still had her phones bugged and he knew her every move. And as soon as she would speak to another man, he would lose his mind. He, he told the man he was going to blow up his car and the car blew, you know, blew up, you know. I mean, just he had a tight, tight ring on on um, on his first wife. And she was she also was a singer and an up up and coming star in her own right. And after she got with him, there was just no more of that. None. Same thing that happened to Cassie, his second girl, you know, the second uh, person that he was with. And he also, you know, was uh, just intimidated everybody um, that she worked with. And she wasn't allowed to, you know, uh, record a record with anybody else. Um, what they were supposed to just record their parts and send it in and then they'd put the song together. But, you know, she wanted to, you know, uh, be in the studio and, you know, and they could do all do it together. And nobody was inappropriate to her. But he came into that studio and um, and to her knowledge, she um, she had kept it private where nobody knew that that they were even there. And of course, he knew and he went and took one of the people that she was working with and dangled him out the window Um you know, like blanket Jackson, you know, like just dangled him out the window. Like, yeah, yeah, I saw. I because uh, when was it? Not like Tuesday night. The night I got up completely fucked. Was it Tuesday night? Wednesday night. Um, I overloaded on documentaries and finding out about all this stuff. And I saw the bit, you know, where they they claimed that he was being dangled out the window. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was insane. I'm like. Shit, this is kind of like gang, like this is proper it's gangster, gangster shit. right? It's like he was a mob boss, and um, and it, I mean, it was crazy how much control and how much, like, I, I think he's a very insecure man. He also is um, legendary for throwing fits. He also is, um, people uh, constantly talk about him walking into a room and he would put his gun on the table. And that would be, you know, very intimidating, you know, and, and, and shit just doesn't go, you know, he'd be in a professional setting and he would just come in and, and just put his pew pew on the well, table. Just fucking, he sounds like a dick. Uh, well, I mean, like a, the biggest asshole I've ever even heard of, you know what I mean? It's just like, I bet he was so unbearable. And <coughs> once, once he believed that you know, once you were dating him and he, you know, claimed you as property, you weren't getting out of that. I mean, I'm shocked that Jennifer Lopez, um, you know, was able to get out of that. And she only got out of that because of that shooting. And, you know, she was probably like, uh, I, you know, you know, she was playing, she was playing like, um, hood girl for, you know, a for uh, a little bit, but she didn't know it was going to get like that crazy. I mean, Jennifer Lopez just, uh, you know, I don't think realized the kind of danger she was in. And then once she was, you know, they were picked up and they were at the police station. She, I think her people were just like, you're done. And she, and that was it. She was never seen with him again after that but it seems like once he cl makes a claim on you you're done and wendy williams called all of this out and she had had a really a terrible um issue with him for years and years and um and she said that he um he had some people some girls um sitting outside her studio waiting there to beat her up because she was talking shit about him one time on her show. And that was what, that was her show. That was what she did. She would, you know, talk about the latest gossip. Well, she was saying all this stuff, you know, years ago. And he had a bunch of people sitting out there waiting to beat her up. 
And then she ended up having him on the show or whatever. But she had said to the girl, um, the second girlfriend, um, or I don't know if she said it to her but uh, or about her, but she was saying, you know, once you date a man with that much power and that much money, you might think you're in a hotel and you're in a secluded area with security everywhere and he can't get to you and he will land a helicopter on the roof. He will always be able to get to you. And sure enough, that's exactly that experience that that young girl had. She was only nine. She was only, well, first of all, she was underage when he met her and she was, I mean, I think she might've been 17 or 18 years old. So, um, I don't think he made it, um, public until she was 19, but she was for sure underage. And I want to know where his daughters are. That's where I want to know. I want to know where those girls are. He's apparently on spring break with them, but where are they on a daily basis when their mother is gone? Their mother is dead. I want to know where his children are. You know, I, I've only seen him with his sons. What is that, Mel? What's what? What did you say? I thought you said I want to see a movie. What? what no, I said I've only seen because uh, uh, I'm not oh, really yeah, into I've, I've seen pictures too. with his sons. Yeah, but I've not seen the daughter. Said, no, I did see the daughter there, when she was very, very little. He, she yeah. was reading a list. There's, there's some new footage at the moment, which was it's been debunked because apparently everyone thinks it was a list of names that he's saying that were involved with all of this stuff that he's involved in, but it's an old video and he was talking about something else and he had his daughter in his hand, my bad, yeah. And then I've heard that he adopted two more daughters. But, and I'm not sure where they, those adopted. girls came from. Yeah, that's what I've under, that's what I heard. Now I know his first son so all this him. shit going on, how was he able to adopt children? I don't know, man, but you know, money, money, when you've got a lot of money like that and I don't know, but the first he adopted his first son. Um, he doesn't, but that that boy Justin, the first boy, he is um, he belongs to his wife Kim, right? And Kim yeah. and uh, DeBarge, I think, is um, remember that group DeBarge. I think I believe that's, so. Yeah, yeah, I think that's um, who the, the father of that little girl or that boy is but he adopted him at like age three and so then the rest of the boys were his and then I it's my understanding that he adopted two more girls now I was thinking maybe he adopted one girl because I know he did have a little girl I know that and I think he's and he also had another I think he had a, a girl with the second wife or the second girlfriend or whatever Cassie but huh? she's terrified She's terrified. But so. then you look at, at Cat Williams, and I hear he adopted like five or six kids, and but he's like yeah. an awesome dad. And his and kids an are awesome. awesome dad. Yeah. yeah. His kids are like really nice kids. And he's, you know, Cat Williams, you think about him as being this heavy duty partier, but he's never done a hard drug in his life. He's, you know, I don't know. He, but yeah. And Kat called all of this out. And he was a guy that really stood up in the in the industry and, and said when all of those things were being offered to him, he wanted no part of it. So um, he, you know, he passed on a lot of opportunities that would get him, you know, um, a bigger gig or a movie deal or whatever. He passed on all of that. Um, just because he just, you know, he, he wasn't going to play that game that oftentimes so many people get trapped in Hollywood. So. Wow. I'm going to play a bit more of this one. Yeah, um, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just talking, talking, so talking. <laughs> no, 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 it's great. I love it when you talk, 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 and talk. <laughs> Well, good. Exactly. At least somebody Jr. does. Who settled his own yeah, exactly. Business. What would a panel be if people didn't talk on it, right? <laughs> right. Hey, hey, would you mind if I if I said a di little bit of a different? Uh, sure. Of course not. No, no, no. Go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, please do. I know this whole this whole thing kind of reminds me of the whole Q thing. Like the, the Q, like the Q, remember like Q, the Q drops and all that bullshit back in like tr the Trump days, like 2016. 
I don't know. I it, was into that stuff. And I don't know, some of this stuff, like, especially when it gets into the mainstream news, mm-hmm. sometimes, sometimes I feel like it is kind of like controlled and it is kind of like an op just just to make make people be like okay yeah well, so, somebody's yeah the white hats are in charge and like mm-hmm. I don't know, a, a, a lot of the truthers i know are are like most of them i know are like still kind of like that they're like oh yeah you know the white hats are gonna save us all and like and they're still mm-hmm. into that and like trump's gonna what save are us, the white like, hats yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. I'm, okay. I'm not into that anymore. Yeah. But like, okay. so, but like, I, I think it's that deep that they control the mainstream. Oh, like the know. Illuminati. The Illuminati. Well, with the QAnon stuff and the whole yeah, cicada the things QAnon. and everything, we're talking, right. they, they, they're still talking white about. hat hackers, black hat hackers, red hat yeah. hackers, right, stuff like right. that. I so that's more that like, into like hacking. Yeah, that's that Illuminati stuff. Yeah. I just feel like all everything in the mainstream is kind of a, a distraction. Mm-hmm. Like, I, you know, like what is this going to bring? Like, you know, hopefully you know, it's going to bring a criminal conviction and he will be put away and be stripped of his money and his reputation and he won't be able to do this to women and, you know, it or be or do this to the young men that he's also done this to. That's yeah. what that's what it's hopefully going to bring, and I believe that it will bring that if the feds and Homeland Security are involved. That's you know, I believe that just, they would not have done it. They would not have barged in and done this um, search without um, a lot of evidence. A judge will not sign off on something like that. Not to mention, it costs like ten thousand dollars to do a um, a SWAT you know, situation the way they did it. Each one of those are cost 10 grand for the government. So well, I don't, but when you really look into it, like a lot of these people were put in there, like by the CIA, I, like this is all controlled. Like, like, so no, like, they, I, they decided, like, okay, let's fucking pull this guy in. You know, yeah. we're going to, you know, make it happen. Be, like even the Beatles, when you look into the history, like the Beatles or Tavistock, mm-hmm. like made by Tavistock, like it's, Crazy. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate the um the the um different um perspective, but I don't believe that the CIA has anything to do with this Diddy stuff. And yeah, yeah. I yeah, but I understand what you mean when you're talking about like the White House and and um some of the um secret uh situations that happen and and um some of the different groups and stuff that the Illuminati stuff, I, I understand what you mean by that, but not with this Diddy stuff. I don't think that these are plants or anything. So okay. I'm, Oh no, yeah. I don't know. I just, the, the thing, I don't even think they're plants either. Like, I think they're real. This is just, you know, it's planned, you know, like, like Tupac, they probably found a, a gay kid and they fucking entrapped him did you know, and throughout life told him, you know, and put them in this position on purpose, and then they have control over over them. And yeah, I think that's mind what. Control. There's like all sorts of shit. Yeah, there is, and I think that um, you know, um, with Epstein, that's the, absolutely the case. That's what he he did. Hi, Dev. Give me a minute. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to bring Dev up. Carry on. Yeah, he found um under um he found underprivileged girls um that you know were um that didn't have hey, a whole lot of money up, and hey. Hey. hi hey, hello yeah hey. hey um but he found yeah, these what are you guys talking about uh we're talking about diddy and um you know all this stuff that's going on with him huh what's and um yeah so i think that with um epstein that's exactly what he had done is he had hidden cameras everywhere. And so he would have these underage girls and uh, he would pick these girls from, from um, struggling neighborhoods. And um, so therefore they would be quiet because they had never seen a hundred dollar bill in their life, you know? And so he was paying them and they were going to keep his secret. And besides that, who's going to believe these little, um, these little uh hillbilly girls you know basically these 
uh, these nobodies against this billionaire. And if you look at Epstein's background, he had um, he ne- he never finished college. His first job, he lied about about all of it. Um, I mean, he well, didn't have a degree. Like, like he was funded by like the government. He was. And, yeah, well, he wasn't funded like, by the government, but he was funded by a lot of very, very wealthy men, like uh, he, the honor he, of Victoria's Secret and stuff. Yes. He, he was a, a, a like a, a um, yeah like a teacher at a at a university yes. with Bill and Bill with Barr, no, like yeah, Bill with, Barr, one of the biggest guys in like the Trump mm-hmm. era, like in you know all this. Yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It just not seems... just, no, not not the Trump era. He was not no. Oh, but Bill Clinton was there. Yes, and Trump Trump had um, visited one time, but um, had never stayed on the island. But Bill Clinton had been there um, several times. But that was the that was that was key with him is to. Um, oh, you know, are you find... awake or what's going on? What's that? Am I what? Uh, are you a fake or? Am I a fake? <laughs> I don't know what that means. So, Trump era. Yeah, we're well. We're talking about um just the how um Epstein was able to get a lot of money with and a lot of positions where he wasn't qualified to even have. And then I believe what's happened was that he. Um, I think he had cameras all over the house and I think that he would get, um, film these men in these compromising positions with an underage girl and therefore he had them and, and then he, I think he blackmailed so, them. So are you like LARPing or? No, what? I'm not LARPing, dude. I don't know what yeah. you're, you, I'm well, having yeah, don't a normal accuse people. conversation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's just a conversation, man. Why are you accusing people of no. stuff? No, so, can I just ask, so like, as the host, hi, the dev, is there a problem? Yeah, there's a huge problem. Like, Do you want to tell me what the problem is? Well, she's LARPing, yeah. What does that mean? No, I'm she's not LARPing. LARPing. What does LARP LARPing. mean? What does LARP even mean? It's, LARPing know. is live action, role playing, and no, uh, this ain't LARPing, there's nobody else no, LARPing. LARPing. LARPing means, like, being what you're not. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, did you want to contribute to the conversation, Dev, or did you just oh, want to? Uh, all right, I'm contributing to the conversation. Plenty. Yeah, I don't know what like whatever the word you used Lighting. is, and uh, I, I don't particularly. If you want to contribute to the conversation, by all means, you know, go ahead, do it now. But I'm not going to have somebody just insult people, my panel guests that's just not who i am so yeah hi darling yep hello how i'm good you? i'm good i'm just wondering <laughs> you're welcome to you're... join the conversation yeah, yeah. yeah. how are you yeah, i'm good you? what's your take on all this so why are you suddenly appearing here uh appearing where <laughs> Man, ah. everybody, everybody's got different beliefs, and and that's fine. We don't know the truth. We're just trying. We're talking about the truth. We're just and having a conversation. I come. Exactly. I, the, Mel is my friend. I come on this panel quite often. Hi, Easy. So. Yes. Hang on one minute, Dev. One second. Hi, Easy. Hi, Bears. Hi, all of you coming in. Um. Right. Yeah. Please, Dev, don't insult my panel guests because we're friends and, you know, I don't know what you're trying to say. But if you do not have anything to contribute, because essentially what we're doing is having a chat about something, we're speculating, we're not stating any facts, we're just having a chat. You know, if there's something that that bothers you, tell me now, me, the host, um, and then we'll take it from there. No? No? god oh my god so why did you like suddenly show up oh my god why do i show up where what do you what do you mean i because i'm having a conversation about um epstein and diddy and this um and i come on mel's panel and this is something that we had planned so i i'm not sure what you're what you're insinuating but um yeah 
Oh my There's God. no conspiracy, oh, honey. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my Hang on, God. but you have to get it. Hang Christmas. on, Crispy. Hang on. Right, Dev, have you got anything else to say other than, oh my God? <laughs> yeah, um, I have nothing to. Okay, then thank you. Lovely meeting you. Uh, 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 right, he's gone. Banner down. Yeah. I'm not putting up with no <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit. No, in right. this. Sorry, no, Crispy. No. Oh, no, I don't. It's no big deal. No, I don't. Have you ever known me to do that? No, but well, you it's know the what? I, I'll tell you what. I've, <coughs> I've gotten my ass kicked on, on everywhere I've gone today. Um, I've just had like the worst week. I'm telling you, I really have. But I had. No, I, I mean, of... look, we we both had a hard week. Yeah. We come up on panel. We're just yeah. having a chit chat. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we're not stating facts. We just start having a chit chat about general shit, and yeah. if some, I, I don't, I didn't know what that word meant until I, 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 I wrote. Well, it's easy, not even a relevant term to even bring up in this conversation, anyway. Right. He's just trolling. I think he got mad yeah. because I said something about Trump. You know. <laughs> oh God! Is I the, <laughs> Wolf? You know about this. <laughs> I never yeah. speak about politics on this panel. Please yeah. let's not ever talk about politics because the one yeah. time. That I allowed Wolf to talk about politics, it all all the shit hit the fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just talk about them all being actors. Yeah, you're loved here, it. Crispy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, so uh, thank like you. Easy said, yeah. I, I I I I can't be asked of all that. It's fucking half ten in the morning. I've had a shit couple of days, to be fair. Um, me too. I, yeah, I need to go yeah. make a phone call in a minute, and I wasn't going to leave somebody like that on panel. So, crack on. I, I don't you, understand. Easy. I knew I was. I knew I was going to be fine when you said hi, Easy. Welcome. I was like, oh, good. Easy's in here. I would have looked after <laughs> you. I, know, I, know. I was starting to trance out to your voice while I was eating. I like. I, I was. I was in mm. a, a space. It was nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah. almost forgot to come back. Oh <laughs> no. I you know, listen, I'm not every I'm not everybody's cup of tea, I know. So like oh, you're I enjoyed awesome. you the last few times I thank saw you, you up here and even in closed place. So uh, look, I, I, I don't uh I asked if he had a you know, I know some of you chat members you are a little bit disappointed, but I did ask for his contribution and he didn't give it to me. So I'm sorry if I've offended him, but to be quite honest with you, my panels are pretty chilled and I don't want no shit on my panels. Yeah. And I mean, this was, oh, I'm not LARPing or anything. I don't know what, what, it, what the deal is, but I had planned on coming here from the other day. Remember I knew that mm -hmm. you were going over Diddy stuff and um, you know, and when I first came up, I didn't know what the hell you guys were all talking about. That was a crack up. I thought, oh my gosh, you guys easy was gonna easy was gonna come up and show him like what a real man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, I knew I knew I was okay. I knew you guys were um fine, but also like I'm I'm a big girl, but it, you know what? I think he sounded like he was intoxicated as all. Well. So but maybe, must be, you know, there must be something and there must be like something like a full moon or something tonight, because I'm telling you. Not a full moon or I would be bouncing off the walls having my man period time. Oh, yeah. I also got um, there was somebody that that was being mean to me at flows tonight, too. <laughs> so was like, somebody and, being mean to your flows. Yeah, he got dropped down, too. But yeah, he was just being a, an asshole, too. So I don't know. Like I, I think I'm just getting under it or getting on people's nerves. I don't go on panels off that often, but I go on like yours and Easy's and uh, Flow is really. And I don't do it all all the time, but every so often I'll be like a little panel whore for a little bit and go go on. But um, I don't want to like wear people out. But um, yeah, somebody was like, he was so mad because I commented on um, like, a, a, like, I don't know, he was just like, he just thought I was so stupid. And I was commenting on a religion. Um, I was commenting on Mormon, the Mormon religion. And I was saying some stuff that, you know, I know that it was that was true. And he just thought I, yeah, he just was being really mean. I just and I think he might have been drinking too. So yeah, and Flo, Flo dropped him too. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm not like I guess I'm not um I don't know I guess people are like have had enough of me. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. worry too much about it to be quite yeah. honest with you. Uh I'm not worried. Um 
uh, because, like I said, it was it, it, sometimes you can tell what somebody's going to be like in, 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 in instantly, you know, yeah. as soon as they come on. And I had this last week. Wolf was on panel with me. And it really pissed me off. I mean, really pissed me off because it kind of started like that. And then it went into a full-blown insulting my panel guest. And I ended my life. That's how <gasps> this stuff I was. I heard about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I heard that. Yes. Well, and I just thought, no, I don't want to end my life or... Um, right. I, I just thought, no, that's, I'm not doing this again. Now, I'm not saying this guy was going to be the same, but I'm just not in the mood for it. I'm really not. I've had too much shit over the last couple of days to put up with any more shit, whether you're intoxicated or high or I don't give a fuck. Right. Come back to me. Right. Right. them in the tooth for you, Mel. Oh. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You've got a lot. That's right. Yeah, a lot of people are very protective of you, Mel. You're so sweet, but you do pull in a lot of weirdos. I mean, <laughs> you get, like, the ones in the back chat that are, like, doing <laughs> all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah. You get a bunch of, like, strange situations that happen. Poor Mel. No, look, I'm, uh, I, so I think nice. I'm... I'm quirky and yeah. I like quirky people and mm -hmm. I'm always welcome anybody and I always right. say to the flashers please keep it backstage to the shouters yeah. don't bring it on my panel um you know to and there's certain things that I'm I will you know you see me I will sit here and just listen and especially when the men are going back and forth and I allow them to go back and forth but mm -hmm. I guess today I'm just not in the mood I'm really not I'm I'm like yeah. Well, Flo said he he couldn't believe that I he's like that I don't I, that I didn't pull back like I'll I mean if somebody if someone makes me mad um nobody ever sees me get really mad but um I mean you definitely saw that I that um I got a little aggravated earlier or whatever and he he was like I think that he's like I think that you get mad and people don't even do you hear the cat the, the weird cat is here again. He's like meowing right now, but um, um, the, I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I try very hard to be very. Re I, I want to be respectful of the, of the creator and whatever rules you guys put in place is how what I will abide by, and I, and I will always just be as respectful as I no, can. No, I know, but Crispy. You, you know don't have I mean? to say that. But you know, like, me and you, if somebody, we could have if somebody did, I don't now. want you to have to take care of it. I could have taken care of him in a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's always best if, you know, on any panel, really, that the creator really needs to take care of it. And I'm learning. Do you remember when I first started six months yeah. ago and people were like, Mel, take control of your life. I remember <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. But you, you, I mean, you're learning and I'm learning. Yeah. I'm learning. And I think it's always better to like just um to not you know yell and go off at anybody. I think it's always better to try and you know be as polite as you can to and and try and get out of the the, the confrontation. You know, and I don't want to ever be responsible for somebody losing a sub or something like that. You know. So, oh no! Don't don't you worry. Uh, thank you, Easy. I'm learning from you. I'm learning for you. Um, Easy is my alpha male. I mean, I've got a lot of alpha males. I'm quite lucky because I always say, "Males only after alpha males on her panel," and luckily, that's what I get. <laughs> yeah, I know. You should have seen. Our, um, um, I um, I was about to tell. I just had popped up there to tell him about who you fixed me up with. <laughs> The other night, who I fixed, who yeah. I fixed you up with? Yeah, remember you had that. Yes, that I know who I fixed you up yeah, with. Yeah, <laughs> remember. Well, then, um, I didn't know he was like, um, that. That's who Flo and them war with. You oh, know? yeah, but I don't get into people's beef. It's none of my business. Right, right. Mm. Well, then I had gone up to say, and I couldn't think of his name. And then Flo was doing some kind of a like some sort of a troll on him tonight. I was like, oh, before you go any further, that's what I came up to tell you. <laughs> but oh, I mean, no, like just, I said, oh, I, friendly. I don't care about other people's beef. It's none yeah. of my business. I don't get myself involved in it. Uh, as I And you saw that I said, keep that out of my channel. You saw that. Yes, last, I saw last that, night. yeah. And, and, and because... then you didn't let him talk 
uh, nasty about Flo either. Right. But um, because yeah. But Flo didn't say Flo wasn't doing like he wasn't. Um, uh, I mean, it was just like all in fun. He wasn't being mean about him or anything like that. But it, yeah, it's it was, really none. Of, it's none of my business. I don't want to get involved, especially. Yeah. I mean, it's bad enough when girls have beef and then bring it panel to panel, but when men do it, yeah, yeah it's something. I, I'm right? just really like whatever. Um, yeah. I know who I like, I know, and I know who my channel friends are, and that's whatever goes on between anybody else is nothing to do with me. Yeah, I've mean it. That's it. And before you go, hang on. I've got your character here, darling. I've got oh. crispy treats here, and yeah. I've got your one too. Before you, she goes because I. I Hang on, let me yeah, remove this I want to see the characters, yes. Yes, well, yours is, I couldn't give you big boobies because oh. whenever we try to put big boobies in the AI program or whatever program my friend uses, mm -hmm. it wouldn't accept it. And, and, and we try to say it in different ways, but it wouldn't have it. Ooh. So this is you Yay. and your iron as a weapon my iron you know, yeah. like that I was looks do like a curling iron but a, well, a regular iron is that, great that looks like the weapon. top gun instructor on top gun from the 1980s it does it does, yeah. it does. It does. I've got one for Shazzy as well. I'm going to, let me see if I can find. Sh I don't know if Shazzy's is here on oh, this. I want to see Shazzy's too. Oh, look at yours. Oh I'm my like, god, yours <laughs> turned out great. It turned out great, didn't it? Uh, let's see if I can find Shazzy. Uh, this is Aaron, uh, Arctic Wolf. You, I want to see Edie Rainbow. Too. Okay, I think they're on another because each post you can only post five pictures. <laughs> So oh, I, I know it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So let me see where Shazzy is. Um, let me see hers for sure. So it was on the community. Bit of a pain in the ass, really, because I'm thinking, why? Right, so da, da, da. where did I put Shazzy? I could have sworn I put her right at the beginning. Like at the oh, beginning. Of stones, stones. Here she is. This is Shazzy. Oh, wow. <laughs> and one. she's got her pot of gold because we read a story. Now, Shazzy, could you confirm or deny this, right? But once upon a time, there used to be some um, story that when you'd go to the end of the rainbow and find the pot of gold, the pot of gold somehow killed you. Oh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. That's, That's why I need Shazzy to help me. Um, That's the worst story ever. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter has that same hat, though. She wore it on St. Patrick's Day. I, I need Shazzy to confirm or deny, or anybody Irish in the chat. I I'm don't Irish. know. I'm Irish, I've never heard that sort of. story, and I'm Irish and Scottish. Yeah, yeah, but were you born in Ireland? No, but, like, my grandparents were. Yeah, um, I'm eight generations back. I was maybe on my dad's side. Have yeah, you I heard about the pot of gold that kills you? I only piss in my own mouth when I'm really drunk. <laughs> huh? um, no, I've not heard that. Before. Okay. So we've got Easy here somewhere too. Easy is quite cool, his character. Let's see if it's here. Okay, that's our Nicole. Were you going to create me a backstory still? What do you mean? I, I thought you said something about creating like a backstory so I could get into like, like, uh, get my head into like a character all method style. Oh, right. Yes. Well, let's have a look at your one and we can create, uh, we can create one as we are together as a community if you want. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Right. So let's get you. One. Uh, these pictures are a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. They really are. Neat, they really, though. really it's are. It's like, why can't I just flick from one to another? I don't know. I, don't but... know. I'm, I need to save mine, put it as my background, and stare at it for hours. <laughs> to get, to get, get in character. Resto. Get in character. Restos, yeah. I remember. Yeah, this is Restos. This is cool. Obviously, this is Stone. This I is love Stone. Stone looks right. Here we are. This is Aaron's. Oh, right. So, uh, so, what should we give the backstory to Aaron's character? Well, like I already know. Well, what's that I mean, then? Like, I mean, I'm scared of his right now. Like, um, I think he did. I escape from somewhere? Yeah, like a <laughs> Hannibal Lecter. 
um, I'm like a very Hannibal Lecter. Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, Silence of the Lambs. That's what I was thinking because he's got that mask on and stuff. <laughs> Is that Aaron, uh, Aaron a gimp? No, he's not a gimp. Hey, he's, it kind um... of fits with that, uh, that eclipse conversation. <laughs> 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 Okay, so backstory. You, an injustice has is, is happened to you, and that's why you are now the black Darth Vader with the knuckle dusters. My um, and I think he's got like a biting problem. That's why he's, um, his mouth is all sewn shut. Yeah, no, that's it. it like easy's worked it out. Easy's worked mask. it out. This is the winner. Mental asylum escapee that was in for believing the world is. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that we got it. it okay uh, do you like it aaron crazy oh, it's crazy ones they locked me in a room it's cold i died there bear me there worms worms i hate worms worms driving me crazy crazy that's a crazy one too long. yeah i'm gonna stop that now. perfect too late for that perfect backstory are what you about flatty? aaron are you a flatty no okay. Okay. <clears> I, I, I thought you were aaron i swear no that I, i'm a realmist I, I believe this is like What's Yggdrasil. Like, like I believe that we are in like, uh, like, in a way you could say like dimensions stacked on one another. If you want to term it that way, like, okay, like Yggdrasil, like what what the Vikings believed. I think that's it's, the closest thing that would account for all the strange anomalies and everything else. But I'm I'm not settled on any certain paradigm. That's why I say it's just a realm. Okay. Seven realms there. up, seven realms down. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, so that's your backstory. L who's next? Let's give a backstory <laughs> to our to our wonderful Arctic Wolf. What's his backstory? <laughs> wow. I mean, I don't know. Like Easy, Easy came up with that really good one for him. What's Easy say? I'm I'm for part what? of a pack. Like I, I've got <laughs> friends that honestly think they're they're wolves. And they call each other pack mates. Uh, they wear tails and stuff. I'm trying to think of something they might have said that I could add in. His pet yeah, kangaroo. <laughs> easy, easy, you know who's at my door right now? The cat, the weird cat. Is meowing. Oh, don't be nasty to that cat. <laughs> I feel so sorry for that cat. <laughs> oh, my God. Exos, by the way, um, I, 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 another half an hour or so. Because I'm almost at the eight hour mark. So I think I might, because I've got to go and sort some shit out. Maybe so it's another, Kate Beckinsale's ex boyfriend or son. Kate Beckinsale. Oh, well, no, you can't <laughs> be that. You got, like, you're a wolf. No. Oh, hey, well, do you like this one, Wolf? That you're, you're a skinwalker? It, it could be uh, the, the cousin of Kate Beckinsale's, like, uh, like, husband, dude, or whatever from Underworld. Oh, like, like his I, cousin from up north. A skinwalker. That's good, though. <clears throat> yeah. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mel, have you ever interviewed your your guests? Yes. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I follow a few few um I don't know a few live streams that started doing that, just interviewing people they know, and it's very interesting because like everybody's got a fucking crazy story. Like every single person. Yeah. And so, my, like, my you got done by Ezra. You already got pictures yeah, of a, whole, a, like a bunch of guests. That would I like Easy on fire. What do you say, that a would, mad scientist? I know Easy's really creative. Trying that would be a pretty it. cool idea, like for you to interview all these people that you've made pictures of. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could have been a shaman that that needed work really badly, like it, from the Ute tribes down there in uh, Utah or wherever, and uh, maybe uh got kidnapped by the cia and they did experiments on him and oh uh, god don't say brought CIA out the... or trump <laughs> <laughs> i don't know yes. i'm just spitballing <laughs> i'm just kidding no, no people on these channels are probably the most interesting fucking people and anyway. yeah but... yeah that's so, a great one easy well for you happy with this one i quite like this one am i a mad scientist trying to breed wolves and polar bears and the experiment went wrong <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. So the that makes next sense. One what about Crispy? Because she looks very sweet and innocent here. I am very mm. sweet and innocent, obviously. Look at the iron. <laughs> yeah, she's ironing. Iron. Anyone got a backstory for Crispy with the iron? I've been um, hit with an iron. Those suck. I bet. <laughs> yeah, they do suck. I would That's imagine. A, look, and I love the gloves and everything. I have a dress just like that. 
look at that. See, I'm a genius. I already knew that. You did know that. <laughs> the wife that of a military sense. person, and and she she ironed one oh. too many pairs of service blues. Love it. Love it. <laughs> sort sort of like a like um, Harley Quinn story, but but with some uh, cop or military guy or something. Like yeah. That, that just went over the edge. And smacking larpers everywhere. I disgruntled see. housewife. Like, yeah. Go, goes uh that that had an IQ of like uh, 150 or something, and she wanted to be a scientist, but no, they wouldn't let her. Her husband was too controlling, so she just one day waxed him in the head with that, and that's been her weapon of choice ever since. Easy uh, to use that. that I like. That's uh, a good one. Except wife that kills all the husbands in the neighborhood, neighborhood, so the wives can get all the money for the from the rich husbands. Do you guys remember uh, the movie Death Becomes Her? That yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love that movie. My that's sister used good. to shove it down my throat all the time when we were little, but I, I still loved it. Yeah, that's good with Bette Midler and um Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. So not here. What about Hornet? Yeah, Hornets is great. Look at that. Right, his weapon is his stinger. What well, what about Hornet? What do we what's the backstory for Hornet? Escaped Russian experiment. <laughs> the, the Russians were experimenting with um with uh, androgized uh, hornets or something, and they were trying to weaponize it. And maybe he's part uh maybe he's part cybernetic. Ooh, I like he's a, it. He's a beekeeper, and one of those giant Japanese bees infiltrated his hives and took him over, unbeknownst to him. And when he harvested the honey, he ate the honey, and it turned him into a giant hornet. Oh, I like that too. Ooh. Maybe, maybe he We've just uh, embodies the hornet. Oh, I, I do, I do like that. My bad, I shouldn't have even added to it. No, he's got, you guys are he's, so creative. He's got a a bow tie, so he's probably a gay hornet. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's just like James Bond or like Pierce Brosnan, you know. I. Actually, and I was straightening my tie a bunch in, earlier in that music video I've been working on. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, uh, what what does Easy say? Easy says, <laughs> a beekeeping man got stung by a radioactive hornet, and now he needs honey to stay alive. And the flies around the world the, stealing honey. Knock off of either the fly or Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You I've got, everything. I've got easy somewhere. Let me see. Like I said, because these are a bit of a pain in the ass. I don't understand why I have to go back and to go. Like, where crazy. can I go to get the others? Why do I have to go back? I don't know. That's crazy. If right. I were you, I would just take a picture of them all and put them on your camera roll. Yeah, it's just silly. But I thought I'd put them on here so. So let, let's start from here, okay? So this is me. Everybody knows my favorite stories. No need for explanation. Oh, then we've got Tony. And because he's a fisherman, he's got a hook to kill. Yeah. So yeah. then we've got Queenie Tree. <laughs> 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 She's got a plunger. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, That's great. Right then, this is Voodoo, and I she's love our, hers. Yeah, oh. she's got poison as her choice of weapon. She's just a <sighs> Voodoo witch doctor. So, a lot of these already have the backstories, you know. Right yeah. now, this one here, Chicken Snake, he wants me to turn him into a a bad character. So I've got to work on him. That again. reminds me of Richie a little bit, like 007. I don't know why. Just looking at him. I was thinking it reminds me of um um what is um what what is that oh god I can't think um conspiracy uh, music guru yeah like um what's the guy on it's not clueless it's reckless is it reckless um uh William H Macy yeah what's, yeah um uh, ridi um ridiculous no no um. This is our green summary. Good show, though. Yeah, that's a great show. We've got Daisy May, who's our chef. Oh, that's good, too. We've got our very lovely Wiccan with the candlestick. I love Wiccan. Shameless, too. yeah. Shameless, that's it. That Shameless. looks like Diddy. I'm not going to lie. That was so my first got, time. So we've got Resto here. Kurt, who was up earlier. 
he was our resident house builder, which is why he's got the hammer. How nice. And we've got Miss Anne with her fly spotter because she's always got a fly spotter ready for her poor dog. What the hell is she going to kill with that fly swatter? Sure, she can, hopefully she, she can she, uh, do naughty things to me with it. Oh, oh, she chases the hornet around. That's what I was about to say, too. This is our lovely Electra. Yeah, oh, that's nice. And she's got fries. Yeah, because she's always up on, she, she, her avatar is, a, is fries. Yeah, you can thank her for that 3D avatar I had earlier. She oh, okay. helped me so, figure that out. <laughs> so we've got stoned. We've got this is Flo because you know he's got um yeah, the he's got connections to the church. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's neat. Who was this? This is Blue Dragon. This is Blue Scarlet's husband. He's uh, a mechanic. He's, he's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> all the like all the yeah, he is. Oh <laughs> AI God, makes it. We've got Mr. Brooks. Um did you say Flo this is church okay. hmm? yeah, yeah. Did you say something about Flo and, and the church? I, I never knew. Flo. Yeah, that would explain why he was getting pissy with me last night. No, yeah, Flo, Flo, Flo is a direct descendant to Constantine. Really? Oh, yeah. That, in that way, I thought you meant like like oh, uh, an actual thing. He was probably just giving me a hard time then. He has <laughs> a po pad, and I don't think he's like. Um, right, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Look, I'm actually the descendant of Aaron Burr, the guy that shot uh, Vice President Alexander Hamilton in a duel. Why slaughter? Yeah, a lady. Yep. Yeah, yeah so she can actually kill a hornet with her fly yeah, squad, right? Yeah. So, so this okay. So that was Emp Dave. Uh, we've got Shazzy, <coughs> Nicole, and then I don't know why it's not showing the other images. I want to see Easy's. Yeah, no, I know. I just seen him. I just seen him. There, this is easy. When you came oh, oh, what the hell? Filled up with doubt. Who's that? Oh, that's Who's that? That, that's oh, that's Ryan Graham. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. real fox. Oh yeah. This is our blue scarlet. I, I saw Easy's just a second yeah. ago. What? Who is there? Oh, I love him. Look at Easy, that. how do you find this one, darling? What's the backstory for Easy? Mad, crazy serial killer with his. Could it, looks like he could be in the band The Cure or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> he's giving, giving us like Sid Vicious. Oh, God, he's giving us Sid Vicious. What, what, what do you think that Easy could be a vampire in this? Because I think he wanted to be a vampire. I can't stop singing uh, um, the theme to uh, that one vampire. You gotta give him teeth. You gotta make him show his teeth then. Right, right. So should I change teeth. Easy to show his teeth? Oh, he wants to pet Grizzly. What about why the chainsaw though? Easy, why don't you have um, why don't you have Geppetto, my cat? You could or Tiramisu <laughs> instead of a bear. <laughs> vampire with a pet Grizzly that is looking for the big bad wolf. What is that? <laughs> I think you're so like wolf, a he's, he's on my hand. <laughs> oh, he's got a chainsaw. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's got a chainsaw, like the chainsaw guy in Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> chainsaw guy in Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> there is no chainsaw guy in that Little Red Riding Hood. There is a wrong turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't remember. Like, what, is, what the hell's wrong with all y'all's fairy tales? You um, the the Mandela effect. Chainsaw guy in Red Riding Hood. Everything a big bad wolf could want. Well, so well the OGs, the people from season one, they've got quite tame characters, right? Just sweet and tame and and very innocent. Um, but the new ones for this season, I wanted to make them big bad characters so i hope easy i hope this is not too soft for you uh, I think I, I think easy could have gone as himself like he already <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean he's already got half half red hair half black he's a yeah he easy looks harder in his in everyday life you but, don't think he looks know. quite hard in this i think he looks a bit no, like a i think he looks very pretty in this 
Oh, you think he looks pretty? Pretty boy. Yeah, I do. Pretty boy, easy. (laughs) Now you got to give him some vampire teeth. I like the tats coming up the neck. Do you think that guy in real life is ever going to have a chainsaw? He could have had a bear chest, I think. I've chased people with chainsaws before. Right. So, okay. So, uh, so with Easy, we're giving him vampire teeth. Yeah. And, uh, and longer hair, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I thought this hairstyle was really him. No, I, I mean, I like it. I just well, his hair is longer. I think it's he's definitely a, he's more. He's more manly than that, in my opinion. All these guys are kind of small, kind of girly. Look, yeah, guys, yeah. these aren't supposed to look like the characters. These are a representation <laughs> of people. I mean, Actually, Wolf don't look like his. Of how I. Yeah, <laughs> Wolf don't look like Wolf, does he? I'm sure he's not an actual. Yeah, wolf. I do. I look. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf said he had a big long beard and stuff, but uh, yeah, this guy I think is so pretty, and he reminds me of like the guy from In Excess. Well, I think I think I don't know. Easy, is it okay to call you a pretty? To call you pretty. Oh, he's probably, he's probably, I, uh, well, uh, vampire I have, teeth, he says. No, yeah. we'll just do vampire teeth because I quite yeah. like this character for him because I think it's I th- really, I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's great. It's just very, I think it's, I think all these boys are really pretty. <laughs> They're nice looking. Uh, it's easy. Wolf, well, Wolf, <laughs> easy. That's your actual photo. <laughs> 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 I've, I, I haven't uploaded. I do have um, Uncle Fatty. Oh, uh, I haven't okay. uploaded it onto, but but Uncle Fatty, I made I made him look quite um, quite sweet. Um, really, I have. Oh, have I've you seen his yet? Hmm? Uncle Fatty, so we've seen his yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just bring it up now because I haven't uploaded it yet, but we have done it. Um, he he's supposed to be a butler, but AI decided not to make him a butler. <laughs> easy, I'm surprised. Easy, um, I think. I think like easy needs. Sports. I think he needs a cape. Yeah, he's gonna be a vampire. He needs a cape. Yeah. How many vampires have you seen with capes? I don't know. All of them. All of them. All of them got a cape. Yeah. What about Especially True Blood? Dracula. All the vampires I know are in True Blood. And, and I think it's be. I think all of them turned out amazing. They were oh, so yeah, that's right. Bang them. Yeah, yeah. Bang all of them. Oh, this is Uncle Fatty. And then we've got her. Lauren. This is Lauren. Oh, my God. Look at her. <laughs> yeah. Lauren's, Lauren's half so unicorn. Good. And then, well, this is, she's a half unicorn. She's a half unicorn. I think uh-huh. you got to blend that, though, or something. Like I know. Something. AI didn't do a great job. So this is Uncle Fatty. Uh, like but I, you know what? I'm not sure about Uncle Fatty. I'm not. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't know. Uncle Fatty likes it. I think he likes it. I like it um, too. He looks like the Monopoly man. <laughs> Uncle you know, Fatty's good. <laughs> when I was locked up, the Monopoly man told me I look like a young Abraham Lincoln. Oh, I've got to yeah. show what Uncle Fatty's just sent me. If that's all right, Uncle Fatty, that's so funny. Um, <coughs> so, really, so Uncle Fatty just sent me. Maybe is this what you want as your as your character. Hang on. I loved it. So this is Uncle Fade. Can anybody know what this is from? Um, share screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh where's the one Hang on. She got buns, hon. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how I thought you did. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. I, I just realized I have to mute it because that as I get, I'll get. Actually, can I play it? Yeah, you can or play it. I just it. get a copyright claim. I don't mm-hmm. mind getting copyright claims. You can play a little bit of it. It's only like, what, and a it's, minute it's long or something? Ori- 30 it's seconds. not the original, I don't think, is it? Don't want none unless you got buns, hon. Oh my gosh. Look at her butt. Oh my, God. my anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. 
Yeah. Is it like a bobblehead? That's great. <laughs> that's so good. I thought that's, I thought that's, that's what easy was going to look like, honestly. That's what I thought easy would look like. Easy, have you got a, an eight pack? I do. You got, you've got an eight pack? Yeah. Uh, but there's a difference. Hang on a minute. And I'm not saying this applies to you. I'm just saying, because uh, my brother's a bodybuilder, he said there's a difference between skinny dudes who get a six pack and other dudes that work no, for a six pack. I worked out six days a week for like eight months. Like, but I, uh, okay, I, I so, definitely yeah. have one anyway, but like it got really big then. I can put it as my avatar. <laughs> you can. We, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> right. yes, I'm please. From the phone to the computer. Yes, please. Yeah, and Easy's got a Easy's got a good stomach, though. Mm. It's black light illuminated, illuminated as well. <laughs> okay, so we're about to see a, a real life eight pack. So let me get this straight, Uncle Faye. Is this the person that you want representing you in the game? Just so we. <laughs> 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 Is I mean I can change it for you if you like. Right, so we're waiting for the six pack. I'm working on it. Um, I gotta figure out a Bluetooth to my computer real quick. Okay. Oh, you did easy. Oh, let me go and have a look. <laughs> uh, I, 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 you would see by my <coughs> in a minute. <coughs> Let's get so let's get the ladies flustered. Well, let me get me flustered anyway. Let's have a look. Well, while I, I look, let's have a look. <laughs> I forgot that I was transferring a video to my computer already. One second. I, uh, yeah, that's not. There's me all looking forward to it, and it's just a big bear with a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> I was really looking forward to seeing Easy Stomach. Crispy, did you come off? Handball? What happened yeah, to you? I did. I knocked my head off with this. I was thinking about this stomach, so I just fell right off the panel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you are. Uncle Fatty wants a, an evil nickname. Ha ha ha. The inseminator. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, that's not that was a very nice trick that you played on Mel. Yeah, Mel was expecting a real life photograph. I can't mm. send it to you when you scream, you're gonna see. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. I, like, twist I'm about tells to just me take an actual picture. Hmm? I'm about to just take an actual picture if I don't find it soon. Just show me your actual <laughs> stomach, it's not a big deal, like, it's just your stomach. Yeah, oh, it, it looks way better in this picture. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want no picture where all the lighting's gone and fallen correctly. And, and uh, like, I want to see real life stuff. <laughs> no, we know it's the end of the stream. Uh, we're talking, it's we're the end of the stream. Sex. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's, that's so cool. Like, I'm, I'm totally new to this whole fucking world, this whole community, but that's so cool. You're making pictures of people, but uh, you got to make a few kind of making fun of ones those are all kind of either scary or like you know they all look nice Very if you ever make one of me make it like insulting like well, I, ben, you're, you're gonna, gonna have to tell me if you want to join in the game that's the whole thing that's why the characters are made um yeah. if you do then i can make one of you that's no problem Oh no, I don't. I don't care. But no, I think it would be funny. It's just funny, you know. Everybody's got to laugh. But like to make funny ones of of people, you know, is it would be fucking hilarious. But I guess you don't want to offend anybody either at the same time. But oh, it, you no. know, if they if they got thick skinned, like I don't care. Like I think it's the funniest thing to make fun of people. It's yeah, hilarious as long as they can take it. Hang so on, fair. wait. Like I, I what well, easy. <laughs> Has sent me a private video of himself. Well, um, you're gonna have to show me too. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll show Go you. On, the, then. I'll Go show on, you the then. private video that he sent me of himself. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Oh my god. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Who the hell cares? <laughs> oh my god. Who the hell cares? I'm dead. <laughs> that, is, that is so good. Oh my god, I am dying. No, easy. No, no, no. Don't twist this. You always easy. twist it into something that it's not. I did not ask for those pictures. I said, show me your stomach. Not that. I've got tears pouring down my eyes. <laughs> so we always twist, is it? Like, like if you want to do that kind of thing, you have to wait. You have to go into my backstage for my eyes only. <laughs> that is so freaking good. I swear to God, I love that more than anything. <laughs> That has made my entire week. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, I could die. That is said, so nice funny. It's nice here. It does. It does. It looks lovely. So oh I told god. you I had a private video of Easy. What did you say again? My god, who the hell cares? <laughs> oh my god. Who Oh my God! I have a feeling that he looked very similar to this at uh, freshman high school, <laughs> eighth grade maybe. <laughs> hey, oh, Lionel! Lionel man. wants to see this six pack. Come on, we want to see it. Yeah, we do. Mine's my avatar. It's a blue dot. What? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> oh, look at I'm that! I'm not sure that looks like a turtle shell. <laughs> what is? Yeah, that looks like. Yeah, it does, like a ninja turtle. It's and where, a, where's the belly button? Is it at the top or is it at the bottom? It's at the bottom. It's like me laying in bed just taking a picture of it. Oh, okay. No. No, oh, right, okay, with you. So your wow. head's over. Black lit. Wow. There you that's... go, Lionel. Good morning, tattoos and unicorns. Crazy. Look. And that's what a video you... game play in life gets you. Yeah, you, oh my goodness, yeah. I'd get those yeah. lumps checked out. <laughs> hey, you, you can break stuff on it. So I bet you can break stuff on it. What kind of stuff can you break on it? I backyard wrestled for seven and a half years too. Oh no, 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 easy. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. I right, please, everybody. Can you make sure that that this is not a confirmation? <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's probably not even the best picture I have. I have. Oh my God. They they look better than that. That was before I went to prison. <laughs> Oh yeah, people that come out of prison usually do have those kind of um, th that kind of situation going yeah. on. Oh, I weighed God. like 135 right there, and then when I got out of prison, I weighed like 180, 175. So, and it was looked way better than that too. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I I am gonna have to um back easy up on that that you um you were it was unsol unsolicited and. <laughs> You wanted to see him in the back chat. <laughs> I didn't say he was going to come into my back chat. I said, anybody who wants to show off their bits to me, they're going to have to come into my back chat and leave it in the back chat. Well, now yeah. you really did ask it's... for ask for a D pick because you asked for his bits. I did. <laughs> bits. No, I meant like real life action. I didn't ask for no bits. Do, do you do you want like some uh, some sort of like I don't know. I, I, I could always uh, Facebook Messenger some uh, some. No, 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 I know. <laughs> well, I, I was meaning like I could do some like stripper action and like I don't know. I'm I could, I could yes, do stripper please. action. Yeah, you we could do that. Oh. Yeah. please Facebook message her and yes, then send it to me on Discord. I will do. Yeah. Discord. Does everyone hang out on Discord and hear something? I mean, I'm on Discord, but like, yeah, yeah you can send it to Mel, and then she'll send it to me. <laughs> oh, Bear, we've got a picture for you. I know you're not part of the game, but we have got a picture for you just for a laugh. <laughs> yeah, this is thanks to Wiccan up here. This is you. <laughs> Very cute, Wiccan. I'm not going to lie. I'm always like, <laughs> yeah, no, please, Wicked. people, don't think that at any point I ask for dick pics because I really don't like them. <laughs> I wouldn't I don't even either. anyway. Jeez. <laughs> I love w Wiccans. It's so cute. <gasps> I love that. Oh, look at that bear. Oh there you God. go, bear. <laughs> I love him. No, he's so cuddly. You, you don't. 
easy. You don't understand. There's people that watch this stream that are going to take this shit seriously. And before you know it, I'm going to have I'll a get him in the tooth. <laughs> I'll get him in the beak. <laughs> why, is he, why is he counting money? Is he a Jewish bear? I'm not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Who wants the money? Right. <laughs> right okay. So he's easy, balling. So easy has let out my secret, and I am devastated that you had the thought the need to have to kiss and tell, um, and that you know I have to get a picture at least once a week for him to come up and paddle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, easy. I tell her every. I tell her every time I'm up here that. I always know when it's the end of the chat because it, it goes directly to a, a conversation about sex <laughs> every yeah. single time. Doesn't right. it, Wiccan? Yeah. It does. And, and may I say that Easy's penis is extremely impressive. I I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. You know. I know. We you know we, if you know. Yeah, we, Hang on. we, we got a glance of it once. It, it, he sent me some more like a right me, angle his video a right angle yeah and i think that the rumor is that he has a prince albert uh, i didn't see no prince albert oh well i don't know i, I, mean, I got I like whatever it. the bow tie look is like I, that might be a prince albert i don't know <clears throat> well that's what the other ladies were saying in my like just my girl chat but i don't know uh, he says that's why he's in chat because he's not had it because he's been a birthday boy yeah because you were so busy celebrating your birthday easy this week yeah. you didn't send me my weekly dick pic man <laughs> <laughs> make sure tonight when you go to bed yeah. oh my god what else what else what is this <laughs> i don't know i'm, I'm waiting to see Hang on, what is do it <laughs> yes, <David. laughs> you want to bring back do it just do it. <laughs> Yesterday, you said tomorrow. Do it. Make your dreams come true. Do it. Angle to be do it. Just do it. Why are there? You said tomorrow. Do it. Do it. Make your dreams come true. You can do it till night. Oh my god, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> you can do it till night. Oh my god, I'm dead. I was there at three. Oh my god. I'm just gonna die. Come on now, dog. <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I died. I was driving this. Come on now, dog. Oh my god. Come oh. on, man. <laughs> Look, I'm so sorry, but that's really Come on now, dog. Right? Like... <laughs> oh my god. He looked like the host of a like a of a bad game show. It's time for the game show. <laughs> it up. And here's your host, Wake Martin. Oh my god. If Fatty is, is making I'm, these, I'm Fatty, can you give me more? Oh, God. I just can die. Oh, oh, come on, sorry. man. I cannot breathe. <laughs> I think the first one. Up. Get up. The first one, I think he was doing that Brett guy. He was saying, uh, what was he? He was imitating somebody I've heard him before. Hang on, let's have a look. Uh, oh, oh, this is him. Look, look, look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look how cute. Oh, those bears look so... That's the hell cares? <laughs> oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Yeah, that's, that's Brett. That's Brett from the settlement, right? Like Peter is that right? No, that's the family guy. Yeah, Peter Griffin. Oh, it is. That's Peter. right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Hello. Welcome to this week's episode of The Price is Right, folks. <laughs> I mean, it, no, you know who he looks send like? He home, looks like the guy from the old... Um, it's like the the guy from the old yeah. dating game that where you got to pick people. It's like a show from the seventies, and I only know about it because there was a serial killer that was um um on it. Um, the guy on um, um 
uh, God, it was, it was called the dating game. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then there was a serial killer that was actually, um, the night stalker was on it. Yeah. And he was picked. He was the, the guy that, that the girl picked and yeah. for the date. And he was, a um, like one of the, um, most known serial killers in, uh, oh, the United States. Yeah. Yep. And it was, he was on that show. Holy the crap. Night Stalker, uh, the yeah. Night Stalker. Mm -hmm. Rodney yeah. Alcala. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah, and that's who. But the the host of that of that show, the gate, the the um dating game, that the is Nedden who. Game. The, what was it called? I was thinking the Ned and Game, like on a, a ICP's like little game show at the Gathering of the Juggalos. But oh no, this is this there. just no. This looks like a '70s game show host, and it was I forget what it, his name was. Something Martindale, I think. Wink Martindale or something. I don't. I don't think. Well, Wink Martindale is a person, but I don't know if that's who it was or not. But I'm Bob telling Parker. you, I'm gonna find it, and you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like he looks dead on him, oh. like he had the fro and everything, or that, or Welcome Back, Cotter, Mister Cotte, Richard Dawson. Yeah, he's the one that was always like feeling up people, wasn't it? Well, that was um, Richard that was Dawson great. was a different one, but um, yeah, but Mr. Cotter was like, I, I don't know, like I was a little kid when that was on too. Um, but yeah, um, Richard Dawson was on something else though. He was on Hogan's Heroes was one, but he was on something else. Um, I can't think. My mind isn't working tonight. I haven't had That's like my a, fault. No, I haven't had like a good, like a clear mind. Christy, I'm, I'm looking at the my TV behind me. Is that you while you were modeling? In oh, your no, life? that's just me after, uh, like, when I was leaving the pool. <laughs> the last after summer. one of your modeling shots? No, it wasn't. But, um, yeah, I was just uh, um, dude, at the pool. Yeah, that's it. Dude was always feeling people up. On Family Feud. <laughs> on fa That's it, Family Feud. Yeah, that was right, Family Feud. Um, no, but I was trying to, like, I... I had messed around with my pictures so much the other day trying to like post tiramisu, the cat tiramisu, that I didn't have like a normal photo. And I don't like that picture, but I, um, tiramisu, I, you were the one with the weird cat, right? Yes. Yes. No, the whole cat. The unlucky cat. whole conversation was amazing. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I, I was very sad for the cat. I thought maybe I was not, conversation. Listen. Well, he went to the vet yesterday. He gained a pound and a half. And then I gave him, like, um, a treat and stuff because he got um, shots. So, like, I mean, he's, like, listen, he's he's living his best life. <laughs> but I gave him wet food because I don't really know what he likes. But I gave him some, like, fancy wet food instead of just his dry food. Do y'all think I might be <laughs> single because I walk around wearing uh, vibrant five-finger toe shoes? Uh. Yeah, like I would ditch those immediately, bro. <laughs> but it gets me to the front of lines because people think I'm disabled. Well, that's <laughs> not a good thing either, I'm honey. Just kidding. Like people actually usually enjoy it. that. Actually, has more views. Like me wearing toe shoes, just saying if the glove don't fit, you must have quit and wiggling my toes in my leather ones. That has more views than any other video that I have. Sorry, well, man, that's for that's view? for what's a very what's different what's reason, my friend. I know. It, it, it's entertaining though. Well, no, people like? really like feet. Shoe? Hey, but at least I don't have like foot prisons or deformed toes and no back knee or uh, hip <sighs> problems that yeah. everyone that wears foot prisons have. So I, I got that going for me. Yeah. Well, and I'm grounded like they're earthing shoes. Like I'm grounded and everyone else be keeping themselves having to go barefoot. I don't do the barefoot thing though. Love shoes. I'm Googling it because nobody answers my own. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Five yeah. or five figures or barefoot shoes, whatever you want to call them. They're, <coughs> they're unusual. Okay. They got a mm -hmm. bunch of different lines. I got some that look like regular tennis shoes or some toes or boots, whatever. Well, yeah. uh, they, okay. I've never seen those before until you said that. Really? No, they, yeah. Quite, like people that do a lot of running or track or mountain climbing wear. I just uh, wear them for every occasion because I got one for every occasion. If I saw somebody wearing those, I'd be like, fuck, you're awake. What about that fucking chemtrails up there, man? 
<laughs> Dude, I, I can feel every like rock, but it, they don't hurt my feet. Like I, I'm very aware of what's under me now. I don't fall and bust my ass either as often. I'm very. What the heck you guys talk about? These nuts. These socks. <laughs> socks. Yeah, Ground no, they're, they're, they're shoes. They're barefoot shoes. But Toe rubber shoes. soles. Then. Rubber, shoes. Yeah, rubber soles have like kind of you know robbed us of a sense, a sense of where, yeah where we're walking. Yeah, yeah. It's if you notice, people you in third into, world countries actually like uh they don't have like um they don't have like fallen arches in their feet. They don't have like hunchbacks very often. Uh, you know, it's because they uh they are usually barefoot like. Like well, the people that I'm speaking of, anyway. I I um am a barefoot gal, and I literally and my feet to be touching things. Yeah, <laughs> I can walk around. I swear, I could walk around on like hot coals and You'd be fit fine. In well, in West Virginia, like no one wears shoes here. Yeah, I don't care for. Well, I mean, I love shoes, but I walk around a lot without shoes on. Yeah, I even wear my toe socks like to bed. Like, oh wow, okay. I wear <laughs> socks to bed too. Yeah. No, I can't wear socks. Like to, to bed, bed. You know, to bed. Like, I wear. I never take my. Wear toes. socks to bed. I don't wear socks to bed. I wear no, socks when I'm fucking hot and bothered. I wear okay. knee socks, as a matter of fact. No, that's different. Some knee socks, socks go to my knees. This be be, be like. These socks are for are for sex, not just for everyday bed. And sometimes I know I do for everyday bed because I'm always like I'm a cold. I get cold so often. I found this guy. I found this dating show guy. I found him. You have to look up. Um, um, Mel, you need to look up the this um, the dating the host of the dating show. The dating There's, show. Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah, it's called the um. Yeah, the dating game, I guess. It's the dating game show is what it's called. And so his host, name is Jim Lang. That's who you have to look up. And it's like, Jim I Lang. Guess, yeah. When you see him young, he doesn't look like easy. But when you see him older. <laughs> Remember, I don't like old. No, just no. No. No, he looks like easy in that photo. I don't Why think he not? looks like easy. <laughs> well, wait, you got to find like he's, <laughs> you have to see that, him That like doesn't older. look like. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong Jim Lang. That looks nothing like um, easy. Yeah, hold on. Well, no, is... yeah, you're. That's a young picture of him. I need to see it. See him. You need to see him old with his fro. I've got to find a picture of him with his. Hang on, let me share this. It's a, it's oh, here it is. Easy. When he's got a tuxedo on, it's when he's wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> that's who Easy reminded me of. Do you see him with the tux on? Is this Jim? Is this your Jim Lang? No, that's not him. <laughs> oh like easy. This is this this man apparently looks like you, Easy. His name is Jim Lang, and he is the American host and DJ. Um, I yeah of the game show host. Type in then, Jim Lang dating, dating game. Me. Dating game. You got to put in dating game. I like the. And then you have to. Oh wait, I know who he looks like. This. Oh my God. I know who it is. It's Chuck. Yeah, but it's him down below. Do you see him in the tuxedo? Oh, I see. Down below. Are we talking about the same easy? Yeah, <laughs> that that um AI that you just saw. That guy right there, right there. <laughs> that one. But also this other one, Chuck Barrett. <laughs> this don't look like easy. That I <laughs> I look up Chuck Barris, B A R R I S. You'll Chuck see him Barris. right underneath there. Chuck Barris. Hang on. You'll see. I don't know what we're talking about right now. This is we no, I don't. See it? <laughs> like, does Barris, anybody else see the resemblance? You see it, Wolf, don't you? Like yeah. that. Chuck Barris, that one. Um, by, by the Barris. way, Mel. My yeah. my avatar is the closest you're getting to a back. Yeah, that's it. That's him. Oh, that's let him. me have a look. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna that's put you on the show. Uh, hang on, I got to look at something more important. Oh, uh, that's as close as I get. No, not good enough. Sorry, no, no, not acceptable. <laughs> yeah, it's all fail. Paris is the gong show. <laughs> fail. <Yes. laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Aaron. Uh, yeah, I, I'm all about. The, the real deal. <laughs> yeah. That looks a little I, too filtered. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like that that's like 
that's like last like, week and in probably no filters actually well yeah, yeah okay it would have been better we've had the vest on that, that's a tank top tank top well whatever in english it's called a vest that's not a vest what do you mean it's called a vest in england <laughs> a vest. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. I'm from West Virginia, Virginia. It's my right to be stupid. Oh, no, no, no. In England, it's called a vest. Yeah. That's crazy. What do you that's call hilarious. a vest then? Yes, she my vest. She my that's a vest. vest. We, call, we call those vest muscle shirts here in America. I just call, we call them tank tops. We call them white feeders. Wife beaters is also <laughs> another one. But the wife nice. beaters, I think of they need to be white when they're wife beaters, though. Oh, hey, I, I don't. Okay. I know that's an awful name, easy. right? Like, like yes. I'm not one of those guys who are always taking it off. I wear, actually wear mine, so like it get all like nasty and stained with sweat and stuff after a while. Delightful. Like, if I had a yeah. white one. Well, that's a great. That and I look way better in green or red. Well. Mm, yeah. Okay. You like look. Whatever makes you happy, Aaron. You want to pose in the vest? Crack on. That's right. <laughs> what do they call an actual vest? There, like the sleeveless things. Oh, they, is that what you call a vest? The sleeveless t-shirt? No, no, a vest no, is like, like the sleeveless like, things uh, that, up that vest... you put on, on over top of your clothes, like the cowboys. What they wear? Yeah. Or a like underneath, like, like a suit, like when you wear a yeah, suit. Oh, a suit. A suit. suit. A suit. A Ooh. waistcoat? Okay, Ooh. yeah, that sounds really proper. It, you guys would call a it a waistcoat. Like, oh, I'm thinking of petticoats. <laughs> Never mind. I've got a, a waistcoat for work. I mean, I can put it on quickly. It's, it, I've, it got really waistcoat. Really I've got a waistcoat. I've got a waistcoat, too. I don't even know what that is. As a matter of fact, I've got like a man's suit. Thing. I have a man's suit that, or an, it's not a man's suit, but it's a lady's suit, but it's like a pinstriped. Like it looks like a man's suit, really. And I'm still I, 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 men are for some reason I get uh, so many compliments when I wear that. So I like it when girls work. put on my Jinko jeans, like it's so hot. But, uh, like so cold, sorry, is this cold what cold you is would like call a really long jacket though? Is this what you would call a vest? Hang on, let me put my waist I mean, if you put on a waist since you're <laughs> now your boobs are gonna pop right out the top of you. Let me see. Yes, yes, that is a there's yes, that is yeah, a vest. that's a proper vest. There's no <laughs> way you can button that. Okay, you can this is that's a waist amazing. coat in England. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. You're able to button that. This, <laughs> I yeah, never thought my boobs aren't that big, they're enormous. I they really they are. are. I'm gonna talk I to can only imagine, longer. like, if you put on like a waist cincher, I'm telling you, like, that would just be illegal. I bet. Yeah, yeah. and I probably wouldn't be able to breathe, and I'd die. Do you guys yeah. remember the movie Illegal in Blue with Stacy Dash from Clueless? Nope. No. All right, never mind. Sure don't. No, I don't. You yeah, know, my breasts don't, are not. Well, actually, you know what? I think I've fooled myself to thinking they're not that big. They really are, no. And yeah. I mean. Yeah, right. Yeah, Wiccan, like, Wiccan's like, yeah, yeah. See, like we know. Yeah. Wiccan's like, yeah, they're big. Um, I mean, that, I, I mean, you look that was great. Like five foot that, that had thirty four double D. I don't know how that compares, but like, that's what that's my size. Ooh, thirty four double D. That that is yeah. enormous. I don't. That's know. bigger than me. I just was looking. Yeah, I that, I don't know though. I was looking. I, I looked at my daughter, my that. daughter the other day, and she like I don't know her about like I don't know what's going on with the kid. With I mean, she's not a kid anymore, but with what they're they're I I don't know. Her body is just perfect in my opinion, but I don't know what's in what is in the hormones of the food. But these Maybe kids just, just get. Well, I mean, I had a nice figure, but she just, she's like a little so bombshell. She is a bombshell. But I was looking at her the other day and I'm like, but she she wants to grow like a bigger butt, you know? And I'm like, oh, oh no, don't do that. Days. Yeah, well, her you butt's can, fine. You can train your butt. You, you don't need to do anything. You, all you got to do, and obviously it takes time. I can pick up things with my butt. Oh, there you go. But just tell your daughter to squat. Um, if if you if you squat, yeah, it, give her six months and and because 
pre pre COVID, before when I was exercising, I had a butt like a fucking peach. Um, yeah. Her butt's like that now, but she wants it. I think she wants to grow it bigger, and I think that's going to be a mistake because she's been listening too much to Sir Mix a lot. That trend will be over at some point, and she'll be stuck with that secretary spread. Especially when J Lo gets arrested. Well, I don't know, man, but I'm. <laughs> You know, I'm just like I. You should be just easy. I'm still waiting for my picture yeah. in Discord, please. That right? You know, can you make it sure you get the right angle this time? That picture it never happened. Mm. Yeah, can you make sure you get the right angle? Because the last angle, try maybe up, looking up. Easy, I or I, <laughs> easy. I invited you. I invited you to come stay, and she lives here, so. When you come, oh, Jenna, is in the young door. <laughs> no, <right. laughs> no, I would let you no, know. No, she's bad. <laughs> she's more um closer to his age, so yeah, I would, well, I would let him around her. Except that, yeah, you would have to like you couldn't be around her, around her, around her because you yeah. already are fertile as it comes easy. You seem to just, yeah, yeah right? <coughs> yeah, we, wait, 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 wait what? <laughs> I'm joking easy. He, I'm seems joking. To, he, seems to be make it, he seems to make babies pretty easily. Believe it or not, so. women used to use me because I, I have this reputation because the next person people sleep with after me, they get pregnant, even if like they weren't supposed oh, to Oh, yeah, you pregnant. told me that before. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's. I'm okay. joking yeah. easy. Like. Crispy's told me that she was quite looking forward to being your mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I would like a, a grandchild, but just not yet. I don't think. <laughs> well, he's very fertile. Is I easy, know. So, like, he probably just look at her and she'll get pregnant. Yeah, and that's how the ladies are in my family. I was the slacker. I only had two, but all the other my sisters all have tons like, of wait, kids. Wait, 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 what? What? I know we're already like planning. A, can you imagine? I'd have this cute little, um, w little grandchild with one with one side of his hair is black and the other side <laughs> is red. Next thing we know, you're gonna be taking a dowry and stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, that would be great. A little cute little easy baby. Oh, see, there you go, easy. She set you up for life now. I know, um, right? He right. says, "Picks her." It never happened <laughs> when I was describing her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the boobs. But no, I think. Mine have grown to a D now because, like I said, when I put on weight, it kind of all went there. Yeah, that's uh, where my that's where mine go, and then uh, weight goes there, or my and in my face. Yeah. Um, oh no, definitely on the yeah, but a lot of it goes. It, it's kind of like it's really weird. It kind of goes just at the front, and then my ass, which is yeah. not a bad thing. Having it implanted into me, I can't. Well, it I went perfect. Think. It goes in every every place that you want it to go. No, no, now. no, no. It also goes on the stomach, so you know. It, oh. <laughs> But I it's don't like get it, I don't get it in the stomach or the legs or anything like that. But I, it's in the chest, and I also like my face will get full. But yeah, I like her. I mean, she, yeah, she just gave me some of her balls because they don't fit. So, I mean, her. Yeah, she just. I just think the kids or these girls just their bodies just are perfect now. Like I don't know. I, I mean, I had a nice figure at her age, but. Oh my goodness. And I think like, what is she? But she's like me too. I was never happy. I can look back and think that I had a nice figure when I look back, but I wasn't happy in the moment. You know what I mean? I, when I was in the moment, I never was happy with the way I looked. But when yeah, I look but, back, yeah, I think, oh Christy, my gosh. Uh, what any of us women can ever say I look perfect. Yeah. And that's the way I think she should feel, you know, I think, oh, she should think, oh my, and I'm not just saying that because I'm her mom, because I would tell her, she was, she was telling her friend at work, she was like, her friend at work was saying like, oh, my mom's so hard on me. He is, um, he, she's like, he, um, she's always complaining about my happy weight, my relationship weight, <laughs> you know, that I gained. And she goes, well, you should see my mom. My mom said that I wasn't pretty enough to pull off brown hair. <laughs> like, well, no, I it's mean... funny that you do it to you because my dad, like, he's always been, uh, he watches my weight. It's like now that I've put on weight, because normally yeah. I look like a lollipop, right? So I'm Well, if nobody people. else is going to tell you but your parents. Yeah, no, you know? my dad would go, Mel, 
you put you too fat now. You need to lose weight next time. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's where, where he's currently at because my mum has got the same figure as me, but my mum is very slim, always has been, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. And, and I've kind of took after my mum, but then the big C happened and the fat male came out. Um, and fat male is not fat, but compared to normal male, she's fat, right? Yeah. So yeah. my dad's like, men. <laughs> people are, men. People Did are I taking... my pants, by the way, Mel? Did you what, Did my love? Rhinestone pants I've been yapping about all week. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, let me see. Like, uh, oh, oh ah! they're like yes, motorcycle right. style, but they're like designer. They got like holes that were I in, love like, them. Like, I actually thought for a minute because in England, in England, pants are boxers. So for a minute, I thought you were going to show me rhinestone like underwear. Are they cool. rhinestone? I, I love them. Like, rhinestone it's all pants. boxer shorts, pants. Pants. I I was like, I have those, but no, I've got athletic pants. I've got like you know the Adidas pants. He are the his sparkly. Uh, 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 well, let's get this straight. I am English. You speak English, which means that you your language originates from this country. That means that you're backwards. <laughs> I, I, watch I, it. I love those sparkly pants. I know. I love them. I love. Yes. Yeah, so have you got a cowboy hat to match? We'll get married next week. <laughs> I do. My black oh, one's God. downstairs, but you can get the redneck one here. Uh, this one. I want those sparkly being. pants. But there you uh, go. I got the black one that I usually wear downstairs. I'm but not you can't sure. wear that shirt with those pants, though. No, the shirt doesn't go. You have to wear a, a very on. fitted black shirt and i mean yes it's like skin yeah. tight fit well, i have a um what's that brand uh um well, who's in i want to know what easy? brand those pants are because i want to buy them hi hello and there's back hello. guys that's what it is <laughs> hello. hi this yeah, is the last like... bit of the live so we talk sex every is single right? time <laughs> every time <laughs> yeah, I was I was coming up, uh, Mel, to give Aaron crap because the first thing I came back, I heard him talking about couples again, trying to sleep with him. Is this really a thing? You got couples hitting you up, bro? Say what? What? Aaron, you were talking about having couples hit you up. You said Today? guys and their girls. Yeah. No, last, yeah. One of the last oh, yeah, yeah. Here. It was earlier, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Was it what? earlier that was you it? said that? Not Aaron's sitting yeah, there with a little feather little hanging out of his mouth thing. right now. <laughs> he looks like he just ate the canary. <laughs> no, that, that was it. He's like, what? Thing. Me? Who? What about it? Oh, uh, yeah. What? Oh, tell us. Fill us in. Well, tell us more about these couples. I'm are asking you this to... right. Go and elaborate, Aaron. But, like, I, I don't know. Like, it's been a long time. I had, like... A threesome with another couple. We took turns uh, with dudes' girlfriends. Dudes' idea too to try and repair their relationship. And oh, so, that always helps. Oh, that yeah, especially when she didn't it. make a sound with him and she was like screaming my name and like, oh, is what it is. She was pretty hot cheerleader. Too. A pretty hot cheerleader. How old I, was she? I was like uh, twenty and she was eighteen at the time. Okay, well, as long as she was um, um, of age. Well, so. one time when I when I was twenty one, I did date a seventeen year old, but uh -huh. like that's okay. About that. Yeah, yeah. I, I want. I need to get y'all's opinion because there's someone I swear to God, it looks like Stone's brother, and it's been baffling me, and like I can't get over it. And what like, are you into him? No, no, no. My best oh. friend, uh, like from New York, his brother looks identical to Stone, and it, it's driving me crazy. I want your guys' opinion. See if I'm just crazy or not. Like I've been wondering this like for a it's while. I was gonna ask her. Like, <laughs> easy, easy, shut up. Let me put you on big so I can have a look to see. Oh my see. god, I'm crying. That, like <laughs> oh, oh, that doesn't look anything like stone. All right, that, no. that's a bad example. Uh, hold on, there's one. I don't think that looks as much. Tell like us more anything. about your threesomes, please. Easy wants um, to know all about it. Which ones? Ones with legend <laughs> or what? Like um, I, I've dated uh, more lesbians than it. I have straight girls. So you have what? I've like dated sister? more lesbians than straight girls. Oh, why is that? Wow. That seems like a like a I don't know. I just used to hang out reverse with reverse effect of the desired well, I mean, outcome. They were always like 
coming around with <laughs> ecstasy and cocaine and like uh, Xanax no. and stuff, and they were like pre pretty much raping me, in my opinion. Oh. Well, but like, yikes! Because I'm like a relationship kind of guy, but the, like they would, they always confuse my like ass. It. Like, I don't know. That was all right. How about this one, but with shorter hair? Let me see. Let me look. Yeah. Well, that one is what's his face from um from That's uh. TJ. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. Who? Yeah, that looks more like him. TJ Constable, he's from uh, same place. It's as not a Florida. dead ringer. Okay, so go on about your lesbian friends, your girls. Right, uh, I don't hear? know. Like, there's so many situations. Would you rather hear about lesbians or? I, I mean, just any me of them. To have I want to hear about all of it. I, God, sexual. I don't want to hear about any gay stuff, really. <laughs> I want to hear about whatever, all the gay whatever stuff. Gay stuff you, <laughs> <laughs> whatever left you feeling inspired afterwards, the most. Were you? Did you have most? a freak? Were you in a like freak a out with Diddy? Ball. Did you do a freak out with Diddy and I, I Usher in them? Is. Well, I it, it, apparently <laughs> it's what you're doing. It's a freak out is like you're with um a a girl and a guy and um someone's watching. No, it's just uh the the guys or the guy who was dating the girl that uh, we were just taking turns. I don't even know if that's technically a threesome if you're taking turns and the other one's like watching or whatever. What the hell is a threesome if you're not taking turns? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I figured like a threesome would be like everyone doing something with everyone else instead of like oh, one person oh. like I guess it's more like cucking, right? Like if I, like the boyfriend was watching me Fuck her or what? I, 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 don't I don't know. I don't know all that hip lingo that you're using, cucking I, I, and shit like that. I don't I, know what that I means. Just, I don't even know what simp means. So like all, all these oh, new words. Just like, like I just learned what simp. sus means like a couple weeks ago. Oh around. really? Like suspicious? It's just I, short. It, I, I I have mild autism, so I don't get. That's okay, that honey. <laughs> That's but, okay. Uh, no, I mean that one wasn't. That was pretty much the end of that story. Like I, so I had did. A, the, so did the girl and the guy get back know. together, or did they work it out? They or stayed together, and then uh, they. That was only about a week, though. They were done. Yeah, after week. yeah. I figured that never really works out. Yeah, I was know. really confused because we were all three drinking, and like uh, all of a sudden she. They were talking in the other room. All of a sudden she comes down, and sits on my lap, and like she's like way out of my league anyway. Yeah. And, bam, and she, bam, shoved bam. Her, she shoved her tongue down my throat and I'm like, oh, I, I was so stunned. I didn't see it coming. I, I, I was like, and Matt, she, she's like, <laughs> she's like, it was his idea. Don't even worry about it. And I said, hold on, I got to throw up. So I went in, in the you bathroom. You threw up? Yeah, I, I was so <laughs> fucking drunk. Like, the anxiety. Oh, like, my God. I didn't know what the fuck. Like, I didn't know Bless what your on. heart. And then, uh, was she offended no, that you no, threw no, up? She's like, go right ahead. And then, oh. and then, did you brush your teeth afterwards, though? <laughs> yeah. You mm -hmm. Oh, you should have done that if you throw up, but that's okay, honey. It seemed like she didn't care. Hey, at least I didn't throw up on her. It was really hard <laughs> to like hold it down long enough to get to the bathroom because I, I, yeah, that's out. good. Yeah, <laughs> that'd have been a party foul for sure. But no, like, <laughs> I did turn down the threesome between my wife and the girl that I was in. You're married? In I met her, my ex wife. Like oh. at the time, it was my wife, but it, they were wanting to have a threesome. Yeah. So that, like, I, I don't know. My ex wife's like mindset was a, uh, so that, you know, since I liked that girl before I met her, you know, maybe mm -hmm. it would, you know, just be something to do, whatever. Like something, Plus they were already yeah. like kind of diking it out in the other room before oh. they invited me. And, uh, yeah. I actually got videos from that night. Well, but anyway, cool. uh, yeah, they were nice <laughs> enough to record it because I turned it down. I, I was like, okay, I'm don't the share system. those videos, honey, because you could get arrested for that. So don't share those anywhere. Oh, no, no. I, I, okay. Actually, all I have to do is tell people that I have. I have made porns and like the next girl gets jealous and want, gets pissed off. Like I've been almost oh. like smacked the shit out of before. Like, well, pretty much smacked oh, the shit no. out of because I wouldn't make a porn with uh, someone just after they found out I made a porn with a previous girlfriend. Well, okay. it's crazy. Well, Women you are might want to like relax. Just, I mean, you need to like probably relax on that porn stuff because don't feel pressured into making something like that. It's okay oh, to mind. say no. Why? Why I mean, would I give a shit? I mean, that's I don't know that. because, like, it's, it's you know, you should, later you should. Real life, so. Well, I know, but you, know, <laughs> but you, honestly, it, to be honest, I think that when you are intimate with somebody, that should be somebody that you care about and that you. That's love. why I turned on the threesome, like with my wife at the time, and and 
my friend because uh I, I just uh I don't know. Yes. I was in love. So I, I went down and made him breakfast and they oh. made me a video. So it was all right. Yeah. That's, I think that's what they call a cuck or a, um, or I don't know, but like, don't get taken advantage of, but just, you should probably, you know, maybe just. Oh, I stopped um, dating strippers. <laughs> oh, well. It, it yeah. wasn't intentional. Like that's not how I met her. Like it was weird. Mm -hmm. Cause um, this girl that I, the one that I dated when I was 21 that I mentioned back there, like mm -hmm. she was from like a half an hour away, had pink hair, looked like Ashley Simpson kind of, but hotter. Mm. Um, but, yeah, uh, she's pretty. But like, uh, she actually like years after I quit dating her, I had my buddy was living with me here and he comes in out of nowhere with that girl. Like I had no idea how they even met each other. Like that's he's dating crazy. my ex and, and then like they bring another girl and that's how I met my ex-wife. Oddly. You live and they in were a both named town? Sarah. Um the town that they were from was very small, but my town is the third largest in West Virginia. It's still small in comparison. Oh, like but it's West Virginia. People. West by God, Virginia. Yeah. Did you know? Yeah. I actually got that line because I heard someone say it on their uh, home video. Mm -hmm. Someone actually said that they're pissed off and they're like, I'm from West by God, Virginia. It's my right to be stupid. And they stomp out the trailer on the way out. They Their foot falls in a fucking hole and a raccoon runs across the scene. No joke. Mm -hmm. And, and then she moves out into the backyard into another trailer. And, wow. and, and like, yeah. And this was a full grown adult too. Like it was a funny Aww. ass video. Bitch was missing teeth and shit. It was like That's one of my crazy. ex's uh, family, like their weird redneck family from the middle of the state where everyone's like wrong turn. Yeah. Right. Any, any sisters involved in any of this situation or cousins, any, any relatives? No, but that's like, like back a, in that's the a Civil West War Virginia times, joke, you know. Yeah, it's, it's same with Kentucky. Like, what I is know. The Kentucky I'm say a, after sex, get off my daddy. The, right. I think yeah. the redneck states are probably the some of the best states. Like for, like I want to hit the gong. No, for what? Oh, but, did I tell you guys the story of the gong? Why? No, I have a hang gong? on a second. What are the what What are the hillbilly states best for? I didn't hear that. What was the end of that? Well, I. I've heard a lot of people who thought the same, like thought that they were like redneck states, like mm -hmm. nah, 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 like right, like, like a banjo. Oh, we're not, and, uh, and like like found the nicest fucking people they've they've ever met in their life. That yeah, just, like help that's you with true. Them. Oh yeah, I'm you from can, I'm from these hillbilly states that we speak of. You can so, go down yes. the back roads and all the rednecks like they'd be waving to you and stuff and like. Hey Hicks, you know, just all nice. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, and this is the controllers that have created this whole sexual fucking crazy shit, man. Like that, that oh, have, have made it turn have everybody not met, into. I've into, not met anyone that like I've been close to female wise in this area that hasn't been abused by a family member. Honestly. Well, that's not good. It's See, not good. Other than my yeah. sister, of course. Like, but like. But you know what? That's probably why they're um why they are why they make the first move no I'm why sad. they're probably uh -huh. um having why they might be um having being kind of wild or promiscuous or why i've been single for seven years because i vowed not to date anyone from around here because <laughs> well, they're all out their fucking mind i mean you might want to just you it's know it's back oh sorry guys i just went to go make um sorry a guys i went to make up? coffee yeah and i By didn't realize that they, I, because I heard people speaking, so I thought, oh, I can take my time. It's when I could go silent. Let me just quickly play this, guys. Let me see. What oh, there's it's not going to go silent with Aaron. Aaron in here. Aaron. Three minutes. Apologizing is for the weak and wrong, which is why you should do it to me because you are weak and wrong. Y'all look so wiggly. Oh, I won't do that. Apologizing is for the weak and wrong, which is why you should do it to me because you are weak and wrong. Apologize. Oh, I won't do that. Apologizing is for the weak and wrong. I want to die. I want to die. Oh, that's great. I've seen it before. I love that. I have to say, right, he does actually really look like the main character. He does. Yeah, he looks very, very much like him. I wish he would show you the pictures that that um of him looking like where he's a soldier. Isn't <laughs> Easy, the Luma Tommy from here? Izzy, send her the picture of you being a soldier. 
Like I love that one. Oh, Chris, I love your 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 lady in gold here. Oh my god, yeah. how beautiful! Who's yeah. the hamster? What's that hamster? That's Voy. <laughs> Who is it? It's not a hamster. <laughs> what is it? It's Voy. <laughs> he looks like a hamster. I, I'm, I'm a Yodi dog, like a Yoda dog. <laughs> Uh, I'm a Yoda, I, it looks I'm like a, lab, a hamster. I'm a Yoda. Face. I, I want to have these Yoda eyes, but being a lab dog and have this. Oh, I mean, he's got a heart look, shaped look, nose. Look at my face looks like, like, like really. He kind of looks like a guinea pig or a, a hamster face. Looks like but a stone dog. He's got a heart shaped nose, though, and that's, that's cute. Stone dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that golden outfit. I wish I I would love to wear something. Oh, like oh, oh what a video of Resto. Resto, I hope you don't mind me showing this, right? It's pretty cool. Um, I, don't, I don't have anywhere to wear an outfit like that yellow one, but I would love to. And throw a race. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. You gotta be gay to wear that, you know? Well, no, I you don't. Know. Know. You just have to be fabulous. Yeah, exactly. I don't know many lesbians that would wear that. It's well, too fabulous for them. Probably just a little too feminine, maybe. But that's okay. Like sometimes there's uh, there. Sometimes you'll run into a um. They call them lipstick lesbians. All of the lesbians I dated, like they, they didn't like those ones. Guy like. Well, okay, everybody. I'm just going to play this video quickly. Oh, there's um, Resto. There's La Little Resto looking very <laughs> sweet. Hang on. We're home for Thanksgiving, y'all, to run this bitch. <laughs> the door, him a bag to the ballet. In case you're wondering, it's my dad day. I'm gonna do a hold up for just one time. I'm back home, ball up. If I want something, I just haul up. I do what I want and I get what I want because my parents miss their daughter. We're home for Thanksgiving, uh, y'all, to run this bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> Resto like, and, e Resto and Easy fuck? could be there. Resto and Easy are twin or um twin flame and <laughs> they look like twins. Oh well, I think Resto looks very cute in the in, in he looks very very cute. I have to play again. Does, it's but the one with he's in the with the afro, he looks like Easy. Shit. Let's have a look. Come on. Skin yeah. the door, him a bag to the ballet. In case you're wondering, it's my dad. I don't think it's I'm funny. Do a whole <laughs> I just look at this. Like, what the fuck is happening here? I, I don't even know what's going on. Like, wow. I don't know either. <laughs> no, boy, this is the the last bit of my no, I don't want. I, I don't want. I don't want to understand it either. It's like it. It's. it's oh, okay, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks like. No, I'm glad I don't understand it. It's do you like want a bad to Aaron? Do you, no, do you want it's it? a bad acid trip to me. <laughs> it's just a, um it's just like um you know all these filters or whatever and it's just the the people that are in the chat and then we put they put them in these like filter things and then you know they start singing or whatever and it's just well, it you know for me, funny it doesn't work for Aaron so it doesn't work on the on the on the tism. Want to play on the tism people it, it doesn't work it doesn't work on the people with the tisms uh, oh it doesn't nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I want to show the world what a hamster should look like according to Christmas. <laughs> that looks like a hamster face. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know. That looks like. Does, a does he look like a carrot? He doesn't care. Look, I mean, look, he's got. Look, he's got an easy mouth. Look, with one side of it is. Looks up. you like fuck you. I don't care. You know, I'm just. He's always got that one side, one side of his lip up. Doing my bubble gum. That. You know, I'm. I still have enough bubble gum. Yeah, oh, man. Man. he's the myth. He's the legend. It's Voynich, <laughs> man. He's like Yoda, but a dog. He's yeah. Like <laughs> but that, I don't think know. Is clear. According to Crispy, that is a hamster. <laughs> we, listen, we've had these debates. Easy and I've had these debates before because, like, I don't. I, what did What didn't I know? I didn't know what. I don't know. Like, uh, I was telling him about these white tigers. <laughs> you look and like a white up, tiger. Wow. Yeah, and he pulled that up these white tigers because he said they're like they're um they're I don't know. I mean, they do look. They're they're uh, there's something wrong with them, I guess. He was saying that they shouldn't be right white tigers because, <laughs> but these tigers that he pulls up are crazy looking. But there are white tigers. There's some in my city, at the zoo. White tigers. They're beautiful. 
Yeah. yeah but these white ones that tigers. Yes, that's are right. they albino. Well, that's milk, what yeah, they yeah, are. Tigers. Yeah, they're all they're all by now. I white guess white tigers so. and, and milk. Put on the camera. What white tigers? White tigers. White tigers. Yeah, but so he, really like that, these he said they're that stunning. they're they that very they're like a freak. Yeah. yeah, he said that they're like there's something wrong with them, and that the every time he pulls them up, they really do look <laughs> like there's something. Wait, he's gonna. Yeah, show, this is it. What what Wait, aren't they beautiful? These are not the they ones are. that he's pulled up. Yeah, those are the ones that look like. That, that one, one looks a bit fucked up, that one there. Yeah, Maybe that's the one. The that's the one. That's the one he pulls up. <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> a tie on. A tie on or a liger. Yeah. Notice they got it. they got the black stripes, so so there's a type of albinism where yeah. they're just missing the red pigmentation. Right. But that's the one, that one in the middle. He pulls up that one and something else, and he was trying to say <laughs> there's, there's this one here. <laughs> yeah, this one look it's got like a dog face. This one bless me. Yeah, it looks like it's like a dog it does. Dog. Look, there's something wrong with them. Yeah. Yeah, this but, one's disabled. Let's not take the piss out yeah. of the table. <laughs> uh, it's my hour of spirit. I've been saving it since I was a child. <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> but uh, you still never table. yeah. You never saw Tara Misu, the um the cat. <sighs> But, yeah, but, but uh, I mean, if you saw that cat, you would not. You, that cat is still. It looks like that one ate a it's laboratory like, mouse or something. That you're, that you're projecting on that. It, it looks disproportional. But the other one, the other face too. That I mean, that's showing that that's disproportional too. I mean, look at how long the nose is and how. Paramatsu, the Siamese cat. And there were six huge cherry red tits growing on either side of them. Is that I suppose Siamese? I think so, or something similar. The, Google will figure it out. S I A. I think there's two of oh, them. Oh. Okay, oh, keep going, these. keep going. Oh, I love keep them. going down, yeah, Mel. Siamese. We're going to see him. I know we will. I love Siamese cats. He's been I on sale. Oh, I well, I've got one. What is that? What the hell is that? What's that long oh, one there? Weird. Look at that. Oh, it's stretching out. It's, yeah. It's I think that's stretching. a cartoon, maybe. Have any of you guys saw the you mini, mean, like, uh, zebra-colored giraffes? Like, they're crazy. Zebra-colored giraffes? I've yeah, never heard like of such a giraffes, thing. And they got short the rat necks face. It is a rat face. I told so you. So you mean instead of brown and <laughs> yellow, they do they have are rat faces. White. Yeah, they're white with with actual stripes, and but they're like really like short necked, and they're like midget giraffes. But they're I think they're like tapirs or something like that. Uh, um, no, dude. I mean, there's a different name for that. You gotta uh, find a picture of what you're trying to explain. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember what they're called. For a long time. It's called. I'm telling you, I know there. It's got. It's, it's sitting. I I can. I'll spot it in a oh. second. Hold on. <laughs> I can't see Jack in this. I and I guess you that's that the color. Right there looked like an alien gray. Yeah, they look crazy. <laughs> this looks Are absolutely. <laughs> this one I... is. He's got the longest limbs you've ever seen. It's. A... I like yeah. Siamese cats. Yeah. What the fuck does Siamese cats have to do with tiramisu? What I, is it? Oh, that's what the. That's Why do what they mix with tiramisu? Uh, Are we gonna have another half an hour conversation about your cat? I think so, maybe. No, I want to talk about the Ramisu. Why is it this nice cat Ramisu? Is That's it because the... you're Italian? You know, it mixes no, up. No, not because you're. Um... No. <laughs> No, but that's like my favorite. Why tiramisu oh, in the picture? No. I see tiramisu, tiramisu. Uh, a whole the panel of people. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, in England, we don't, I can't find tiramisu, the Siamese cat. I'm sorry. Well, the, the Siamese well, cat is named tiramisu. I'll have to show you. You have to um um request me in Discord. I, or Easy can put it up. I Easy's got a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, no, in England. Oh, he my, can't my, do it either. No, he can. He, he has to show me his dick pic first. That's right. And then look at that hamster. It's so cute. <laughs> Are the like, don't guinea pigs look like that? No, it's a dog. Uh, <laughs> you wish. You wish all guinea pigs would look like this. You know? I don't know. Yeah, it's a cute little dog, though, I guess. I just feel like it looks like one of those... Um, 
I forget. Like, Easy's yeah. e- not allowed up on my panel until I get my dick pic. Sorry, Easy. All Easy's. I can hear in my head is the song <laughs> Here's Your Sign. But... <laughs> working on the working angle. On the angle Bill now. Angle. <laughs> I was going to bring up two subjects. Okay, panda bears and these dick pics. So we got to send dick pics to Mel. Okay. Oh, Please. you got glasses, Aaron? I, I see out. those. Those are yeah. cute. Yeah, what that's the, that's what you have to do to be up on panel. Uh, I have to have a, a, a dick pic. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> what if the dick pics are like nothing special? Just like like I'm kind of a nudist. So I'll like go sit by the pool like naked and yeah, I'm not sure what it is. And it's just like like uh, really pathetic. And what if the Big pics get like more pathetic every time you get a new one, and you're just that, like, That's because you sit too close to the pool, you know. And yeah, you know what the pool does to, to a dick, right? I it, mean, it's for my collection, uh, it's only for me personally. Don't worry, I'm not going to share it. Uh, but I have like an album, repository of panelists, sure yes. Yeah, what so if, that's yeah, why they're, you not, they're not like, uh, like violent ones trying to take you off no. the internet, they're actually like mailed to you. With like a full shot of you just like outside mowing the lawn naked. Yeah, just send it to Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. It doesn't matter how they are. They can be the it's it definitely be a police station. Hanging, natural, uh, you know, whatever you feel, whatever artistic um, method of expression you have. Uh, it's the same name on all my socials. Just inbox me. <coughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> Katie's like, Mel, oh, why not? Why not? <laughs> what, share? <laughs> shh. <laughs> yeah, but shh. <laughs> our skills always share. We're very good like that. <laughs> the men are like, silent. <laughs> now for something completely different. And that's something, that's something about yeah, it was, it, it, English. I didn't even. I got I got so much shit for like just bringing up sexual shit once or twice, like hitting, like just just bringing up a sexual thing. I one time had sex in a Walmart clothing rack at three in the morning, but I think everyone turns that one. I don't want to oh, hear but, about. It. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. yeah, it's all bullshit. And it's crazy. No, look, like, guys, everybody knows channel. that Mel always has the last hour dedicated to sex. You could well, do like lot, that game lot, show sex or weightlifting, like you know, my Adam Sandler's thing. Like, you I don't look. It, it's it, it's just them. stupid. Like, one of my haters was like, one of my haters was like, "Ew, um, Mel always talks about sex and mm-hmm. dicks," and I'm thinking, "Thank you for watching." I'm glad my mom stopped <laughs> watching that two hours ago. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up on your L. <laughs> I love the attention. Oh yeah, are we allowed to hit the vape on on the air? No, like, no smoking. Uh, that's why I was. Yeah, sorry, I'm that's my rules. Um, I I know. I was just making sure. Dick pics are okay. Just no. calm down for a second. Pussy cams are okay, but no smoking. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, yeah, no, 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 no. Just forget. Uh, with, with these wonderful ladies up here, I I need not the the. I'm good. Right. The first the the first time I came to this channel, I was talking about you in a wet shirt, and you were just laughing your ass off, and it was hilarious. It was fucking. You funny. said it was a nurse's outfit, and it was just a white shirt. Well, you were talking oh, about you, a nurse's no, outfit. No, it totally looked it was, like a nurse's outfit. I it, it wasn't a white shirt. It was a like it was a, like a white shirt, like a made of rubber, shiny rubber. I mean, it was not just the well, white easy. Shirt. Can you please stop telling everybody about our relationship, our special bond? <laughs> Anyways, like by the way, since, I mean, channel. I never looked into to nurse porn and everything, but you know, since <clears> I've been checking out your channel and you were there in this glimpsery uh, white outfit, I did look into nurse porn. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Listen, and if no, I can help in yes. email. But all if the other channels porn, freak out on you and, and act like you're being an asshole to, to the woman. And they're like, all the guys, they're like, oh, oh. And they're all like, <laughs> like, like, like fucking like, oh, offended. Like, oh, don't attack the woman. Then it's like, it's a compliment. Like, I'm a fucking complimenting her. Like, I think she's fucking attractive. Why is that fucking? No, this is so like... fucking crazy. Like, oh, well, oh. Because you're Canadian, dude. That's what yeah. makes it weird. 
nowadays. <laughs> yeah, Canadians are are sometimes really reserved, but sometimes I don't yeah, know. This is yeah, the craziest right. Canadian speak I've heard about sex. Usually they're all like, "Ah, oh, that's nasty." Me, 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 me. They're yeah, all because like, easy tells me off. That's he's the way Canadian Canadian like should be. Sex. That's the way Canadian should be. But okay. but but this it, this there's word here. He's balls. able to talk about it, and that's make it. That we should just be up here milking beavers, fucking doing whatever the Chinese want, and that's that's it. Fuck. But, milking beavers? What does that mean? Is that like a well, that's that's all we do up here. We milk beavers and do whatever the Chinese tell us to do. In Canada, you milk beavers. Beavers can be milked. It's yeah, possible no, they're that's mammals. What, that's where the where, what's the flavor of that? Google it. There's the one flavor that comes from like beaver. Actually, it's like. Oh, beaver. yes, 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 there is. Um, vanilla. I mean, no, no. Blueberry. No, no, it's no. vanilla. He, vanilla. Talking, vanilla. I think it's vanilla. Yeah. It's not, and that's not even it. Vanilla is enhanced. It is the vanilla flavor is enhanced. Milking beavers by, and by, by By the. the um, Excellent. Everything is fine. By the, yeah, thank you. But by the incense that comes from the beaver plants. Ben so, and Jerry's oh. has us all fucking milking beavers up here and fucking yeah, it's crazy. There's yeah, suicide you. nets <laughs> like good, all around the fucking your milk beaver there. milking oh, facilities. Hell. It's fucking retarded. <laughs> oh that's, have Neil, that's leprosy for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was it, it was a cup of tea though, and I choked on it. And uh, <laughs> because he's like, Yeah, but is it Ben and Jerry's have got us milky beavers? <laughs> uh, it reminds me of uh, that that one meet the parents where dudes talking about like milking cat teeth or something. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know. even know you could milk a beaver. See, you learn new things every single day on my panel. I love my educational panel. It's so it's like tiny little teeth. Yeah, yeah. It's the glands. It's the glands. It's, 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 like, it, it, it's a very dirty story when you get down to it. I mean, we don't want to talk about this. We really yeah. don't want to talk about it. We just yeah. want to oh, smell yeah. it. You know, yeah. all we need is the smell of it and very dilated. It, 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 is it like because I imagine beaver teats are very tiny? Is it like ee, 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 ee? <laughs> beautiful? Fucking I think, it, I think it, your it's fingers two, would two be able to do per, it. Per tit. You know? They got 14 tits and it takes. Oh, it takes so you more, grab one of each finger. <laughs> if it takes more than 12 seconds, then like they, we get a fucking smack on the on the back of the head by the Chinese general. I and, wish uh, it's still lit up. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm so tickled by the milk in the beaver that I'm just like. Just right. tell me about the fucking golf shoes. But I'm before sorry. he said that, that before he says that, he said that. Willy Wonka milked a fucking giraffe. I mean, he did. What? Huh? That's that. That's what Speakeasy said before this message. What? He did. What? He did. There it is. I what? imagine women, girl giraffes, will have teeth because they give birth, so they have to have teeth. Even thought about giraffe teeth, to be honest. But, <laughs> hey, and I never thought about elephant uh, elephant boobies either. But elephant, why not, Roy? Why not? Well, because uh, I just wow. like elephants as they were. You know, I, I like them without teeth. But now there is elephants with boobies. What did it? What did? Um, oh, and hang they, on. And they don't. Have, and so they don't have others. They just have boobies like humans. They have it between their forelegs. Did you ever see this? What do you know? No. Uh, did you? Okay, look up elephant boobies. Oh god. Before I look up elephant boobies, okay, Uncle Fatty sent me no, something. No, no, you're not. Look, I mean, put your safe search on. <laughs> just, but it's, it's gonna be you know you're not gonna find anything weird you're you're just gonna look something you're gonna see something that you never saw before you think you know elephants i think i know elephants elephants have boobies you know between their front legs what the fuck they do <laughs> well i would assume every mammal 
as a female. That doesn't look like elephant boob. It looks like something African, but it doesn't what? look like elephant What the fuck is this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, before we look yeah. at elephant boobies, we will we will look at elephant boobies. But before we look at elephant boobies, I wanted to see what this is. I don't know what it is. Um, Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> what? Oh, this Bro, is. Bro, what are you talking TV about, TV? man? That's what they're called. What? That's stupid. Man, that's stupid. Just, uh, Fuck. It's so stupid. The mini giraffes that look like zebras. So are confused. Are like, even mean. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so weird. I know you're somewhere out there. Hang on, hang on. Oh no, that's uh, okay. So, one more, I think there was. Damn! Damn! I don't know what that Damn! is. I don't know what Uncle Fat is saying to me, but let's have a look at uh, elephant. Should I say elephant boobies? I did say that. Yeah. Did you say elephant boobies? I will repeat it again. Elephant boobies. Elephant, elephant boobies. boobies. Just look at right. elephants. Did you did you know that elephants have boobies? Oh, the the animal I was talking about, the zebra giraffe things. I put a link in there. No, 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 that. dude. No, no. We're talking oh about my elephants. god, that's so odd. Yeah. That's so <laughs> yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, no. I I see that you found it. You, I it's found it. That you never ever saw before. This is so fucking. That's crazy. so weird. Look. Look. Look at this. Yeah. Look at it's weird look as hell. I never knew fuck? that. Dude. I'm never gonna do it in the same way again. <laughs> That's that almost feels like a Mandela effect. I'm trying to but, quit. Dude, yeah, I've never seen I'm anything saying. like that. That's what I'm saying, dude. It is a total Mandela effect. It's dude. CGI. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I believe in the Mandela you guys effect. Know that? I'm going to tell I everyone. I believe in the Mandela of, effect now. It, it's, I'm going to tell everyone it's because of elephants. Dude, elephant dude I'm, I'm telling you, elephants. I've boobies. never seen anything like that. In my mom I mean, loves elephants, and I've never seen anything like that. Do you think that Mel would not be, uh, you know, up to up to speed about elephant boobies? Yeah, I know all about them. She she would know about that. Mm -hmm. And but these are did. authentic elephant boobies. And I mean, look at them. That's mm. not CGI. CGI would have made these boobies look better. That, <laughs> that, by the way, Mel, that link is that that mini yeah. uh, giraffe thing that's colored like a zebra that I didn't know what it was called. I, but I how else? Remember how it. else would you feed the tiny elephant, the elephant babies? Yeah, it makes Come sense. To I mean, if they're that in a different sense, spot, it? I, yeah, it does make sense. But like, I just didn't know they were there. I've never seen them just hanging from a, an elephant before. I've even what rode elephants. What the fuck elephants. is that? When the circus came. Oh, my God. Out. Why are they playing God with that? That's awful. Hang on. Um, I'll share what Aaron just sent me. And that's, no, this it's is no in copy. Well. That's it's, scary. it's not an actual, like, cross between a zebra and a, and a giraffe. It's a, it's a different animal. It's a cousin of the giraffe. What the fuck? It's called a no copy. <laughs> oh, no. Go down yeah. a little bit. They, they have better look, I, I told you. I told you. They're about you the size of a mini horse. No copy. That looks like they're. a hyena. And it's in South Africa, dude. In South Africa. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't, the, under, I didn't really, understand. All the animals of all the that's world. That's a cross are between a hyena and a zebra. Yeah, that's not what I was meaning. I in a co oh, copy was what I thought I uh, sent you the link to. My bad. This is a young Okapi. Oh, is it? it? Just doesn't. Yeah, it just doesn't have the horns yet. So. I'm not sure the one. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the ones I saw have horns or not. Like, I don't know. They might. I, have. I, I don't. That's Chester too. That's near me. Isn't isn't one uh, how bananas grow? Is interesting, I think. Uh, a red down. giraffe zebra hybrid has been born at Chester Zoo, which is near me. Yeah, that, that's oh, um, this, I don't think that's no, what this I this is no. just an animal that lives in South Africa. I mean, it's yeah, been there forever. Yeah, I, I, I probably just didn't understand your accent, like, or didn't know you were talking, naming an animal earlier. Boy, that's my bad. Yeah, well, well that's okay. <laughs> So, boy, is this an animal that already no, exists? An okapi, yeah. No, that's. I mean, everybody that lives in Africa knows this animal. Yeah, know, I, because, I just found because out it about is, like a year because ago. it actually does look like a <coughs> like like a combined genetic material created animal. 
right? It does look like uh, a zebra. The ones I saw like, looked like straight zebra color. Yeah, like they it, were it looked like a zebra and combined with a giraffe and a, and a reebok. It, it totally does look like that. Do they get like a little bigger with a little bit longer necks or something like that? Yeah. I mean, you can you can see by the face mm -hmm. and, and by the yeah. that dimensions and the relations. I fell the, in love with them whenever I first saw them. Like I just couldn't remember what they're called for the longest time. So know. this so this article's full of shit. Then. Yeah, I, I I was just trying to find a picture. I, that's I, I didn't want to send you like Google search results. So. I just no, no, you could because, like I said, this is this There's is probably better pictures too. I mean, it, it's different. It looks uh, I mean, it looks like they, it looks like they have hyena ears. Yeah, their yeah. ears look like hyena. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I just, I, I don't know what I'm more shocked at. I think it's the elephant boobies that done it for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, I, I was just thinking <laughs> these guys are cool. I just want to know what they're called. Oh look. Okay. Uh, Easy's coming up with some some info here. Um, who else is sending stuff? In oh, Chris, um, are you off, my love? Feel free to. Yes, of course, Chris. Put your type in chat, and I will um, go to your channel and drop the link because then I can sub up as well. Um, yeah, I need to sub up too. So you just drop it now. In one of my mods, we'll just drop the. Or well, I'll do it. Doesn't matter who does it. Um, but just um, just even a high in chat. So, so yeah, guys, this is not a hybrid, right, boy? Um, I think it might be because it totally looks like one. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like the ones I saw. It doesn't um, look like a, like an animal that what? In, well. I mean, how oh, much yeah, you can see? Dilacines are cool. I mean, if you look at the animal, it totally looks like a hybrid of of some animals that are. It looks like a hybrid of a giraffe, uh, uh, a jackal, or a hyena. That a doesn't dog. look nothing and like it, a giraffe. Come on, though. They're they're just in a fan. And also what a deer, I, right? Or a deer, a or an antelope, or something like that. I'm looking I mean, at a like five like animals right in one. It does. Fire have, you guys, have you guys yeah. ever looked into panda bears? Like, I believe totally, like, the whole breeding process, like, breeding dogs and shit. I believe that the panda bears were bred by the Chinese, and they made it into this whole thing, like, an endangered species. And, like, cause, like, they're the dumbest fucking animals. They do not breed. They only eat one thing, bamboo. China they, does make a lot of useless animals, don't they? Yeah, what the yeah, fuck is they that? don't do anything. There's no nothing in the history That's of a China. That's a like, tiger. Before like it's 1900 or whatever. Like they got everything in their history, but there's not one mention of a panda bear before like 1900. It's yeah, not that's a insane. Tasmanian when you tiger. Look into it, you think Marco Polo would have told all about it if they were there? <laughs> Seriously, though. What is that? I've never seen one of these before. Well, they're extinct now. They went extinct, I think, in the 1800s. Oh, okay. That's why I've never yeah. seen one of these before. Then, <laughs> if they went extinct in the 1800s, are these just like uh, AI recreations? Yeah, one of these. Some of them probably are. That one that looks like a real photograph. Probably one of the last remaining ones, maybe in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Here's a whole Pinterest festival of Okapi. Look at their fucking mouths and how big they open. Yeah, they're like a dire wolf. Have you ever looked into the mouth of a bat? If you look at a no. if, you, if you look at a, a tiny bat and it opens up his mouth, it's like what? You're you're gonna be afraid, and it squeaks like so look up, loud. Like, a, a giant ground sloth, and you will see a uh, um what Bigfoot is half of and half Elohim supposedly. So giant. giant Giant ground sloths, yeah, they're extinct, but like, uh, they, they were what was here and like the supposedly smartest mammal whenever they're around. Now, if you saw that Ooh. walking around with hind legs and you mix a little bit of a human element to that, would that not look like Bigfoot, dude? I'm, I'm quite slothy myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that they, the Sasquatch people said that that's what they were made from is a giant ground sloth. And, I, there's and, no uh, objection here, you know, yeah, but I mean, I'm not I mean, as fat. As this, 
Hi, I try to say hi, George. Not as hairy. Hi, Simon. I'm not as hairy, but I am quite slothy. Oh, I was I trying think. to scroll on the web page on there. <laughs> what have you sent me? Uh, who sent I me? I got no oh. copy. More pictures of the More zebra pictures. things. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. They look weird. Okay. Um, they look fun to me. I don't know. Why can't I, like, I scroll down on this page? I like giraffes, but they're too freaking big. I, I wouldn't have some of those as a pet, though. I would. Okay, these Probably are like, these are they're cute but uh, weird. I like weird. Just meet up with uh, with this guy in Canada. He likes. I don't giraffes. do Canada. He's got his name is Simon. Simon. Come up and tell me you love me. Don't just say it in chat. No, 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 no not, not Simon. Not Simon. <laughs> <laughs> not Simon. Well, Get maybe. Alvin or Theodore up here first. I mean, come on. I'm oh, sorry. I'm uh, no, Simon. Simon. He, he, he could be is. good. Uh, he could be good. Reference. Yeah, that's funny. I, I don't right, know. Right. So, dumb. Mel, have you seen what's that thing? Uh, two, two. I don't even remember. It's too long ago. Two what something was that? girl. Two girls in a cup or something. Two girls in a cup. I don't know. It was in. In Family Guy back in the day. I, oh, it, it that. Was I don't want to know what a lot more than I, I don't want to hear it be described. I mean, I, and I just like to keep it that way. I yeah, know, exactly. What, the faces doing them were making. That's I exactly what I happened. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't, I'm, I don't I'm joking. I'm joking. Sorry. Simon, come up. I, you know, I love it when you entertain me. Uh, Wick, can you put the um, stream not, StreamYard link up, haven't you? Huh? Wiccan? turkeys anyway I'll, I'll do it did um hang on pace 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 i got it okay did um who was on panel earlier that dropped down i've forgotten crispy crispy no not crispy it was chris Chris. did he drop his did he drop his did he anyone drop his link so i can go and um, sub up to him Absolutely do not search two girls in one cup. <laughs> okay. Is it still on the net? I don't even know what that means. What is it? Oh, don't oh, worry please, about it. I just want to keep don't it worry. that way, Mel, and just let, let's be together. Just, we are the only ones that doesn't know what, it, what that means. Bad. Just let's keep it that way. Just I have no idea. I have never actually saw face. it either. I don't want to know. I don't want to hear about anybody explaining it to me. I've yeah. been through that before. I didn't understand it. And I went through the sick. I still didn't understand. I it's it's not it a, that way. I have you ever like searched cake farts? That Let's talk about something cake farts. Else. Was pretty bad too. I, no, I really don't. I really bad. don't care. I really don't care. I don't even care. It's one of those things that, like, when it came I out, don't people care. just come to your house and be no, like, "Hey, you should look this so. up," and then like you regret it instantly. Oh, it's porn! Oh. <laughs> what do you think it was? I mean, like, old. I know! It's porn! I've got to, like, no! Kill it before yeah, it Mel, I was just joking. Like, I was, that was, like, crazy. Like, yeah. Fuck. Oh, how do I get this off my browser? Oh, my all God, there's so many naked Get all F4 naked. and it'll kill it. It'll kill the browser, too. <laughs> how do I get rid of it? It's everywhere. Tell her to hit all F4. <laughs> Don't do it. Well, no, I did do it. Browser. And all these pop-ups of all these naked women doing horrible things to themselves <laughs> came up. That's why we have pop-up blockers. <laughs> she didn't listen. Ah! <laughs> the girls Hi, never came. <laughs> How fucked up is the world that that like sort of shit even exists? Like, like why? Why does that exist? Like, ugh. Like, like I heard about it in prison, and people were lying to me about what it was, and so I checked it out whenever I got out, and I regretted it instantly. <laughs> uh good morning simon i how are you my love how Hi, you simon. Doing, uh, what's going down well we're just having a, a like a, a, a stupid hour because you know i like to have a stupid hour towards the end mm. and uh we did extensively talk about the B, the p diddy stuff um <laughs> And we went through some videos, but we've done all that. So nine hours in, I, 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 we're done talking about P. Diddy. Well, I didn't realize he was nine hours in. I did notice, like, you know, sometimes, like, what happens is, like, men do have nervous conversations. Like, you know, and that was kind of interesting. That's what I caught on to. Like, when, when I came into your chat, 
like most of the men panelists started having a nervous composition in terms of how they were approaching uh, your your conversation, which I, I find that kind of interesting because men always turn around and say how women are nervous or they they get in their feelings and stuff. And you know, most of the time men men do that all day long. I think whatever's on my mind, I don't usually mind. I am pretty. You see what's going on? I was on Flo's panel earlier on yesterday. Now it was, and. um I, I luckily I had my camera off because I was feeling rough as fuck. I, I was really hungover, but I can't even begin to tell you. And no offense to his panelists, but it was very. My eyes were rolling so bad they almost popped out my head. And and I don't, you know, I don't want to offend men, but it was a case of they were talking about how hard it is to approach women and how difficult mm. it is and. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and you know how life is so hard, and, right. and, like I said, and how you know there was some single dads there that were growing, which is great. I, I applaud all single parents of any 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 sex, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, he was saying that he never got a penny alimony, and, and I'm like sitting there right, on panel, like I said, mm-hmm. thank God I had my camera off, and I'm thinking, welcome to fucking women's world. We've been thank doing it very time. much. Thank you very much. And this is a thing like men need to get their shit in order, right? And stop complaining about bull b- BS. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, it's so well, it was so well dude, up. You, you start up simping, you start straight up simping. Like, like your position is the same as the female position. That's weird, dude. Oh, so you're, uh, because you're a black man, you're a black man, you're in the same position. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Tiny, Who's talking? As these tiny white Which women are, right? Wait, who, wait, who's talking? Dude. Voice talking. Yeah, yeah. Who? Voy. Yeah. My friend Voy. Yeah. Where, what's his? Oh, okay. Mel, Mel, what, Mel, you should have called him a fucking pussy. Well, that's yeah, a beaver sure. or is that yeah. like, some sort of animal? Is he hamster or some shit? What, what's going it's on? It's a dog. It's a fucking dog. <laughs> oh, okay. I oh, don't know. I don't have pets. Okay, cool. All right. Can you stop like that? All right. All right. I'm, I'm I'm trying to work out how you're talking, bro. Go on, carry on. He's he's a confused Ewok. He's he's yeah. Okay, let, let's go. All right. I'm I'm listening now. I know what's going on. Go on. Hang on. I, before we listen, I need to do something, guys. Don't leave. I just want to do this because I need to do it. So. <laughs> God damn. Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um okay. Uh, hang on. Go. It's me against it's me against the hectic. Yep. Okay. Yes, let's go, you beaver motherfucker. Let's go. I mean, I was I was just, <laughs> I was just about it's ready. Weird. To to, Why would you even pull I was that just up? About ready to go to the toilet. Yeah, so well, you start to speak another thing. Fist, Now yeah. you need to understand who you're talking to before you open your mouth. Okay, uh, right. So open your mouth and let's go because this is kind of interesting. When you're putting up some weirdo fantasize, you were react, you were actually crazy sort of to me, animation. Where did you get that from? Did you just Google it and put it up and then go? Okay, I'm gonna put up a JPEG on my damn fucking platform. Is that what you want to talk about? That is like what you want to talk about? Well, speak to me because That's right now I don't even know who you are. You 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 have a voice. I don't know if you're a man or a woman. You could you could be like having a machine box in the back. I don't know who you are, where you come from. Apparently, you want to be anonymous. So that tells Dude, me I'm gonna are... leave the camera on and I'm gonna leave the the microphone on while I. Take is, how do you pronounce your name? Your what, 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 what's that say? Voy Voy Rich. Do you know you you damn well done it on purpose, right? Because you damn well know, like people are gonna be looking at your name and going, "How do you wear that out?" Oh, it's Voy Rich. Okay, all right. It's gonna take about two minutes. So that tells me a lot about you already, because you know you're not even representing yourself concurrently and like succinctly, like in a, in a transparent way. I don't know what you're doing right now. You want to, you want to continue to talk, or do you want to go back to your backyard and live in your shed for the rest of your life and just you know <laughs> procrastinate? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Silence. Voy, I feel that you can do better than this, darling. Dude, I was taking a piss, sir. I told you I'm taking a piss. Nah, go, uh, go, oh, he's go. taking a piss. Okay, sorry. He's taking a piss. Yes. Um, Get some cereal. Get some cereal. <laughs> it's it's kind of early. Maybe, like, do... 
Yeah, do um, you know, maybe look, it's kind of um nice outside. No, yeah. I, I it is kind of nice. Uh oh, are you off to bed, Wick? And good night, my love. Thank you for keeping me company for nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> No, she's a good co-host, is Wiccan. I made her into a co-host, and she's a good girl. Um, so, like, Voy, I know you can give better than this, Voy. Let me know when you finish your piss. Is that what he's doing? Is yeah. It, is, is he or she? I don't know. He is a he. He's my friend. Yeah, maybe, maybe and normally I would call him quite the competitor for you, Simon. I'm joking, though. You know, no, I'm I know joking. you're joking. That's why I put you <laughs> I put you up like on two, on two. but he went for you know uh, a, a, a pee pee. So I guess I'm gonna have to keep you company until he comes back. Oh, I mean, damn. Come on. I was just I, I told you I'm just uh, going to the toilet. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm gonna leave you both up here because I know what you can give it. You, I know you can do it. Come boy, come boy, come on boy. What's up? Come on, let's destroy, go. Destroy Simon Hectic. Okay. That's nice. That's do, nice. Do what you yeah. want. Just don't wipe your hands on me after you come out of the toilet. I don't sure wipe you. my hands, dude. I just <laughs> wash my face. Come on. <laughs> I know how you men rock. If you ever seen a woman walk into a man's toilets, they're like, yo, they're holding their noses. So, like, don't even do that. You get what I'm saying? I know how you guys do. You're, I'm not ever going to have you in my house. Like, don't even play with that shit. Like, so what are you saying, bro? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Mm -hmm. what, what fuck, dude? Do you wanna do you wanna uh connect now? Do you want to bond? You wanna bond? I don't wanna bond, I just want to talk to you. Look, what, what's going we were on? Enemies, dude. I thought no, we were no, kind of no, enemies. no, nah, nah, we're not enemies. I just I don't like understand. It, I we were enemies. I don't understand why you like pets over people. That's all I don't understand. I'm apart what? from that, I'm cool. You like pets over people. That's why you got an avatar with... Um, pets some... over... Dude, I don't even own a pet. Why do you have an avatar with a pet then? What is that? Is that a, is... Well, I think this this dog is, is a pet, but, you know, it's a dog. Oh, God, it's not a pet. It's a dog. At first. Oh, I'm, are you, I mean, when, Can you when I, I, you, I, mean, when, I mean, when you were my friend, do I like slaves as friends? No. You are a slave, though. But first, you are a human being, right? So you shouldn't think about dogs as pets. Dogs are what, dogs. What do you know about slaves? <laughs> I just told you. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you don't think there were um, black slave masters? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, were. let's not go into okay. anything racist or racism or no, anything. No, no, like this ain't, this, no. This ain't racism. This is actual facts. Like, I don't come from that. So this is kind of interesting that he actually brought it up. It's not racism at all. And yeah, I don't do that on my panels. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not that. Um, what is this? Um, it's a misdemeanor. So it's like um there were actual black slave owners at the same time as there were white slave owners, and people don't like to kind of go back to bed because I'm gonna start with you. Jesus. Hey, well, I'm going to give you lunch in two seconds. Once I get off. Two seconds. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it real, dude. Yo, for real. <laughs> well, yo, we're parents. That's my role. Can I get two yeah, seconds? Yeah, my, my daughter is like, yo, daddy. Yo, Mel. Okay, guys, like, stop acting like pussies on my panel and do some roasting, will you? Right. Yeah. yeah. All right, go on, boy. I'm watching you. Go on. I'm not, I'm, I'm not here to roast you. I, I just told I'm not Mel here to roast you. Where are you from? What's, in what's the toilet. You know, as the real piss is from, like from Germany or something. Shit like that. Oh, no, no. What are you doing? Why, why do you feel like you need to be in the toilet to speak to somebody? Why can't you come out of the no, toilet and have a no, real conversation? Just... Wipe your hands and stop being like, you know, a simp. What's wrong with you? My dick is not dirty. You know, it's my right, dick. Okay, no like, one like, on your dick. Been, like, no. Like, no, come on, boys, right? If you're going to roast, I mean, I, I put you up there because I thought these two would be good going at each other. But this is like pussies. 
Yeah, boring. I think it's Yeah. 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 Boring. So uh, once I thought Foy was going to do that okay, as well. So let me tell you this, uh, Mel. Once you have expectations, you're going to be uh, disappointed. You know, That's the story of my no, life. No, no, no. I, <laughs> no this is the problem. Let, I let thought, go of your no, expectations. I just nah, just go with the flow. Oh, don't don't listen to men like it. this. No, and you might run no. into something beautiful. Oh, oh no. my lord! Don't right, I'm getting the pussies like off my panel. No pussies on my panel. <laughs> okay. All right. Have a bye good bye. day. Bye. I'm joking, <laughs> Simon. Come on, like Yo, boy. Now you... I, I want to look. I want to skydive with you one day. This is what I'm about. Oh, yeah, no, that's cool. I'm I've skydived before. Dude, yeah, exactly. She you know what they, she drop in yeah. three minutes later than everybody. <laughs> you know. Oh, suddenly voice got yeah. voice. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Sir. She she'd be so yeah. tiny. Like they mm -hmm. don't even have they don't oh, even have parachutes. Oh, oh, tiny. Oh, oh, oh right. It's happening now. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Where did that come from? You come out of the toilet? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you walking around I was the house? trying to say earlier, boys, before, and then you can talk about it if you want. So I went on flows. No, no, no like um, disrespect to his panel because they were sweet. But we had both England and America, and the men were complaining about, oh, how hard it is to approach a girl and say hello. And I'm like, fucking yeah. really? Just go up and say hello. Like, what well, the fuck I'm, is wrong with men nowadays? That doesn't do it though. I mean, you need to, you need to. Um, how do you say? Um, you can say hello like that. You need to say hello, or you know, you need to. Uh, that's bad advice, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, that's no, you don't want to go to the and go hello. It's not going to work. Well, either. Damn. <laughs> wow. You need another intonation. Oh, you don't say hello. Are you saying hello? Hello. hello. <laughs> nah. Nah. Look. So, so how know, do you look, say hello to a girl, uh, Simon? I don't, I don't say hello. I don't. I, I so, grab her and I say, "This is where it is." That ain't no, ain't no sort of like hello business going on in here. Women don't like that shit, for real, man. They they've seen too many hellos. You are tricking. Like the thing is, it's like most men don't understand this shit. Most women have about three, four hundred dudes in their fucking chat, in their back, in their email, in their IG. Yeah. Like at that, like at the end of the day, you're just an anomaly. You have to really be the that dude that's gonna actually get her fucking attention. You think yeah. you're you're close? You're not close, nigga. Now we're talking. Now I mean, we're if talking. you if you came in my back chat and said hello, <laughs> <laughs> yo, Christy, that I like your name. My feet. Yo. <laughs> 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 Mm. I would just be like, I mean, oh. you'll, you'll make me think about getting some side piece, like going, <laughs> oh, I need some fucking something to dip something in. We eat crispy like, like hello, that. honey. <laughs> <laughs> Get them Doritos. Yeah, do it, boy. That would be so good. <laughs> she crispy. Oh, what the fuck is like this, my <laughs> 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 Oh, oh yeah, honey. let's uh, go. I'm, I'm the hamster flying away from the globe. Oh, right. it's not a hamster. I've thought of what animal it was. It's a chipmunk. No, oh, it's boy. a chipmunk. Yeah, it looks oh. like a chipmunk. No, I don't. I, I think you're wrong. I think it's the. Um, uh, I think it's a, a dormouse. I think it's a dormouse. I never heard of a dormouse before, but well, it sounds like a dormouse. Dormouse? Damn. Yeah. That's, that's some country shit. Let me tell you about the dormouse. The dormouse is an animal that actually makes its appearance in Alice in Wonderland. Why, why is this you talking so, about? But in you know? actual life, let me speak to it. It's very <laughs> They're called So, but in actual life, it only comes alive. <laughs> During the summer, <laughs> it actually is. <laughs> Who cares? Like, what for real? Like, why Dude, are you concerned it's about a very interesting no, story? God damn, we got one know that's wow. it's alive only right. during the summer. You it's sleep. Oh, okay, all right. I'm you know, all it's cold. Okay, I'm just gonna continue this. It's called a dormouse because it sleeps. Seven yeah, I, I like robins. Do you know what a robin seven is? Seven months a year. It sleeps for seven oh, months a year. And you know what robin is? Kind of animal. Alive. Yeah, That's I like robins. Robin sleeps usually dormant. And it be <laughs> What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> wow. 
Just I like Robin. Them, I like the character. I like how they learn. Easy. How do you find these <laughs> people, <laughs> man? Hang on, guys. Before you talk about the gerbil, the mouse, whatever it is, easy. Can you read the chat? I've left a message in there for you. Uh, okay, carry on. Fuck. Oh my god! This is my depiction. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. I I have like. Where did Simon go? Simon go. I have turtle wings. Oh my god! I like it. Did you say he has wings? Why do you guys turtle have that wings, dude? Nobody oh, ever. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'd like, I like to see that. Can you come up and show us? Those are God like damn. um. He what said kind he had wings. wings. Are they? They've got like little <laughs> turtle. They're made out What's of. What spring out of his ear? Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now we're mutants. We're mutants all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, okay, shit. cool. Wherever. Uh, uh, what does like what that. does your girlfriend think about that? You got wings? <laughs> oh shit! Does she uh, like she that? In the, in, what? what? She How does she like? She, she likes the wings. She likes the wings. It's like a turtle. It's like a turtle shell. It's like a turtle. How do you do that on a date? Like, yo, I love you, baby, but I got wings. I got no. wings. Like, how do you do that? I mean, how are you going to explain yeah. that shit? For real? He's got what? His Look, his tongue is out and everything. Like, he's ready to mm -mm. kiss. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well, maybe I need to get some wings. If you girls are willing to do that shit, that's interesting. <laughs> It is Dude, interesting. I mean, turtle wings. I mean, do you want turtle wings now? Because I was the first one, I'm sure. Apparently, you, know. you, you know more about it than sure I do. You know yeah. just, I'm sure you don't want to be the second one to be uh, to have. Consult. Yo, well, consult no, me on it because apparently these chicks are digging it. Not, They're digging it. I am not going to be the bitch that stole your look. That's for sure. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yo, I ain't going to be that one. Jesus yeah, Christ. right. Mm -mm. Like, who wore it better? Who wore the turtle wings better? Mm -mm. Oh gosh! But look at his lip. Like, look. Why do you have a hands like that, though? Are your hands really like? Are that? Oh, those hands, man. That's the. Look at how weird those. Look at <laughs> there's like four hundred fingers on those. Oh wow! Wow! And it looks like you have like a little. Yo, bra, you you are different. Like a little bra wow. top or something. Where are you from? Are you from the UK or uh, US? I'm, I'm off the round earth. I wasn't talking to you, bro. I was talking to the chip. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> wow, you see what you see what just happened right there? Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. You are too interested in me. I was not oh, speaking God. to you. Well, I'm not from the I'm not from the UK. Where are you from? I'm from the, uh, the United States. North, South, what? <laughs> I'm crispy? in the Midwest. All right, Crispy. Yo, hit yeah. me up, Crispy. <laughs> oh, God. Once in a lifetime opportunity, hit me up. With, I'm going to um, with my turtle wings. No, we will work shit out. Just look, <laughs> I'm going to put my email in the back chat. Hit me up. Okay. Um, <laughs> for real. I don't give a fuck about these. Yo, I, I, yo, I'm for real. You don't know. You ain't come across me before. He I'm, wants I'm, to get. He wants to get into to some. Yeah, you ain't. Listen, yeah, you, I know you want to get in. Don't to, interject in in a love situation. Get in Look, touch wait, with hold, them. wait, 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 stop. Like don't women, be, I know, I know. Right now. No, stop. Like stop. Like God, damn. God damn. Your nigger ass. Thank you, Mel. UK. Thank you, yeah, Mel. Yeah, you yeah. see, Crispy. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my email in the back. Let Crispy hit me up. Stop with these foolish. These foolish dudes trying to interject. So, he's like trying to be a wingman. Shaman's going to fly across the country. And I ain't say any of that stuff. I'm just saying we're just going to talk. Feet. No, we're going to talk because we're real. Like, I get crispy because, like, she, she was just like, okay. I could tell, like, nine minutes. That's all it takes. Nine minutes. Oh, God. Okay, My yeah. Mouth, I'm that easy. Oh my God! Nine. Yeah, minutes. No one's saying nine about easy. No, 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 no. All we're gonna do is we're gonna talk. And we're gonna work out. We're gonna work it out. And these these others are gonna be jealous as hell. That's what they're doing already. Like within two minutes, they were like, "Oh, why are you talking to her? Oh, you you didn't approach her. What, what's wrong with you? Like, what's, they, they I mean, just Jesus. Being protective because I like they're yeah. my friends. Yeah. Okay, I get that. 
I ain't gonna meet you in real person. Well, you you about nine to. minutes, two minutes. You can you couldn't even fill up. Oh, all right, here we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know, we my emails in the back. Interesting. Real. Really yo. Really yo dealio. Oh really yo dealio. Yo, yo I, look, I heard you, Christy, from the moment you hopped on, I was like, yo. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you. It's like when you see someone walking into look, look, most men can't do this shit. The thing is, is like the thing is, is like we see people all day long. Sometimes you find someone attractive and you yeah. say nothing, and you wonder about that for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you think I should have just said, Hey, I should have said hello. <laughs> Thank you very much. I ain't doing that ever again in my life. I, I right. ain't got look, my, my spots are up. And uh, I might go. I might go on Mars if I, if I want to like rock with R Richard Branson and that shit. I'm just yeah. saying, like, I, I I got shit to do. Yeah. So it's like okay. sometimes it's just like, just having fuck a conversation. Richard Branson, <laughs> like you got shit to do. I you hear you. you. You follow your dick. Like that's your fucking oh. biggest head. That's yeah. <laughs> like fuck. You gotta follow your dick. Oh my. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, because um, I, could, I I've been, I've been you... celibate for the last three years, so I don't know about mm -hmm. following my dick, bitch. Like, well, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I, I just think like that can to lead, be that around can... good people. Yeah, that could okay. lead you into some dangerous places if you listen to if you follow that thing around. That'll yeah. get you in all kinds of trouble. I, 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 ask Aaron. I, I, yeah. Aaron. We, Aaron's like been through everybody in West Virginia. We're in a different world. We, you don't need to follow uh, your your nether parts. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You can yeah. be smart and be around good people and and do what you need to do and then make that decision. You don't need to do that first. Like, there's no way in hell I, I'm I'm gonna just like I got too much going on. I got my own responsibilities and I got children. So mm -hmm. there's no way in hell sensibly like and respectfully that we're doing that okay i might have a joke and parade and stuff i find people attractive now you know if i find someone attractive i'm gonna come for you yeah, yeah. because i i ain't letting that short because i you know life's too short to be around unattractive people right you bro he also tolerates you come on this Yo, is, this is, this the, is the whole reason at. why I know you guys like come at me and whatnot. The whole reason why I came around Mel's platform is because she is fucking attractive. That don't mean and I, I want to fuck her. Jesus oh. Christ, stop. She usually like, is, but tonight, nah, she I just get, like to see her. Bow I'm like, no, she's got vocabulary. She's like, intelligent. She's a no, woman. No, like, yeah. God damn. So she, 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 she is a testimony. She's she a is a testimony. She is yes, women, a, like a woman nah. excellence. Yes. You can't test Mel. What? She's I no one. She is. Yeah, she's she is like a legit woman, and she's beautiful and Thank funny. Thank you. And wonderful. Yes. Yes. Don't mean I want to bust her down or something. I get real fucking Both like time. when yes. everyone turns yes. around and starts going, Both. "Oh, Both you know, this is all Both. sexual." Just no, it's not. Time. What you can't just go, "Okay, someone's good," and we yeah. need this in our life. Like for mm. real, because most of these chicks online are ugly as motherfucker. Oh. Like they, uh, they don't even want to come up. They they fat. They egregious. That's like no, for real. Like when you actually get down to it, no, you, you know it is. Oh, yeah. so, for oh, real, shit. like for real. I've been in backdoor conversations. With all, they got a loud mouth. They want to run their fucking like game and like get cash apps and all this shit. And they're they're weird as fuck. They stay they stay in the house. <laughs> And you know they're fat as hell. They're talking about going to the gym, but they never do. Okay, like no. Okay, I, I recognize a real woman. Mel, yes. it's a real woman. I can see that shit right off the bat. Me you too. Get Thank you very yes. much, Crispy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Thank don't you. when when I say yo, Crispy, hit me up. This is my email. She, I mean, I mm -hmm. mean, I, I, I am playing. She's a real woman, but she's like a tiny version. <laughs> She what's wrong with that? Wait, 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 what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? She's four foot eleven. Very Listen, what woman wants a dude that's taller than you know what not? Do you get what I'm saying? It's like women like to be handled in a certain type of way. So it's like if she's tiny, 
are, are you trying to tell me that you know something that I don't? Because you're you're being like specific right here. She, he, he's going like, he, oh yeah, uh, yeah, I clocked that. You you think I didn't clock it? You're being very, like, you're being very Smurfette. specific. She's like Smurfette uh, with a black Oh, oh okay. Well, you met her? Did yeah. you go to the park or some shit like that? No, you have a picnic? Oh, 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 No, Simon, I am four foot 11. I'm sat on this chair and my feet don't touch the ground. Yeah, I'm her feet got... dangle. Her feet it's dangle. dangle. <laughs> that's that's, that's yeah. hella cute. That's cute. It is cute. I mean, it's hard to see her, but it, she doesn't hide it. Yeah, no, I don't hide it. She's voluptuous. Think, I am voluptuous. Yes, that's a good word. Yes, I think so too. And it's I'm not. I'm not skinny. Her. I have form. Four syllables. Yeah. And I cam up too. But now I'm oh, terrified oh, to cam oh, up. Really? Oh, right. All right. <laughs> competition. Uh, oh, competition. There. Yo, I'm yeah. a teacher. You don't oh, want to do yeah, that yeah. shit right now. I'm not gonna. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna try and compete with Mel. Well, are please, you please, please, <laughs> please. The model says the the, the, the model, the bra model, wonder bra model, Simon. <laughs> this is a wonder bra model that you're speaking to. Oh mm -hmm. lord, you could yeah. be a wonder ball. Like I'm wondering how. Look at you, girl. I, you yeah, are, I'm a bit old to be a model. Me too. <laughs> I retired years ago. Like seriously, at 28, I was too old to be a model. Mel just plays one on YouTube. Uh, you know, after a Wonder Bra model is always going to be a Wonder Bra model, regardless. It's just who you're in touch with and what your agent like. Like Kate Moss is still fucking Kate Moss. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Fact. That is I a know, fact. Yeah, exactly. So what? Like, I don't know what these people are talking about. If you've ever done and ever accomplished anything, don't ever let that detract anything from any like any of your thought processes because it's it's just a matter of a moment. And you know yeah. that when you're in the entertainment industry, that's how that's how it rocks. Like, yeah. I can literally rock up as an actor tomorrow and be your best star, like in two days if I wanted to, but I choose yeah. not to. Exactly. I choose not to. Got that game. No, I mean, Crispy mm -hmm. was a proper model. I modeled contact lenses. <laughs> Crispy was yeah. a That's a good one. I did too. <laughs> I was a proper model. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Mel. Oh, you have yeah. like a very beautiful oh, record. Like mm -hmm. a red no, like I'll pull up some photos because I've pulled them up before with Crispy. You not talk amongst yourself because it might take me a while to. But yeah, if, I'll see if I, I can... don't look too shabby, do I, Crispy? Oh my gosh, you look amazing! Absolutely I, amazing. Yeah, I don't look too shabby. You I remember. Oh God, the shabby is not a word that I would think of when I look at you. Come on. Right. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's also, it's also the mind. Like I don't know. It's hard to meet anyone who actually talks like this. Like like to meet women who talk like openly and talk about fucked up sub subjects and just like conspiracies or just anything like deep deep subjects is like yeah fucking so far and a few between. Like, you're right. Just, and you're right. some of these people that are just warping. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally oh 100% gosh. correct. The thing is, it's like, um, we, you know, as I said, it's like for like you pick and choose. Now, the, the thing is, it's like when you're in certain situations, you can't appreciate it as much as you understand it. So, like, when you're rocking with certain people, like, you'll take that for granted for no apparent reason because it's like you don't really, and, until like there comes a moment where it makes you actually realize, oh, oh, shit, like this, this is like for real, like. That's the only point where you go, oh, actually, I put myself in this position for a reason. So that means whatever you're valuing, you were worth that value in the same place. And that's how you link to that person. And that's why I say, look, I came from Mel. Like, I saw her platform. This is YouTube, okay? But I saw her and I was like, yo, this chick's banging. Now, that's not a sexual thing. It's not like, oh, yeah, I found her. Blah, blah, blah. I'm playing the simp card again. The simp that's card. not simping. That's not simping. That's just realizing <laughs> who you are, bro. It, 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 this is original simping. Look, yeah, if I want to play don't golf know. with you, that's if I wanna, not simping. If I want to no, play golf, have you ever, have you ever, have you, have you, play, have you ever played golf? Have you ever been on a golf course? You know how that works? Mini golf. I played mini golf. Oh, stop. Mini right, golf. Right. Yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. All right, cool. <laughs> And I played marbles. All right, yeah. all right, whatever. Uh, well, all right, all right, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I golf. 
No, me and Simon, we understand each other. We don't always agree, but we, there's a there's a mutual respect there for each other. Um, we don't always agree on everything that happens on panels, but there's still a mutual respect, right, Simon? Yeah, of course. I have total respect for you. And, 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 ever, and like, why? If I ever, if I, yeah, if I ever done anything, just tell me and I'll be like, yo, I'm going to backtrack on that. But I, I'm, a, I'm a free spirit, so... You know, I'm gonna say certain things. Not everyone's gonna agree with it, but mm. it's what it is. You know, crispy stuff. Yeah, I, I I'm not everybody's. <laughs> I can I, tell. Don't even play with me. Like I can tell. I'm, don't. I'm not everybody's cup of tea either. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You know what's going on right here. Yeah. So but as I, I don't, said, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. What's going okay. on? Okay. All right. Yeah. Don't play. All right. Cool. I was play just looking want. at. I was looking at that chipmunk up there and thinking, like, <laughs> look at he's got like a little hat. Look at he's got. I'm like gonna a go little mute. He's got a little thug smile. Hmm. Very it's cute. Like, it's like I don't, care. I don't care. Like, what the fuck the are you guys? Yeah, it's got, it's got all expressions into one. <gasps> Look at Mel. Not like this. <laughs> oh it's just God. a couple of pictures. Um, obviously these are not very realistic contact lenses. Um, but wow. Oh, that looks oh, so no pretty. Do you have those oh. lenses? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've I've had those lenses. Um, Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Yes. That last one. Yeah, yes. this one. I've, se I've seen that before. It's, it's me. That's why you've seen no, it before. That's you. I, yeah, I've seen <laughs> yeah. that before. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wow. That's you. Wow. Damn. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn. Look at Mel. <laughs> and and I, I just did a, a couple because I used to do just like the um, mm -mm. these selfies. That was for their Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. Stop playing so, this. <laughs> You want to stop this <laughs> for real? Oh boy, okay. yeah, this um, is an exclusive. Like, god damn, or is this not? I don't know. I mean, is but, this yeah. what? Mel is, is crispy there, right? She's mm -mm. Crispy, this picture. Right. Yeah. So th those were for the Facebook pages for their Facebook page, and then there was a couple that were used for other stuff, like this one. This one. Yeah. You remind me of somebody, and I can't think who it is. It's like a cross between um. Oh, um, what's the girl? Um, Amy Winehouse and someone else. Right. And Lady Gaga. I and get Lady Gaga. Yeah, it? yeah. Okay. Lady Gaga. Fuck! Oh, I didn't want to hear that. I did. I did want to hear Amy Winehouse, but I didn't want to hear a uh, Lady Gaga on the. Other. Is that Madonna look like you guys? No, we gotta, we gotta think of something else than than Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. Like Amy Winehouse on one side. Yeah, I totally right. saw that. Mm -hmm. um, right. Uh, um. And then what? What did um? What did Amy say? Um, um, try to make me go to rehab, and I say, no, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and and she didn't go to yeah, rehab, and what happened? happened? I mean, yeah. look, I Jesus mean, she did rehab and then died. Can That's we get a new uh, conspiracy theory going on that? Um, oh, no, it's not Amy Winehouse. Did you know just did pretend to die? And oh no, oh, no, no, and no, 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 wait, wait, just, hold, look, bro, like for real, arose, she just arose as Mel and Pandora on the internet. Oh, yeah, she I know her friend. parents, bro. Stop that. Shit. <laughs> okay, I, okay, no, no, don't do that. Yeah, let oh, uh, we gotta be respectful. Wow, went, I no, Mel, Mel's got better up. curve, Mel's got way better curve than uh, <laughs> god damn. Like, you gotta be real careful when you talk sometimes. Like, I'm a patron of the Amy Winehouse Foundation. Like, you gotta be real careful when you're yeah, talking about I don't certain think things. Anybody, I don't think they meant any, he meant anything by it, honey. I think I know, I know, like, that's why I don't yeah. get involved like that. I just I stay silent. Yeah, but you know, yeah. it is what it is, and I still like right. you, Christy. Just remember well, thank that you. one. I like you too. You, you ain't emailed me yet. Like, I, I sent well, my email in the back. I'm talking to you, so I didn't know I needed to email you right now. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, I'll email you and say hello. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but Christy is, hello. Is, is, Christy is a treat. Hello, ex model. Once you're a model, you're always a model. She's a treat. 
So I never, listen, I I honestly of course. I never told anybody. Um, I used to not tell anybody ever because I never wanted anybody to ever know. But now that I'm older, I thought like I should be proud of all the stuff that I did because I did do a lot of stuff and um and yeah, getting measured and all that I shit is a it, lot. It, not easy. No, it like, isn't. And I worked for since I was seven years old. So I they would literally measure me in a cafe like before an audition like oh what's your arm length what's your leg length what's your what's your height what's your you know um yeah. what's your head oh you you because they they had other pr companies involved that mm -hmm. would provide you with all the clothing all that they had to cooperate with them that's like a 10 minute 10 minute sort of like conversation and then you just roll into the um the set and you you didn't even know what was going on although you auditioned no. like god damn yeah it's a lot isn't it and then you would show up with um you'd show up and then you, the rejection you would get rejected so, so many times you know you'd show up at for an audition and it would be just you know hundreds of girls for one part and so you got turned down more than you than you um were hired so it took a long long time for me to get regular work where i could actually and, live and off of you know i got is, that i landed some campaigns that i got every single year and um i was able to you know not have other jobs while i was um, have you have you ever been to such a thing uh, to through such a thing uh simon that that you were there with a hundred uh, applicants and that you would get rejected more than you would. Yeah. Yeah. yeah how, how often? How often? That was like 99% of the time. Um, you know, you don't, you, people really don't understand what it takes to actually make a mark. Like, you know, I was fortunate mm -hmm. enough to, um, you know, actually be signed and be paid. To actually yeah. do stuff and understand what that means, like get involved with lawyers during a deal, tour, do publishing, actually mm -hmm. run a record label, like deal with artists, sign them. Like, yo, it takes a lot. But that first mark, artists, wow. you're you've got a crazy. Record. What? What? Yeah, I've got, I, I, I've got a history. Uh -huh. You can literally go on Spotify and go, Mr. Hectic, I'm there. I didn't. I never. I'm not interested in whatever you produce, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't play with me. I didn't have a record label or anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I, like I, had, I had multiple record labels, and I signed a lot of artists like Estelle. Oh. Sade, I was working with Sade. Um, you know, like, people that literally came around my house, I was literally surprised. My 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 my, my uh, sister headlocked Estelle. <laughs> Oh, dude, I like oh, it. Wow. I like the way, I like the way because, this is yeah. because like my my sister didn't like the girls that were in my life. So when I brought her around my sister's house, she was intimidated and she was like, "You're not playing my my brother." <laughs> oh wow, well, yeah. You know what? I was all um my um people's family always liked me. Um, I, I never had any problems with anybody that I dated, their family, their moms. and their, I still get Christmas cards from two ex-boyfriends' moms. I still get a Christmas card from them and a birthday card for them every, from them every year, which is so nice. But, um, yeah, I always got along really well with the families, with anyone's family. But, yeah, um, with, uh, when I was a kid, um, I just did... Um, my older sister was pretty successful, but then I was I was a little kid and I just wanted to do what she did or whatever. So I did like some fashion shows and stuff when I was little. But then what happened was I grew tall. So when I got tall, I mean that's and that's what what ended up happening is that I was five nine, and so then I just was able to work a lot because of my height. Yeah. So, but it, um, it took a long time for me to get regular work. I did a lot of, a lot of embarrassing jobs and jobs that I didn't get paid very well or didn't get paid at all sometimes. And then I, um, I just, just, I mean, I, I always said yes, no matter what the job well, not what the job, but like my it, whatever my agent called me for, I always would tell her yes, and I would do it. So I did a lot of 
you know, shitty Christ. work. <laughs> and then hang on, hang on, one second. Him. Infamous, one second. Sorry, I should write. Sure. I'm sure you heard, I'm sure you caught wind of Miss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I caught wind of that. Thing is, like, in regards, and I don't like to speak badly about anyone, but in regards to that person, she was close to me and then she started attacking my panel guests and I decided to take away her wrench because, in my opinion, when you, you're the wrench's jobs, one of the wrench's jobs was to is to make people feel welcome in chat and in panel. And if you don't like a person in chat or in panel, then you just leave kind of thing. Yeah. And when I took away her wrench, well, I saw a very ugly side to her that I really surprised me. So, yes, I saw what happened to her channel. I'm not surprised, um, but I'm just like, I, I, I gave her my love. I extended my courtesy. She did something that I didn't like to my to my channel. I, re I removed her wrench, and then it was the end of the world. And and uh, I don't play like that. Yeah, wrench I agree. I was just are, saying that are... earlier about to about um, earlier. I think today or yesterday, I was talking about that because when you are when you accept a wrench from somebody. You should welcome people. You should try and pay attention to the chat so you can link whatever it is that the um, person is talking about. And you should thank people for coming in. But you should be friendly and you should, your representation of well, that channel, you should try that to be it's usually, respectful. I, I, I would totally courteous. agree with that, with that perception of, of being ranched, uh, like, like you described it there, uh, Crispy Treat. And, and like you said, but um that's not always how it goes with wrenches you know no. rent, if you give somebody a wrench you actually show your trust mm -hmm. yeah, so show, show your trust yeah. like uh, I have a million wrenches but and um... and, and, and some people <coughs> use wrenches for for putting out links and some people use wrenches for um timing out people and, I don't do that. I don't and, time out. No, but, but but this is this is actually what what it's about, you know. Mm -hmm. you should, so you shouldn't give everybody wrenches, and yeah, you no, know, and, and some but there's some people who don't even want a wrench that that you will wrench, and they don't even want a wrench. Yeah, totally. I don't even want a wrench. Like so many times I've gotten, or like like maybe five times I've gotten wrenches, and I don't even want one. And yeah, like, I'm like, can, you can decline. That's because you're such a nice guy, you know. Well, everybody, well, yeah. everybody trusts you. But yeah. it's happened like two or three times where I'm like listening to a podcast in my yard, and then I look at my phone, and it's like I blocked somebody, and I'm like, I don't even know how to fucking block somebody. I pull my phone oh. out of my <laughs> pocket, and I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even know see, what that's, the that, see. That's how much of a nice guy you are. So that's why everybody wants to wrench you. Like, yeah, oh, but no, sometimes nice guys, like I, I, trust, I trust this guy. I trust. This I guy. Do, I don't ever um I don't block people or time people out. I feel like there's always somebody that is um beats me to that anyway. But so I try and be the nice. I just try and be nice and welcoming, and be like a you know thank them and just try and link stuff. But I'm not though. I'm not really. I I don't know what's offensive. My mouth is already offensive. I think so. <laughs> I can't, I'm not a good. No, guy. no, it, no. It wasn't that crispy because it, it it's the fact that if like boy said, if I trust you, bearing in mind this is a relatively new channel. Now it's six months old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, and I've always said that everybody that comes up on panel makes the channel. This is, and I've said it right at the beginning. This is not about me. This is about the people that are in the chat, the people that are on the panel. Yeah. And, and so my expectations, and I do tell them before I give them a reg, is treat the, you know, the blocking and the timing out. That's the last thing. Yes. It's all about engaging with the chat, especially the shy ones, engaging with the panel. And, and, and the wrenches are important because they, they represent your channel, right? So mm -hmm. if you, and I've said to the wrenches before, if you don't like one of my panel guests or anyone in chat, um, obviously they can't block them because as a wrench, they'll block them from everywhere. Just leave the chat. Right. Leave the right. chat. Come back yeah. when that person's gone. What I don't expect is there was two of them. Two of them went hard at one of my favorite peoples, right? Oh, yeah, that's I yeah, remember that's, you telling me about this. Mm 
-hmm. that's the thing that happens right when you wrench too many people or you know you're not being too careful about it that's what happens yeah. well no i thought i could trust them void because i do have a lot of wrenches but that's because i am very well aware that i come on very late in the us and most people are sleeping so i've got a lot of wrenches because of the time that i'm on right and um and i'm sorry and i told them to stop and they wouldn't stop so i removed both their wrenches and then i got fucking attacked brutally in my messages and when i say brutal i mean it was a shock to me it was fucked up and then i was like right you've just shown me your personality obviously yeah. i didn't know you that well so bye yeah, now that's, I know, that's yeah. crazy i've never i've never seen anything like that that's crazy oh i've got attacked go brutal um crispy like that. And I'm, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna have drink. your channel taken down for what reason? Well, I for don't know. What? Yeah, yeah, just because I removed this wrench. You're you're this, that, and the other. You're, it was horrible. Yeah. So I just, but this is this is how how uh, hyped up people can get about about mm. this wrench status. Yeah, right? it's not. It, it's, yeah, you don't. It's, it's not, not a big, that big thing. deal. Yeah, it's, it's really not, not that big of a deal. Exactly right. It's not that big of a deal, and it's but it's fun if you get it. But you know, if you don't get it, I mean, you can be part of the of the whole chat, you know, in the same manner. You know, it's yeah. It's not but it's off putting when you go into a chat and the mods um don't greet you or they're kind of rude. Right, to you. I agree. I mean, there's a couple exactly. of chats that I go into and I think that about the mods who used to be kind of nice to me, but they're just not now for whatever reason. Yeah, like Mel said, the, the mods should be acknowledging of and I, especially yeah. of new people or and I'm nice to everybody, you know. And so I, I and I do kind of get a little offended by that because no, well know. this is it. I've gone into chats where I've gone, hi, whoever the creator is. Yeah. I always say hi creator chat in mods. Yeah. Now when the mods can't be asked, especially if I'm new to the chat to greet me i'm not going to go back to that chat yeah, yeah that's uh, you know what that's i'm weird. i'm kind of, i'm it's not that i won't go back but because because i i'm in there for the creator so i just if the creator has chosen them then i try very hard to get along with them and respect them but i always come in and say you know hi to the creator and then i say hi and i say hi chat and hi you know and the those girls do not say hi, hi back or whatever, but I'll try and make jokes and stuff. And they, I mean, it'll be three or four times before they will acknowledge me. Like I try and kill them with kindness. It's like, I'm going, you're going to say something back to me. I prompt. like, I just keep messaging them until they finally acknowledge me. But that is off putting. I think it's just very rude and it's not, not a good look for the creator. I don't understand why people um, choose some of the people that they do. I, I just don't understand it. However, like I also am not like when I, I mean, there are some mods that are or some chats where it's serious and I have to really, really pay attention. I mean, I'm in, um, I'm a mod for some really big creators where the chat's just flying and it's, and I mean, it's nonstop, but, um, I'm not a, um, I feel like there's not enough people that that greet and and thank people for coming in and being you know nice yeah. to them at, because I think there's a plenty of them to block and time out and stuff. Yeah. I think that's very that's a big deal to do um, because it's not my chat, so I would never block somebody because it's not my that's not my chat. I would never want um, anybody to lose a subscriber because I made a you know, a judgment call. I, I don't know. So I just don't ever really do that unless it's something crazy, you know, obviously if it's something no, but crazy, it, it, I will. Like crispy, even with large creators who have got thousands of like where the chat is going yeah. crazy, right? Yeah. Then you get more mods because you, you're still, you know, I remember the last community that I was in and um, a lot of the time they used to feel neglected by the creator. Um mm -hmm. And so there used to sometimes be like a, well, quite a lot, a disconnect between the creator and, and the chat. And look, I'm not telling people how to run their channels. They could do whatever the fuck they but want. Your mod should Personally help fill me. that in. Your mod should help. Yeah. Yeah. It should help that. If you're a busy as a creator, your mod should be able to kind of. Yeah, exactly that. Mm -hmm. Right. 
it, yeah. the, the mods should like in, like because the mods are just as important as the panelists and the creator and whoever you know they I agree and I've been whenever I've been a mod especially I, I've been invested in in that channel I, so I, I take it like oh this person's trusted me with a wrench when I'm in there let me try and do the best I can yeah. um no I know I, I've, got, I've got too many of them now and I shouldn't I shouldn't have accepted so many because now I, there's just there's so many there's no way I could get to all of those those places but I I am a person that just wanders around the internet I don't really belong anywhere you know so I just I mean I'm I'm just everywhere I'm in a, a bunch of different communities not I mean, just this community that's why I I hear what you're saying. That's why I don't. That's why I don't appreciate the word community because the truth why community. Or I mean, there's no such thing. I never. I never felt that it was a thing to begin with. I mean, oh, we're all. I think there is. I think there's there. There is, but the circles overlap. They do overlap. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, yeah, I but spend so, more... so therefore, I think that the word community to use there is a wrong thing. It's yeah, more. Like? I, yeah. I think the right word to use there is ally, ally, ally. Right? We're allies, mm -hmm. and and because we're not, we're moving in a similar direction, but mm -hmm. not necessarily the same yeah. direction. Right. I think it's just a way to um, describe um, the, <laughs> the yeah. people. That's all. I don't. Yeah. It, you know what I mean? I think that's um, that's it's just that that's just yeah, but. The, the words that are being social juniors. Yeah, just an adjective to describe, yeah. you know, the people out there, you know? I no, guess. no, but that person who I was talking about, she decided to take on the wrong creator and she got her channel, she's gone. Oh, yeah. see? Yeah, karma. she took on the wrong creator. You see, because I'm the kind of girl, if somebody is attacking me or is hurting me, or I just block, move on, I ignore it. But yeah. there's some people that won't do that. And she just took no, on the wrong person. they want to engage in the arguments, you know. And yeah, I, yeah, I don't ever, I, I don't let anybody get me that riled up, you know, where I, where I want to get into but arguments. You, and I leave if I, I don't want to distract the chat either. Yeah, but if, if, if one does not have anything else to go on else but, um, but the drama, they will go on to the drama. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of people that are really addicted to the drama. I think yeah. that. Yeah, they really like that. And I know this one. Probably girl, because they don't have an internal conversation. How do you call right. this? Yeah. I, yeah, they don't have much going on in their own lives, maybe. But mm -hmm. I also, there's this one girl I was on um, when she first started her channel. She modded me, right? Well, she modded a few, a few other different, different <laughs> people. And her channel um, kind of blew up, right? Well, this one lady was so jealous. She had had a channel. Her and her husband both did, but she had had her own channel, and it really was kind of just stagnant, right? And when um, <laughs> her, when this other girl, her channel blew up, this lady, she was going in this girl's chat and um and blocking people when it was off stream, so nobody was seeing it. That's um, happened to me too, Crispy, when I first started his channel. Yeah, and nobody was seeing it. So this other girl, she was like, where is everybody? Like, she just, uh, I mean, she just kept saying it every every night. She was like, where did everybody go? I feel like, is, is there something going on? Is, are people? She couldn't figure it out because she had had those same regulars every single night that were coming. And we had built up, like, a really nice little, kind of a little family over there, you know? And little by little, I mean, everybody was gone. So um, she just couldn't figure it out. And then um, finally, I don't know who, like, what happened or how she found out. But she found out, all right. And, man, she was mad. And it ruined her channel. It never, it never, um, it, it never came back. The people that left thought that um, she was mad. They were mad that she um did that and by the time she figured it out these people had moved on and had joined a like a kind of their her enemy basically 
And so they never came back in that chance and her channel, she still has one, but it's not, she never goes live and it's just, <laughs> it's nothing like it once was. It once was. A oh really no. Nice yeah. I get that. Group. Being, it happened to me in stone on the same night. Yeah. Oh and yeah. You said it, that. It was, yeah, it was a rogue mods and we, I went into stone's chat. It's like, where the fuck is everybody? Like, you know, all the top chatters. Yeah, yeah. And I, was, and I was and I was like, huh? Where is it? And yeah. then we figured it out really fucking quickly that because I asked him to check his block list. Then we came here for the after party, and exactly the same thing happened. And I was like, and we shared some mods together. So obviously we blocked oh. the shared mods. See, and, that uh, was really smart of you guys. Um, that where you were able to figure it out just on that one night. It took this yeah. girl like a month. No, yeah. we figured it yes. out pretty much straight away. I mean, we never even heard of such a thing. You know what I mean? It was just like the last thing in the world we would have ever even thought. I, I don't even think we realized that you could do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've ne uh, I never went to a chat and tried to like um, block somebody yeah, after the stream was chat. over. No, as, as a moderator with a ranch, you can go back to any prior yeah. live stream and go through the live chat and block people. And, and I, check, I check my block list frequently. And if yeah. I... And if I see someone in there that I don't want to be in there, and if this is not going against my mods, because I understand that sometimes people get out of line, but I will give people second, third, and fourth chances to, and I'll unblock them. Um, yeah. They might just have had like a bad night and said something crazy. And yeah. so, yeah, you can unblock them. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, you know. And I do check my block list very often because I know that I've got, I have got a lot of mods. But like I said, that's because of the time that I'm on. Sometimes the chat will go for hours with no mods in it. Yeah. Even though yeah. I've got a lot of mods. Right. Because of the hour that you come on. Hour, yeah. 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 And I listen from the time I um, first started to come over here, your mods were always really delightful to me. They've always been so nice to me and everyone's always welcomed me and they've all been just as sweet as they could be. So I immediately felt comfortable over here. Like a lot of times it'll take me, it takes me forever to get on a panel. Like, I mean, I know that, I, I mean, I'm not shy or anything, but it takes a long time for me to feel comfortable getting up on a panel. And I felt very comfortable in your chat to come up there you know you guys were always so nice to me you always said hello and as a matter of fact i invite people to your oh, chat all the time you. because what? i think that like even though it's an odd hour and stuff i always tell my my friends i'm in like a bunch of different little you know groups and stuff and I always tell them to come over here if they're yeah, awake at this time or whatever, because I always think that my friends would really enjoy it. And, um, you know, and I've done the same with, with easy as well, because, you know, I, and even though he's on at the same time, mostly, but, um, if they, if he's covering like a topic that I think they will, you know, enjoy or whatever, your topics are more universal where, um, easy's mostly are are um you know he's got a specific no he, he calls out the bad creators so fair play right. to him because someone's got to do it right. i i haven't got the stomach for it the one or two times i've done i've called out people and done the drama it's made me physically ill i don't know yeah like it. it's not for everybody and i yeah. i had a i had a really difficult time ever um saying anything i never wanted to say anything about about anybody that would, you know, that would bother them where they would then, you know, attack me or whatever. But there was, you know, there, there was such a problematic person in that community. And I, I'll tell you what I, we were, I, I just felt so defeated in that community just because it seemed like this person just got away with murder and nobody would say anything at all, you know? And then when Easy started to come around, I was so grateful that he came around and was reviewing these people. And I thought, I hope to God that, you know, they, that these people don't get, get to him privately and then win him over and manipulate him, you know, and they sure as hell tried. They really did. They tried very hard to do so. And, um, I, and at one point I remember thinking like, oh, I mean, I was so mad. I'm like, oh, this is great. Like they've, you know, this, this woman has 
has won him over. This is futile, you know, and um, and no, he made up his mind and, you know, and saw what I had, what I was seeing, what a lot of us were seeing, but nobody ever would say anything or in the ones that did say stuff. I mean, it just wasn't, um, I, I mean, nobody really cared, you know, um, Constance would say things, you know, and people would attack her and it would just be little old me, you know, and I'd be, I, I hated how they, people treated her and all she was doing was just showing people, she was great with receipts, but she would show some of the bad behavior because it's so strange to me that these people would do something or say something and then get up on their stream the next day and say, that didn't happen. Nope. I didn't say that. That's a lie. And she would always come back, come up and be like, here it is. And, you know, she'd have the clip ready to go or whatever. And that was to me, I thought, oh, my God, that is so brave. <laughs> but I thought that was great, you know, that she she was ready to go for him. However, it just, you know, nobody seemed to really care. But when Easy came along, I think that um, that there was enough people that were seeing and he would and he was doing it often enough where he was playing the things that were happening and people were starting to see what was going on because not everybody sees everything that somebody does you know and so now he's got he's built himself a very nice community yeah and, no i love easy's community i yeah. mean they make you feel so welcome Yes. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's mods or not mods. Um, and, and you're right, it's really important to have, I mean, whichever type of creator you are, I mean, I give hats off to those who call out bad bad, bad behavior because they yes. tend to be clapped back and I don't, I couldn't handle that. So yeah. I, I, I give credit to those who call out bad creators. Absolutely. Well done, you know. Right. Um, but when you or also when you've got a, like you do those kind of things, you also have to expect the fucking like the trolls to come in, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Don't so feed uh, the trolls. <laughs> yeah. So, so and, and I, I love the way Easy does it, and his community does it. To be fair, because mm -hmm. where's I can't stand trolls. I it make, like I said, it upsets. Uh, when I'm upset, it goes to my belly. Yeah, so I know I you get a, yeah. like a sick stomach when yeah when yeah. you have problems like that. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, I think he, yeah, and it, I'll tell you, he's really um, stood by, st you know, he has kept his word on that, on on a lot of this stuff, and you cannot talk him into, um, it, you know, you can't talk him out of it either, you know, he's really, like, he stands his ground on these things, which, um, that's also different, because there's not been anybody that, um, these people were, ha are, have, have fake fights you know where they just are horrible to one another and they'll be that way to each other for a year and the whole time that you're supporting that creator you have no idea that in the background they are actually friends with that person and they're doing this to this fake fighting you know to um to just you know uh, get... I, easy i've sent you a message in discord because i think you've misunderstood Sorry, Crispy, carry on. I had That's to okay. Just to stick, you know, they to just, um, you know, they have these fake arguments with one another and um, just to like uh, to get the crowd going and to, you know, make more money or whatever. And people will really, you know, kind of hate bond and get behind one or the other. And the whole time these people are friends with one another. It's so disingenuous. And it just makes, to me, I think it just makes you feel like a complete fool that you believed somebody this entire time when, you know, the whole thing was just a big, you know, a joke behind your back, basically. I I just, I thought that was, that was all just, I, I hated all of it. So um, now we have completely different approaches on things. So like where, I mean, I know it drives him absolutely nuts I think because I tend to be um a person that I try real hard to understand what the other person I try to hear what the other person is saying and what they how they feel about something and what they're thinking and I really try and understand that person you know um where uh I I think that like 
I guess like he thinks I think he thinks that I'm probably um being manipulated or being like an enabler, you know, like where I just want to hear what that that person is. I don't know. It, it, that's just maybe the woman in me. Just a, a that's just how I am. Where I really try not to judge somebody, and I really want to understand where they're coming from. And I feel like when you are arguing with somebody, it's not your. I I feel like the objective is not to win the argument, but the objective should be that you are heard and understood the, and the I'm other the, person is heard and understood. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, that's just yeah. how I am. But, you know, certainly these people have said and said and um, done things that you, you can't and so, understand. But and this is, but this are is unforgivable. What, no, mm -hmm. but this is what you supersede in, right? And you understand more people than, uh, than, well, not than anybody else, but then, you know, regular people understand people. Mm -hmm. Because hey, you, hi. hello, darling. You're you oh, don't Christy, even, your boyfriend's here. Oh, Christy, Christy, <laughs> you're, you don't even have to try. It comes naturally to you. You know, you well, understand people. Um, I no, I mean, I just, no, I sometimes I don't understand like what in the world they're no, thinking but, but or whatever. Still, but, but still, you you will be able to to make them believe or feel that you understand them. And so that, I, that, uh, that, I think that's one of your biggest talents. To be honest. Well, thank you. I appreciate that very much, but I do try and, um, I do want to know like what, how, why they said the things they said or did the things they did. And, and I always am hopeful that, <clears throat> that, that they will eventually I mean, maybe just try and better themselves where they won't be that way anymore. You know, like maybe they've learned. I've learned. I mean, I've learned. Um, well, one of, I've, one I've, of, I've grown. One of, I've grown and learned over the years on the internet. I've been here for like fourteen years or something. I, you know, I I've learned. I I've made mistakes on the internet that I have not, you know, repeated, and I hope that sometimes somebody instead of getting mad and lashing out maybe if they um um i don't know if if i if you could explain to them be better sweet, you know cute together you know yeah what's that we're all just going to be sweet and cute together and no but no i don't think you like that but i think that maybe um you i think you could um improve how you treat other people and what you say yeah. about other people and how you how you handle people on the internet that it's not just a nameless faceless person that the things that you say really can affect them and and you know no. hurt them and um i don't know and i think just like i come from true crime so especially in true crime because i used to i i think i used to um just put whatever i wanted to like what you know in my opinion that's how you got to us that's yeah. how she got to us yeah you know, i used to be in true crime so you know. are true crime i am true crime she is true oh. crime I, no, I used that. to be in the true crime community, then realized that it was just too much for me to handle. Like it wasn't my kind of community. And I yeah, especially if you get stomach aches when you mm. <laughs> when yeah. when people are yeah. Well, um, I think that like I learned um I learned years ago that um there just because I I did talk to families of of um of victims and so i learned a long time ago that these people actually do read these comments and i would never want a family that's going through the worst time of their life to right. to actually read something that i said that was disrespectful in any way so i mean i worked on trying to be um and trying to be aware of that and not I'll not put anything in a chat that a family member could read and be, you know, yeah. just be that, sick, that, you know, over it. That, Christy, that, someone's that, trying to get your attention in chat. Oh, okay. I'll see. It's, on, it's, on, on, it's, it's on the screen. That, means, that, okay. just, that means that you're very, um, how do you say, uh, how would I say that? Uh, Empathetic. Meta, well, well yeah. yeah, meta aware. 
meta-aware, and I'm, I'm not uh, trying to uh, address the meta first, but meta-aware. Oh, know? yeah. So, Crispy, you said you've been here for 14 years? Like, I think 14 or 15, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah, uh, I've been here a long time. Last well, week, I, I've done a year in three months, and last week I was, last week I was thinking about quitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you can. Oh, you good know. luck. Good luck. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was considering quitting, honestly. I was like, I, you do too much for me. I can't handle it. And that's me having like a chill chat and a chill panel. I know. Um, and you know what, you, too? Have you, it's ever, nice have, that you, have you it's, ever been to, through this uh, thing that, that your channel was removed? No, I had a. Oh, um, that's, that's. I mean. You're gonna get some adrenaline rush then, you know. If your channel is removed, they're gonna be like, "What the fuck? I'm not yeah, on YouTube I study, anymore." I, mm. oh, no, I study. I study the. Um, I study the the um, YouTube rules. I study. I study those really well, and so I. I I'm a rule follower in that sense. So I never had that problem, but I did or have a channel. Keep all your material. Save all the hard drive off. I have to just re-upload it. you've been everywhere, but if you if you don't have a YouTube channel removed, you're not in the club yet. Come on. Well, I, listen. I it was removed, but not in the way you think. Um, I had a partner that I used to do um content with, and so she handled a lot of the. I don't know the editing and stuff like that, and then, but um, I um, I we so you we know the to, so you know. Well, she had a late in life. She decided to have a late in life baby, and so she she left, and I just I never found like another partner, or whatever. And my channel was called Partners in Crime. <laughs> I couldn't even change my. <laughs> I couldn't even be by myself, but I I didn't even know if I could do it by myself, you know. I um I wasn't sure, but I had been thinking. I keep thinking I'm gonna um get get it back going. But I also was thinking about doing a channel where I just did interviews and spoke to people, just regular people, you know, not I just anybody and everybody. Ooh, you've got, everybody, you've got a. Don't worry, it's all been sorted. Look, I can't see. Let me see here. It says I'll be your broadcasting partner. Oh, Oh, there you go. <laughs> There'll be, I mean, OTW, he will be your man whore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need somebody that, um, to do like the, I don't know, like I'm not good with the, with I think, the I think he will thumbnails be, and the editing and stuff great like that. Man whore, though, you know? I he used does. to do, I used to be on a radio show, um, for like seven years where Shit. I did radio. And so this to me is, um, very similar to the radio where i'm able to speak but that but that's um i, I don't want to have to do all the um i don't like all the <laughs> i don't like all the i don't know the editing and stuff like that that's i, I can't do all that it's just too uh, much take, yeah i'm not good either i'm not really good like that either well like a full-time job and when you're not really getting paid either like, I mean, this is this is where this is where we get to see if he likes pussy or dick better. You know. <laughs> oh, I, how so? <laughs> did I say that? Yeah, yeah, I said that. Uh, what was that? Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. Like left field. No, we've we've just been like all kinds of stuff. Uh, I, well, we always do. I mean, we had always. We had to, always, we had the last panel. A Tuesday morning, Monday night was about obviously the eclipse, right? Yes. And we spoke about the eclipse for about mm, 20 minutes. And then I swear to God, we there was everything in between, yeah? Subject-wise. And it, there was a point where it was all ladies on panel and there was one guy. And we were talking about cleaning, keeping vagina healthy. And, uh, yeah. and he was like, I can't do it. i got to go. I can't do it. <laughs> Oh my but god. Do you even what, what do you call this one guy? What was his name? Oh, he came in with my <laughs> my friend popped up uh, and she's always really busy. Um uh Electra, DJ Electra, and it was a friend of hers that oh. came up. That uh, he's come up once before, but 
he's a nice guy, an English guy, yeah? And he was sat there as all the ladies were talking about uh, vagina health. And I even had my creams and my potions. Oh, and he's God. Going, I can't oh. do it. Yeah, all your potions I and lotions. I want to switch off now. Creams and potions. Yeah, he was like, I can't do it. I know. And he lived. I know. That's it. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Huh. I, I, it, it, you have you have like a good mixed company. You actually have a lot of men and stuff in your chat. Oh, I'm really but lucky. Most, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of the um, places that I go. Well, I mean, I do go to I go to Easy's and I go to Flow States, I guess. And people say at Flow's that there's a lot of ladies in his chat, you know. Or I mean, yeah, he's got a lot of ladies in the panel or whatever as well. But um. I don't know. I'm trying to think if I have, um, it seems like you've got a good mix. I do have a nice mix. I'm very yeah. happy. I've got an equal and I, mix. Yeah. And I do like, um, you, you know, I'm, I've got, I mean, Chris yeah. Hansen's chat, um, a mod for him and for one of his producers or whatever. And those are, that's all men too. I, yeah, that's a lot that's of men. That's why they say that Flo has a good mix. Uh, they don't say that Flo has a good mix, but they say that, oh, you have a lot of women on your channel. Yeah, but they do. People say that. Oh, oh man, I got, I got, I got, uh, like, he had, he had some crazy yeah. ones on there tonight that, like, were, like, mean. Yeah, but he has a good mix of, of, of I mean, if, if, if it's just about the males and the females, you know, it's a good mm -hmm. mix. Yeah. yeah, it is. And not a lot of um not a lot of people either they have one or the other in yeah. my opinion. They don't seem to yeah. have a whole lot of mixed um groups. Um yeah. Oh, OTW is in the back. Hello my love. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hello. You were getting um you were getting <laughs> shouted out tonight earlier and you missed it. I did. Where? When? Yeah. Here? No, over at Flows. Oh God, no! Yeah, he like sponsored the panel in your name. Oh God, what is he <laughs> yeah, doing? He said, I don't know. He's sending agents over to my channel now, telling everybody that they're gonna steal me away from the Enslavian community, which is well, absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if he sent anybody over there, but he because had sent. It was the freak. I'm telling you, the freak was over on my channel yesterday, and uh, yeah. I was trying to get me to come over to Flow States for some reason. I don't understand why. Yeah, um, but I don't believe that he sent you there. Because, it was because just Flow that State thing. actually well, likes okay. you. Okay, indirectly, no. you know, they were probably having some sort of conversation, and uh, by his own Flow um, State. Flow State actually acknowledges your uh, talent, you know, by this. Yeah, he's not um, hard. Yeah, he's not um, hard about you at all. But, um, you know, yeah, he's well, harder about other people than I've you. I've had with him personally, like on panel, where uh, mm -hmm. he's trying to call me out for things that aren't true. So it's like but that's your isn't that your whole channel? Like, isn't that what it's about? Like that you yeah. guys um, Yeah, holding people accountable to the truth and the uh, and authenticity and um you know like uh that's what, I mean that's faith, why like, uh, rights, freedom, principles, uh and also right. pretty much anything that's out of this world too. That's that's why that's why Flow State appreciates you. You know, he sees that feature in you. He sees that quality. I don't know if I go that far, but um, yeah, but yeah, he does. But he's State not. I'm an idiot. No, no, I don't think yeah, that. Yeah, of course he does because you are. You know, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, keep it quiet. Uh, but, but there's something beyond dictator the dictator of the I mean, Netherlands. The keep the it idiot, quiet. The idiot is not the final. It's not the final stage. You know. Yeah, well, I had gone up there. Oddly enough, I went up there to. Um, I was going to tell him about um, our encounter, and that I like I had met the enemy. You know, the enemy chat, and you, the I was serenaded. Well, that's what you said. You said that. Um, yeah, that I, did. I. Yeah, you did. So, like, then I was going to say that or whatever, and before I had a chance to say it. He like went. He went to go play a clip of you or something, and he was like, "And this chat is sponsored by um OTW or whatever." And I was like, "Oh, before you go any further, that's what I came up to tell you." So I told him that story or whatever, and then he was like, "Oh, you're kidding." Mm -hmm. And then yeah, but then I also met Tarek tonight too. 
Oh God. <laughs> yeah. So, and oh, yeah. he was putting. Eric's um, the biggest simp out here. He's like. He's, well, he was polite to me. I was nice to him, and he, I asked him why. Um, why I, I asked him why everybody had so many, you know, um, bad things to say. Like what, what, what the issue was. He said he didn't know, and that. Um, and well, I told him he that knows. he because he's after every single woman that he can get his freaking metaversal hands on. I don't know how to explain. I it, don't but he's know like, if it's that, but he's kind of he's not very nice to um the ladies that are over there. But he's you know well, it's I don't know nobody like well you know I, I gather it's because the women don't really appreciate Tarek. <laughs> well, I mean he has not done anything to me, so I was polite to him, and he was polite <laughs> back. But then later on, I saw he was putting witchcraft. He was putting spells on me. <laughs> he would put what? spells on me. <laughs> Yeah, like he was. Oh he was doing, yeah, he was um, doing some kind of witchcraft or whatever. I said mm -hmm. I was gonna maybe take a course of antibiotics and get rid of it, whatever the hell kind of <laughs> spell he put on me. But I'm not sure what. Yeah, he was though. He was like putting that kind of stuff in the chat. So I don't know. And wow. then I had somebody else that like was being so like he was so. Um, yeah, he first got in. He first was being mean to somebody else, but then he, then he just took issue with me. He was so mad. I had two people like that. Two people. So they got the boot. Listen, Uncle Fatty <laughs> says he's not a simp. He's a stalker. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. Like you know, I I can't judge people. I have to judge people on how they treat me. You know, so we'll see. So Who's in the back? sorry, I went off to make a cup of coffee. Are um, you making coffee? Like you're turning into a little, like a little American. Is it coffee? Well, it's a now? cappuccino, not like you. Okay. But I accidentally removed the, the the pod from the machine too quickly, and I got oh. splattered with hot milk all over my arm. So, oh, you okay? You know, it'll be fine. But it's going to be like little red dots on my arm everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, but can I ask a question and you can just it's a simple yes no and sure. then I want to be done with this conversation this is for OTW is yes. there any chance that you and Flo could make amends uh, the only way that could happen is if uh, slow state would come correct oh, well. yeah. so that's right. no and I know that's a no no so I guess that's just not going to happen I mean, come correct about what? Like, he's you, didn't you just hear what I was saying before? Like the well, the no, because idea of an this argument. is a, um, a, a kind of like how do I explain this? Um, well, let me explain this: that the point of a argument is not for you to change somebody's mind. It's it's so that um, the other person can understand, has heard you out, and understands your point. And vice versa, but not well, the, so you can try and change The of an mind. argument would be presenting the facts, right? I mean, yeah, but like not per presenting the facts as you see them, presenting your opinion on something. So, I mean, I don't agree with everything that he says. We have a lot of differences of opinion, but, you know, I, it's nothing that I'm going to take issue with because he has a difference of opinion than I do. We don't believe in a lot of the same. I mean, actually, fundamentally, I don't believe that we believe in anything that we have any of the same, the same um, uh, thoughts about things. But um, it doesn't mean I mean, I still like him and stuff. It's not. Yeah, I don't have to have I don't, I don't everything hate the in guy. common. You know, I have I have absolutely if in real life, let's say this guy was like I'd meet him on the street or in in a store or it's like I wouldn't I have nothing against flow state. You know, mm -hmm. it's like Yeah, he's, he's a his, very you know, nice he, guy. Well, nice is the perfect word there. Get it? If you know what nice means, that's it. There you got it. You're, you're right on point. Um and that I I'm not a nice guy. I'm, you know, I have to say it right now. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the truth as I see it, as, as I'll, I'll perceive it. I will call you out if you're a, a liar, bitch. Uh, if you're, if you're a fraud, uh, I will, I will mm -hmm. fucking point it out for sure because well, you know, these, I, I think I that have values, does the I have same ethics, thing. I have uh, things that I conduct myself in my real life, and I try to portray that on the internet. At, you know, it's like whoever Ooh. I am in real life is who I am on the internet. Right, I think and he's I don't the same way. The odd, no, wait, wait, wait. I don't grift off the audience. I don't do things like that flow states do, does to, you know, he charges his audience for things that we come in our own community. We do it for free. So, okay. We do it to have fun with the audience. It's not a good we argument. Don't, we don't use, 
We don't okay, use no, the audience. Okay, you're, I mean, you're constantly explaining yourself. But that's not. Um, no, but can me, we stop the not... conversation? Because to be fair, I really like Flo um, yes. a lot. Now, like I said to everyone before, I don't get involved in people's beef because I like OTW news too. It's, yes. not, it's not my business what happens um, between the both of them. It would have been nice if they could, at one point in the future, moving mm -hmm. forward, you know. But I just wondered how, I, I just think that how somebody runs their channel and what they do with their with their particular chat. I mean, nobody nobody's um, forced to do anything. Like it's it's just a it's a fun thing that you can you can get you throw people off the panel or whatever it is. And if he wants to charge a buck for it or five bucks or whatever, what's it? I don't I I think that when you provide a service for somebody such as um if if a creator is entertaining you i think that you um you should tip them and it's it's not a ton of money or anything i think that however he wants to do that that's fine i think everybody has a right to do um to do that it's up front it's not a grift a grift would be if somebody was doing it um and the the chat or the community wasn't aware of it and he yeah. was somehow ripping them off this is all out in the front out in the open and you and can choose to do it or not you right? know and if you choose to do it it's fun and yeah it is it. so everyone does enjoy it exactly, yeah, right? and OGW. So, praise him praise him for that i i would never want to do that i could never well no i could never do that but as much as uh, a, a 007, you know, needs the money more, he would like to do that, and he needs it more than 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 Taylor does. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't. He's not jealous at him. He just mm -hmm. likes the way he does it. It's just, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I don't. I think that, um, however, somebody wants to um, wants to, you know, his his. Um, memberships are only a dollar. A lot of people, you know, charge a lot more for a membership. He makes it fun. He, he I just, think it's what were okay. you gonna say, Chris? He just, yeah, he no, I, I, I was just gonna say, uh, I just was gonna say it might not be the best argument, uh, of what you're getting at there, OTW, but you already know I agree. We see the same things, but we there's a larger, and, I, you know, panel. what I, yeah, I, there, there's other points right. that you could make, and I agree with, but I, didn't, yeah, I just feel like we yes, might be getting down the I, wrong path. I didn't, so that's all right yeah that's why i didn't really put any emphasis on it you know it's like uh that was like pretty much my personal opinion uh but there are many other factors that come into play you here can agree to disagree just... with somebody right right exactly and i have no issues with that i don't mm -hmm. you know uh, tend to want to fucking you know stretch this out for no you know yeah, no oh, I, I don't, like i'm not I said, trying to make you feel uncomfortable i'm just wondering mm -hmm. i'm just asking questions the, the well, whole because here, thing I find like so, I don't know, it's so retarded. It's like we all have to live. Yeah, have to thank rent. you. Somebody's backing me up, man. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm, like, not, I'm, not, so, I'm not ganging up on you or anything. I hope you don't feel like that. I'm just, I just was, um, I just think that, you know, however someone wants to run a run. I mean, day. everybody's I'm, allowed I'm to like cool, who they cool want. Stuff. It's yeah. like, cool. you know, I like, just cool. have a hard time. So bad if you it's money. not a contest. It's not a contest. Patrick, it's but you see, not, boy, you know I no, like dude, you. No, you, 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 <laughs> you were pointing out the difference, but and we were not talking about. Boy, the, think about it. You we are were talking ten times, about the cons, We were talking about the concept, and you were talking about right. The difference. But I just want to point out, and you're so like ten times worse than slow state. But I actually like you. There's a difference. Yeah, I like you too, dude. But that's, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what makes you different still. Like, why do you, do you guys share subscribers at all? I hope not. Uh, but but yeah, still, same here. you know. <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> but, but still, dude. I mean, why do you miss? What do you misunderstand this in this conference? Why do you make it a personal conversation instead of a conceptual uh, conversation? I agree with you, boy. You know what? You're absolutely right. I yield. You're right. But well, I don't want to make, make, I, I make, make it personal. I made I make I make it personal because at, at a certain particular moment in the lore, uh, it, it became mm -hmm. kind of personal, right? 
in a in a in a in a metaversal way. Okay, like it's I, I don't lose any sleep over this at night, but it, uh, you know when I get on here, uh, there's a lore and it, I tend to follow it. You know. I think so. I think though. I think your your arguments are probably they seem serious, but they probably are not that serious. I think that also, <laughs> like you know, um, the community probably enjoys enjoys like the arguments and and picking a side and stuff like that, right? No, nah, here, here, you know what? I'm gonna break this down very simple for people to understand, right? Uh, you know, you know the expression: um, "Show me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are." Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever heard that expression before? Yes. That's kind of like that's the kind of that's how I am, really. And that's why so I'm not I really to your channel. That's why I'm not sub to her channel. Well, I'm and to your channel. Why, you know, we're, we're we're not necessarily friends either. <laughs> right. So right. It's okay. Um, you see, I fuck with Christos. Christos, I could consider one of my friends. He's he's on the right path. He has the right mind state. Uh, he's fucking, he, he's all there. On the right uh, path he, for what? Truth. Uh, 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 fucking, it's, it, look. Resonating um, principles, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, values, principles, spiritual faith, fucking f freedom. Freedom in this goddamn slavish world that we live in. And and, mm -hmm. and, and beyond that as well. Like uh, the, the truth about all the lies that the, the, this whole fucking system has bent their the, eons indoctrinating us with these fucking lies and eventually it's about time that we break out of them and when i see are people you what who they, just are fucking you from willingly, the a, when they willingly fucking stay asleep right, <coughs> and they do it on purpose and they they, they obfuscate I, I, the truth you, and they fucking you, i mean you i have, a, I have issues there you do understand that you're only complaining about this on the internet yeah, yeah. Exactly. no, I do it in my life. I do it at work. I do it everywhere I walk. I go to my mom's. I talk about it. I talk so, yeah, about it to my daughter. I talk about right? it to everybody that's, I see. That's why, that's There's why no I difference consider, between my real life and my metaversal life, except for the fact that right now I'm speaking a microphone because, and I'm in front because, of a screen. Yeah, because you actually state that you do the same thing in real life as you do on the internet. Absolutely. Yeah, I will hold you accountable in my real life. Segue. You're a fucking that was a good segue. Okay. There's the concept of OTW. I just wanted to say this real quick and then y'all got it. That's where I was trying to hop in earlier and I said, oh, that's not a good argument because you had a good segue right there earlier and you just touched back on it of the concept of the line between on here on these panels on streams and then quote unquote, you're waking uh, real life and, you know, the pros and cons and the dynamic of, you know, is it preferable or not for some people based on the situations and whatnot to blur that line or you know right. to meld them two together and you know that can be good and maybe bad for some other people so yeah i think it entails right. a interesting conversation i agree with you on that, that because that aspect i believe it all depends on whoever's receiving the message at the other end i can even tell you a little story where i was explaining things to my mother and uh, i was telling her about you know nasa and uh, how they they make clouds and stuff she broke down crying and I looked at her and that go, why make, What did you say crying? that NASA makes clouds? Is that what you said? Yeah, they have a cloud machine to make clouds, right? And, yeah, that, um, that part, yeah, that part made me laugh too. Like NASA makes <laughs> clouds. But she, she literally that's cried right. when and I showed her the, 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 the footage. That's what broke your mother down. Like, and then she, she yeah. looks at me. She goes, well, I always thought God made the clouds, right? So I'm like, no, okay, no, there are things, there are, there are things you. that you Thank just you can't tell people. You'll break their paradigm. out Because... Yeah, I heard that part too. Like NASA makes clouds, and then and, and humidity then, oh. doesn't make the clouds. It's NASA. Not yeah, the water yeah, cycle yeah, at all has anything to do down. with. And he goes on after that. He goes on after that, and that's I, I don't like that part either. Uh, so well, thank you. I mean, yeah. I, it's it's I don't know if that's what he thinks or believes. Then I, you know, I no, who no, am it's I? Not I don't. What I, believe. I have no it's what idea. I, I've seen for myself. I mean, I've seen the footage. I've seen mach the machines make the freaking clouds. Well, no, but, but so starting uh, fights I mean, on the internet. I'm not I saying that all the clouds starting, on the planet fights. are made by NASA. I'm okay. just saying, like, they make clouds. Well, that clouds, makes more okay? sense. That's how it right. sounds. That, that's, that's how it saying. sounds. So I'm showing dude. the footage. That's Shut up, boy. I'm showing the footage to my mother, and she's literally breaking down and crying, and then saying, like, how well, come I she was crying? Because she realized that the clouds weren't necessarily all God's work. 
Oh. Okay. Okay. So, so she freaked out and thought that was God's creation and started crying. So that's why it sounds so like I said, you can't say things to people why, about that truthful. That is why it sounds like that's why it sounds like you're making the claim that NASA makes all clouds. Okay, but we were talking about why you find I'm, I'm picturing the snow machine at a ski slope, you know. Uh, there me too, honey. I manufacturing was snow thing. and spraying it up the hill, you know. I was just I pointing out like how people machine. are weak. All, all of the drama. <laughs> they have weak like minds these. and they can be, their paradigm can be easily fucking destroyed just by fucking a, a, a simple phrase. Muddy waters. Muddy mm. the water. So, and you're not a flat, you're not a flat earther. I do not hold that moniker. It's like sovereign citizen. It's an oxymoron. It's a <laughs> stupid name. Mm -hmm. But do you believe that the um, earth is flat? I don't believe that we live on a globe, no. Okay. Yeah, I was... Um, Y'all should get rid of this word. But you just don't want that title. Do you know Steve McRae? I, I, I despise the title. Oh, how come? <laughs> I think I think Voy and me and this guy are old true earthers that like, are you and it's oh yeah. is it called just true earthers is that what it, uh, is that what well, it when is? you when you really look into it, mm -hmm. it like everything adds up and it, like like we all were we're glo globe earthers before we're all of us right. every one of us exactly we used to be globe earthers and uh -huh. we tried to prove it wrong we tried to prove the flat earth wrong yeah and right after that's we went it down the we didn't... Of, of <laughs> yeah. trying to prove it wrong we were like holy fuck that's fucking insane that, yeah when i, I remember I, mean, I remember if, if coming you know, to yeah i mean it doesn't take you too long if you try i remember coming to the internet and i could not believe there was an entire community of people that believed that the earth was flat i just it was I, the I, same I same reaction i had freaking same reaction it. i had when i, I first I came on and i started seeing these videos coming down into my uh my feed <laughs> and I, i'm looking at the titles and i'm saying to myself holy shit man didn't they kind of like solve this issue 500 years right, ago right why are they bringing that back up so i just actually dude, pushed I was, I, dude i was sailing with sailors that sailed on ships that were made in the age you know in like 1850 1860 mm -hmm. i was sailing on those ships uh, so the people and they actually, didn't fall and they didn't just fall off the edge of the earth those yeah ships. and i i told my shippers i told my captains like guys it's actually flat and they laughed at me they said no mm -hmm. dude, that's what they thought 400 years ago i said yeah we we all yeah, i know i know but i i tried to i tried to awaken my captain and they were yeah. just no, no, no. And th but these men were such self-made men these mm -hmm. men were actually you know grown from the dirt gotten onto the ocean you know built their own ship more or less yeah and, I, and they knew that it was flat you know but they just couldn't i mean they couldn't explain it or didn't want to <clears throat> didn't want to say it out loud because people would think they were out yeah. of their minds or what yeah mm. something like that i, I yeah i was like i mean i mean I'm, it's a bold it's a bold thing to come out and say I think that if I went around and said that in my everyday life, people would think that I needed yeah. a 5150 or like some kind of a psychiatric your, hold. Your, your whole family pretty much said, says, oh, like he's crazy, pretty much. They're I crazy. mean, I, 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 I'm not going to test it out, but I imagine people would think I was, yeah, out of yeah. my so mind. So it's not like something we like to do. It's not something that we were like, oh, yeah, great. Yeah, I'm, I I'm see. I understand. Yeah, because people but, would judge it, right? Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's actually really shitty. It, for me, it was a shitty process because I can't prove prove, <laughs> prove the earth is round. I can't prove it. And I mean, I listened to one I guy one time that seemed that made um made like made the most sense, but um, I mean, uh, like he made he made a couple of points that I could I could buy, but um, I I also don't understand um how how the you know the our solar system is we see what's going on in our solar system and all of the planets are around mm -hmm. how 
I mean, all you, of the planets are round, right? You, you can't imagine how big okay, of a you lie. Can say it's, round. it's a crazy, humongous lie. And it's it's like fucking too crazy to even handle right. how, and how any big of a lie that would be. Anything that and emits so light creates a round sucks. circular um, uh-huh. orb around it, right? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying that it's uh, our solar system is round. Um, I I believe that the other planets are, that are surrounding us are are all round, and I don't believe they're flat. And I mean, there's not. I mean, Saturn has like a little disc well, thing but, or whatever. We, but we, that's we, the we whole thing. That, that, that what, what, if, what if those what if those things that you see in the sky aren't things that you can travel to? This yeah, is I mean, the thing but that people we can, do, the, but we can travel to um, a couple of those places. So, but well, they, there they you go. See, you this see, is where I have CGI issues images. with the uh, the indoctrination of this planet, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, people it's just, it's, it's you just guys, life. you just it's blatantly believe in a tooth fairy because somebody told you it existed. Okay, no, That's, I, I no, like I, um, all right. I. I am able to critically think, and I'm just asking questions. You don't know? like. I'm just uh, wondering how your, where your, uh, your idea comes from, and I'm just, I'm just asking questions. I'm not trying to be rude in any way. I'm just saying that, that I, um, I absolutely believe that the planets are round. I mean, we have we. You can travel to a couple of these places. Now, are oh. you questioning the moon landing? Uh, I'm, I, I'm, yes, I, absolutely. I'm questioning okay. any. We've never been to these places. Okay, or we, Mars impossible. or anything like not no no nobody. no no rover on I Mars. There's no incredible. there's none of that. Oh, it's it's not Hollywood. Look it's into all any Hollywood. of them and like like crispy, any listen crit- to me. critical thinking. Bear, bear we'll worth, like bears worth, bears worth. One bears worth. Like it's crispy. It's listen to me. Crispy, listen to this. Yes, you I'm saw these things on TV. It's on TV. That fucking it? box is a lie machine. You got to get what your head is? out of that I, box. I, I'm not talking about the box. I'm talking about um a. I'm talking about um, the Rothschild a uh, educational system. That's I'm, what you're talking about. I'm talking about a rocket. I'm talking also about what's his face. Um, that internet guy that is giving you know uh rides on spaceships. What's his face? Um, Elon, Elon Musk. Elon, Elon, no. Elon Musk. Yeah. Or, what's or the other one? The Amazon oh. guy. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. George he, he flew, he flew the guy that was in Star Trek to, up, up, and then what? Came right, down. which is also another fucking. No, I'm talking about Virgin, I, the Virgin guy, the Virgin. Yeah, the, um, the guy that owned Amazon. What's his name? Yeah, name? Steve um, Bezos or whatever. Yeah, Bezos. that guy. Yeah. No, is it is that his name? He's the guy that has Virgin whatever. <coughs> um, and he has like a. a um, he has, yeah, you can, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I'm just saying that when I was a, a child, I made a solar system with a bunch of little round um, uh, globes hanging off of a hanger. So I'm just wondering how come Earth is flat and the rest of them are round. But you and see I the do, model that and you I can made see, there? I can, well, listen, I can see the sun and it's round. But the whole the whole thing there with your model is it's holding up with uh, hangers, okay? It's they're not floating in yeah, the air. Yeah, but I'm looking. If I look okay. up at the sun, I can tell that it's round, correct? And I, I, I and obviously it's not going to be. It, it's not flat. But you know, listen to me, please, crispy. If we were in the middle of the night and I was out in the woods and I was flashing a flashlight at you, you mm-hmm. would also think that the light coming from the flashlight is round. Well, yeah, because a flashlight is round. There you go. So this is, it's not, no, it, you're not actually giving any. Not round. Even if it was a square model flashlight, it would have been mm-hmm. round. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm still going to, if it was square, I'm still going to see a round yeah. light. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Yes. And, yeah. what, and what does that prove? Tell me. Tell me again. Because the sun is has light and it's gonna just obviously no, just, look round. But you're just saying that when you look at the sun, okay. it's it's what round. That, what does that prove to you? It, it proves to, me, to you that from a distance, you mm-hmm. cannot you cannot diversify the the shape of the of the object that is projecting the light. Well, you can absolutely use a telescope to look at Saturn and Jupiter and you but can see the guys, what Yeah, you somebody guys in really... Flo's chat told me to do that too, but or told me to even look with binoculars, but um I don't have any binoculars. So 
I haven't done that yet, but um, but, I, but the logic here is that because things in the sky are round, that the Earth is automatically a sphere. Is well, I'm not saying they're round. I'm saying they're spheres, mm -hmm. not round. Yeah. Spheres. Well, sphere, whatever. I mean, I'm just mm. saying like round for the just sure. because, yeah. But yeah, that's um. I also, so like if you're, if, if you, if I um, go and get a boat and I get on the ocean and then I go as far as I can possibly go, I'm just going to fall off the end. That's some, another misconception. But what? why, why would there be an end? LTW, please. Let's just go with them. You know? As long okay, as okay, all right. I give up. You're right. You're right. Boy, no, I no, give up. I, no don't give really up. Hard. I'm just. I'm asking. Like, why yeah. are you so mad? Thanks. I'm just asking. Let, I'm asking. Like, would you go yeah. off the side of the side of the yield. world? Yeah. No, nobody needs to yield. I would like to know the answer. If would you happen? Would you just go off the side if you're in a boat? What, but I mean, is don't that what you think, think? Don't you think no. that's kind of like a really stupid question? Not. not no, I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Beyond that, no, I. Really. I, I and I've I don't think any questions are stupid. I, I, honestly, I'm not being a smart ass. I've I'm made my money question. sailing on boats. So, uh -huh. so no, I think, I think that's boats. a reasonable question because, all right, if you're, if you're standing at, say, this, you're asking, let's just you're saying pretend that, 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 that the <laughs> earth is flat. The, there's a the end of the end of that. No, come on, you man. You, you can't say that. Let me let him finish. I want to hear what now? Yeah, yeah, you would eventually, eventually just go off the edge, right? Oh, if that's oh God, you got to be kidding me. You got to be really mean? fucking what, joking. No, 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 no. Just, you, just you, just you, just you, just you. No, ask why, or tell me why you, you right. were. Well, will sailor. you guys let me answer? Yes. No, okay. dude, it's, it's useless. No, no. Useless. Why in the world it, would you think that there's an edge? Who put that in your mind? Um, uh, since you who's said to say that it's not, no, no, no. Who's to say it's not infinite? Yeah, Who's to say that it just, just does it just continues on and on and on and on and on forever? Oh, so the ocean is now just or that you just think it's infinite? Or you just think it's just never ending. That's what it is. Right. So, Why not? Why not? Okay, well, you think there's well, a disc and we fall off the edge. I mean, who's uh, you know, who <laughs> what's more realistic to you? That I mean I mean Santa Claus at the at, at the at the edge. What do you mean? Like are you Dude, think that I it's mean, just gonna OGW, be OGW, see you you're actually doing the exactly uh, the, the, the exact opposite thing of what she's trying to reason and you're trying to fence. I, but I'm just showing that her reasoning is oh, a little I bit far fetched. It's, it's far fetched well, to it's, think that there's a disc and an still, edge and all of that is just oh, what you know, you're trying to do, but this will not work on somebody who's trying to reason. I'm trying to understand where your where your logic is coming from, and you're um, just insulting sense. me. Co common sense. Um, I didn't say, insult like anybody. I don't have I just, common yeah, sense. So, so uh, the well, I'm just saying that, it takes common the, sense to realize that, that obviously we don't flat earther, exist. Flat earther is the observation. How am yeah. I supposed to know that you think that the ocean is just never ending? I mean, because water notice. seeks its level. What? What is it? What? Hold on, I, I misgot this question, but anyway, that's not the point. Um, voice right. I should yield. Yeah, yeah. But I I don't so want you to yield. I just wanted to. Earth I just wanted to. Flat Earth is not about a model, <coughs> okay. not about a model or, or the end or or a theory. It's about the observation. Right. It's about exactly the what what we're trying to point well, out here is that a, we've been literally lied to about everything you think you know around. about space and planets and the shape and you think that the and why the, why were we lied to about that what what why what that's, was well that's if you're making fifty two million dollars a day with a lie that is you know, a good question that is a good yeah, question well if you were making fifty two million dollars a day. And who's making fifty two million dollars? Who's making fifty two million dollars a day? NASA. I really because our um we cut our our budget on uh with NASA. NASA's not just in the United States. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm talking about here in the United States. So, um, but it's a, it's, it's a live. worldwide thing. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. But who's making fifty-two million dollars? You're talking about the space race. The space race ended in 1975. Right. 
What NASA still making fifty? Look it up, guys. What I'm okay, not, uh, tell me what to look you're, up. It's I mean you're way out of your data. I mean you're years ago. Uh, what did you say? Fifty two or sixty two? I think no. I think you're way out of your data. I think it's yeah. about seventy five or eighty million per day by now. Mm, from from other countries, other no, countries from a lie. Governments they're making are, this money off of a lie. No, that's for that, what that, reason? What's the motive? Uh, okay, I'll give you the motive <laughs> to discredit the creator, to, to to have people believe that there is no God, that we are an infinite speck in the middle of a universe in a galaxy uh, somewhere oh. far, far away, and that wow. we have no actual importance. But if you okay. take that, that so lie away, just all a, of a sudden, it's a conspiracy creators, that because people just don't want to believe in God, and that's why. Well, if you want to create a perfect slavery, what's called the Goldilocks race, zone, the way to go. Well, you know, I just am asking questions, and you you seem to be offended that I'm asking questions that I'm you're not. not able to really answer. If you think that I am going to believe that other countries are getting fifty-two million dollars per day, and they're lying to us to because I didn't say they don't want now us to believe. Now you're putting words in my mouth. You I said, said not NASA. the United States. You said it was international. I didn't say not the United States. I said NASA. Country. I just said okay, NASA. Well, NASA, NASA in other countries. NASA well, and there, where's because NASA? NASA's station. We have NASA here in Canada. We have we okay, have NASA's I, all over and the place. Are, is Canada a country? So that's other countries. I'm saying fifty-two million dollars per day from in other in other countries, and all for a lie because they don't want um, us to believe that there is a God. Right. That's not oh, bad at all. Well, now you explained it. I mean, but listen to this. If if yes. if I'm correct. And, you know, NASA, let's say, lied about the moon landing, lied about this, this rover that they have on Mars. They lie about mm -hmm. pretty much every fucking thing that, you know, they put out there. The whole yeah. thing is a fucking lie. Uh, mm -hmm. Wouldn't it just like in your mind say, well, if that doesn't exist and we're like in a place that has been created and not some far freak uh, freak show accident. You know, it's it's it, it, it kind of flips the, the, the coin. It flips the narrative. Uh, um, these people are deceiving they've taught they've deceived us with religion they've deceived us with uh cosmology they deceived us with science they, they no, deceived us with so I know, I know, oh, you tell me, but this is not a panel to to convert people dude just just go with i'm it. not but they deceived us at so many levels sometimes yes it does become a bit frustrating when you see other people uh um still following the uh the uh indoctrination camp narrative oh yeah, there I, she is oh, look at her there she is hello I, beautiful um did you know that there are believers in nasa yeah i think i would think that there's plenty of believers that lit that are worked for nasa so um and i don't understand the idea that these astronauts or these um these um uh, Hang on, somebody's got some background noise on. Bear, is that you? Yeah, it is. Yes, Bear. I, I I've missed the last 10 minutes because I was on a call, so I'm going to listen to what you lot are saying. Okay, we're talking mm -hmm. about... Um, they, flat Earth. Yeah, they're talking about <laughs> um, flat Earth and that... The no! idea, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and now, yeah. now here is the idea is that... You mean um, there? You're the one who brought it up, Crispy. Uh, well, I asked if he, yeah, I I asked, and then I've just been asking uh, some questions, and you seem to be very upset at the questions that I'm asking when I'm just um trying well, to learn what like, it is. Well, it's because the that one that really got you... me, Crispy, is the uh, is like what happens when we fall off, you know, like when we go over the edge. That well, kind of like a, that, I've heard it so many times. Well, I've, I listen. Yeah, I don't have these got... conversations. I don't have these conversations with people. Well, so I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm asking. I'm sorry, like, I'm I wasn't thinking, aware of it. Yeah, well, uh, I apologize there, it's not for a being. Common... Um, I do. I you know I tend to have like this kind of assholeish way of expressing myself. Yeah, a little bit. Um, and I, <laughs> that's uh, that's you know that's OTW man. That's me. It's I'm, fine. I'm, Listen, right. you would have to do a lot more to uh, offend me or bother me in any way. Well, that's not the goal because I honestly, uh, in truth, want to help people. That you know, it's not my vocation, yeah. but uh, when people ask me questions, I do want. I tend to want to help them understand better how I see things. But yeah, uh, you know. 
I would, yeah, I would think that you would maybe try and be a little, I mean, I'm not being a smart ass. I'm asking <laughs> no, legitimate look, questions. We got off on the wrong yes. foot. I'm just kind of like, uh, I no, get really I'm not, quickly, listen, I'm, not, um, I'm, I'm not on any wrong foot. I'm literally, I'm not mad. I'm completely fine. I'm just asking so I with, this is one of your core beliefs. I would think no, that you no, would no, no, have no, a no. ready-made it, answer. It, hold on a sec. Um, this is, the, there's another issue with this belief thing. Okay. I don't okay. resonate with beliefs anymore for the past five, six, seven years now. Uh, mm -hmm. I kind of stick with what I know and what I believe is actually irrelevant. You know what I mean? Well, that's a difference without a distinction. It's just, you're playing semantics with words about your, your, you don't believe, you know, you're not going to go with beliefs. It's just what you know. Well, okay. It's better so to it's state what you know. Than to okay. state, uh, well, your I'm not going to no? state that, 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 well, first of all, I'm not going to state that the, that what you say is true and that I don't believe that on um, NASA, sorry, NASA are one all second. people that don't one believe second. in God. You're just Bear, I keep muting person. you, darling. Bear, I keep muting you, darling, because you've got something going on in the background which sounds like a radio. I don't know whether it's, sorry, you can carry on in a sec. I don't know whether you've got us on in the background, but that's why I keep muting you. Carry on. Yeah, I just don't believe that these people that work for NASA... Um, they all don't believe in God and that they all are um, in this big conspiracy to uh, lie to us every day. And then somehow they're getting $52 million per year, all of these other countries that have NASA. And then the whole idea is for them to it, for them to uh, fake us out because they want us to not believe that there's a God. And if and if it's not round, I'm asking if you just took a boat and you just kept going, would you fall off the edge? And you said no, because the ocean just is never ending. It just goes on and on and on. So then that if? would mean that it was well, a hypothetical. It was well, then, a hypothetical. I, OK, well, right. OK. Yeah, I, I tend to not believe that it's never ending just because I I do believe that there are other planets in the solar system that I do believe are round or spheres or whatever. Well, I, I was do just like that. you before, Crispy. I was like I was a hardcore Star Trek, Star Wars fan. I was yeah, like, I've never you know, seen I, any I'm, of that. That well, Star I Wars, believe Star in space I don't more like than the, more than anybody I know. I yeah. I hoped so much that we would travel the stars one day, and I'd actually have a chance to fucking get up there. But you know what? Um, mm -hmm. But that was a childhood dream. Uh, but no, that, I mean, you could all still of that do really it. breaks. You could it, still it do it. You could go with that virgin what, guy. And you could take a trip to outer space, like um, Lance mm -hmm. Bass from Instinct did. So you should, you could do it, and then you could tell, come back and tell me what's what's going on. You could tell me that if, that if the planets aren't round, and that everybody's just been like telling us one big lie because they obvious all of them hate God apparently, and all these other countries. I just, I, I don't believe that all these people got together and lied to and are lying to us. You just don't believe. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I would like to believe if, if somebody would tell me would like something that, believe. I, I mean, I mean, that doesn't, believe, make, I believe you, that that doesn't make it any better. I mean, all right, boy, you don't, calm down, if, you, calm down, boy. if you would say that you don't well, know. I've actually but, seen it but, with but my own eyes. So I know. It. I just like I I'm gonna ask you a question. That Jupiter is a sphere. <laughs> I, I believe. watch the comet crash you, into it. You can't convince me with. Could I talk to you for, for two minutes, Christy? Yes. Somebody turn their radio down or their TV down or whatever, so I can hear. I can't hear. Sorry, honey. I can't hear. Bear, so, I'm gonna have to remove you temporarily until you sort out your your audio. It's um, Bear. I think. Yeah, it was bear. He's got something going on in the background. So I just, I just Hi, honey, question, how are you? And, I, and, and it's not, I'm not trying to start any How are you, Chris Tree? I just had a question good. like how you said you, about the, the cloud, cloud making machine. The what? Good. The I have a little oh, bit of a delay, making so. machine. Oh, that's okay. I remember your internet is kind of um, mm -hmm. wacky. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. The cloud it's making machine. Yeah. 
Yeah, I tend to think so that my question, clouds are made by humidity. Mm-hmm. My question um, is, as a technician, hold on a second. Like, in famous, well, what did the, what about as a technician? Hold on, like, just before you go on, there, I want to help you out with your uh, your your internet issue right now. All right, mm-hmm. if you turn off your uh, your um, your Streamyard uh, uh, virtual background, uh, you'll you'll have you won't have any. You'll have less issues, and even more so if you turn off your camera. Uh, you will absolutely get more bandwidth because your camera is taking up a lot of uh, uh, a lot of information. It's taking up a lot of. Oh, that's bandwidth. a good tip. That's a good Thank tip. You. See if that works a little bit. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. Hold on. Okay. Go ahead. No, no, you were asking me. <laughs> What what was it? Is she talking? Or, <laughs> am I? Am I was just doing what oh, he to do. He sounds like he knows what he's talking. Yeah, <laughs> so I think I so. I think my... he does. Yeah, better than you and I do, huh? <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you for that that tip. I, I appreciate it. What no were you problem. saying about um, so the clouds? I was just curious about the cloud. <laughs> I was talking about the cloud making machine. Like, what about before there was NASA and rockets? There were clouds then, like way back in the day. Like, I'm just curious. I don't know. Yeah, I'm that's just a trying really to make sense point. of it too. Well, honestly, um, like, I mean, before there was even, I have to do the research and find out how long that that machine has been in the uh, in the um, in in well, function. It hasn't I believe been they have more than before. one. Before, I know, but like, you, it obviously hasn't been there like in before Christ or after Christ. It hasn't been. But well, they haven't neither had one of us, forever. nobody here was there back then to say if there were clouds or not, right? I'm <laughs> like, going to yeah. take an, edu- is, I'm gonna take an educational guess. Well, I, I can't resonate guesses. That's what I'm saying. I'm not well, in that I belief. To, just, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. I just wanted to so say, I'm, like, just from my own personal experience, mm-hmm. like, I like, like to help people, right? And so I used to overwhelm people with information, trying to help people. And I'd like, my friend told me that Snow me and my friend, she's like, Audrey, you could be a little overwhelming for people. Mm-hmm. So you kind of got to put yourself, you got to kind of pull it back a little bit because you're being, you're not being received with the information you're trying to, you know, help these people with because you got to put yourself in their shoes and you don't know where, what they've been through. I agree. I, and I am not the best to, to, but I had to learn how to humble yeah. myself in order for my for my help that I wanted to do, you know, wanted to help people. I had to learn how to give it in doses and learn how to humble myself enough to I didn't overwhelm people and kind of put be mindful of like what they might be going through because they might be going through a lot more than what I know I'm going because through, I've know, been through that before and I explained it with the uh, the cloud machine. And I showed the cloud machine to my mother. She literally started crying, and it wasn't Whoa. because. You know, it wasn't because uh, I told her that NASA were the ones that were creating all the clouds in the world all mm-hmm. over the place. And it's I didn't say that. She just looked at the video and started crying. It wasn't like, yeah, it was. And then who I made, asked her, well, what are you who crying made this for? video, honey? You got a link to the video? Mm-hmm. No, but I, it's probably really not hard to find. Seriously, I could look it up. I, I thought you just said you just or didn't you just say you played it for your mom the other day? It wasn't the other day. This is like oh, five, okay. six years ago. Oh, okay. I, I misunderstood. I thought oh, you said the other day. That long ago. <laughs> it's yeah. okay. Was, so that, the cloud thing was just kind of got me because mm-hmm. I was just like, before the, all the technology, there had to have been how far back in, in time that no. they, <laughs> they've had enough um, knowledge to, you know, because there's plants that need water and all that. I don't know. Me personally, that's why I was just asking. That's why I was just asking to get clarification. There's also people that are, that <laughs> work for NASA. There's also people that um, work for NASA in other countries besides um, uh, the United States, I guess, that are not... Um, uh, that that believe in God, so I'm not sure what the big, the big, uh, um, the whole conspiracy where NASA got together and it's like we're going to convince the world there is no God, and this is Actually, how we're going to do not it. Not really. What, I don't think that was the initial plan. I believe more yeah. or less it was to have people believe in a, a lie 
while they're believing that there's outer space and there's they're not looking uh, you know like they're kind of like their um, attention is drawn out to uh, instead of inwards you know like the true journey a it's, lot of our history it's, it's, us as ancestors like our ancestry has been like, there's been a lot of book burnings there's been a lot of in history like where they're trying to like kind of turn it to where they want to make the history how they want to make the history but you know what i mean there is you know that's why people are they kind of look for something because they want to find you know they want to find enlightenment or whatever they're looking mm -hmm. for we all want to find a meaning to our life you know so i think that that's that's just a human you know a human uh, you know, action that people, you know, feeling. That yeah, want. I suppose they, so. we have been, you know, there has been issues where there's been a lot of book burnings to kind of almost kind of, you know, some history and stuff to know where we come from. So then we kind of conform to the law society. But, you know, I don't think it's like that conspiracy theory like that deep. But, you know, but there is I mean, there's evidence of stuff like that, you know, but I think we're all it's even deeper to, than what you know, we to, think. A, a, I think a that reason. It's the Ilum it is up. it the We're Illuminati? Saying it like that would be just like brushing it off to the side and not actually giving it any importance, which I think mm. it would be a mistake, right? Yeah, right. Because not it, really. Because if I they're lying, let, think about it. Like, like, you know, through my uh, you know, particular awareness, uh, when I came to the realization that NASA was lying to us, mm -hmm. it, it spawned in my mind that holy shit. Well, if they're lying about space, and you know, what other lies are they fucking giving us, right? And then mm -hmm. you end up going down that well, rabbit hole to find out that they lie like, to you where about are you everything. This information is what I'm curious. Right. Where, where's it's common to? sense. It's just it's it's doing it's the research. Like, you really, really set on it. You're really like set on your. Well, here I'll give you some facts. Let me give you some facts, okay? Yeah. Uh, the human eye. All right. I'd like to have sources than... so I could kind of do my own research. So are you yeah. going to let me tell you or just going to speak over me? Do, you know, so, we can... so you don't hear what I'm saying right now. You're I'm just not trying to blabber on you're, top Listen, of me. listen, for well, somebody that's been speaking time over time everybody else, wait, I mean, for real, like you're the last person that needs to um, school her about speaking over somebody you've talked over over me the entire time. Oh, and that's all right her. then. You guys don't want and the explanation. That's fine. I want to hear it. I'm just saying like, you know, yeah. it, uh, you seem like you need to just relax a little bit. We're just asking questions. We're having a conversation. But you're not letting me answer. So well, it's like, you can well, answer. Go ahead. It is common practice to cite your sources too. That's just yeah. common practice. But yeah, because the truth is, it matters right now. I'm not going to go on a belief system. I want to go by truth. So I want to know okay, who it so is that this these is what I wanted to point out. Saying it. Yes, I'd like to know. Right. Can I answer oh. instead of him? I'm on his side. Can I, I answer some questions? I, I, I mean, I think he's ready to go, but go go ahead. I don't, it no, doesn't matter. Ask, ask, ask me like, some questions like three questions. Oh, I just was wondering like where it who who is telling him who are telling y'all that not that NASA is lying. I also would like to know where this money is coming from um on and why they're getting 52 million dollars per day um in each I guess I'm, I'm assuming in in each particular um uh NASA it, wherever NASA is in each country, if they're getting millions of dollars per day, that seems like a lot of money. Lot of but also, noise. where is that coming from? And where where are all these countries getting this money? And who is telling you all that that um that they're lying to us? And that's an odd thing to lie. Like that's an odd way to go to think that that um, NASA is lying about of how the Earth is flat. Hey, Flo. What's going on? Oh, thank goodness. How are you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Flo. Hi, Flo. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So, yo, yeah, um, and, and, uh, and listen, your, your boy Flo here, okay. I think he might think that he might believe in, in this, in this thing. So, so don't think that he's coming up here to bail me out. And what but thing? I just would like to know, I would like to know where it is that this is where you're getting this information. That's all. Is that for OTW? I mean, OTW, whoever wants to answer, it doesn't matter. I'd like to know. OTW is the one that said that NASA's lying to us. So, I, you know, he might know the answer. 
every single answer you or every single question you have is going to be the answer or going to be the opposite uh, like it's it, it's it's crazy when when you go down the rabbit hole all the questions you ask me is like it's the truth like nasa's getting paid like crazy like 66 million dollars a day like it's okay it's where crazy. are you getting that figure let's but let's break let's like break this down where is okay. that figure can, coming from i can actually from? do that it, i can actually it, it, do it that comes from NASA's website. It's that from, from the government's from. website it comes like, from like, what government's like, website like Which 500, government? like a thousand people have broken it down. Like a thousand people. Like well, okay, yeah. well, I just want you to break it down for me. I would like to know what government and where, what website, so that I can look well, this up. Anyways, we're I'm, well, that's we're kind of contradicting that. of what you're saying that this stuff that you're going on the government website for the information. Right. Well, the, the government has to tell you. That's the fucked up thing. Once you start looking down all the stuff, and it's like Kabbalah, and it's all they they have to tell you in plain sight that they're lying. Right. They have to who, tell you who, in plain sight. Who does? It, it's, it's, it's universal, like natural law. It's natural it's, law. They have to tell you the truth. Yeah, and they do. You have they, to be, yeah, you have to that be, would be a big that would be a big uh problem in a in a federal situation for a a a group like NASA to be lying um yeah, to it's, to it's, uh different countries and i'd like to know where this money is coming from and where I are they getting that much you. money per day it's a really fucked up truth and i'm sorry i, I if you don't want to wake up on or no, hold, no, hold on a sec don't know about let it. me like, share I, a screen here no this i just want to i'm trying to learn Okay, well, here, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, we, we can integrate a little bit of comedy and, and, and bring down the tension. And if, as sometimes songs help explain things better than just us being like, you know, trying to be smart and fucking tell you all kinds of stuff that we are not even uh, skilled or um, um, able to debate on a topic that, uh, uh, that you know, that we're not necessarily... Um, at some moments, we actually. Well, I don't know. I think that if a but, government entity, a government agency, or organization is funded specific amount of dollars yeah, from the uh, federal government, I think that, that will be documented uh, on the government website. Yeah, who's got their TV and, on? Hey, yeah, you, you it's you bears worth. Bears bears worth has bad feedback. feedback. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, so it's uh, a, a conspiracy music guru. Okay, he's uh, yep, he, and he is. wrote him. A, a few songs uh, that help you uh, maybe or maybe like will help you see things from a different perspective, right? If and I'm not your saying explanation this is, is to reference people no, I, to a funny song, you don't understand it's, what you're. It's it's a door opener well. flow state. It's I agree. Like well. you, okay, it's thank a, you for it's sponsoring the show last night. I was fucking busy, <laughs> bud, and I didn't even know you were actually dedicating something to me. And, and you the first, got a second of all, why in the world would I show up there? You spend way too much time to be getting sixty-eight dollars a month, dude. Why in the hell would I want to go over to your channel? Explain that to me right now. Well, I because I, I was there. Hang on, I'm going to hang on. Let let flow in OTW talk, please. Okay, that's cool. Um, I don't care if you come to mine. I'm sending business over to yours. Why? Or trying to, I don't know. All yeah, yeah, I'm not asking for anything from you. I know you're not. Okay. I told you he was being very nice. I mean, it would be nice yeah. if OTW and Flow. You know, if I mean, you don't have to. But. Oh, I, I, things aren't gonna. It's this tribal. There's all tribal yeah. shit. He's right. in that tribe. I'm in this tribe. Exactly. Um, yeah. It's a tribal thing. I agree. It, it, it's really that simple. <laughs> Can it not That's be it. like uh, that tribe, that tribe? I don't give a fuck. I stay in the middle. I don't give a fuck. We're on neutral terrain here. We're both uh, respecting Mel. Agreed. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that they're that they have um, necessarily have hate towards one another. I think they're pretty indifferent towards one another. I, I mean, I mean Flo I... hasn't said anything. Uh, anything even. Uh, I mean, he gave he sponsored him a membership. That was very kind. That was nice. I, didn't I mean, I don't it. know. I, I just, I like, I haven't <laughs> seen too much like craziness between the both yeah. of you. So I, I think that 
is it not possible to say because we're on a neutral platform like that side is that side that side who gives a fuck we're on a neutral platform because you know i mean obviously you if you don't give a fuck about what i say that's cool but i mean it's just a shame to see two decent men yeah i think that we're fine um yeah i think we're both fine here um my point though that i was going at him for is that if his reference if his answer to a question is a song, that's an inadequate response to the question. I agree, I'm be, but, but it's not my answer because I can't necessarily give answers. Uh, you know, I'd have to bring up freaking all kinds of documentation and do all. I'm lazy, man. So I figured. I don't listen, even really know what the, the song, question was. And if, after the song, if something there, you would have questions. Maybe it would spark some inspiration inside of myself, and uh, maybe I'd be what a better. What the claim? Well, they're okay, claiming they're, some conspiracy he's, that NASA's he's, accepted. Uh, fifty-two that, million dollars a year. The other one said a sixty-six million dollars a year um, a to lie to us. A day. To I, mean, to and us I tend too. to agree with that. I don't know the specific dollar amounts, but I don't trust NASA any more than I trust the EPA or the FDA. Yeah, but the, the, he's saying that the conspiracy, or basically, it's so that NASA, NASA has. The conspiracy is so that they um, want us to believe that there's no God. That's why they're telling us that there's a that the Earth is flat. And that's a lot of inference built on like beliefs about the reality we live in. I tend to agree yeah, with it more than disagree with it, but it's um, speculation. I agree. It's, uh, it's, it's not. It's, fact. It's, it's more than spec. It's like inference or deductive. Re you know it. it it's logical, but it's not, you know, there's no like document stating that, you know. Sorry, I'm going to have to bear, bear you a little sweetheart, but I'm, until you sort out that, that bad feedback, it's just really disrupting the panel. Sorry, my love, fix it. And then I'll bring you back up. Go ahead, guys. There's a lot of crispy there, too. Oh, okay, I can, I can one of my mods repost a link. Go ahead, boys. Fly, what were you saying, my love? And think about what all that money, if it wasn't dedicated to a lie, how much it would benefit, you know, uh, Americans and other places, people. I well, mean, we, it's it's kind of like cut, and it, cut this, cut their money. They, we cut so you, that NASA program. Anyway, it, it, Mel, if you want to uh, bring it up, the the song would be a perfect segue. It's a pretty. Uh, Interesting, is it copyrighted? Uh, it's Which it's uh, no conspiracy music guru doesn't. Uh, I've played plenty of his videos on my uh, channel. Oh, yeah, sure. Do you want to post it in the pro in the chat and I'll bring it up? It's already backstage. Oh, it is. Oh, I didn't see yeah. it. Yeah. Um... Oh, <laughs> where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
This is the worst. He was very well aware. <laughs> yeah. He showed me to my <laughs> seat. He said, I see you've done this... some research, <sighs> my open minded friend. I know you'll have some questions, which will get you in the end. First, take a look at what's on these walls, paintings of the globe. I painted every single one of these, don't you know? You see, I think I trust Natha more now than before. I was in demand. An artist painting everything I saw upon the land. Landscapes were my favorite. I was awfully good at those. Many people told me that they looked just like photos. And then one day I got a call from a real important dude. He asked me if I'd like a job and said the money's good. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. Stop I told you it was funny. Oh my god. What? Not, no, funny, not funny. Not funny in the way video. you think. Like, that's crazy. I, I thought mean, it was great. And I, 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 I bet you did think it was great. But I'm just wondering. I said to you before, I said uh, the Illuminati. And like I just learned listen, all I learned from that fifty verse song is that um it's CGI, the Illuminati, and Freemasons with their bucket hats are um over there taking spaceship trips. That's what he said. He said the Freemasons are the only ones riding around in the spaceships. I mean, listen. If this is a part of my belief, oh, and you didn't get the part where there's a guy that was hired as a painter to paint globes. That uh, was like that's really where I got convinced. Yep. So yeah. just yeah, quickly, that's where Mr. I, that's Golden, exactly in the back. And, and, and I was already looking into this before I even knew about uh, this conspiracy music guru guy. So, well, hang on, hang on, work. guys, one second, Mr. Jordan in the back. Can I just see that you're a human and not a penis, please? And then you can turn, <laughs> you and then you can it. turn your camera back off. Mel's always got these people in the back. <laughs> Mr. Jordan, I need you to show me your face. 
with a shake. OTW, wing. you and Flow State agreeing on a simple point about NASA was more of a door opener than that video. I think you just solidified a bunch of people of not wanting to associate or look into uh, this topic after that song. To be honest, bro. I'm I just, just think that I think that if this was part of if this was part of my belief system, I would have. Um, a lot more answers than you have. I think if this you, this is the truth, but I and don't it's part of your belief it's, system. It, I, that's what I was trying to explain uh, a while back because you guys, uh, you know, you asked me if I was a flat earther, and I said no because I don't take up that that particular uh, title because I don't necessarily believe that we live on a disc like you. You know, but even you though I've it. said it you in one of my rap me. songs. Excuse you me? laughed at me. You laughed at me. And well, I don't asked, believe that I we, believe you know, I don't, I don't, this. like, are you, you know, I, crazy? I would tend to lean towards more of a, 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 I don't know, like a, kind of like a simulation, if you will. So I was, well, listen, I was ready for you. Like a holodeck on uh, Star Trek Enterprise? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. It, yeah, if you want to put it that way. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I, I felt like you were just like really on um, um, having a really good laugh because I was asking these questions and you just thought it was like crazy that I was asking that why if you took a boat why would it be a rump shaker? That was a, a, a very wobbly ass. <laughs> oh, oh, I accidentally banned infamous, infamous darling. I accidentally banned you. I'm going to go into my, I'm, I'm going to unblock you because I had a very wobbly ass on the screen. Now, why? What is it with you? You better put I this away. No, that's why I put the banner up, but he was too fucking stupid to realize that the banner was up. People um, are so horny with those boobs out. I'm telling you. <laughs> it was these cheeks. It was, hang on. Let me just set my phone. It, all I could see was these cheeks. Mm. Uh, guy. <laughs> oh. An ass bomb. And it was definitely a man's ass because it was hairy. Oh, um, <laughs> God. Like, right, uh, infamous, I need to go and unblock you now. Who's this in the back now? What part of your body are you going to show me now? <laughs> no, it's that you got to put those guns away, girl. You like this is what's happening here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put the the banner up for a minute and unblock Infamous because okay. I thought I was blocking that dude, but I didn't. Carry on. Sorry, that was like, woo! That was exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh! Probably better than that song. Yeah, it was better than the song. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. he was dancing to the song. Right. I was hey, Chad, you're on panel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm building a bathroom and listening. Oh, okay. Yeah, so how are you all? Good, how are you? Is your ass Thanks. hanging out by chance? I'm about <laughs> to fall off. The are edge. you going to show us your genitals? No. <laughs> do you have, do you have I, Do you want to see our genitals? Yeah. Not, Make not it clap. Generally, no, no thanks. No but, plumber's uh, pack. The offer stands. <laughs> but can I ask you lot on 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 the panel? Did you see the moving ass cheeks, or was it just me? Just you. You're the oh, only just... one who can see them down at the bottom. No, it was. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it. Okay. That's fine. I didn't want to like traumatize anybody, so that's good. I mean, NASA probably saw. Them. I've been to jail. I've seen lots of man ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, if you've ever done uh -huh. the couple, then yeah, yeah. Well, you know. And can I please tell it. people in future, if you're going to jiggle your eyes, your ass, mm -hmm. your penis, your balls, whatever it is, can you please do it backstage? Mm -hmm. There, go on, guys. <laughs> yeah, make it clap. Yeah, make it classy, man. Well, just make it clap. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's a little trick for them to make it clap. See what you're working with. KDK is a dick earther now. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see why. I, I, I totally know why everybody would be convinced. Like it's, I mean, the evidence is is overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. NASA is telling the truth. Yep. We're on a spinning globe. Right, and 
they literally just don't want me to believe in God. And they're getting buku money for it too. Like that's an odd way for them to go about their goal. You know what I mean? Like I would think well, that there would be other things. It makes a lot of sense, do. but like I don't even want to try to climb out of the hole that I just got dropped into with that yeah. music video. I know. That just set the whole conversation so far back. I'm just, I'm just giving up. I throw I in the towel on it. You were way too tired anyway. But I was the, I, I, I know that people were thinking that you were coming up to bail me out. And I thought, oh my God, <coughs> he's not. You're coming up to agree with these people about this. Um, about this but I, I always thought slow state was a globy. So now I and am kind of confused. Now, don't be uh, disrespectful. Please put Colin by his name. He's not. Uh, hey, come on. Oh, you know it, he was on. It's fine. It's a term of endearment. Okay. I accept it. Oh. He's low TW. I'm slow state. You know, See? Okay. Yeah, we have our little names for each other. You guys are just adorable. <laughs> hmm. Super cute. But who's cuter? I mean, Sorry, uh, infamous. She was asking. Oh, it musician. was an accident, darling. I thought you You're were the ass guy. guy. But basically, as I was clicking on the ass guy, he left and you came on. So I accidentally blocked you. I'm trying to unblock you now. So I'm sorry. Um, why is she not on my block list? Does it take time? Oh, fuck. I think you've got to go to your StreamYard homepage. Oh, man. How do I do that? Because I never worked out how to you unblock have to open up a new tab. You, you, you have to have open to... up a new tab in your computer and go to yeah. StreamYard, but uh, you to your account, not don't log into the uh, stream, right? Like just open up another tab, go to StreamYard, and you'll go to the your settings, and it'll be in there. Uh, whoever you blocked from StreamYard, actually, the right it shouldn't, you, one of your, one of your mods could do it. I think. Right? Oh no, they can't. So, okay, so I'm in my account, and it doesn't say anything about settings. Oh yes, um, it does. I lie. Yeah, I lie. Yeah. And then down. once. And then once I, I go into the settings, where do I go? Because I've got my email, language, time, format, and delete account, and that's it. Uh, hold on. Format, uh, I uh, let me walk you through it. Um, I'll be, I'm going there now. Hold on a sec. Let me figure okay. this out. Okay. Sorry, guys. I've, I've got the banner still up. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. So you go to – oh, it's not – I think it's members. Members, no. yeah. Yes. This is Mem under members. Is it? No. Yep. Go to the bottom at the very bottom of the of the screen we're in here now, not on the home page in this in this window. Go to the settings thing and then go all the way down to the bottom to guests. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Guests. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you so much because I never knew how to do that. Um right, let me uh, I've unblocked you infamous and I needed to unblock somebody else actually that I accidentally blocked. Thanks, guys. Carry on. This is great. <laughs> You're welcome. What, but Mel, you always say that every time I'm up here and I'm in some kind of a big argument with somebody, <laughs> you're always like, keep it going, Crispy. You're doing great. <laughs> like, I think you just go off to lunch. <laughs> like, Yeah, no, sometimes I go off to lunch. <laughs> sometimes I, uh, you know, I, 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 is I'll. Is that I'll, like I'll, a British I'll, euphemism for something? No, it's for lunch. She actually goes off uh -oh. for lunch and comes back and says, like, I'm sorry, I haven't been here for the last 15 minutes. But <laughs> <laughs> Crispy, keep it going. And I'm always in a big argument with somebody. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I'm not in an argument. I'm honestly, I'm literally I'm not arguing with, with anybody. I'm I'm it, this I'm enjoying myself. It's fine. It's uh, you know, four against one. And like I, I mean, and I am not buying any of this bullshit. As oh no, I'm on your side say. now. <laughs> okay, thank you, Flo. <laughs> Flip flopper. I yeah. love it, Flo. Nothing, thank nothing you. quite it's like a dude in short shorts singing a terrible song for eight minutes to convince me I was mistaken. Thank you. I know I felt like I was being held hostage for real. And when he came out with another verse, I'm like, oh. I was trying to resist and struggle, but Mel was just like keeping us hostage in that song. It's because it was funny. It Mel, was right. That was Mel the whole point. I wanted to play Mel something. Yeah, song for you guys. I wanted to change the uh, the atmosphere and the the tension in the uh, in the room. Right. You didn't want to open a door and, and yeah. help people learn about something. You just wanted it to be funny. You're not pivoting right now, OTW. I just, I no, know, no, no, I no just pivoting wanted here. you to answer. 
I was hoping when, that there'd be at least an answer or two in that song, but nope. <laughs> what, what, what I said here? it before I played the song, guys. Here's a little thing to make you guys laugh and, uh, you know, a segue to uh, bring down the tension. It's, uh, you guys want to rewind and go I listen know, to what I said. I there isn't any. I never said I wanted right, to convince well, anybody. You anything. accomplished what you set out to accomplish. Well, that's it. Yeah, that we, was the we whole thing. Now nobody wants to talk about it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, isn't that it's perfect? It's fucking round as fuck. What, what is it? Chris, hi, hi your panel. Hello. Hi, Chris. Oh, the earth is flat. That's the topic? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? There's yes, we no, observe. we tapped out. Me. It's round. Observe flatness. Oh. Yeah, well, it's, it's yeah, round. yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a matter of it's a matter of perspective. The Earth is flat sometimes. <laughs> oh, sometimes. So, yeah, like, yeah I like that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yesterday it was flat. Today it's kind of round. It's got like sometimes this little shape. Like it. It's a donut. It's a matter. And it's the, a matter of perspective. It's a matter. And of the yes. ocean, is the ocean infamous? Like just it, it just like a like one of those infinity pools where the ocean just keeps going and going and going. There isn't oh, no, that's, any the never yeah. ending story. Right. Yeah. 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 So are we done with flat earth now? Is that it? Is that over? Did the I mean kill? I I didn't I actually I have a two week ban on on any earth shape <laughs> or um race centered discussions on my panel because I'm tired of those fucking topics. Well I have yeah, never, I agree. Ever well, I don't even talk about flat earth on my channel. That's <laughs> true. Well you shouldn't say, we can... you shouldn't talk about it on your channel because you don't have any of the answers. <laughs> well, probably <laughs> one so, of the reasons why I don't really talk about it. You know? Yeah, that's a good idea to keep stay Yeah clear, don't worry. I I I, I sit on that. that I, I sit on it. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah 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 don't worry. Okay. That would be like that would be like <laughs> me, me to a guy on, named John, John. Um, my panel Hi, Chris. talking about math. No. Hello. Can you talk one second a little? Can you talk There's to a me? Dude named Jonathan. I'm gonna go Sorry. over to um Steve yes, McCray and ask can him. You, can you hear me? I can hear you. Your mic's a bit low. Do you think you, do you want me to put it up for a bit? Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna put you. Your, I'm gonna do it. Okay. 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 Right, speak now. All right. Is this yes. better? Yes. A little better, yeah. Hi, Chris. Okay. How you doing? I'm very well. I I woke up and uh, I saw your show and <laughs> the, <laughs> it was uh, something about stones, whatever. And I was like, what's this about? Uh -huh. And then the first thing you're talking about is flat earth. And I'm like, I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I like, I, you want to talk about sex? Here. <laughs> I could never believe that there was an actual community of people that believed this. So I just are you a putting the video questions. on again, or what is no, it? no, no, no more videos. I don't know. I, I liked it. I'm not gonna lie. It never oh, finished. No. But I liked you it. did not. No, I did. No, just likes when. I'm Why do being British tortured. people have such weird senses of humor? I mean, she loves when I'm being tortured every single time. She laughs out of. She's out of control. She's kind like of sadistic, she isn't she? She is. She really is. I'm, I'm as sadistic. nice as I can be. I'm so sweet to her. I'm looking Our for her husband made. and stuff. Give her a break. <laughs> Give her a break. <laughs> oh, you guys want to know, like, uh, the comprehensive uh, answer to this problem. Oh, yeah? Go watch a dude named Jonathan Peugeot. Look up. Jonathan Peugeot is the earth flat. And that's like I the think best. I, I think that is the guy that um, I Oh, no, the guy's before. exposing his cock. Oh, he's got his cock out? What? No, I'm, Who's got his cock out? I'm, Who's got his cock out? Who's got his cock out? He's talking. He's talking. Second, I got you. Talking the bathroom. Closing his cock. I mean, oh the dog! Oh my god! Because uh, I was off the page, you scared the shit out of me. I, I was like, no. What are we all for? I mean, I've been yeah. certified cock wiper for two decades. I've got this, I've got this detached retina. I'm looking everywhere for the cock. <laughs> No, Fatty <laughs> sent me something, right? And I was just looking to see what it was. And then I heard someone's got their cock out. I was, no! <laughs> hey. I this thought you were talking about the guy. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. 
Okay, yeah. so uh, Stone wants the song again. <laughs> oh, no. Drop him Stone the link and let him rock out at work or wherever he's at. Stone oh, okay. Um, infamous. Um, now I get it only have a lighter. Yes. Uh, and that's the reason I came up here because oh. you were on the uh, the Puff Daddy, Biggie, Tupac, Kill Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, can yeah. we can we revert back to that moment because yeah, of course. that was the era that I grew sure. up. I yeah, Biggie, female plays my, my video. First, yeah, Biggie was my first favorite rapper. Period. Yeah, yeah, he was Biggie so was. Much, yeah. yeah, he was Biggie so was much the above the convert the competition. It was it was phenomenal. Yeah, but he had that I, little bit of an accent, and I loved it. I loved his he, stuff. Right. I mean, these are the two phenoms of rap, and. I remember all the stuff, and I'm like, you know, for example, the whole Keefy D. Yeah. Thing and by the eye, or what, you're breaking or whatever. Off, honey. I you're... knew we all. There was. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me go back in. Yeah, just a little bit. Inside. That's okay. You're fine. Why are you going back in, Chris? I'm just going to play this, and then. Uh, because I don't know what it what Uncle Fatty's done. So j once I've finished playing this, it's only a little a little bit, then yeah, you can little comic good. relief. I love this. This is my uh, the comic right. relief is the problem that we've been having since I got up here, I think. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Fatty. <laughs> Like, uh, no. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> you gotta play easy again. Can you play easy again? <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, this makes me want to hear that song again, and that song makes me want to hear Bearsworth's feedback again. No, Flo, you got it. No, um, no play, play easy really quick. Play easy really quick again. That with, where he's got the afro, please. Oh, the easy, easy one. Yeah, of course yeah, I go. Flo, you're gonna uh, die. Flo, don't go anywhere. Hang on. Die. You will die. Like, man, it's which great. one? The first one. The one where he looks like the game show. Um. Can, where he's got the tux on and he's in the with the afro, yeah. Okay, okay, I'll do this one. one. Um, oh and then, oh, the hell, catch! Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. Where did he go? <laughs> and then, Chris, we can get back to you, darling. We're just being yes. a bit silly. Um, but okay, so my... hang on one second, give me one second, one Chris. Second, Chris. Hang on one second, we're just about to, we're just gonna play this like little tiny clip, it'll take two seconds. I see. Yeah. Look. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Who the hell cares? <laughs> that my, is pretty good. Who the hell cares? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who the <laughs> hell? That was it. That was it. That's my favorite thing ever. I'm wow. gonna just replay that over and over. I <laughs> okay, Chris, the stage is all yours. Carry on. Yeah. Hello, I, I appreciate that, but uh, not necessary. But you know, I remember I I was like 12 years old when Life After Death came out. Yeah. And, you know, I was I was huge in the Bad Boy and all that. Mm -hmm. And after the deaths and stuff, and I, like the documentary that I saw was probably at least seven, eight years after the two incidents. Right. At that point, Keefe D was already in prison for yeah. something related. And you know, they investigate him and he says, tells him like, yeah, we killed him. Yeah. I, I honest to God, I think that, um, now I watched a documentary and you need to watch or take a look at it. It's on YouTube and it's, um, called, um, it's called uh, Surviving Diddy, and it's by um, Storm Stories, I guess. And it's really good, but it, it ties a lot of it together. And after seeing that, um, the uncle that arranged the killing of Tupac was arrested after that. And then they also went over the whole situation with, with Biggie, and, it's, and there's a bunch of witnesses that discuss 
why um Diddy was just pressed to have Biggie at that after party, even though Biggie had a broken leg, even though um Biggie was supposed to be in an in an international market to be introduced to an international market by his record label. He canceled that because Diddy insisted that it was canceled and then he was um shot. So um I mean I I have been watching this stuff go on for years. I mean years and years, probably a good um eight or nine years by now of Diddy's stuff where I just thought there was always some some craziness going around going on with him. And there was. There was all kinds of there's dead bodies everywhere around that man. Yeah. And you can't and the feds have been watching him forever. But I mean, his his beautiful young wife um, dies mysteriously of, you know, she's got two autopsies. One of them disappears and the coroner dies. Um, the uh, the uh, one girlfriend's uh, or, yeah, the boyfriend's car blew up. He would did he threaten to blow it up? His car blew up. Um, there's um, every everybody he has threatened has come up um, has come up. Uh, dead, basically, and now they're talking about um, that they're in his house. There is particular liquor that is only for the ladies, and um, there's also <laughs> every all the staff has to. That's have. the McCormick's they put in the Belvedere bottle. Right? When we can't tell the difference. Yeah, well, listen. Um, there's and the roofies. I, there's roofies and <laughs> right. roofies and Xanaxes is what I believe, and I believe that probably along the way, um. Um, I certainly think that his wife um, possibly could have, that could have happened to her easily. Whereas, um, you know, sometimes um, alcohol and, and these drugs are a really, you know, a, a terrible mix. And by the time the autopsy is is done, those drugs are out of your system, um, especially um, a roofie. A roofie is, isn't in your system long at all. However, um there's just a lot of, you know, he, his, his girlfriend, he, he took um, a man, a grown man and dangled him out a window because he was recording. It's with almost his like girlfriend. all of rap is a made for TV drama. Yeah, it is. And I believe wholeheartedly that he has a ton of blackmail on a lot of these people that he has been working with. And it is insane to think that this intern with no experience had um, literally left college, went to this record label, and at tw and interned for less than a year, and at 23 years old was given a record label. That, to me, is um, is is just crazy. That Unless you happen. suck a lot of cock. And that's exactly what the uh, allegations are: is that he did that with um, the. Uh, um, the head of that that record label, and then later on, he had done the same thing um, with a younger person that he was um, uh, turning Young the money. record label over to. Yeah, but also, also the idea that he was um, that that he basically has been just running running amok for years now, and nobody, nobody. has. Nobody has done anything about this. Now, I know that the feds have been looking into them and they do not bust in your house, ask Flo, without a lot of evidence. They they will have they, to coordinate two The homes. feds don't. The feds, well, Homeland Security has. Yeah, DHS, uh, if you get into those agencies, by the time they're in the door, they know everything. Everything. They know yeah. what you had for breakfast every day of the year. Yes, they do. They don't, they literally do not do that. A judge will not sign off for a, for an entire team to bust in somebody's well, home in the United States of America. Yeah, hold on now. You're taking good, too much turf. Judges will sign off on all sorts of shit and cops yeah. just kick in doors sloppy all the time with very Especially little Especially when they think you have automatic weapons in your house. Like, well, yeah. I got, when I got raided by the there. state, it was mm -hmm. way different and way looser than when like, Somebody I know got raided by the Secret Service for counterfeiting. That shit was done tight. Right, right. And this was done tight. I mean, they have a tank there. So, you know, this was done tight and it was coordinated. 
It was a coordinated effort. They hit both houses at the same time. I'm telling you, and they, they, hit. Uh, they know what they were looking for. They have been watching him for years. And they know. They knew. They already knew what they they wanted. Um, they wanted devices. They wanted electronic devices because they already know what is on those devices. So that, you're kind of making my point that I was eventually getting to is that if anybody to blame the whole, you know, charade of things, it's the federal government. I mean, they've they've uh, for like it was almost common knowledge for any kind of rap and back in the what early 2000s yeah ni late 90s early 2000s that, now, yeah we all knew this and it was at by keefe d and then of course y'all know suge said biggie right you know it, it, yeah, it was, there was that big they had that big altercation in the nightclub where with suge it, right his bodyguard all just no knowledge and and my point is that okay keefe d gets off on charge by it's what it, I don't know if it was the deal. Baby, My, you're breaking up really badly. Yeah, uh, okay. do you guys remember that video where, uh, where I think it was one of the dudes from Bone Thugs was talking, like came out and said that there was some record executives that wanted to meet with uh, a bunch of different artists and they, they were yeah, really that was a crazy them. bone interview. Yeah, yeah, where he right, like right. just looked at I played it on my channel a few like a week ago or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that sort of you guys thing seen is... the red man little Wayne video. Now? Have yeah. not. There's just he just was going around and he would say these very he would he would go into these oh. very um uh haphazard conversations in front of the camera where people are just terrified of what he's gonna say he would all of a sudden just get like a little reckless on camera and say some shit that's like, what, like, what, what did he just say? It wasn't, um, I mean, people were not looking at it as closely as they are now. That clip with him and Justin Bieber is disturbing as it gets, you know, I've got 48 hours and we can't tell you what we're going to do. And, you know, Hey, you know, and he, you can have this car when you turn 18 and, you know, and we're gonna we're gonna be up to no good all you know for the next forty eight hours. And Justin looks terrified. And, and what about I don't rock blame the him. vote? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. What about that? I forgot about that shit show. That was <coughs> <coughs> watching. I've put the link back in so you can come back up, darling. Oh, did he drop down and come back? Is he coming? Did back you not up? even notice? <laughs> no. Girl, I can't see. I can't see. I'm like, I've got that wonky eye. I can't see. <laughs> the other one broken? What's that? The other one broken, too? Yeah, well, I mean, no, but, like, don't be a smart ass, Flo. I can't really see. <laughs> don't, don't give us these, these half-cocked excuses. I'm I'm half-handicapped. So don't, don't be I don't know. No, you're all the way. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Hang on. I've got Mr. Arse yeah, Cheeks totally. in the back again. Oh, God. <laughs> hunk of, hunk of burning love. Yeah, I'm not letting you back up on panel, dude, because your ass wasn't that nice. Yeah, I mean, at least show your face. Like, if you have any self-respect whatsoever, let us know who you are with your hairy ass. So, guys, basically, we've been we've been uh, gaslit and uh, under the onslaught of fifth generation warfare for like decades. So, yeah, what agree. generation warfare? Yeah, but fifth if, if we're gonna go there, then <laughs> and it's actually been since forever. Okay. Yeah. And, and it hasn't been too. forever. It All hasn't been. Well, I believe we I believe we're um that there is a chemical there's we have been attacked with chemical warfare. Like fluoride. Like fl shut up with the fluoride. There's no I uh, listen, people are so mad because I want Yeah, not you're not gonna leave that one down. But you know, I guarantee you I'm not the only person that uses fluoride in my toothpaste. So no, the there are lots year. of people who are, yeah, okay, propped well, you, up, like uh, just you guys. who are modern society props up from natural selection. Well, listen, the bus station people, you know, yeah. Well, there's a charity called Homeless but Not Toothless. It's a real is there charity. Really? There yeah, is it's not. a real charity. I swear to God, it's a real charity. Look it up. It's called Homeless but Not Toothless. It's founded by. Jerry Kempsley, and and um, he founded it, and it's amazing. She 
she's a rich lady in Beverly Hills, and she provides um, a set of choppers for homeless yeah. but not toothless people. Homeless but not toothless, but also obese. Yeah, it's, I mean, they raised a lot of money. She's a, a Beverly Hills housewife. I love it. I love oh, what's this, my love? Shall I play it? Oh, oh if, yeah. yeah, if you're interested, it's I, I think all these people are actors. I think all actors are apt, actors, and that's why you have so many murders in the rap game because they cycle them out. It's a contrived genre. What? What? I, what? Okay. Did you just say, like, are you saying what, that these what, are what, meth? What? Or like, wait, 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 wait. Are these? Yep. What are, yep. No. Are, um, you're not one of those that thinks. Oh, yeah. Um, no. You already know I am. Uh -uh. What? Well, Hang I on to your floor. You, you don't even believe this shit. I think you just do it. To I don't believe. Get under my skin. Here's what I don't believe. I don't believe that rap naturally went from kind of goofy conscious rap in the early 90s to nothing but gangster rap completely organically. All it does is sell crime and name brands. It's advertising. It's contrived. It feeds the prison oh, industry, it feeds the fashion industry, it feeds the pharmaceutical industry. These people are actors. You can look at old videos of uh, Tupac a year before he made his first album, I believe, maybe two years. He was sure. an actor, Flo. I know. They're all 